Hey, what's up with a happy Roblox family? So happy, so, so, so happy. With mom, dad, Daisy, Molly, and the baby. Cute baby. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> cute little baby. La, 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 la. <laughs> We're the Star Squad smile. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Hey mom, I'm going outside to practice with my soccer ball. Okay, Molly, have fun. Thanks. I'm gonna make it on the soccer team if it's the last thing I do. I just have to practice a lot and then I'll get really good and I'll be able to make it when I try out for the soccer team. They'll make me, um, maybe they'll make me soccer team captain. O-M-G. Uh-oh. I dropped my, my, my soccer ball in, in Sarah's fountain. Oh, whatever. Are you serious? You are so terrible at soccer. I mean, you put it in my fountain. What were you even thinking? Um, sorry about that, Sarah. I didn't mean to. I was just practicing and, and well, I'm, I'm trying to get better so I can make it out of the soccer team. You will never be good enough to be on the soccer team. You're such a loser. Don't even bother practicing. Why would you say that, Sarah? I I'm working really hard. Because it's the truth. Ugh. Once a loser, always a loser. Oh, <laughs> that was really mean of you to say. <laughs> Molly, are you okay? What's going on? I'm fine. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Molly? What's wrong? Are you okay? You never call me. You always text. I'm not okay. I, uh, I, 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 Molly, come down. Tell me. You can tell me anything. I know. That's why I called you because you're my best friend. But I was playing soccer and, and Sarah was bullying me about being terrible. Oh, Molly, I'm so sorry she was saying that to you. That's, that's really not nice. Um, Molly, I'm so sorry, but I have to go do some homework now. But can we talk tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Molly. I'm sorry you're hurting right now, but don't forget, we're BFFs. I know. Thanks for listening, Brookie. Bye. Brookie! Hey, good morning! Oh, what's Sarah doing? Hey, Brookie. Nice to see you. Good morning. Sarah, why are you talking to my best friend? I didn't know it was illegal to talk to people at school. Well, well, but she's my best friend! Um, Molly, it's okay. Everything's fine. Don't freak out. Not everything is fine! I... What, are you feeling kind of jealous? <laughs> Maybe she wants to talk to me too, Molly. You don't own Brookie. Whatever! Oh, this is such the worst day of my life ever! Molly, what's going on? Are you okay? No, I'm having another bad day and it just started. Oh, Molly, I'm sorry you're having such a rough time. But we have to get ready for this quiz we're having in math class. I can't even think about the quiz. All I can think about is the fact that my best friend is becoming friends with Sarah, who's a giant bully. Aww. Okay, class. Um, everybody, come on in. Come on. We have a quiz today. Molly, did you study? Yeah, sort of. Oh, could this day get any worse? Probably. I mean, you also look terrible in that orange, yellow sweater or whatever it is. Oh, my gosh. Now she's picking on my fashion sense, too? Wow. This test is so much harder than I thought it would be. This test is a piece of cake. Oh, no wonder she thinks it's easy. She's so much smarter than me. I'm such a loser. Molly, don't say that. I just feel terrible about myself today. Sarah's really making me feel down. Okay, everybody, please hand in your test. Uh, the, uh... Test? I thought it was a quiz! Sorry, I meant quiz. The, the, uh, the class is over, so, uh, yeah, I just need to go get a cup of coffee. It's Monday and my brain's not awake yet. Okay, no problem, Mr. Jared. Phew, I'm glad that math test is over, quiz, whatever, whatever it was! It was horrible and I don't ever want to take it ever again. <laughs> Time to get out my books from English class. What's this? It's a letter, I wonder who it could be from. Dear Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean? My BFF is Sarah? At least she's honest? Oh my gosh. Brookie... Brookie doesn't want to be my friend anymore! <laughs> I don't know what I ever did wrong, but I don't think that I'm mean or a liar. Molly, are you in here? You missed all of it.
of English class. Molly, are you with you? Just go away, Daisy. Molly, I know I'm only your sister, but if you need me to be, I could be your friend too. Come on out, Molly. Talk to me. Oh, I, I'm having the worst life ever. Oh, there, there, Molly. I'll give you a hug and then make you feel a lot better. It doesn't make me feel... Okay, it made me feel a little bit better, but... But I can't figure out why Brookie doesn't like me anymore. What? Brookie doesn't like you anymore? This is news to me. What's going on, Molly? I saw her hanging out with Sarah this morning. She was probably just talking to her to be nice. Yeah, but then I got this letter in, the, in my locker. What? Let me see that. It says... Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean, and I want to be best friends with Sarah because at least she's honest. Holy guacamole! This must be some sort of huge misunderstanding. It must be, Molly. You know Brookie loves you. You're her best friend, and you've been that way since preschool, since you were toddlers. Well, this letter says it all. Our friendship, it's over. Well, Molly, at least we're having pizza for lunch. Well, yeah, I guess that is a plus. You, you can't you can't knock having pizza for lunch. Well, but it's still making me really upset. Come on, Molly. The pizza will at least make you smile a little. You gotta be hungry. Yeah, I am pretty hungry. Okay, let's go to lunch. Pizza makes everything better, right? <gasps> oh my god. Brookie and Sarah are sitting next to each other. That letter must be true. Oh, look. It's a loser, Brookie. <sighs> Don't let her sit next to us. Well, um, uh... Oh, <laughs> everyone hates me, including my best friend. <laughs> Just hide behind this dumpster where nobody can find me. That's all anybody thinks I'm worth, trash. <laughs> We've been friends since we were toddlers, and now she doesn't even like me anymore. <laughs> Who's texting me? Oh, it's Brookie. I'm, I'm not even going to look at it. I mean, why should I? She's, she's not even my friend anymore. I mean, she's made it clear that she doesn't want to be my friend. So why just keep sending me texts to be mean to me or something? I don't need to look at those. I, I don't need to look at them. We're not friends anymore. 20 minutes later. Ha! Ah, what are you guys doing here? Well, we are walking home from school. You missed the rest of the day. Yeah, Molly, what were you thinking? Skipping school? Ugh, you're obviously not a good student. Well, um, that was never in question, was it? I mean, what's in question here is if I was a good friend and I don't think I was a bad one. I mean, I, I never have lied to you and, and I don't think I was mean to you. And if I have been, I, I... We don't want to hear it. Ugh, what's that smell? Ew, you smell like a dumpster. No wonder you're next to it because <laughs> you smell like garbage. Molly, I'm sorry, but... Sarah just seems like a better friend. I mean, at least she's honest. Yeah, but she's a bully. You want to be a bully? Well, I mean, you just don't know her like I do, okay? So, um, we're breaking up as friends. What? You don't want to be my friend anymore? Sorry, Molly, but no, I don't. I just want to be Sarah's friend now, and she's going to be my, my BFF, right, Sarah? Yeah, whatever. We're going to be BFFs. This is going to be awesome. I mean, she brings me coffee in the morning from Starbucks, so she's pretty cool. Listen to the yourself, Brookie. She's not a real friend. She's a bully. Molly, you're not going to change my mind about this. I want to be Sarah's friend. Well, I guess all of those years of us being BFFs mean nothing to you. You're right, Molly. They don't mean anything to me anymore. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> my life as I know it is over. It's just over. I mean, I don't even have a BFF anymore. Who am I even? Whoa, Molly, is your day still going really, really bad? Totally. Sarah and Brookie found me by the dumpster. What were you doing by the dumpster? Ew, it kind of smells bad. Don't remind me. They already did. What's going on, Molly? She decided she doesn't want to be my BFF anymore. What? So the letter was true? Yeah, every word. She's going to be Sarah's BFF. Oh, Molly, do you need a hug? Yes, I need a hug! <laughs> except for, except for Brookhaven, we're like ghosts, we can't actually hug each other. <laughs> well, we can just hug like this, Molly, here you go. There's a good hug for you. Oh, a Brookhaven hug, it'll have to do. <laughs> Molly, I'm always here for you, even though we don't get along. 
Sometimes I'm your sister and I love you. And I'll be your BFF until you find a new one. But what about Brookie? I thought she was my everything! My BFF! Well, Molly, I'm sorry you've had such a bad day. I hope things get better for you. Me too. Me too! Outside and play soccer with me? Sorry, Molly, but I have to do some studying. Daisy, come on. Don't be such a bookworm all the time. Molly, studying is very important for my brain health and growth. And getting fresh air is also important for you. Come on, Daisy. All right, Molly, I'll come out for half an hour. Then I can come back to study. Yes! Finally, I can practice my soccer drills with somebody. La 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 la. Where's that soccer ball? Oh, wait, here it is. Okay, Molly, what are you playing soccer so much for lately? I want to try to make it onto the soccer team at school. La, 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 I'm going to be amazing at soccer. Here you go, Daisy, I kicked it to you. Well, that wasn't exactly to me, but, you know, close enough. <laughs> I still need a little bit of practice, that's for sure. We could get an ice cream cone after this. Molly, I told you I have to study. Oh, I keep tripping over this. Why does it keep following me? Ah! It's like caught in a loop. That was really weird. Don't do that on soccer tryout day, Molly. Oh, man. It went to the shrubs over here. Bull, come back here. Don't go down the hill. Don't you dare. Don't go down the hill. Oh, my God. I hate when this happens in Brookhaven. Seriously. You know what I do when this happens, Stacey? What, Molly? What? I just spawn a new soccer ball. I'm not chasing it. Like, seriously. That's just ridiculous. Hey, Molly, look. It's Bookie. Oh, Bookie, hi. You want to play soccer with us? Sorry, Molly, can't. I, um, have to go home right now. Why? You got to go poo-poo or something? We have a bathroom, you know. No, I just can't today. Sorry, Molly. But she always wants to hang out with me. But maybe she's just busy today, Molly. Since when has my BFF ever been too busy to hang out with me? Uh, yeah, you have a point. But I'm sure she has a good reason. Don't fret about it, Molly. Girls, come on in. I made a delicious snack. Chocolate chip cookies. Okay, soccer, pra soccer practice is over. Time for a cookie. <laughs> I love when mom makes cookies. Mmm, these are delicious. Now remember, girls, one cookie a piece. These cookies are huge. And you don't want to spoil your appetite for your healthy dinner. No, we wouldn't want to do that. Just kidding. Give me all the cookies. Molly, don't be rude. Just say please and only one. Mmm, these cookies are so good. Um, can I please have about five more? <laughs> Molly, maybe tomorrow you can have another one. I have to wait until tomorrow? I better really take my time with this cookie. It's all I'm getting. It's all I'm getting! Molly, you're so dramatic. I said tomorrow you could probably have another one. That's tomorrow! Today's today! Ay, 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 Molly. Today's almost over and you still have to eat dinner. Mmm. I think chocolate chip cookies make the perfect dinner. <laughs> See you next morning. Good morning, students. Good morning, Mrs. S. Today, we're going to be practicing our spelling words. <sighs> I studied so hard for this, Mrs. S. Great job, Daisy. I knew you would. All right. For our first word, Molly, why don't you come up, onto the, um, come up to the board and spell it for me? Uh-oh. What's it going to be? Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus? Oh, I get to spell the hardest word of the entire spelling quiz. Oh. Hip. Uh, hip. Uh, hip. Okay, and then I remember it was O. O. P. O. T. A. M. U. S. Yeah, that's it. Definitely. <laughs> What's so funny, Daisy? <laughs> you spelled hip poop tonibus. Hip poop tonibus. <laughs> what? What? Um, Molly, did you mean to spell the word poop on the board? <laughs> Molly. Um, uh, okay, let me fix it. Is that better? Spell it out for me, Molly. H I P P O P O T A N U S. Very good, Molly. And for the actual quiz, remember there's no poop in hippopotamus. 
Actually, if they eat enough food, there is definitely. Molly, sit down, please. <laughs> oh boy, lunch! We're even having bean burritos today. Hey, Brookie, wait up! Sorry, Molly, I have to get my bean burrito and then I have to get going. What? Um, yeah, I'm not gonna be in the lunchroom today. Why, do you have a doctor's appointment or something? Going to Disney World? Tell me what's happening. No, I'm just going to do uh, something else in the art room. What? But we always sit next to each other at lunch. I know, but not today, Molly. I'm really sorry. But, but Brookie, we're BFFs and we always sit together at lunch. Okay, Molly, uh, where's your school lunch ticket? Oh, I forgot it at home. I'm sorry, Large Marge. Seems that nothing's going right for me today. What do you mean, Molly? You need to talk to somebody about this? Uh, yeah. Thanks for listening, Large Marge. No, the school counselor's down the hall. I'm just a lunch lady. I, I, I'm not good at listening. But, but... Sorry, all I do is make bean burritos. <laughs> and they're good, Large Marge. Thanks for listening, I guess. Molly, where's Bookie? She's, um, not gonna sit by us today. Say what? What are you talking about? She always sits next to you, Molly. I know, but today she has something else to do. What's gotten into her? I don't know what's gotten into her. She just seems to be, well, distracted. And maybe she doesn't want to be my friend anymore. Molly, I don't think that's it. Uh, it might be it. Large March, you said you weren't listening to my problems. Sorry, <laughs> couldn't help it over here. Well, you're not very helpful either, Large March. Good thing you're the lunch lady and not the school counselor. Ay, ay, ay. Molly, just eat your bean burrito. It'll make you feel better. Nothing's going to make me feel better till I figure out what's going on with Brookie. Well, you could just invite her out for ice cream. Tell her it's your treat. If she refuses that, then I know something's wrong. She loves chocolate ice cream. You've got a point, Daisy. I'm gonna do it today after school. A few hours later. Oh, hey, Molly. Hey, Brookie. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Um, do you wanna walk home? Sorry, I need to take the school bus. But I was thinking that, uh, wait, Brookie, wait, I'm trying to tell you something. Oh, sorry, Molly, I've been such a rush today. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to ask you if you wanted to go get ice cream with me. Uh, I, I'll pay for it. My treat. Uh, two scoops of chocolate with chocolate sauce. Your favorite. Oh, that sounds really good, Molly. But I'm really sorry. I can't. I have to get right home. Bye! Oh, Molly. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. Did an alien took over your friend. What? No, that's not it. Oh, and I missed the bus. So now I've got to walk home alone. I could walk home with you. Uh, no. Pass. Molly! Well, you're my sister and you're kind of annoying. Uh, I've been trying to help you all day. I've got something else that I need to do. I'm sorry, Daisy. Uh, that's okay. I'm going to sit at the library and study a little bit anyway. I hope you figure out things with Bookie. Thanks. I think I'm going to need a lot of luck. Oh my gosh. What is going on with my BFF? Does she not want to be my friend anymore or something? I have an idea. <laughs> I'm going to go to her house without her knowing and spy on her. Okay, maybe that's not a great idea, but um, it's probably a good one. Molly, don't do it. You know that you shouldn't spy on your friend when she doesn't know you're there. Who said that? I'm your angel of consciousness, and I, I tell you to do good things. Ha 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 ha, don't listen to her. Huh, what, what, why am I hearing all these voices? <laughs> I'm the little devil that lives inside you, and I say spy on your friend. Spy, spy, spy! Don't listen to him, Molly! He's evil! What? I don't know who to listen to, but I gotta figure out what my best friend is doing, so... Sorry, Angel. I'm listening to the little devil inside of me. <laughs> Molly, no! <laughs> so glad we got rid of her. Come on, let's go. Okay. Probably listening to you is a bad idea, but... I do need to see what Brookie's up to. <laughs> and we're about to find out. All right, here's Brookie's house. I'm going to guess she's probably in her room. And I can't go inside, so I'm going to try to climb this tree. And ugh, I'm not very um, good at climbing this particular type of tree because there's nothing to grab onto. And what's that sound? Sounds like it's coming from her garage. All right, guys, I'm going to be very careful and sneak up so she doesn't see me spying on her. Is she doing? She's building 
Something? Wonder what it could be. She probably doesn't want to be your friend anymore. Yeah, Devil, she probably doesn't want to. Molly, think this through before you do something crazy. She's your best friend. Don't listen to Angel. You should be mad about this. Yeah, I think I should be mad about this. Now both of you go poof. Brookie, what do you think you're doing? What? <gasps> Molly, what are you doing here? Um, this isn't, this, this isn't what you think. It looks exactly like what I think. You are ignoring me and being rude to me. And, and maybe you don't even want to be my best friend anymore. Molly, where is this coming from? What do you mean, where is this coming from? First of all, you didn't want to hang out with me the other day. Then you didn't want to sit with me at lunch. Then you didn't even want to go get an ice cream when I was paying for it. What's wrong with you anyway? What are you doing? Um, Molly, I was taking all this time to build you a birthday present. What? Yeah, and, and I wanted it to be a big surprise. Well, it was still rude. I mean, you always spend time with me, and, and why would you be rude and not just tell me? Because, Molly, it was a surprise. I can't tell you about a birthday present that's a surprise. Oh, well, still, it hurt my feelings. You know what, Molly? I was going to give you this ice cream cart as your birthday present, but now I think you don't even deserve it for being so mean, so I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to eat all the ice cream. It's delicious. The chocolate is especially good. You're not going to let me even have any of my own birthday ice cream? Why should I let you have any? And it's not your birthday present because I didn't give it to you yet. Miss, I'm so rude. Um, uh, Molly, just get out of my garage. No! I told you that wasn't going to go very well. I warned you. Well, why didn't you warn me louder? Sorry, it's not in me to be rude. Don't listen to her. You yelled at her for a good reason. You two are way too loud. Well, Molly, maybe next time you can, um, well, you can just try not to be so mean. But in the meantime, you can apologize to your friend. Don't do it. She's evil. You don't want to be her friend. Ugh, you guys are so annoying to me right now. Besides, I'm pretty sure that Brookie doesn't want to be my friend anymore. This is going to be the worst birthday of my life. <laughs> Let's ask mom. Molly, she already said no like twice this month. She's not going to say yes so we can get iPhones all of a sudden. Well, maybe if we just wear her down a little bit farther. You got to just get us a time out, Molly. She's going to get annoyed. We can ask her really nicely. And if she says no on the first time we ask, then we'll just stop, okay? Ah, <sighs> fine. But if she gets mad, this was your idea. All right, fine. It was my idea. Mom, mom. Oh, hey Molly, what's going on? Hey Daisy, what are you up to, Mom? Oh, I'm just washing my hands because I'm going to make some food and, you know, I have to get baby Kira up from her nap, all that fun stuff. Um, Mom, uh, Daisy and I have a question. Um, okay. What is it? Shoot. Um, yeah, Molly, it was all of Molly's idea, so um, she could ask. Daisy, I thought we were in this together. No, you're in this by yourself. <laughs> I'm just here for more support. Okay, let me guess. You both want iPhones. How'd you know, Mom? You're such a genius. A mind reader. Molly, quit trying to say nice things to me just so I buy you an iPhone. No, Mom, I really think you are amazing and the most beautiful mom in the entire world. You look so young. Have I ever told you that? Molly, haven't we already gone over this? Told you she was going to say no. She always says no. Actually... This time, I'm not going to say no. Wait, what? You're not? Nope, I'm going to say maybe. A maybe? I'll take a maybe. We finally got a maybe. Finally got a maybe. Finally got a maybe. Do, 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 do. I'm so happy. So am I. Wait a minute. What makes the maybe turn into a yes, Mom? Yeah, Mom. What makes the maybe turn into a yes? Can I dance on the counter? Molly, get down. Yeah, Molly, before she changes her mind. Well... I know you guys have that big math test coming up, and I was thinking that if you both could pass it, then I'll get you each a new iPhone. Wow. Really? That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. New iPhone, here I come. Oh wait, I'm gonna definitely go study right now and for the rest of the night, so basically I can get a new iPhone. Good luck, Molly. Good luck is right. Mom, 
Do we have to make that lag at the iPhone? I'll even vacuum the floor. Just, I'm not that great at math. Which should be an encouragement to you, Molly, to study. And the test is tomorrow, so I'd get going. Yeah, okay. But first I want to watch some TV. Because I haven't watched any yet today, and I love watching TV. I won't watch it for that long. Just enough time to let my brain relax a little bit. A few hours later. OMG, that was a great episode. That made me think that I need to play that new survival game on Roblox. I haven't played it yet, and I definitely want to try it out. This is going to be awesome. Two hours later. What? Why didn't I win? Oh, I'm terrible at this game. I need more practice. Um, Molly, just a friendly reminder, but it's been three hours since I made you the iPhone offer. Huh? What? Oh, um, yeah, Mom, I just... I had to win this Roblox game. I mean, I am a famous YouTuber and all. That's lovely, Molly. But if you want the iPhone, I suggest that you study for your math test or else you're going to fail and then no new iPhone. I mean, how will you FaceTime Brookie? Um, yeah, Mom, you have a point. I'm actually going to study. Really? Something I said actually got through to you and you're going to study? Oh, parenting win. Don't get too excited, Mom. I'm definitely the problem child still. Well, I'll take this one as a small win. Whoa, 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 what are you doing here, Molly? I'm, um, studying. Molly, it's 9.30 at night. It's a little late for studying, don't you think? Um, no, not at all. I'm just getting started. I'm gonna pull an all-nighter and basically do amazing on this test. Um, okay, Molly, if you say so. Try not to be too loud, though. I need my rest. It's a big day tomorrow. I'm gonna pass a test and get an iPhone. And so am I, Daisy. Well, if you had studied a bit more and... I don't need to hear that, Daisy. <sighs> One, two. What are you doing? Working out. A fit body goes along with having the healthiest mind. Okay, if you say so. I'll just be over here in the corner studying, studying, and studying some more. Oh, this math is so hard. Molly, You've literally been working on it for five minutes and you're already crying? Yes! Oh, it's so difficult! Molly, wipe your tears and keep your eye on the prize. That iPhone will be yours before you know it. Thanks, Daisy! I needed that motivation! Oh my gosh! It's 3 a.m. I've been up for hours and hours and hours studying. Oh, I have to sleep. Must sleep! <laughs> Today's the day I get an iPhone. Molly. Molly. Well, she snoozes, she loses. Okay, well, ah, do a little few workout I set up just to wake up my brain, have some breakfast, and head out the door. Molly, you get to wake up. Molly. <coughs> well, don't say I didn't try to help you. <coughs> Wake up, Molly. Wake up! Does that say 9 a.m.? Ah! I'm gonna miss the school bus! Well, good thing I slept in my clothes last night. Where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. Ah, we just ran into the door. Holy guacamole! I'm gonna be late! Well, well, well. Look who decided to get out of bed. Seems to me you've failed the test. No, Mom, I haven't! Just get me to the end of the day! I'll show you! I'll show them all! I'll just run to school. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, the school bus waited for me. Oh, this is such good news. <laughs> it's not so bad after all, I guess. Thank you for waiting for me, school bus driver. Daisy, why are you wearing your lab coat from Halloween? Because, Molly, I'm going to be a famous scientist one day, and this coat just, I think it's lucky. It's a Halloween costume. Molly, shh. You just be grateful that you're not late for math and quit worrying about what I'm wearing for this test. It brings me luck. Oh, wow. Actually, we're earlier than everyone else. I thought we were going to be so late. Good morning. Good morning. All right, we're just going to wait for the rest of class to get here, and uh, then we can start our test, okay? Okay, Mr. Jared, no problem. I studied so hard last night. Ugh, I hardly got any sleep. She could have started studying three hours before and went to bed on time. Daisy, Ugh, sisters are exhausting. Okay, class, eyes on your own paper. You have exactly 15 minutes to finish this test. Whoa, hush. 15 minutes. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. Oh, I think I'm doing it right, I hope. 
Molly, quiet, please. Sorry, I kind of talked to myself out loud. No, I've, I've got this down. I'm sure of it. Okay, I'm done. Well, Molly, that was the fastest you've ever completed a test. Good job. So, Molly, how do you think you did on your math test? I don't know. I thought I was doing really good, but now that the test is over, I feel like maybe I made mistakes. Did you study? You probably didn't, right? No, I stayed up really late till like 3 o'clock in the morning studying. Oh, my gosh, Molly. How are you even standing right now? I don't know. I'm just tired and, and worried. Well, turn that frown upside down because today is pizza day. Wow. My stomach's kind of upset. I don't think I'm going to eat pizza. What? But you love pizza day. I'm too nervous about this test. Why is this test in particular so worrisome to you, Molly? Because my mom said that if we passed the test, my sister and I could get iPhones. Whoa, are you serious? Wow, that's like an amazing prize for, for doing really well on your test. No wonder you're nervous. Yeah, and even lunch lady Marge can't even change that. Even with her most delicious pizza. Molly, I think I did amazing. I'm going to get an iPhone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm getting an iPhone, but I'm just a little nervous because, I don't know, math is hard for me. Molly, are you sure that you don't want a piece of pizza? No, I can't eat anything right now. My stomach's too upset. Too worried I, pa I passed that test. Um, Daisy, what are you doing? I'm writing down all the accessories I'm going to get with my new iPhone. Ugh, I'm just wondering if I'm going to get the iPhone. Molly, you studied half the night. I'm sure you did really well on the test. Don't worry. Thanks, Brookie. That's exactly what I needed to hear. Well, lunch is over. Time to find out the test results. I'm excited and nervous, but I did finish the test really quickly, so I think I did pretty good. I hope I have to get at least a 70 on it to pass and get my new iPhone. Well, boys and girls, I'm pretty pleased with the test results, but I have a few of you that failed. So I hope you can study harder next time. Molly, here's your test. Great job, Daisy. A 92. I'm getting an iPhone. Molly, how'd you do? A 68. Two points away from my iPhone? Excuse me, Mr. Jared, I think this must be a mistake. No, Molly, you failed fair and square. Oh, I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I'm about to get an iPhone and I'm gonna like it. Oh man, maybe mom will just look over those two points and say, well, it's not that big a deal. Hey girls, ugh, the vacuum got clogged again. Ugh. Mom, I'm so excited! You are? Wait, did you get your test results today? Yeah, and I passed, Mom, so I get an iPhone. Do -de -do 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 -do. How about you, Molly? How'd you do? Um, I did okay. Yeah, fine, I guess, but don't worry. I, uh, I don't need to show you my test. Molly, show me the test, please. She failed! Daisy! Sorry, but it's the truth, Molly. But mom, it's only two points. I got a 68. Molly, the requirement was you passed a 70. But mom. Sorry, Molly. I made the rules. No iPhone. Oh, that's not fair. Daisy gets everything. I worked so hard. That's not fair. Oh. See you next morning. This iPhone has so many features. I can't even believe it. It's amazing, Molly. Uh-huh. You should see the photos that this thing takes. Uh-huh. Molly, it is so cool. Uh-huh. Could you be quiet about the iPhone? It's dumb anyway. Who wants that phone? Not me. I don't want an iPhone. I wouldn't want an iPhone if it was the last phone at the AT&T store. You're just jealous. Whatever. I don't, ugh, I don't I don't even need that phone. It's dumb and I don't I don't need a phone. Who needs a phone? I could just call my friends on the on the I don't know. I could just walk to their house. Yeah, that's it. Get good exercise. Yeah. And then I don't have to waste my time studying for math tests that I'd fail anyway. Speaking of, I've got to go to a dance class, but I'm going to leave my phone here and let it charge because I didn't let it charge when I got it. And, and now there's no charge because I was so excited. And Uh-huh. Whatever. Bye, Daisy. Bye, Molly. I hope you have a better day. Okay, where did you leave that phone? Because I think I'm going to give it a try myself. I worked really hard. I should get have gotten an iPhone too. Just because I missed passing by two points? That's ridiculous. It's my phone now. <laughs> Ooh, 
playing this Roblox game looks really fun. Wow, the resolution on this thing is amazing. Molly, what do you do? Hey, is that Daisy's phone? Um, uh, um, yeah. Molly, don't you lie to me. Um, I, uh, she thought I said she thought I could borrow it. What? What are you even talking about, Molly? That's, uh, I'm sure she didn't let you borrow it, but I could ask her. Uh, okay, well, I should have got an iPhone. It's not fair. Molly, that is very unnice behavior. You do not take your sister's phone. It doesn't belong to you. Well, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna run away with it. Molly! The longer you act like this, the more you're grounded for. Well, at least I'll be happy if I can play this game before I'm grounded anyway. Molly! She won't find me in here. I'm just gonna hide in here by the toilet, play a little bit of this Roblox game. Selfie! Of me looking grumpy. <laughs> and it's not because I ate a bean burrito. Molly! Ah, she found me, Mom! Hand over Daisy's iPhone, Molly. Fine. Ah, I'm surprised you didn't smash the screen. You're being so jealous. Jealous? Why would I be jealous of her? Um, I don't know. Because you're acting jealous that she got an iPhone? Because she passed her test and you didn't? Mom, this is so, well, poopy! Molly! Well, it is. I mean, I want an iPhone too. And I studied really hard, Mom. Molly... You just need to study more often. You can't just cram right before the test and expect to do good in math. But I wanted an iPhone. I know, and it takes ongoing work to get prizes. Fine. I guess I don't get an iPhone then, do I? No, you don't, Molly. And you also get a week of grounding for stealing daisies. Ugh. My life really stinks right now. Daisy, I'm so excited about our sleepover with Brookie, aren't you? Totally, Molly. This is going to be so much fun, but what are we actually going to do at this sleepover? I thought we'd watch a movie, eat popcorn, maybe do like a dance-off, watch TikTok videos, and play Roblox, of course. Whoa, that sounds like so much fun. Molly, look, it's Brookie. Brookie! Hey, what's up? Come on in. Whoa, your bag looks really heavy. Are you staying for a night or a week? <laughs> I wish I could spend the night for an entire week, but my mom's too strict for that. I really had trouble um, getting her to agree to let me spend the night for one night. Well, then we better make it the night of our lives. Daisy and I were just talking about the fun things we could do. Really? Is Roblox on the list? Is watching TikTok on the list? Is eating popcorn and watching a movie on the list? Check, check, and check. All of those fun things are on the list. I knew you guys would have the best sleepover ever. I'm gonna go put my stuff upstairs. No problem, Brookie. I'll start on the popcorn. Uh, Molly, you might want to come here, baby. I'm trying to get the popcorn, Daisy. What is it? Um, someone's at the door. Are you going to let me in or are you just going to stand there? Jeepers. Uh, Sarah? What are you doing here? Ugh, I guess I'll open the door for myself. Rude. Uh, Sarah, okay, I didn't actually invite you in, but all right, um... What are you doing here? I came for the sleepover, duh. I got the invitation in my desk at school. What? Wait, you sat at Brookie's desk today. Yeah, I can sit in any desk that I want. Well, that's why Brookie didn't get the invitation and I had to call her and invite her. Uh-oh, Sarah actually got Brookie's invitation. Wait, so you didn't actually invite me? Remember, Molly, don't stoop to her level. Don't be a bully. Um, well, um, yeah, sure. Of course I invited you. That's what I thought. I'm such a popular girl. Like, who wouldn't want me at their sleepover? Oh, Sarah, um, hi. What are you doing here? I'm here for the sleepover. I got an invitation. Duh. She got an invitation? Molly, are you feeling okay? Yeah, I just thought it would be nice to have another friend join us for the sleepover. Well, whatever. Now that we've agreed that I was invited. Ugh, duh. Can we actually have the sleepover? Like, what are we doing? We're doing so many fun things. We're watching a movie. We're playing Roblox. We're watching TikTok. What? Boring, boring, boring. Everyone knows that cool and grown-up sleepovers are always stay up all night challenges. What? Stay up all night? But we have school in the morning. So? 
If you don't want to be a loser and you want to have a super fun, super cool sleepover, you take the Don't Sleep in Brookhaven Challenge. Duh. Well, um, what do you guys think? I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna be cool. I don't know. I need my beauty sleep. You sure do. Okay, Sarah, no being rude. Ugh, all right. I'd say sorry, but I'm not that nice. <laughs> it's okay, Sarah, we know. <laughs> What are you laughing about? I didn't tell you to laugh. Ah, uh, this is my house, Sarah. I can laugh if I want to. <laughs> oh no, I've got the giggles. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Stop making me laugh. I can't breathe. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> oh, I can tell this sleepover is going to be very annoying. <laughs> I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. <laughs> Give me a minute! Oh my gosh! Those TikTok videos of kittens are so cute! Lame. Okay, well, watch these TikTok videos of these dogs. Also lame. Ah, oh, it's 11 o'clock. I'm getting so tired. Don't forget, we're taking the No Sleep in Bookhaven Challenge. Yeah, um, maybe we should start playing Roblox. That'll keep us awake. Good idea! Nothing keeps you awake like playing Brookhaven. You live in Brookhaven. I know, but I'm gonna play Brookhaven on Roblox while I'm living in Brookhaven. Whoa, mind blown. Oh my God, what is Granny doing in, in, in Brookhaven? And there's Piggy and they're after you. Don't worry, I've got my supersonic rocket launcher. I'll take care of them. Whoa, Sarah! Uh, I'm getting very tired. Me too. Oh, it's almost midnight. I'm so tired. Me too. Hey, wait a minute. I have an idea. I'll be right back. Where is she going? She's doing laps around the house. Maybe to wake her up. Uh, that's actually a good idea, but I'm really lazy, so that just makes me more tired. There it is! This ought to wake me up. Nothing's gonna wake me up. Me either. Oh, really? How about this? <laughs> Molly, what are you doing? Molly, quit squirting us with the, with that, the, the, the fire extinguisher, you Looney Tune! <laughs> oh, no! Here it comes again! <laughs> I'm so giggly! <laughs> That's because you're so tired, Molly. Uh, I'm tired, too. Oh, I think it's going to make me fall asleep. No sleeping! No sleeping! Okay, okay, I'm awake, I'm awake! Wait, no, 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 I, I, I'm not. Well, there's one down, two left to go. Brookie, wake up! Wake up! You, you need to wake up! <laughs> Brookie? It's no use, Molly. She's down for the cow. Like I said, <laughs> two down, one down. What? Are you talking wrong, Sarah? Are you getting sleepy? No, I just was terrible at counting for a second. Anyway, one down, two to go. You mean three, you're in this competition too. <laughs> There's no competing with me. I'm amazing at everything. Except for being nice, you're not very good at that. <laughs> Oh boy, Molly. Good thing I brought this Starbucks. Two hours later. So tired. So incredibly tired. Molly, you need some coffee and stat. Yeah, and not just a cup. A bucket of coffee. Somebody get me a straw. Bing! I'm awake, 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 I'm awake. And I'm gonna win this no sleep challenge. Oh no, she's gone to hyperspeed. Holy guacamole, that's a lot of caffeine, Molly. That was probably a bad idea. Oh my god, I'm so awake. Oh my. Uh oh, I drink too much coffee. Now I gotta go poo poo. Oh, that's what happens when you drink too much coffee, Molly. Whoa! Oh, I'm so tired. I. I... Dizzy, wake up, wake up, wake up! Nope, that happening. I'm going... Uh, down. Uh. Well, loser, it just looks like it's you and me. Well, I'm not a loser yet. 
Looks like I'm gonna beat you at this competition. I don't think so. Jeepers, I thought all that coffee would keep me awake, but it's so late, I, 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 I'm just falling asleep. La da da, la da da. Go to sleep so I can win this competition. Sarah, you're cheating! What, me? Never. <sighs> you don't even have an angelic voice, but you're still kind of making me tired. You know you want to close your eyes. Go to sleep and I'll give you a surprise. Yeah, the surprise will be you'll win. I don't think so. What are you doing in your bathing suit? I'm going outside to wake myself up. It's 20 degrees outside. Exactly. That should wake me up. Oh, this isn't too bad. Too cold. Too cold. Too cold. Wake up, Molly. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. You will not lose this challenge. You will not. I can do anything that I put my mind to. I'm going to win this challenge if it's the last thing I do. There, I'm awake. <laughs> oh, poor Brookie. She hardly lasted at all. Daisy did a little better, but... <laughs> Not that better. Where is Sarah? She seemed to have disappeared. Maybe she went in here for a snack. There she is over there. What's she doing? <laughs> She's sleeping, sitting up in the chair. <laughs> I won! I won! Everybody wake up! I won, I won, I won! I won, I won, I won, I won, I won! <laughs> Best day, well, and night, and day, and... Wait, what, what day is it? Ugh, I'm too tired. <laughs> but I won! We're gonna be late. What are you waiting for? I don't want to go to school today. Well, what's new? But this is preschool. It's not like you're gonna get detention or homework. No, I know. I just, I don't want to go. If we're late though, you might get a timeout. But I don't want to go, okay? Sometimes I just, I want to stay home, okay? Molly, that's ridiculous. You know we have to go here so that mom can work and we can learn lots of good things. Just, I don't feel very good today. Don't try to fake being sick. Everybody know it's not true. Now come on, before we're late, I want to see all of our friends. Fine, but I'm telling you, my stomach kind of hurts. Oh, why can't I get in? Hello? Let us in! Molly, come on, let's just go into the baby entrance. I'm not a baby anymore. Oh, my stomach really hurts. Yeah, yeah, Molly, you're faking it. Everybody knows it. I I'm not faking it. I, I, I really don't feel good. Well, why don't you go to the bathroom and try to go poo-poo? That might make you feel better. I don't have to go poo-poo. Ugh, -poo. Oh, my sister is so annoying. Just leave me alone, okay? You don't have to believe me. No one asked you to anyway. Oh, no. My stomach is really starting to hurt. Oh, man. I think I do actually have to go potty. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hope I make it in time. Oh, that's so embarrassing to have an accident. Wait a minute. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm not going to make it to the potty. <laughs> Too late. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I went poo-poo in my pants. Oh. That's so embarrassing. Well, good morning, Molly. Ew. What's that smell? Uh-oh. Did you have an accident? I didn't mean to. I promise I didn't. <laughs> I... I... I didn't mean to. It's okay, Molly. It's okay. We'll just we'll just change your pull up and everything will be fine. I promise. Oh, how embarrassing. It's all right. Trust me. Everybody has accidents when they're toddlers. I don't really feel good today. My stomach is really hurting. Oh, that's probably just because you're hungry. It is snack time. Come on, we'll get something to eat. No, oh, I'm telling you, I don't want anything to eat. It sounds really gross. No, you're probably just hungry. Did you know that if you get too hungry, your tummy can actually hurt? Now play with your toy and be good. Now, come on, let's eat up. I'm telling you, I don't feel so good. I don't want to eat the 
got baby food. Ah la la, da da da, da 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 da, da da da. Marley says it doesn't feel good, but she's a liar. I'm not lying. Oh. Ew! Oh, yuck! You threw up on me. Oh, yuck! They don't pay me enough for this job to have babies throw up on me. Oh, I'm sorry, Taylor. I didn't mean it. Sorry, I didn't mean to freak out. It's just ew. Throw up makes me really grossed out. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? I'm not sure. I don't feel so. <laughs> Ew, now she threw up on me! Ew, she really is sick! Oh my, it looks like we're gonna need to give you a bath, Molly. You're covered in throw up. I don't feel so good. <laughs> I just want my mommy. <laughs> it's okay, we're gonna take you take very good care of you here, Molly, until your mom can come pick you up. Well, good luck. Our mom's at a business meeting today. She probably won't be able to pick us up for hours. Don't say that, Daisy. I want my mom. <laughs> oh, no. Are you going to throw up again? Don't throw up in the tub. Or on me. Oh, yuck. Oh, no. I feel a little better, though, after I threw up so many times. I think you better take a nap, Molly. You're definitely sick with something. Maybe food poisoning or the stomach bug? Can I have something to drink? I feel so thirsty after throwing up so much. Of course you can, sweetie, but I think we should just give you some water and not milk, because milk can make your stomach upset when it already is hurting. I just want my mommy! <laughs> Molly, I promise I'm gonna take good care of you. Okay. I guess I believe you. <laughs> it just don't feel good. I know, honey. It's going to be okay. La da da, la da da, la da da da, da da da. It's going to be okay, Molly. I think when you take a nap, you'll feel better when you wake up. I sure hope so. I don't want to throw up anymore. Mm, it seems like you may have gotten it out of your system, sweetie. Now take a nice night night and everything will be okay, I promise. Okay, just just don't swing me around too much because I think I might throw up again. Daisy, what's wrong? I don't feel so good, my stomach hurts. Oh, don't fake it, Daisy. Marley, I'm not faking it. When have I ever ugh, faked anything? You're still faking it. I don't believe that was a real throw up. Molly, I just ugh, threw up twice. What are you talking about? I can't you probably gave me your stomach bug. What? No, I didn't. I wouldn't do that. Oh, my gosh. What's... Ew, gross. Another baby threw up. Oh, no. It's the dreaded stomach bug. Dun, dun, dun. We'll all have it. I just know it. Every single parent, caregiver, and child at Twilight Daycare will get this. I feel so good. Ugh. Don't worry, Daisy. It only lasts a couple of hours, then it goes away. I'm feeling lots better. I can't believe you gave me your stomach bug. Oh, this is the worst. This is seriously the worst. Uh, hopefully nobody else is throwing up. Is everybody okay? No one's answering. Okay, um, I want to slime somebody right now and tell them that they that I have the stomach bug. Um, uh, let's see. Who should I do? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You're about, oh, I can slime everybody. How much does that cost? 50 Robux worth it. <laughs> okay, when's everybody going to get slimed? When you all get... Wait, how did you pick me up? I don't want you to pick me up! Stop picking me up! Okay, I paid for everybody to get slimed. And, um... Nobody got slimed. Molly, what exactly are you doing right now? I'm, um... Oh, whoa! Who are your Robux? No, no, no. I'm uh, nothing! I'm, I'm not doing anything! Uh, yeah, no, not, not at all. Molly, are you back to your old antics of being a prankster? Me? No, not at all. Molly! You just dumped slime on my head. Molly! 
Oh my gosh, you need to go to timeout. You can't give me timeout today. What? Why not? Because I was so sick with the stomach bug. Well, now you seem just fine. So now it's time for timeout. What? Don't you dare take me to baby jail. Don't you dare. Um, baby jail is exactly where you belong. Let me out. This is rude. This can't be happening. Let me out of jail. I don't like this. I want to go home. I want my mommy. I'm warning you, Taylor. You're not going to like what happens next. I want to get out of here. Let me out of time out. This isn't fair. And how did that work out for you, Molly? You're still not going to let me out? This is rude. Ah, I want to get out of here. Let me out. Ah! Molly, you can have more temper tantrums if you like, but then you're going to be in timeout even longer. You're so rude! Why is this happening to me? Ma! I'm not a bad kid. It's just because I pranked you and it was kind of funny. Molly, you're going to stay there until you can calm down. I'm never going to calm down. Do I look calm to you? Ma! This is making me so mad. <sighs> <sighs> okay. I think I'm done having a temper tantrum now. <sighs> Okay, Molly, if you think you're done being a prankster and having your temper tantrums, you can come out and rejoin society. Okay, fine. I'll be good. I promise. Sort of. <laughs> Watch this, guys. This is going to be awesome. Purchased. <laughs> Where'd she go? I want to see this. Who just slimed me? Molly, was that you? Mo Molly, come back here. Not a chance, lady. I'm out of here. <laughs> Caught you. Back to timeout for you. No, I want to escape, please. Oh, okay, wait. I, I can't escape. It costs me 50 Robux and I'm poor. Let me, let me out of here. No. Okay, I can break the toilet. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I just found out how you escape. Oh my gosh guys i just found an underground maze what underneath twilight daycare are you kidding me right now where's this go this is insane oh <laughs> oh my gosh i just escaped twilight daycare on baby jail and guys i'm just gonna spend the rest of the day at the beach chilling Without any rolls. This is amazing. I'm having the best day ever. I mean, after I got done having a stomach bug and stuff. Whoa! Look at that rubber ducky! Good thing I just learned how to swim. Rubber ducky, you're so cute! Ooh, and a unicorn? Yes, please! This sounds like my kind of day. <laughs> should just like do some of your homework no it's friday night i still have like three days before i have to do homework um two days because it's on monday not if you count monday <laughs> i was thinking that i could do my homework in first period study hall oh yeah yeah molly what about studying too that's what you're supposed to do in study hall girls <laughs> i'll see you later grandma will be here any minute whoa 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 where are you going mom and, and you got a suitcase are you leaving us Mom, don't leave us! Molly, I already told you where I was going, remember? Yeah, Molly, she told us at the beginning of the week. Um, I don't remember you telling me. I do, Molly. Good morning, Molly. Uh-huh, good morning. Ooh, waffles, mmm, so delicious. Ooh, we got ice cream, too. Molly, why are you eating that for breakfast? Oh, my gosh. Molly, I have to tell you something. Mm-hmm, I'm listening. Ooh, this waffle's delicious. <gasps> Pizza, too? I'm going to be going out of town for a work trip this weekend, so Grandma's going to be staying with you. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Whatever you say. Mm. Pizza, too? Oh, a greasy cup? Molly, are you even listening to me? Ugh, this girl, all she does is think about her stomach. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> what are you talking about, Mom? I wouldn't be eating like that. Molly, you eat like that every day. Ah, uh, yeah, she has a point. But Reese cups! They're so delicious. Try eating a salad, Molly. She's like, she's like the angel on my shoulder that tells me the good things to do. And I'm the devil on the other side. And I'm like, no, eat everything delicious. 
<laughs> yeah, Molly, I am an angel. You could definitely say that again. Okay, girls, I love you. Now, Grandma said she's pulling in the driveway any second, so I'm just gonna go put my luggage in the car. Will you watch baby Kira for me? Sure, Mom, she's just chilling here watching Brooke High. And I'm doing some studying. I love you, girls. Bye, Mom. A few hours later. Hello, is anyone home? Of course we're home, Grandma. Where else would we be? We're babysitting. Be You're babysitting us. What? Ah, Grandma, is that blood on your shirt? No, silly. Those are flowers. Oh, okay. Um, your choice of outfit, Grandma, is crazy. You have rollers in your hair and blood on your shirt. Molly, she said they're flowers. Hi, baby Kira. Uh, Grandma, I can tell you I love you so much. Oh, sweet little girl. Now, what are we doing? We're watching Brooke High, Grandma. Doesn't that sound amazing? Yes, but don't you have some chores? Grandma, it's Friday night. We have no chores. We should order a pizza, though. Stay up till 1 a.m. Play video games. Oh, dear. I don't think so. I run a very tight ship around here, and besides that, I need my beauty rest. And I'm telling you now... Don't get out of your bed after I put you in it. Who? Us? <laughs> yeah, right. We're the best kids in the world. You know that. Um, yeah, except for this one over here. D Daisy, are you trying to point at me behind your back? Who, me? No. Oh, I'm just saying. You girls need to behave yourselves or else. No, we will, Grandma. We promise. Now, can we order a pizza? Sure, we can. All right, I'll um get them on the phone. Wait, do you want Tony's or do you want Angelo's? Angelo's for sure. Lo, how can I help you? Uh, yeah, I'd like to place an order for a pizza. You didn't pay me for your pizza last time. Um, that wasn't my fault, Angelo. I'm telling you, I washed the dishes. What more do you want from me? Oh, uh, Angelo, please. Can we have a pizza with pepperoni? Our grandma's here. She'll pay for it. Okay. I'll deliver it in about 20 minutes. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Oh, they have the best pizza ever. I got little monkey. He's so cute. I love him. Grandma, could we have some soda with our pizza? Sure, as long as you don't stay up past 10 p.m. Never, Grandma. We'd never do that. 20 minutes later. Holy guacamole. This is the best pizza ever. Uh, I feel like I'm going to have to put on my fat pants. Uh, just to just lean back here. Maybe I can get more pizza in. <laughs> ay, 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 Molly. Why are you eating so much pizza? Because, mm, I don't know why I'm going to eat it again. Because mom's always like, pizza's not that great for you. Why are you eating so much of it? So when grandma's here, eat it all. I want to eat pizza too. Okay. Well, here's a slice of pizza for you, baby Kara. Thank you, grandma. <laughs> Still your piece of pizza. Mm, it's delicious. Molly food. Okay, well, I only wanted to take two bites of it. Here you go. You can have it back, baby Kara. Grandma, Molly mean to me. <laughs> Molly, behave yourself or you'll be going to bed extra early. Sorry. I just can't help myself when it comes to pizza. I love it. I love it. I want some more of it. I love it. I love it. I want some more of it. She's gone crazy. I'm going to go see if there's any soda in the fridge. Mom always keeps some in here for like a special occasion because we're not allowed to drink it otherwise. Glug, 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 glug. Oops, I forgot to close the refrigerator. Don't want to do that. All the food will go bad. Wouldn't that be sad? Ooh, grape soda, one of my favorites. I chose a classic Coca-Cola. All right, girls, it's time for night-night. Grandma, nobody calls it night-night anymore. We're all grown up. You're not all grown up yet, or you wouldn't need a babysitter. Now off to bed with you. Don't forget to brush your teeth after all that pepperoni and sugary soda. You got it, Granny. Hey, DC, let's stay up late and, um, you know, just like play games, play Roblox and stuff. But Grandma said we have to be in bed by 10 p.m. Ah, 10, Shmam. I think we should stay up all night long. Molly, that's a horrible idea. Now put on your pajamas and go to bed. Oh, somehow you think that you're a mom all of a sudden. Newsflash, I'm staying up and playing Roblox. Good luck. When you get in trouble, you'll be all by yourself in detention. Daisy, ugh, it's not detention. We're at home. It's grandma detention. You wait and see. 
There's no such thing as granny detention. Right, guys? All right, first thing I need to do is pretend I'm sleeping because I don't want granny to actually think I'm awake. So when she comes in at 10 o'clock, I'm just going to get under my covers and pretend. <laughs> I think Daisy's actually already sleeping. No, I'm not, Molly, because you're talking to the camera. Go to sleep. <laughs> She obviously doesn't understand that I'm a famous YouTuber. I talk to the fans. Yeah, and you should talk a little less at 10 o'clock at night. Ugh, sisters. So annoying! Is everyone in bed in here? It's 10 o'clock. Um, yes, Grandma. I thought you were going to pretend you were sleeping, Molly. Both of you get to sleep right away. Okay, Grandma, but we are actually in bed. We're just, you know, we can't decide when our bodies go to sleep. Good point, but go to bed. But, Grandma, I have to go potty. Molly, what are you, five? No, but I don't want to pee the bed, so, okay, is that all right? Yes, but then get right back into bed. Okay. I don't really have to go to the bathroom, but look at our view from our bathroom. Isn't it awesome? You can see the lake from up here. I mean, we don't own a lake house because we ain't that rich. <laughs> Come on now. Well, we can see the lake far over there in the distance. Whoa, actually, maybe I do have to go to the bathroom. Okay, done. <laughs> um, always wash your hands because if you don't, ew, that's gross. And um, now that Granny is going to be sleeping, I'm going to party. Party, party, party. Well, I better be quiet. I'm going to wake her up. <laughs> okay, just have to very quietly sneak past Granny is sleeping in the guest room and not wake her up. Molly, what are you doing? Ah, Daisy, what, what are you doing scaring me half to death? What are you doing? You never came back after you went to the bathroom. Granny said be in bed by 10 o'clock and it's 10.49 p.m. Okay, but you're going to wake her up. She's sleeping right in there. She said don't wake her up or else. Yep, a granny time out. Yeah, she said she needs her beauty rest. What do you think she means by that? I think she means as you get old, you need to sleep more. You get really ugly. Wow, that sounds awful. Yeah, it's reality though. Now come on. No way, come on, let's go play Roblox. She's snoring in the other room. She'll never know. Oh, I can't believe you've talked me into this, but it does sound pretty fun. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I knew you'd see things my way. Daisy, did you just hear footsteps? No, Molly, you're just being paranoid. Grandma sleeps like the dead. She she won't be waking up. We'll just be quiet down here. She's all the way upstairs. Yeah, probably just being paranoid right now. Let's log into Roblox and play. I don't know. You want to you play like Bloxburg and Abby? What? What is that I hear? Oh, no. Grandma's up. And she's at the top of the stairs. We have to hide. Okay, um, I can find a good hiding spot. Where should I hide? Where should I hide? Maybe I could hide inside the washing machine. I don't know. No, that's a terrible idea. Uh, Molly, where are we going to hide? Our house is terrible for hiding spots. Okay, I've got a good spot. I'm behind the chair. She'll never see me back here. <laughs> oh, I wonder if that was an intruder. What was that sound? Huh? 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 Choo! What? Is that you back there, Molly? Uh-oh. Busted. Um, I had to go to the bathroom and the upstairs was plugged and, um, well, basically, um, I lost my way on the way back because I was really tired. I told you to be in bed by 10 p.m. Is that a taser, Grandma? Are you okay? Is there really blood on your shirt? What? No, but, uh-oh. I told you not to get me out of bed at 10 p.m. I need my beauty rest. But, but Daisy, she was right over. Wait a minute. Where's Daisy? She's in bed. Okay, Grandma, I'll take my granny time out. Oh, no. This isn't going to be good. Oh, no. Granny, what's going on? The process is starting. Grandma, you ugly. What? No, I feel like a zombie, a crypt keeper. You did this to me, you, you awful child. I'm really sorry. I didn't know you would really get that ugly. Oh, my joints. I can feel them cracking and popping and, um, you know what? 
I have a remedy for this. Be right back. So we have these um, gummy vitamins that we give baby Kira when she can't sleep. And they're just like all natural, but they're just like help her to feel really calm. It's got chamomile on it. And I'm just gonna get some of those right now for Granny. Um, because she obviously needs to go back to sleep right away. Here, this is chamomile, Grandma. It'll help you go back to sleep, I promise. Oh, my mother used to give me chamomile tea to help me sleep. Oh, when I was a child. Uh-huh. Just take one, Granny. Chamomile tea um, gummies will definitely help you sleep. Oh, all right. But I don't think I like how I look. I look terrible. <laughs> well, um, Grandma, you look kind of old even when you don't look like this. What? Oh, Oh, sorry, I'll have to give you an extra. Whoa, that knocked her out. She's sleeping. Okay, I'm gonna have to try to pick her up and carry her back upstairs. Nah, she's too heavy. Um, I'll just um, let her sleep here. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go back to bed now because um, obviously when Grandma said she needed to go to bed at 10 p.m., she meant it. Hey, Daisy, thanks for um being a traitor. Well, I wasn't gonna get caught. How'd it go? Did you get a granny time, out, time out? No, Daisy. Grandma turned into the undead! What? Yeah, she just gets really ugly and like old and stuff. She doesn't get her sleep. She wasn't kidding about needing beauty rest. Ugh, it's going to haunt my nightmares forever. The next morning. So tired. So tired. Couldn't sleep. Good morning, sleepy head. What were you doing last night? Did you have eh, bad dreams? Uh, bad dreams? No, Grandma, you were the bad dream. Me? I was in your bad dream? What happened? No, Grandma, you were a bad dream in real life. What? She's talking craziness again. You gave her a granny time out, and now she's just feeling very disgruntled. I wasn't out of bed at all last night. What? Y yes, you were. Turn into the Crypt Keeper. Me? No, I didn't. I slept like a baby. Only thing was, is I woke up on the floor this morning. <laughs> I must have rolled out of the bed and rolled down the stairs, and oh boy, I'm glad I didn't get a goose egg on my head. Grandma, you don't remember anything that happened last night? Guacamole, my granny really does turn into a monster after 10 p.m. Oh, <laughs> Your mom should be home soon and she can deal with this craziness. In the meantime, I made you girls some waffles. Daisy, can I see you over here for a minute? What, Molly? I'm about to get delicious granny waffles. She turned into this zombie looking thing last night because I got out of her bed. And and I gave her one of those chamomile chews that we give to gummy things that we give to baby Kira when she can't sleep. And she fell asleep on the floor. Molly, ah. Uh, your pranks are not gonna work on me. I'm telling the truth! Huh. There's only one thing to do. Invite Grandma for a sleepover and film it. Then I can show everybody on YouTube. Hey, Granny, um, you're amazing. Would you like to have a sleepover? Oh, I don't know. I already slept over once. Yeah, but tonight we can have a real sleepover. Popcorn and everything! Um, well, um, sure, why not? Good, Grandma. We'll all see you there. <laughs> oh, I hope you film it for the YouTube channels. <laughs> I want to be famous too. Oh, Grandma, you will be. But maybe not for what you think. <laughs> That was so nice. I don't know. I think a movie about raccoons is a little well made up. How can you say that, Brookie? Raccoons are people too. Uh, Molly, raccoons are people. They're animals, you know. Some people call them trash pandas. <laughs> That's funny. How can you guys laugh? Laugh at a time like this. It was the saddest movie ever. Did you guys hear that we're supposed to get a huge snowstorm today? Um, well. Then you probably shouldn't be wearing shorts. <laughs> You're probably right. I guess summer's over. Summer's been over for like three months, Brookie. 
I know, but I'm always like running around and stuff, so I get really hot. So I just wear shorts until it snows. Then it's just a no go. Um, Molly, you're wearing pajamas. Yeah, when I'm at home, I wear my pajamas all the time because it's like so comfy and I'm cozy and warm and stuff. Yeah, um, my brothers, they keep stealing my pajama bottoms because we're like the same size. Oh man, that stinks. Yeah, they never want to do their laundry, so they just steal my pajamas. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, having brothers is so annoying. Try having all sisters. It'll drive you crazy. Whatever, Molly. I'm the best sister ever. Crazy. Bonkers. Looney Tunes. Molly, knock it off. Seriously. But for reals, I always thought it would be so cool to have a brother. Well, trust me. It's not as cool as you think. Whoa, it looks kind of stormy outside. I think it's going to start snowing any minute. Look, Brookie, you were right. It's a blizzard out here. Brr, it's freezing. Brookie, are you going to spend the night? Actually, I probably should get home. I mean, if if it's that bad out. No, it's, it's, uh, you can't go home. You're stuck here. Seriously, it's a blizzard. Well, I guess I'm spending the night. Do you have any pajamas I could borrow? Sure, no problem. You should call your mom, though, and tell her you're staying here. Good idea, Molly. Mom? Yes, Brookie, where are you? There's a huge snowstorm going on. Um, I came, for, came over to Molly and Daisy's house, and I'm kind of stuck here. Is that okay? Yes, honey, just stay there so you're safe. Okay, Mom, well, um, can you come pick me up in the morning? As soon as the plows come through, sweetie, I'll come get you. Okay, bye, Mom. Bye, honey. Is she okay with you spending the night? Um, yeah, she totally is. I better ask my mom. Mom? What's up? Oh, my. It's so snowing out right now. Yeah, it's like a blizzard out there. Brookie, you definitely have to spend the night. Good thing she already called her mom and said she was. <laughs> okay, well, let's get you some warm pajama bottoms. Those shorts just aren't going to do in this weather. Yeah, exactly. Can we go outside and play? Um, Molly, it looks like a blizzard out there. I think you should stay inside. Okay, fine. I just want to go out here for one minute, Mom. Holy guacamole. Look at all the snow. All of Brookhaven is covered. We must have a foot of snow already in like 10 minutes. It's beginning to look a lot like no school for at least a week. Hooray! There's no homework and I get to hang out with my friend. I love when it snows. <laughs> Molly, you're so silly. I am loving no school. I'm going to cry because I'm going to miss school so much. Oh, seriously, Daisy, take a break. Take a chill pill from school. All right, girls. Well, who wants popcorn? We could watch a movie. I do. I do. Okay, well, I've got some work to do, but I'll make you some popcorn. You guys pick the movie. Well, we already watched the one about the raccoon. Um, eh, uh, no, no, no. Ooh, Cops is on. Ooh, I love Cops. Cops and popcorn sounds like a great blizzard activity. You don't hog all the popcorn. Don't worry, Molly, I'm making enough for everyone. How come Brookie got hers first? Because, Molly, she's our guest. Mmm, this popcorn's delicious. Yeah, you could say that again. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Daisy, don't sing. You're making my ears hurt. Molly, try to be nice to your sister. I am, Brookie, I am! Girls, I'll be upstairs working in my office. Okay, we'll be down here scarfing down a bunch of popcorn. <laughs> Was that your stomach growling, Brookie? No? Was it yours? No? It's probably Daisy's brain making noise about science. Molly, you can't hear someone's brain. Actually, your mouth is talking right now, and that was used that used your brain. What? What are you even talking about? Help me. There's that sound again. What could that be? Please help. Ah! There's a guy outside, and he looks like he's freezing to death. Oh my gosh. I know. There's a lot of snow. It's coming down. It's a blizzard. Come inside our house. Molly, he might be a murderer. You don't just invite anybody in. I'm not. I'm a murderer. Yeah, he's just a frozen dude at our door. 
Wait, why are you a frozen dude at our door? I walked so many miles. Um, okay, so it's okay, you can say it. Molly is trying. You, I better go start a fire. That that might warm him up some. G good idea. Okay, so why are you at our door? I, I am you, 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 He's not saying brother. Okay, Daisy, uh, what are you doing? I can't get it to stop, cheapos. Well, that wasn't so hard, was it? Hey, frozen dude, come over here. I've got a nice warm fire for you. Come on. Okay, I can't move. My knees are frozen. Oh, oh, that's much better. Oh, oh look, he's not quite as blue anymore, is he? No, Molly, he still looks pretty blue. It's going to take a few minutes for him to heat up. But I'm serious, Molly. I think he did say he was your brother. Well, he's sadly mistaken. His brain must have gotten frozen then. Because, um, I don't have a brother. Oh, look, he's not blue anymore. He's kind of changing all sorts of colors. Are you okay? Oh, I'm feeling much better now. Oh, there. You okay? Gosh, that probably almost killed you from frostbite. Yeah, thanks for that. I, I, I found out just, well, this morning, I've been looking for a really long time for you and Daisy. You have? Why? Did I fail my math test? Are you the math police? You don't smell like you've taken a bath in a week. That's because I've been doing a lot of research, and I've been staying up a lot of late nights. Well, if you need a bath, there's one upstairs. Daisy, you might want to back up if he smells bad. Hey. Oh, it's okay. I wouldn't expect anything less from my sisters. Did you just say sisters? He did, Molly. That's right. I just I just got the records this morning. And I walked here because the blizzard, you know, and, and my car wouldn't go in the snow. But I found out I'm your long-lost brother. Dad, dad, dad! Is this dramatic or what? If you think so, hit that like button. Seriously, Molly? You're using this as some way for someone to hit the like button on, on YouTube? Of course I am. Our fans know everything about our lives. And, 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 and it's shocking to think I have a long lost brother. How do you know this? I know that I was born with two sisters who got adopted and I wasn't. And and I remember my little sisters. And, and one had red hair and, and one had blonde hair and I just know you and Daisy are my sisters. What? I have an older brother. I always wanted one of those. Remember what I said, Molly. Be careful what you wish for. Older brothers are the pits. Uh, I'm a good older brother. Well, I mean, I think I am. am. I, I, I never was around you guys, but, but I think I will be. I, I make a really good grilled cheese. Really? Because I'm starving. You can come into the kitchen with me right now and prove how good of a brother you are. Molly! What? He offered and I'm hungry. It's okay, Molly. I'll make you a toasted cheese. Toasted cheese? Did you just call it a toasted cheese? Oh my gosh! It's a grilled cheese! Who are you even? This guy says he's our brother. I'm not sure that I could actually believe that. Possible fire detected at your house. What are you doing, Daisy? I'm proving that he is not our brother. But, um, I think we have bigger problems! There's a fire in our house! Ah! Call the fire department! Help! Help! Nobody panic! I'm a trained firefighter! And also, here's your toasted cheese. Oh my gosh, my entire house is on fire! Ah! Okay, nobody panic! I'm gonna put this out right now! Alright, um, you guys should go outside, though. Out into the blizzard? Yes, and it's safer out there, at least. Brookie, are you coming? No, he's got the fire out, and I think everybody's okay. I'm not leaving my science research. It's on this computer. Are you sure everything's okay, Brookie? I don't know. I, I think so. I'm going back in to make sure. Is everything okay? Wait, did you even tell us your name? It's Levi. Oh, thanks, Levi. You're a really good older brother. Aha! You're not a brother, Levi. 
Wait, what? But I, I did all the research. You are my sisters and I'm your brother. Yeah, what are you talking about, Daisy? Don't be rude to Levi. He just, she just saved our house. Um, well, uh, Daisy, I just want to tell you that your booty is hanging out. What? Yeah, why don't you um become my plumber or something? Molly, that's not very nice. Well, I'm just telling you, your booty is hanging out. Oh, uh, whoops. <laughs> I guess this, um, these pants are a little too small. Yeah, you think so? Daisy's got a big booty. Molly, be quiet. Okay, fine. Everybody's always telling me to be quiet. So why isn't Levi our brother? Well, it says Levi was adopted from Blacksburg Adoption Center. We were never at the Blacksburg Adoption Center. We were at Brookhaven Adoption Center. But, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, yes, because we were siblings pale and we were adopted at the same time as all of our siblings. Well, except for baby Kira. My parents had her later. Oh, so you guys aren't my long lost sisters? No. Sorry, Levi. Oh, no. I thought I had finally found some family. <laughs> oh, man. I feel so bad for Levi. I'm gonna go see him. Levi, are you pooping? No, I'm just crying. Okay, well, then I can come in. Um, oh, man. You look so sad. I just really thought you guys were my family. You know what, Levi? If you don't find your family, or even if you do, you can still come hang out with us. You're a nice guy. Really? I don't have anywhere to go on Thanksgiving. Really? Nowhere? No, I don't have a family. Well, I'm sure you can have Thanksgiving with us. Seriously? Yeah. Besides, if my dad cooks the turkey, we're going to need you here because he'll definitely try burning our house down. <laughs> Oh, Molly, that's the nicest thing you've ever said. Yeah, but can we get out of the bathroom and talk about this out there? Because it smells like a little bit of a stinky doo-doo in here. Oh, sorry. I kind of farted. Hey, maybe you are my long-lost brother. I fart all the time. <laughs> See? Just like that. <laughs> I fart, too. <laughs> we have a lot in common. Totally! Well, I'm playing Roblox, and Pookie's playing Roblox, too, so uh, you guys want to play some Roblox? Yeah? How about you, Levi? I love Roblox! Are you guys noobs, though? No, we're not noobs. Okay, DZ, um, maybe we should play that Doors game. That looked really creepy. I don't know, a creepy game? Are you guys old enough? Yeah! We have a YouTube channel. You want to see it? I totally do! You guys are kind of like my adopted sisters. Daisy, are you ever going to, like, go put on different pants? Seriously. I will in a minute! I'm playing Roblox! <laughs> You're so annoying right now. Yeah, but don't you want to hear what I have to say? Huh? 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 Um, I guess maybe if it's not annoying. Whoa, my sister is so grumpy sometimes. Only because you make me, Molly. <laughs> um, Brookie just invited you and me over to her house to hang out. Do you want to go? I'd love to, Molly, but I'm doing this science research for the science fail about puppies and kittens. Yeah, that's what it's about, my science project. It's adorable! Okay, well, sit yourself. I'm going to Brookies and having tons of fun while you do all that homework and stuff. It's not homework, it's research. Okay, whatever, it all seems like homework to me. Boring, boring, and also boring! I can't wait to go to Brookies' house. And um, she has the craziest house ever in Brookhaven, but... Whatever, her mom just like loves plants, so <laughs> they have a greenhouse inside. Hey, Brookie! I just let myself in. I hope you don't ma mind. Oh, hey, Molly. No, I'm just doing my chores. Mom wants me to water these vegetables. She said that the squash are almost ready to plant, which means I'm going to have squash salad, squash sandwiches, squash pie, squash soup. Whoa, sounds like you're going to be eating a lot of squash. Yeah. You do live in a crazy house, though, and I think it's really cool. Thanks. Hey, you want to come to my room? Yeah, totally. Let's go. So, Brookie, tell me the truth. Come on. Do you like Jacob? What? <laughs> yeah, right. I see how you look at him in math class. I think you have a crush. 
well, only my diary knows. Wait, you write in a diary? Yeah, it's right here. Can I read it? Ha ha ha. No, Molly, it's a secret. But you could have your own diary if you wanted, and you could write in that about, you know, crushes or enemies. Enemies? Do you have any enemies? Not really. <laughs> but I do have a crush that only me and my diary know about. Huh, I wonder who that could be. I'm not expecting anybody. Maybe it's somebody saying you want a trip to Disney. <laughs> I doubt it, Molly. Why? Anything's possible in this world. Anything, Brookie. Come on, let's go see who it is. If I can figure out how to get downstairs from your house. Aw, uh, it's, uh, it's Sarah. What is she doing here? My thoughts exactly. Uh, are you guys going to, like, let me in or what? Um, that depends. Are you going to be nice? Of course I am. I just came to hang out with you guys. Uh, I don't know if I trust her, Brookie. She seems nice enough today, anyway. All right, if you think so, I guess let her in. So what brings you to my house today, Sarah? Just wanted to hang out with you guys, but also I was just wondering, are like you guys best friends still? Uh, yeah, of course we are. Yeah, why wouldn't we be? Oh, I just heard everybody talking about you guys at school. Everybody? Why? What were they saying? They were saying that like, each of you says something rude about the other behind their back, like, all the time. What? Oh, that's not true at all! I would never say anything rude about Brookie behind her back! I wouldn't say anything rude about Molly behind her back. Why would everybody be saying that? I don't know, but, like, if you guys can't get along, maybe you shouldn't be friends. Sarah, we can get along just fine. We're best friends. Get over it. Well, okay, but I mean, maybe you guys just aren't meant to be BFFs. No, I don't think that's true, Sarah. Just because people talk doesn't mean that it means anything. People just talk, talk, talk. They always have opinions, but their opinions aren't always right. Yeah, opinions are like boogers. Everybody's got them, and they're always, well, ew. Uh, yeah, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> of course I couldn't. We're best friends. Um, you guys want a snack? I'm really hungry. You're hungry too? It's like you read my stomach's mind. <laughs> but then again, we're BFFs. Of course you know when I'm hungry. Well, actually, you just kind of knew when I was hungry. But maybe our stomachs communicate to one another. Could be. Do you want a snack, Sarah? No, I'll just stay here and wait until you get back. Okay, suit yourself. Do you have any cupcakes? You bet we do, Molly. Ooh, wait, are they squash cupcakes? <laughs> they may have squash in them. <laughs> What's she hiding under her dresser? Everybody hides something under their dresser. What's this? Her diary? <gasps> she loves Jacob? <laughs> well, that's a great piece of news. But also, I can take this diary and blame Molly for it. That'll be the end of their super annoying Perfect friendship. <laughs> I'm out of here. Mm, this is delicious, Brookie. Mm, I don't even taste the squash in it. Yeah, but chances are Mom put squash in it because she wants us to be healthy and stuff. Oh, Sarah, did you change your mind? No, I changed my mind about hanging out with you guys. You're just losers. Wow, rude. Okay, well, bye. Have a nice life. Wow, I don't know why she's so rude all the time. Me either, but it seems like she doesn't like us at all. Mm. Not gonna let it ruin my day, though. Mm. Okay, maybe I taste the squash a little bit. So, um, what do you want to do now? Um, I think I'm gonna write in my diary for a minute. Just because I feel kind of, like, sad about how Sarah was treating us. You write in your diary when you feel sad? Yeah, I find it's really helpful to write in my diary. It gets all of my emotions out on paper and doesn't leave them inside me to just make me feel like I'm gonna explode! Okay. <laughs> um, alright, well, I'll just chill over here then and, like, play on my phone or something. Ooh, my new obby! <laughs> it's gonna be so fun. Where is it? Where, where is it? I can't find my diary anywhere. What are you looking for, Brookie? Did you take my diary? What? Me? No. Well, 
Maybe you should empty out your pockets and show me. What? You don't believe me? I've been your best friend since preschool. You don't believe that I wouldn't take your things? I don't believe you because it's missing. And Sarah said you've been saying all those mean things about me. And then you wanted to read my diary? Brookie, I didn't take it, I swear. You're the only one who knew where it was. Well, maybe Sarah took it. She didn't know where it was. She didn't even know I had a diary. You took it, Molly. Prove me wrong. I don't have to prove anything. This is ridiculous and my best friend doesn't even trust me. I'm out of here. Well, fine. You don't get to be my best friend anymore. Yeah, and I don't want to hang out at your house either as soon as I can figure out how to get out of your crazy greenhouse house. I'm going home. Oh, hey, Molly. I was just finishing up and thought I would come over and hang out with you and Brookie. You can go over that and to that girl's house if you want, but she's no friend of mine. What? What are you talking about, Marty? Is this some sort of prank? No, she accused me of stealing her diary, and I didn't do it. Oh, yeah, Marty. You have a lot of things, but a thief isn't one of them. Why'd she think that? Because her diary went missing. Anyway, her and I are now enemies! She's not my friend. Ever. Again! What exactly are you doing right now? I'm, uh, studying. Yeah, that's it. Are you really studying? Uh, well, uh, not really. I'm just watching Brooke High pretending I'm studying. Molly, you're gonna fail that test tomorrow. Well, what's new? <laughs> Molly, do you want to repeat the grade you win? Holy guacamole, not really. Well, you're gonna if you don't stop actually studying. Now turn off the TV. Okay, Miss Bossy. Ugh, my sister thinks she's perfect at everything. No, not perfect at everything. Just most things. <laughs> Who wants to read Shakespeare anyway? Boring! Knock, knock. Is anyone home? Who is that? Ah! It's, it's, it's... Yeah, I already saw you, so don't try running away. Oh, man, it's Sarah. Well, I guess you have to let her win. Come on in, Sarah. What are you doing here? It's not like we're friends or something. Oh, well, I'm doing some studying. <laughs> you don't want to come here to study. I'm terrible at studying. Yeah, she really is, Sarah. No one asked you. Okay, rude. Uh, just so you know, you're in my house right now, so your rudeness level should be at zero. Yeah, your rudeness level should be at zero. Well, I came here to study, uh, you know, a loser. Wait, what? Yeah, and you're the loser, Molly, so I'm here to study you. Can you believe her right now? She just came into my house, Daisy, and she's being super rude. Actually, I wouldn't put this past Sarah at all. It's sort of a personality. So, uh, why are you studying a loser? Not that I am one. Well, it just seems like... You losers actually have friends, and, um, well, uh... And you don't have any real friends at all? Oh, you noticed. Yeah, of course we did, Sarah. It's not hard to see that you eat your lunch by yourself, except for those cronies that you make eat lunch with you. Yeah, are they even your real friends? Uh, well, uh, not really. Look, I need a genuine real friend in my life. I'm kind of lonely. Really? You're admitting this to us? Yeah, but I'll bully you if you tell anyone. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. I can't figure out why I don't have any friends, so I'm here to, like, study someone who has real friends. Wow, I guess it's sort of a compliment. Don't take it that way. Hmm, how can I help Sarah figure out why she doesn't have a genuine friend? Hmm, hmm. Don't mind my sister. She always paces back and forth when she's trying to figure something out. I got it! Okay, what is it, loser? I have a magic potion that'll shrink Daisy and I down, and we can climb inside your ear and go into your brain and see why you don't have any real friends. Say what? Molly, are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, Sarah's kind of negative. We might never find our way back out of a brain. Are you for real right now? Yeah, my sister is a scientist. She figured out how to make the potion. Uh, I don't know about this. It seems like a bad idea. 
It's a great idea. Now sit down and don't worry. I feel like I'm like a science experiment. That's because you are. Daisy, go get the potion. I mixed it with a shamrock shake from McDonald's because St. Patty's Day is coming up. Plus, those are delicious. Ooh, I can't wait to drink that. Is this a potion or like a treat? A little bit of both, Sarah. A little bit of both. Okay, here goes nothing. Glug, 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 glug. Okay, Marley, you have some. I don't feel anything yet. Give it a minute, Marley. Give it a minute. Whoa, I'm getting smaller. Holy guacamole, I feel so small. All right, let's get this over with. Oh, look, Daisy. I think we're at Sarah's house. Whoa, her mom drives a Ferrari? That's amazing. Right, Marley? What's this all about? I mean, I didn't think Sarah was so rich. Well, she does wear designer clothes. Look, my mommy's home. Oh, I haven't seen her in a whole week. I'm so excited. Oh, hey, honey. Just got back from Hawaii. What an amazing girls trip it was. Mommy, mommy, mommy. It's so good to see Whoa, Sarah's totally different, Marley. Yeah, she really is. When she was a kid, she wasn't grumpy at all or mean, it seems. Uh, I guess it's good to see you too, Sarah. Thanks, Mommy. Um, Guess what? Today on my spelling test, I got a 99. And I didn't even have a grown-up to help me study. Isn't that amazing, Mommy? No, it's horrible. Why didn't you get a 100 on your test? Ugh. You're such a disappointment. Go to your room and study harder. Oh, okay, Mommy. I'm sorry. I'll try harder. Wow, Sarah's mom is, well, mean. I know. That kind of broke my heart, Molly. Sarah was nice. Some other things must have happened to her to make her the way she is. Look, Molly, it's the first day of school. Oh, I remember that like it was yesterday. Yeah, you slept in till noon. <laughs> Oopsie! Mom, Mom, it's my first day of school. I'm wearing my new outfit, and doesn't my hair look cute? Ugh, look at your hair. I know, right? I spent a whole hour on it. It looks terrible. It looks ugly. Go brush it. Don't do it in pigtails again. Who's she being mean to about pigtails? Pigtails are totally fashionable and adorable, if I say so myself. Okay, Mommy, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know you think that they would look ugly. I'll go brush my hair and do something different with them. <laughs> Ugh, kids are so annoying. You're the meanest mom ever! You're so mean! Molly, she can't hear you. This is one of Sarah's memories. It's not real. Well, I'm just telling you. You're rotten and you made Sarah into a bully! Whoa, Molly, I think we're going somewhere else. Whoa! What are we doing at the school at 6 o'clock at night? I don't know. Everybody else has gone home. But Sarah's still here practicing? Be aggressive. Ugh. Why can I not remember this cheer? I'm never going to be a cheerleading captain. My mom will think I'm a total loser. All right. I have to be perfect. Be aggressive. B-E aggressive. Okay. I'm going to try it now. Be aggressive. B-E aggressive. B-E-A-G-G-R-E-S-S-I-V-E. -E -E. oh, I've got to try again. Whoa, Sarah practiced this much after school in order to be the cheerleader captain? Yeah, I had no idea. Seems like she puts a lot of pressure on herself to be, well, perfect. Whoa, Daisy, I think we're going someplace new. Whoa, these memories are making me dizzy. Hello, I have a appointment to get my hair and nails done, and they need to look perfect. Oh, yes, Sarah, I remember you. Remember me? I did your hair for the first time last time? Yeah, I remember, and one of my hairs was out of place, and I did not tip you for that. I noticed. <laughs> Sorry, I'll try not to let it happen again. Having perfection is pretty much impossible, though. Well, you better figure it out. Oh, look who it is, Sarah. Um, you feeling a little bit uh, ugly and need to look pretty again? 
No, that's not why someone comes to the salon. I mean, why aren't you here? Oh, I'm just here because, well, I need to have my nail fillers done again. So you're not perfect either. Oh no, I'm totally perfect. I was just saying that you have some hair out of place there and you look, well, a little under the weather because you have a pimple on your face. Wait, what? A pimple? No, I don't. Actually, dear, yes, you do. But don't worry, I can give you a nice exfoliation so you look better afterwards. Ah, a pimple? No, I have to be perfect. Ah. <laughs> Looks like maybe I'll have to take over as cheerleading captain since you have that hideous thing on your face. What? Just a pimple? I mean, I don't have to be absolutely perfect. Oh, no, I was actually talking about your nose. Ugh, it's way too big. No cheerleading captain can have a nose like that. What's wrong with my nose? My nose is fine! I, I, I am perfect! I'm totally perfect! <laughs> Holy guacamole, that was a crazy trip through your brain, Sarah. Yeah, no kidding. No wonder you're grumpy and a bully. Whatever. Can you tell me how to have a friend, like a real one? Um, yeah, we can think about that. Uh, I'm really sorry about your home life. Seems like your mom is really judgmental. Yeah, she expects me to be perfect, so that's exactly what I am. Perfect. Your mom seems really self-centered. And, like, she doesn't really care about anybody but herself. Rude! Yeah, tell me about it. My mom at least makes me pancakes and stuff. My mom's never made me a pancake in her entire life. She is pretty, well, selfish. Yeah, Sarah. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, well, you know, it is what it is. Whoa, I think I'm growing again! Whoa, that was weird. Tell me about it, Marley. When the potion wears off, it feels strange. Hey, Sarah, I have, a, I have a solution to why you don't have any friends. Oh, good. Tell me how losers have friends. Well, that's just the thing, Sarah. We're not perfect. Sometimes we are losers. Sometimes we have pimples or a hair out of place. Sometimes we don't make cheerleading captain. Sometimes we get detention. But we're real. We don't act like robots. We don't act perfect all the time. We are genuine human beings. Wait, what? People actually like you because, like, you're losers? Yeah, pretty much. Because we're human. So, basically, I just have to try to, like, be a mess in my life and people will like me? Yeah, exactly. Just like Molly. Everyone's a mess. Everyone loves her because she's a mess. Daisy! <laughs> I just tell it like it is. Sarah, we could be your friends if you want. That is, if you stop bullying us and, you know, be a decent human being. I'll have to think on this, losers. But, um, this was weird. And don't tell anybody at school you got inside my brain. Uh, no, trust me. No one wants to know anything about your brain. And Sarah, you don't have to be perfect. You could be just yourself. I'll think about it. Bye, losers! Okay, that was the weirdest Wednesday night ever. <laughs> You're telling me, Daisy. You're telling me. This is where we go to gymnastics class. Wow, this place looks amazing. Yeah, we've been learning so many things. Leaps and turns, tumbling. Yeah, it's been so much fun. But the first thing we have to do is get ready for class. What do you do to get ready for class? The first thing you have to do is put on your gymnastics outfit. And there's a lot to choose from, so you can decide which one you like best. Oh, whoa, look at this one with the flames on it. Holy guacamole, that is so cool. That's definitely the one that I want. Let me have it! Okay, maybe this one's broken, I'm not sure. No, no, nope, it wasn't broken, it worked. <laughs> I figured it out. And now I look adorable for my gymnastics class. Um, Molly, I think that I'm gonna be really awesome at gymnastics. You totally are. Whoa, Pookie, your hair looks beautiful. And I love your gymnastics outfit. Thanks, Molly. You're my best friend. You always say nice things about me. Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. It's time for the best gymnastics class ever. Come on, Molly. Let's go in and get started. Whoa, Daisy, your outfit's um too much like mine. Change it. Molly, it's nothing like yours. It's got like a flower on it and it's pink. Yours has flames. Okay, it sort of looks like flames. 
It's a daisy. Ah, where are your clothes? You definitely need to wear clothes to gymnastics class. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do, Brookie, is warm up because if you don't warm up, you could get injured and even worse. What's worse than getting injured, Molly? Your brain might melt. Molly, that's not even true. <laughs> uh, I like to stretch before I have an amazing gymnastics workout. Then I do some handstands, you know, stuff like that. Okay, well, I think we're pretty warmed up. I feel warmed up. I feel like I can do anything. All right, well, let's see what you can do. Uh, let's go over here and see if you can walk on this because if you can you don't lose your balance and fall You're already like doing pretty good at gymnastics Just like that Brookie Okay, you try Okay, Molly Um, How'd I do? Awesome! Now you can try to do something on it like um, Maybe you do want to do a handspring It's kind of like a, a somersault in the air See like that Okay, uh, let me try now. Um, well, that was a good try. How about a cartwheel? Molly, gymnastics is harder than I thought it would be. Oh. Don't worry, Brookie. You're gonna get this. I know you will. Whoa, good job! Brookie, you're doing so awesome. It makes me wanna spin around. Oh, Molly, are you gonna sing this entire gymnastics class? Probably, I love to sing. <laughs> well, well, well. Who do we have here? Um, Molly and Brookie? We go to school with you, so I'm pretty sure you know who we are. Yeah, but I was talking more about these losers in my gymnastics class. Hey, we're not losers, are we, Brookie? Um, actually, on the contrary, I've been doing amazing. I'm a beginner, but I'm doing awesome. I don't think so. You probably look like a total noob. No, she doesn't. She's doing great, so don't talk to her that way, okay? If you're gonna be a bully, just, you know, go over there, okay? I don't think so. I work out here. Um, well, we're on this bar right now. I don't care. This is where I work out. Oh, we can just go somewhere else. No, we can't go somewhere else. We have to, we have to go here because this is where we decided to work out. She probably can't even do gymnastics anyway. So why is she taking up all this space in the gymnastics practice room? I can do gymnastics. I, I totally can. You don't have anything to prove to Sarah. She's just being a bully. Don't listen to her. No, I'm, I'm good at gymnastics. I mean, at least I'm sort of getting good at it. You probably can't even do a middle split leap. Um, Ricky, don't try a middle split leap. That's, that's... That's not for a beginner. I can do it, Molly. I can do it. Um, okay. But be careful. No pressure, Brookie. Um, but everyone from class is kind of watching you right now. Oh, um, all right. Well, um, yeah, I'm sure I'll be great at this, right? You don't have to do this, Brookie. You don't have to prove anything to Sarah. Um, yeah, I know, but I'm going to be great at gymnastics. You just wait and see. Wow, Brookie, you're doing awesome. She's all right, I guess. What are you talking about? Look at her. She just started gymnastics today, and she's doing amazing. You don't have to do any of the harder moves, though, Brookie. I want to, Molly. I'm doing amazing, and this will show Sarah. Okay, honey. Everything's going to be okay. I promise. They're going to fix your leg perfectly here. Um, my friend is in so much pain. We need to get her on the stretcher and get her into the hospital right away. Don't worry, I'm on it. Brookie, Brookie, are you okay? Do I look okay? Oh, my leg. Brookie, you shouldn't have listened to Sarah. She's just a troublemaker and you were doing so good, but you can't do gymnastics moves before you're ready. I just thought I could do that because I'm so athletic and oh, my leg. Well, even the most, most athletic person still has to learn what they're doing before they do it. Um, hello everyone. I'm Dr. Smith. I'll be taking care of Brookie Cookie this morning. Oh my gosh, doctor. Help her, help her. Oh, the pain. It hurts so much. 
Okay, Brookie, everything's going to be fine. I need to get you in for an x-ray. So tell me what happened. Um, we were in gymnastics class. It was Brookie's first day. This bully tried to pressure her into doing moves she wasn't ready to do. And, well, she gave in to the pressure because she didn't want to look like a total noob. And then she fell off the bar and, I guess, hurt her leg or whatever. Oh, my. That sounds serious. Okay, well, let's get her into x-ray. Okay, dear, I need you to lay down, please. And this won't hurt a bit. Are you sure? I've never had an x-ray before. Everything's going to be just fine. Now let's see what's going on with that leg. Is it broken, Doctor? Is it broken? Oh, I'm, I'm afraid it is. You're going to need surgery. What? Surgery? No! You don't understand. I don't want surgery. I can't go back to gymnastics then for months and months. Well, I'm very sorry, but it's what's needed for fixing your leg. You should be able to go back to gymnastics about two or three months. Two or three months? Are you kidding me? I don't want surgery. <laughs> Brookie, I know you don't, but this is what you need to do to fix your leg. And Daisy and I will be here as soon as you wake up. Okay. Good luck, everyone. Why are you telling us good luck? Don't you need the good luck? You're the one doing the surgery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm just a little nervous. Wait, what? Why are you nervous? Oh, this is the first leg surgery I've done. Say what? <laughs> Don't worry, I went to medical school. Uh, that sounds a little crazy. Okay, Brookie, I'm going to give you a shot. And it's going to make you very sleepy. Then you're going to take a night-night and we're going to fix that leg. Ready? I uh, guess. <coughs> now I need you to count down from 100. Do you have an axe? Oh, no, no, no. That's not an axe. You're just dreaming that. Am I asleep already? I wonder when Brookie's gonna get back. I'm so worried about her. I'm sure Dr. Smith knows what she's doing, Molly. Brookie, you're back! Are you okay? Ugh, oh, I don't feel so good. Oh, I think that's just the anesthesia. Once it wears off, you should feel a lot better. Do you want some ice cream? Not yet, Molly, but maybe later. I think I just wanna go back to sleep. Okay, well. Me and Daisy will come back and check on you soon, okay? Okay, how about like in an hour or two? All right, Brookie, I'm glad you're okay. Me too, Molly, me too. <laughs>
how you feel, like I gotta say it. Marty, quit telling her what to do. She's hood. Are you guys really gonna argue right now? Because obviously my leg is like broken or something. Oh my God, Brookie, what happened? She fell off a skateboard. Oh no. What are those losers doing? What? What's wrong with you? She fell off her skateboard. What? <laughs> Why are you laughing at her right now, Sarah? <laughs> I bet that looked hilarious. Quit laughing at her. You need to go to the hospital, Brookie. No, I don't. Everyone will laugh at me because I'm bad at my skateboarding. No, no, they won't. You got hurt. It, you have to go to the hospital. I think your leg might be broken. <laughs> yeah, you can go to the hospital because you're terrible with skateboarding. All right, Sarah, go away. You are not helpful at all. Brookie, I'm calling 911. I, no, I can get up. No, you can't. I can tell already. Look at the way your leg is curved. It's broken. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, my friend on Parkland Drive, that's that's where we live, she fell off her skateboard and 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 she, she can't move her leg. She can't stand up at all. She's crying a lot. Okay, we'll send an ambulance right away. Just stay on the line with us. Well, at least Sarah left. Yeah, what a bully. Oh, my leg. Oh, what if everyone thinks that, that I'm a loser? No one's going to think that, Brookie. Oh, I've got a bad signal right now. Can you hear me? What's your address? I'm sorry, I have a bad signal. Just come to Parkland Drive. Number 11. Brookie, the ambulance is on their way. Just hold on, okay? Me and Daisy are here. Okay. Thanks, guys, for being my best friends. No problem, Brookie. Just hang on. Try to take deep breaths. Here comes the ambulance. Oh, my gosh. Thank goodness. She's over here. She's over here. Hi there. Oh, my goodness. What's your friend's name? Brookie. Hi, Brookie. I'm a paramedic, and I'm here to help you um, get to the hospital, okay? Oh, yeah, it does look like your leg might be broken. All right, I'm going to get you onto the stretcher, sweetie, and then we're going to take you to the hospital so they can get you all fixed up. Just hang tight. Oh, my leg, it hurts so bad. I'm going to ride along with her. Is that okay? Well, you're not her parent. Well, their parents aren't home right now. It's just me. Well, what relation are you to her? Her best friend. Well, one of them. Okay, that's fine. I don't want her to be alone back there anyway. All right, everybody hold tight. We're on our way to the um hospital. I'll follow you guys on my hoverboard. Okay, Daisy, we'll see you there. Brookie, are you okay? No, I'm scared. I don't want to go to the hospital. They know how to help you there, Brookie. It's going to be okay. I don't want to have an IV. I've never had an IV before. I know, but trust me. The doctors are your friends, okay? Not your enemies. They're there to help you. What's this lady doing? I'm sorry, but um, I really need a coffee. What? Get us to the hospital, you crazy lunatic. What can I get for you today? Yes, I'd like one coffee, please, and make it fast. I have someone in the back. Oh, this ambulance driver's terrible. Okay, you can pull around. Oh my gosh. I'm never getting to the hospital. Oh, my leg's gonna be broken forever. No, that's not true, Brookie. Look, we're moving again. She got her stinky old coffee. Oh, this lady is something else. Okay, Brookie, we're just gonna take an x-ray of your leg. Everything will be fine. Is this gonna hurt? No, x-rays don't hurt, honey. But that leg does, so let's get it feeling better, okay? Okay, doctor. Oh, I don't know about this. Oh, it looks like you got a bonk on your head, a bonk on your arm, and a small fracture in your, um, your left leg. No, does this mean I need surgery? No, honey, no, 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 no. It doesn't look like anything's out of place. We'll just put a cast on it and you can spend the night in the hospital for observation and go home tomorrow. Oh, thank goodness, do I have to have an IV? No, you don't have to have an IV. Oh my gosh, I hope my friend doesn't have to have surgery on her leg. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Poor Brookie, poor Brookie. Okay, I need to sit down. I'm just like freaking out right now and I need to stay calm for my friend. But what's taking so long in the x-ray room? Brookie! Brookie, are you okay? Well, I'm I'm gonna be okay. Do you need surgery? An IV? Do you have to stay here? Um, well, yes, I have to stay here. No, I don't need surgery. And no, I don't have to not have an IV. Hooray! That's great news! So, so, are you okay? Well, I have a bonk on my head, I have a bonk on my arm, and I have a fracture in my leg. But you don't have to have surgery? No, I just have to have a cast, which is gonna stink. That means I can't even go out for soccer tryouts. It's gonna be okay, Brookie. I'm just glad you didn't get more hurt. And I'm sorry you did get hurt the way you did. 
What's going on? Boogie, are you gonna die? Daisy, no, she's not gonna die. You gonna date Sojubi? No, I just am gonna have to have a cast. Oh no, what about Sako tryouts? Yeah, you might not want to bring that up because she's feeling kind of sad about it. Oh, sorry. Well, I'm glad everything is going to be okay for you, Brookie. Yeah, me too. It was really scary, and I can't believe that Sarah laughed at me. That makes me angry. She should have detention for the rest of her life for that. She should get a lump of coal for Christmas. She, she should have to clean up dog doo-doo in the backyard for the next seven years. Oh, Molly, you are angry. Maybe you need to go um, run around the block. Let out some of that angry energy. Yeah, Molly, she's not worth your time. Don't even get angry. Well, I can't help it. She's rude. She's a bully. She's annoying. Yeah, she's definitely all those things. But I'm okay. Well, I'm glad about that, Brookie. Me too, Molly. Well, you guys want to hang out with me and play some Roblox? I'm going to be stuck here for the night. Sounds good to me. Me too. But first, let's go get some snacks from the hospital on the cafeteria. Mmm, snacks. Well, that's one good thing about being in the hospital. Oh, Molly, you always think about your stomach. <laughs> It, Daisy, but um, nah, I thought about it. You can't have any money. All right, fine. I might save you one bite, one crumb. <laughs> Whoa, Granny's house looks kind of different. Oh, yeah, she's probably just having some remodeling done or something. Yeah, let's check and see if the kitchen is in the same spot. Ooh, it is. Mm, Granny's cookies are the absolute best. Yeah, I have to agree. Just don't eat them all. It might make Granny kind of annoyed, Molly. Oh, I don't know about that. Ah, Granny! Give me those cookies! You don't get to eat the cookies! Huh? Daisy, that's not our Granny! She's crazy! Run! Hide! Molly, don't let her catch you! There, there now. Stop crying. Seriously, stop crying. <laughs> Molly, Daisy, help me. Uh, Daisy, how did we end up in daycare? I thought we were at that crazy granny's house. We were, but but somehow we're here and we're smaller. And also, these girls are too small for me. Yeah, your gut's hanging out. <laughs> Looks like you've been eating one too many donuts. Molly, rude! We have to try to figure out why all of a sudden we're toddlers again and how we got to this daycare. Oh, it's gotta be some sort of grumpy granny trap. Wow, I see you found my daycare. <laughs> this is for the naughty kids who steal the cookies. Wait, what? You're sending us to this daycare? Yes, it's for naughty children who steal my special chocolate chip cookies. Whoa, Molly, look, she's captured a lot of kids. Don't even try to have fun. You never will. <laughs> what? But there's toys here. Something must be fun to do. They're loaded with germs like chicken pox, the stomach flu, and, well, Snowvid. What? You you put germs on other toys so we're going to play with them? Oh, no. You can play with them if you want the stomach bug and have to go poo-poo every five seconds. Ah! This is terrible. I'm running away. Oh, you're too little to run away. <laughs> There's no transportation home. I have to go to the bathroom, Molly. Maybe I got that stomach bug. No, 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 Daisy. You just probably have to go potty. You're a toddler, so you're still working on, on your potty training. Molly, I mastered potty training like five years ago. I know, but Daisy, here you're a toddler, so... <laughs> Hi, I watch your videos on YouTube. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks so much. Um... Wait, what's your name? Shout out to Jan Jan. 
Um, Jan Jan, do you know how to get out of here? No, I've been stuck here for a year. A year? Are, are you serious right now? I'm a fan, and this is the most exciting, happy thing that's happened to me in over a year. What, she's been stuck here with you? Oh my gosh, we're done, fool. I want my mommy. Marty, don't crack this soon. We, we have to hold it together. I don't want to hold it together. <laughs> oh man, you guys are never going to last here. I don't I help take care of the little babies, you know. They have a really rough time with this. Yeah, I'm having a rough time with it and I'm a toddler. <laughs> Molly, I have to go potty. Me too. Let's go find the potties. Oh, I see you're having the best day ever in Granny's daycare. Be quiet, Granny. <laughs> you say that to me again, I'll put you in jail. Baby jail. Daisy, the potties are in here. Oh, man, I gotta go poo-poo so bad. Oh, my gosh, I have to go poo-poo so bad. Uh, excuse me. Can someone close the door? Jeepers, no privacy here at this granny daycare. Okay, kid, stop moving around so much. Oh, my gosh. How did you get the job here? Um, granny pays very well, and she doesn't pay me to talk to you. Goodbye. Oh, my gosh. Rude. Well, 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 it's time for your sulfur bath. Sulfur? What sulfur? Molly, didn't you pay attention in science class? Sulfur makes you stink like rotten eggs. What? Ew, gross. Get me out of here. Not a chance. <laughs> I bet you'll never steal my cookies again. Ooh, you smell horrible. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Your turn, little one. No, please, anything but the anything but the Latin eggs. No, I don't want a sulfur bath. Ew, gross. Ew, you smell horrible, Daisy. Thanks, I hadn't noticed. Okay, you little brats, it's time for a nap. I don't want a nap. I don't want a nap. Which is exactly why you need one. Take a nap. Oh. Okay, fine. At least we'll be rid of her, Daisy. Now do not get out of these beds! Okay, we won't. Daisy, Molly, we're not supposed to get out of our beds. I have a plan. It's going to work. I don't know, Molly. This seems like a bad idea. Okay, listen. If I use some prank slime... Where are you going to get that from? I saw some, okay? If I get some prank slime... I dump it on Granny's head. Then we might have enough time to run out of this crazy daycare. You think so, Molly? You think this could really work? Yeah, and I'm going to steal those cookies from the kitchen. Ooh, that's brave, Molly. Real brave. Okay, so I'm going to get the I'm going to get the slime. You distract Granny. How, Molly? Tell her you have a stomach ache or something. Come on. Whoa, she's totally having a meltdown. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. Slime Grandma. 50 Robux! It's okay. It's okay. It's going to be worth it. Watch this. What's happening? Rude! Daisy, run for it! Okay, Molly, what about you? I'm getting those cookies. I'm gonna get the cookies from the cookie jar. I'm running with the cookies in the cookie jar. Marty, this way, come on! See you later, grumpy granny! We've escaped you after all. I have another idea, Marty. Run! I'm running as fast as I can. I have short legs. I'm a toddler. We could take one of these horses. Um, you could take the unicorn or something. Oh, good idea. All right, um, come here. <laughs> Nice horse, nice horse. Ah, don't step on me. I have a cookie. Want a cookie? Horse, 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 horse. Okay, this one like poops rainbows. I think he could be my friend. Come on, seriously, I need a ride out of here. All right, little Pegasus. Let's get out of here. Where are you going? Stop walking in a circle. Molly, I think they only know to go inside the barnyard. Well, this little Pegasus has got to learn its lesson. Oh, you can't slam to me, you little brat. All right, let's fly! Mm, this is delicious. Mm. I mean, I kind of 
wish I had some dessert, but you know, as far as sandwiches go, this one's pretty good. Molly, Molly, what you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? Hey, why are you sitting in baby Kira's high chair? I accidentally tripped. You tripped and fell into the high chair. Well, I'm a little clumsy. I just got new contacts. Ooh, don't you want to wear glasses? You'd be so cool. No, I want to wear contacts. I don't want to wear glasses. Molly, do you want to come outside and play with me? Uh, no, not right now, TZ. I just want to, like, hang out. But we could play soccer. It would be so much fun. No, I want to eat my sandwich, chill, and watch some TV, okay? <laughs> but you have fun playing soccer. I can't play soccer by myself. Uh, I guess I'll just swing on the swings then. Uh-huh, okay, well, have fun. Mm, that's delicious. Oh, boy. I could take a nap like this. No! Oh! oh, 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 oh! TZ, what, what is it? Why are you crying? I, I, I... <laughs> Daisy, what's wrong? What happened? Was there a bully at the park? No, Molly, I, I, I got poked in the eye. Hey, guys, you guys want to hang out? Uh, no, sorry. Oh, my sister got poked in the eye. Oh, my gosh, Daisy, can you see out of it? It's, 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 well, it's bluey. Daisy, just blink your eyes and, and, and maybe it'll get better. No, Molly. Everything is still really bluey. Something is not right with my eye. I need to go to the hospital. Well, Dizzy, uh, Mom has the car. I can't drive you there. Call 911 then. Okay, I'll call 911. Um, uh, call emergency services. Here we go. Why is my phone broken? Are you serious right now? Well, why aren't they coming? I don't know. They're not answering. Ugh, this phone is broken. Maybe it's not your phone, Molly. Maybe it's the hospital. I don't know, but the ambulance is not responding. I don't know what's wrong with the ambulance, but but we did a paramedic. Don't be scared. <laughs> You'll be fine. Um, sorry, but we can't hang out right now because my sister got poked in the eye and she might be going blind. Okay, Daisy, come on. I'm gonna lead you to the hospital. We'll have to walk. It's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a walk, but you can do it, okay? You didn't break your leg, did you? No, I just I couldn't see where I was going because these new contacts and 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 and, 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 and I got. Well, poked in the eye with a stick. Oh, Daisy. Oh, no. Come on. Well, follow me. Come on. You can hold my hand and, and we'll walk to the hospital together. No. Wrong door, Daisy. That goes into the bathroom. Well, I can't see anything, Molly. Well, I don't think the toilet's going to help you. Unless you know you have the poo-poos. Then you should probably go there. Molly, this is not the time to joke. I can't see. Okay, Daisy. Don't panic. Come on. Let's go. Okay, Daisy. We're at Maple Hospital. Everything's going to be fine. Oh, look at those little babies. Wait, are, they're supposed to be at the vet, not here. Molly, stay focused. Hi, what can I do for you today? Are you sick? Uh, no, but my sister got poked in the eye with a stick and she can't see really good out of it. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we'll get her admitted into the ER and have a doctor in right away. And also, I love your videos. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> are you a subscriber? Molly, not the time to talk about this. Look at my eye. It's swelling shut. Oh, no. Okay, well, can you get us in right now? Of course. Anything for Molly and Daisy. Oh, thank you so much. Come on. I'm bleeding over here. Oh, whoa. Oh, you got a lot of patience today. We sure do. Okay, head on over to the ER room, please. I'm about to have my baby, and it's making me very grumpy because I was on my way to get an Italian sub, and now I don't even get my sandwich. Whoa. Somebody get her a sub. Scat, watch where you're going with that stretcher. You almost ran me over. Okay, um... Here, I'll grab the wheelchair. You sit in it, okay, Daisy? Um, I don't want to disturb you because I know your sister is sick, so I just made this sign. And could you read it, please? Are you recording? Oh, my goodness. Daisy, we're famous even when we come to the hospital. Well, our fans do love us, but I'm sorry. I, I, can't, I can't look at that way now. I can't look at anything. All right, Daisy, we're going into the emergency room. Everything's going to be fine now, okay? I hope so, Molly. I want to be able to see again. I know you do. Okay, here. Um, just get up onto this bed. Ugh. When will the doctor be here? Any minute, I'm sure of it. Excuse me, I need this room. I, I'm gonna have a baby. Hello, I'm the doctor. What seems to be the problem today? Um, here, I'm gonna talk to the doctor. She got poked in the eye. 
Okay, why don't you move on out of here? You are okay. No, I'm not! Oh my gosh! Just because that lady's not gonna ha uh, she gonna have a baby doesn't does it mean that um she gets the bed. You're fine, you're not even sick, scram! Ah, this doctor's crazy! Holy guacamole! Okay, Daisy, let's go into this other room. Obviously. What? I don't think he's a real doctor. I think he might be an imposter right now. Okay, apparently this doctor is not crazy anymore, and he's gonna help my sister. I, I'm having trouble breathing. I'm so nervous. Okay, well, we're gonna put this oxygen mask on you, and tell me, can you see this? Uh, no, I can't see anything. Okay, you're probably gonna need a shot. What? A shot? Oh boy, Daisy hates shots. Oh my gosh, I don't want a shot. It'll help. Don't you worry. Uh, let's get an IV started here. An IV for her eyeball? Ah, uh, guys, could you stop stepping on my sister? <laughs> Seriously, you're gonna give her a concussion. Oh my gosh, I got here as quickly as I could. I got your papa. Yeah, I got your papa. Oh my gosh, what happened, Molly? Um, well, Daisy went over to the park, and her new contacts made her eyeballs not work quite right. They were a little blurry, and well... She ran into a stick on a tree and poked herself in the eye. Oh my gosh, my sweet girl. <sighs> um, I think this girl needs to have a doctor because she's laying on the ground and... Okay, are you okay? Yeah, <sighs> sometimes I just have my back seize up on me. Ugh, it's the worst. I can tell, oh my gosh. Maybe they have a shot for that or something. Oh, poor little girl. Hey, why don't you go over to the gift shop and get something for Daisy to make her feel a little better? Here's some money and, um, you know, get her anything that she loves, okay? Okay, Mom, no problem. Wait, where's the gift shop? Oh, boy, the last time I was here was when I had baby Kira. The gift shop was in the basement at that time, but that was over a year ago. No problem, to the basement. Finally, I found the elevator. That seemed to take me forever. La, 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 la. Whoa, well, this doesn't quite look like the, the gift shop, but maybe it's closed? I don't know, I better look around and see. Holy guacamole, it's kind of creepy in here. What's that, a science lab or something? La 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 la, brr, it's freezing in here. Wait a minute, where am I? Use the hospital bed to place a body into the freezer? Oh, I didn't find the gift shop. Okay, it's okay. I can just get out of here, right? Yeah, the door opens. Wait a minute. Why is it opening and closing? Is it, is it gonna lock behind me? Ah! Am I locked in here? Oh my gosh! <sighs> what was that? My stomach must be growling. I haven't eaten food in, I don't know, 30 minutes. Brains! Ah! Oh my god! It's a, 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 it's Okay, I know what to do. I just gotta put him back in the freezer, right? Get on this bed, zombie. Get on it! <sighs> okay, this freezer looks empty, right? Okay, in you go. Give me your brains. O-M-G, guys! I put that zombie in the freezer, and now I need to get this door open, Um, and get out of here! Okay, the gift shop is no longer down in the basement. And it seems like they're testing on zombies down here. So, um, yeah, let's try a different floor. Um, well, um, uh, th the second floor, maybe? Oh, the gift shop should be there, right? Can't be any worse than what I just witnessed. I can't believe there's zombies in the hospital. Oh my gosh. I think I found it. Wait, this is the gift shop, right? I mean, there's toys in there and, oh yeah, maple gift shop. Okay. I have to pick out something that I think Daisy would actually like. Oh, look at that teddy bear. I bet she would really like that. She'd be able to snuggle it and yeah, she'll love this. Slow down, Speedy Gonzalez. Sorry. I've got to go see my sister. She's got a, 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 her eye. Oh wait, there she is. Okay, why is there somebody with a dumbbell on top of my sister? You should be in daycare. <laughs> Molly, is that you? I can barely see you. Oh, sorry. Here, I, I brought you something that you're really gonna love. Is that a teddy bear? Yeah. Are you frowning, Molly? I can sort of see you a little now. The doctor's been giving me some some medicine for my eye. 
Yeah, it's a teddy bear, and yeah, I'm frowning, and yeah, it's because I saw something crazy, and and and, and, and it scarred me for life. Oh boy, Molly, I think you're gonna be okay. I don't know, Daisy. I'm, I'm really not sure. It was crazy. Where's Ma? Oh, she went to get some coffee. Okay, baby Kira, uh, Mom will be back with a bottle in a minute. I'm sure of it. Here, you can have this teddy bear. What? That's supposed to be my teddy bear. I'm sorry, but I think baby Kira might need it. She feels really sad. I'm back. Mom, baby Kira needs a bottle. Oh, man. Did you, wait, did you find the gift shop? Yeah, I did. Oh, boy, it was quite the adventure. Could you please go up to the maternity ward and get your sister a bottle? Okay. Hopefully I don't get lost this time. And make it quick, Molly. Well, I know that the basement isn't the, where the maternity ward is. I guess I'll go up to the third floor. Oh, it says ultrasound. I always wanted to go in one of these rooms. Oh my gosh, that's where they see the babies. That's so cute. Okay, let's go over to this section. See if we can find a bottle around here. Ooh, this is like, this is pediatric care. I bet there's one in here. Is there any nurse here? Because that baby is crying. Okay, well, I guess I'll pick this baby up because I don't want it to cry. And the nurses seem really busy. rock a baby in the treetops. Oh my gosh, is that a second baby crying? rock a babies in the treetops. Okay, well, I've got to go down and give my sister that bottle. Um, I guess you guys can come with me, because, um, yeah, uh, baby Kara gets very grumpy if she doesn't have her baby bottle. Hey, Molly, what are you doing with those babies? Well, they kept crying, and I was going to bring baby Kara her baby bottle, and, well, I didn't want to leave them there, and a nurse wasn't there. Molly, you can't just walk out of the maternity ward with babies, but they needed someone to love them. <coughs> see? See what I mean? Oh my gosh, Molly. Take those babies right back right now before we get arrested. Well, it's not like I stole them or something. I just, well, I, I, oh boy. I can see this is going to be a very bad day. You're having a bad day. Try being me. Oh boy. Okay, well, here's the baby bottle. I can't get one, I can't get one, I can I know, you love baby bottles. Mm, it's pretty good. Molly, don't drink baby Kira's baby bottle. Has anyone seen the missing babies? Uh-oh. That doctor's looking for these babies. I didn't mean to take them. I just tried to soothe them. I was going to bring them back. All right, we need to um sound the alarm. There's children missing. There's children missing from the maternity ward. Well, let's try to get these guys back here before anybody notices, well, that um they're gone. Too late. Everybody notices they're already gone. Maybe they just crawled away on their own. Yeah, just stick you guys down here, right here, like this. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, the nurse is gonna find you in about two minutes. And I'm just gonna sneak out of here so I don't get in trouble for um, trying to soothe the babies. And um, oh, it's just a disaster. Oh my gosh, I gotta run. I don't want them to see it was me. Truly, I don't steal babies. All right, I go back down and see my sister now. Oh, wait, I didn't take this elevator before. Okay, there's the emergency room. This hospital is so huge. I can't even find where I am sometimes. Okay, here we go. Oh, my gosh. Did you take those babies back? Of course I did, Mom. Of course I did. Okay, what's going on here? Someone's doing, like, gymnastics and dancing on Daisy. And they're also doing CPR. Um, you guys are not real doctors. She has an eye infection. Oh, my goodness. I feel better. Can we go home? Oh, man, someone has diarrhea. We need to get out of here before we all catch the stomach bug. Daisy, are you seeing any better? Yep, I'm completely cured. Let's go home. Well, here's all the ambulances. They could have been more helpful earlier today. Would you please watch out? You've run into me about five times. Oh, my gosh, that old lady is, like, so mad. Oh, no, there's somebody else having a baby. Whoa. I wonder if that's the ambulance that I tried calling. Now I know what happened. Daisy, you're wearing glasses? Yep, after that crazy time I had at the hospital, the contacts aren't worth it. Yeah, <laughs> you think you had a crazy time. Wait till I tell you what I saw in the basement. What, was it haunted? No, worse. <laughs> I wonder who my sister Daisy is. I want to bug her. 
Let the sisters do best. Hey, Mom! Hey, Molly! I'm just about to make some delicious snacks. Woo! Snacks! My favorite! My favorite, too! That's why I'm sitting at the table, because I'm waiting! Dad, are you seriously singing about the snacks? Yes! I love snacks! <laughs> dad, sometimes I wonder how you're even my dad. What do you mean? I mean, because sometimes you're really weird, and I'm not that weird. Oh, I think you are, Molly. I think you are. I think you take right after me, actually. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you certainly don't take after me because I was never as naughty as you are as a kid. Me? Naughty? Never. Okay, time to go bug Daisy. Daisy, Daisy, bo Daisy, fee, fa, fo, fee, me, mom, Daisy, Daisy. Molly, I am trying to do my summer weeding program. Leave me alone, please. Nah, that sounds boring to leave you along, alone, and I'm kind of bored anyway. Boing, 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 boing. Molly, how dare you jump on the couch? That is so naughty. Mom's going to say you're grounded. No, she won't. She can't even see me. She's making a snack. Boing, 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 boing. Molly, stop it. You're bouncing up and down, and I can't read the words of my book. And I have to finish this today because I want to win the summer reading program. Okay, fine. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride. Marty, seriously? You're playing Christmas songs and it's the summer and you're doing it just to annoy me. Me? Nah. Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Daisy, are you still listening? I was putting on a concert for you. Daisy, knock knock. Daisy! Molly, go away! What? I can't hear you! Molly, go away! Daisy, I'm opening your door. I can't hear you. Molly! I'm reading! Go away! No, I'm bored, Daisy. I, I want you to I want you to play. No, Molly, I'm doing my summer reading program. Okay, I'm just gonna jump on your desk then. This is Molly! I'm telling mom! Oh yeah, yeah, you're being so naughty. You wouldn't tell on me. You wouldn't dare. I do dare. Girls, what's all this arguing about in here? Your mother and I can hear it all the way in the kitchen. Ha <laughs> ha, nothing, Dad. We're just playing. Yeah, right, Molly. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. See, I'm playing with Oscar the octopus. He's so adorable, isn't he, Dad? Yeah, he's super cute. Are you sure everything's okay? No, Dad, it's not. Molly keeps bugging me. Molly, is that true? Are you bothering your sister? No, do I look like I'm bothering her? She's just trying to be a tattletale. Okay, girls. Well, I better not hear any more arguing in here, okay? Daisy, you go back to doing your summer reading if that's what you want to do, and Molly, you leave your sister alone. Okay, Dad, I'm just going to play with Oscar the Octopus. I I'll be good. Molly, now you should get out of my room. Not a chance, Daisy. Not a chance. Molly, give me my toy and get out! Dad said no yelling, Daisy, or we're both going to get grounded. That's not fair, though. You've been the annoying one. Daisy, you didn't even make your bed today. You're lazy. Molly! I was too busy doing my summer reading program. Daisy, Daisy, bo Daisy, free, fra, fo, fazy, me, mom, amazing. Daisy! Girls, you having fun? Yeah, mom, we're having so much fun. Ooh, chocolate chip cookies. I'll have one, I think. Molly, don't take the one I was taking. Molly! Ah, yum, 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 yum. Mmm, tacos are delicious. Mom, Molly ate the last taco even though I was going to eat it. And now she's eating all the cookies. Molly, let your sister have some cookies, okay? And why did you eat the last taco without asking if your sister wanted half? I don't know, I just figured it was for me because, you know, had my name on it. Pretty sure that that taco did not say Molly. No, it totally did. <laughs> Daisy, stop eating all the cookies! Rah! Girls, stop fighting, please. Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Mom. Molly, I have to do my summer reading program. Please leave me alone, okay? Okay, Daisy, no, no, no promises, but okay. Molly, why don't you find something else to do? Like eat more cookies? Sounds like a great idea to me, Mom. 
I mean, like, stay out of trouble. Trouble. Trouble's my middle name, Mom. Well, it's going to be grounded. What do you mean, Molly grounded? That's going to be your middle name, yes, because you're going to be grounded if you can't behave. Yeah, Molly, I think you're really bothering your sister. That's not very nice. Okay, okay, I'll be nice. Hey guys, um, do you want to play? Um, I don't, I don't know if we can right now, Brianna. Um, my sister's busy reading her book. You could go play, Molly, and leave me alone. No, that wouldn't be very nice, Daisy. I want to keep you company. Daisy, Daisy, Bo, Daisy, Fee, Fafel, Fazy, Molly, you are too close right now. Go away. Daisy, Daisy, Bo, Daisy, Fee, Fafel, Fazy, me, Mom, amazing. Daisy. Hey, I'll play chase with you guys, too. Okay, Brianna, that sounds cool. Molly, I'm not playing chase. I'm trying to read my book. Get out. Ugh, I think I got locked out of the house. Bang, 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 bang. Um, can I come in, please? Fine, Molly, but stop being annoying. Okay, okay. Oh, where, oh, where is my sister? She's not in the hot tub. That's where I'd be if I was reading a book. She's hiding on me! Can you believe this right now? Oh, hide and seek! She's tricksy like that. Oh, she's in the closet. I just know it. Daisy! Nope, she's not in here. Where's she hiding at? Molly, are you still bugging your sister? No, we're playing hide and seek! Are you sure your sister knows you're playing hide and seek? Yeah. Molly, could you go out and put the um? Would you go out and put the bills in the uh in the in the? Mom, quit watching TV and tell me what you want to say. Oh, um, put the the bills that I put on the counter in the mailbox. Yeah. Maybe it'll keep you busy and you'll stop annoying your sister. Nah, probably not, Mom. Daisy, Daisy, Bo, Daisy, V, Five, Four, Fazy, Me, Mom, Amazing. D -d 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 Daisy. Okay, I paid. I paid the bills. Now I have to go find my sister. I don't know where she went. Maybe she's hiding around back. Oh, Daisy, where are you? Well, I'm up in a tree. Okay, I've got to find my sister because I can't keep annoying her if, basically, I can't find her. Wait a minute! There she is. She's eating cookies and reading her book. Oh, Daisy! That's it, Molly. You're really getting on my nerves. I'm telling on you again. Oh, Daisy, don't tell me. Daisy! Mom, Molly keeps bugging me and I, I really want to read my book so I can win first place. I'm trying to do my summer reading program and Molly just keeps bugging me. Molly, is this true? I told you to stop bugging your sister. And your dad told you too. Me bugging her? No, I was just singing songs and loudly. And then you were jumping on my desk and chasing me. Molly, I asked you to leave me alone and you didn't. Well, Molly, I have no choice but to ground you for an hour. What? No, this is horrible. I don't want to be grounded. <laughs> Oh, Molly, I feel kind of bad now. I didn't mean to tell on you. I was just trying to play, Daisy, and you didn't want to. Well, Molly, I think you should go to your room for an hour. <laughs> Molly? Molly? Go away, Daisy. <laughs> Molly, can I come in? No! Okay, Molly, I'm coming in anyway. Molly? What do you want? You got me in trouble! I'm sorry, Molly. You were really annoying me. Yeah, well, now I'm grounded thanks to you. I was just trying to be goofy and silly. But sometimes it's just annoying when someone asks you to stop bugging them and you keep doing it. But I don't want you to get grounded, so I'm going to ask Mom if you can get out of jail. Jail? What do you mean, jail? I mean, you'll, you'll win grounded jail. <laughs> I'll ask her and tell her that 
I forgive you. Could you please get out of jail now? Fine, but it's not gonna work. She'll probably say no. She'll say yes, Molly. She'll say yes. We're gonna be grounded forever. <laughs> Molly, oh, are you crying because you got grounded? Well, I'm not crying because I get an ice cream. Okay, that's enough with that attitude, Missy. Well, Mom, I'm just feeling sad because I don't want to be grounded right now. <sighs> Molly, I think you should just be nicer to your sister. Can you promise to be nicer to your sister? Yeah, I promise. And you won't annoy her when she says stop? No, I won't. Okay, then you can be done with grounding. However, if I catch you doing it again after you promise me, you'll be grounded for two hours. Whoa, serious business, Mom. Daisy, Daisy, Bo, Daisy. Molly! I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Daisy, do you want to go swimming in the pool? So, Molly, let's go. Yay! Finally, my sister wants to play. But now it's like getting dark out already. Ay, ay, ay. Whee! Ah, oh, we're going for a midnight swim. Ah, oh, that feels good. Molly, it's not midnight. It's only 8.45. 8.46, Daisy. Whoa, someone just sent me $100! Thank you so much! That was nice of you! You guys don't have to send me money in Blacksburg, but I'm glad when you do, because it's super cool. Thank you. Whee! Ugh. Sitting at the bottom of the pool. Hey, Tyro fans! Um, so I kind of got grounded today for annoying my sister, but then I got ungrounded because she felt bad for me. <laughs> Hey Toy Hero fans, don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel. We put out awesome videos just like this one every single day. I'm going to pretend I'm a ghost. My mom will be so freaked out. Boo. Boo. Uh, Molly, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Brianna. I'm just pretending I'm a ghost to scare my mom. Wow. What is that? Oh, it sounds like a ghost. It's a ghost. <laughs>
Look, uh, I'm gonna go get on the swing, okay? Sounds fun. Okay, Molly. Um, be careful. Sure, I totally will be. If I can ever get on this thing. Ugh. There we go. Whee! Molly, don't go so high. Yeah, Molly, I rescue kids with broken legs when they go too high on swings all the time. Molly, can you please listen to- Molly, can you listen to me? Oh, boy, she doesn't listen, does she? I don't have to listen. I can do what I want. Whee! Ha-ha! <laughs> Did you see that jump? Uh, yeah, Molly, it was really scary. I don't know if you should do that when you're at the park. Everything's fine. Now I'm gonna go down the slide. But Molly, that goes into the pool. Do you know how to swim? Yeah, I can swim okay. Do you have your bathing suit? Cause you're gonna get your clothes all wet. Yeah, I don't care. Molly, I don't think it's a good idea. Could you come back here? We could just talk for a little while since, you know, we were thinking about being your parents. Whee! I don't have to listen to anyone. Uh, Molly, I I think it's time for you to go back to the adoption center. Really? Why? Um, well, Heather and I just decided that, um, we're not ready to adopt yet. Oh, okay. Well, it was nice meeting you guys. Bye, Molly. Good luck with your search for your parents. Oh, hey, Molly. How did your day go with, um, with the new adoptive parents? Uh, eh... Oh no, Molly, not another one that said no. Well, I was just being myself, like you said. Were you behaving? Um, well then it wouldn't be myself. Molly, where is your manners? I had pretty good manners, I just didn't do anything that they asked me to. I don't like being interrogated! Ugh, Molly, what are we gonna do with you? I don't know, Brittany, I guess I'm gonna be stuck at the orphanage forever. Molly, Molly, where, where are you, Molly? Molly, what are you doing on top of the changing table? I'm pretending to be a baby! Why would you do that? Because it seems like since everybody wants a baby and doesn't want me, I'll just pretend to be a baby from now on. Oh, Molly, someone's going to want you just the way you are, I promise. Well, I don't see them lining up to adopt me. Well, it's funny you should say that because I have a new couple out front that's looking to spend the day with you. Really? Maybe I'm finally going to get parents. Hi, I'm Molly. Hi there. <laughs> I'm Rich. And I'm Debbie. Nice to meet you. Rich and Debbie. Uh, nice to meet you too. Whoa, Debbie, are you a doctor? Uh-huh, I sure am. Whoa, cool. What are we going to do today? Well, we thought we would go get some ice cream. What do you think? Yeah, I love ice cream. Let's do this. Mint chocolate chip, my favorite. Mm. I think these guys could be my mom and dad. And they're going to take me for ice cream? Oh, yeah. Mmm, this mint chocolate chip is delicious. I know, right? It's so good. Would you look at that? We all got the same flavor. Yeah, and it's my favorite, too. Mm. Can't believe I ate all my ice cream already. Well, Rich, uh, I'm gonna eat yours, too. What? No, you can't eat my ice cream. Give me that. Mmm, mm, delicious. That, Molly, that was rude. Do, do they not teach you any manners at the orphanage? Guess not. When it comes to ice cream, I'm gonna eat it all. I'm coming for yours next, Debbie. Molly, don't take my ice cream. Rude. Oh, my gosh. Is she standing on the table eating my ice cream? Um, I think it's safe to say that this one isn't right for us. Well, I knew that was going to be the answer, but at least I got to eat all the ice cream. Bye! <laughs> I knew they weren't even going to pick me. They never do. Mm. But I got to eat all uh, six scoops of ice cream, so I'm pretty happy about that. Mm. Delicious. Brittany, Brittany, I'm back. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just tidying up the, the adoption center in case we get any new kids in. Wait, where, where are the parents who took you out? They said no, as usual. Also, do you have any Pepto-Bismol? I have a tummy ache. What? Why? Well, I may have eaten six scoops of ice cream. What? They let you eat sk six scoops of ice cream? Are you serious? No, they didn't let me. I just took their ice cream, too. Molly, what are we going to do with you? I'm trying to get you adopted, but you have to help me a little bit here. Okay, fine. I'll try to be on my best behavior. Good. I have a new couple coming tomorrow. I figured I should book a, a more than one couple because, Lord knows, you seem to just, well, 
be sent back here over and over and over again. But don't worry, I'm going to find the perfect parents for you. I hope so, Brittany. I sure hope so. Whee! I love riding this bike. It's so much fun. I can't believe Brittany got it for me. It's the nicest present anyone has ever given me before. Molly, hello, come inside. <laughs> Brittany, I'm driving in circles around you. Molly, seriously, stop driving in circles around me. You're making me dizzy. <laughs> oh, well, Brittany, oh my gosh, I just ran you over. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Um, yeah, Molly, I'm fine. Ouch, that hurt a little bit, though. Sorry about that. Still learning how to ride a bike. It's okay, Molly. Look, I, I told you tomorrow that we were going to have uh, a new couple coming to see you while they're here. Nah, don't want to meet them. Molly, why? Because everybody says no because I'm just being me and they don't like it. So I'm going to say no to them. Molly, you haven't even met them before. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll meet them. After this one, if they say no, I say no. Hey, yeah, I'm at the adoption center. Uh huh, yep, I'm gonna adopt a kid. I know, right? Adopt a kid? These guys look like maybe they're like 22. Hey, what's up? We're here to adopt you and stuff. Oh my gosh. What's your name? Barry. What's your name? Sherry. Wait a minute, your name is Barry and Sherry? Barry, Sherry? Seriously? Yeah. You're pranking me, right? Molly, you're running out of options. Give Barry and Sherry a chance, okay? Yeah, come on. We're going to go to the diner. You can order a piece of cake. Well, it doesn't sound all that bad. Okay. Barry and Sherry, let's go. Hmm. This is the best cheeseburger I've ever had. Can I have another one? Sure you can, Molly. Um, excuse me. Can she get another cheeseburger? Coming right up. Hmm. I love these cheeseburgers at Brookhaven Diner. So delicious! So Molly, tell us a little about yourself. Yeah, we'd love to get to know you some more. Mm. Maybe I could tell you after I get done eating all these cheeseburgers. I'm hungry. Do they not feed you at the adoption center? Of course they do. I had a piece of pizza before I even came over here. I just like to eat food. Lots and lots of food. Cupcakes, ice cream, pizza! Wow, you sure do eat a lot, huh? I sure do. Mm. I kind of feel like I ate too much today, though. Uh-oh! Here comes something special for you guys! Oh my gosh! Did you just stand on the table and fart? Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, okay, it's not funny. I'm dying. Smells bad. Smells bad. Barry, this kid doesn't even know manners. How can we be seen with her? Ugh, she stood on the table and farted. That's so disgusting. Ah, uh, sorry, I was just trying to be funny and lighten the mood. I'm out of here. Come on, Barry. I can't breathe. I'm trying to move, but my lungs won't work. Coming, Sherry. Fine, I didn't want you to tap me anyway, Sherry and Barry. What kind of names are those anyway? They stink. Oh, wow, this is a really good book. I love it. Um, uh, Molly, can you come here a minute? Sorry, Brittany, I'm reading my favorite book again. Oh, I wish the orphanage got new books every once in a while. And the town library doesn't get new ones either. Molly, please come here. I need to talk to you. Okay, what is it, Brittany? Well, it's been ten years, and I still haven't found you anyone to adopt you. I failed at my job, Molly. Brittany, don't talk like that. Just because I didn't find a mom and dad yet doesn't mean I won't. Actually, Molly, that's exactly what it means. What? What are you talking about? Well, today's your 18th birthday, and you've aged out of the system. What? What do you mean? It means you can't stay at the orphanage anymore. You're officially a grown-up. What? No, no, I'm not. I don't feel like a grown-up at all. Well, you are. I'm so sorry that I failed you, Molly. But, but this is the only home I've ever known. I know, but it's time for you to move on. But I don't have any family! You can always come back and visit me, Molly. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Oh, when do I have to leave? Well, your 18th birthday is at midnight, so that's when you're expected to go. Oh my gosh! I, I, I never got adopted, and, and, and now I have to leave? This, this is terrible news! How can this be the law? It just is. I'm, I'm 
I'm sorry, Molly. Remember, if you need any help, you can always come back. How about a place to live? That would be helpful. Sorry, can't do that. How about some food? That would be helpful. Sorry, I, I mean, I could give you the money I have, but it can't be from the orphanage. This stinks! I don't want anything from anybody! How rude. How very rude! Kicking me out of the only home I've ever known! Ugh, I'm starving! I wish I had money to eat at Brooks Diner, but I don't even have a penny to my name! I'm so hungry. Well, there's only one thing to do. Look for the dumpster. Score! I'm sure there'll be something delicious in there to eat. An apple! Delicious! I mean, it tastes a little old, but why would somebody throw this out? It's perfectly good. Mm, so good. Well, I better set up my tent for the night. Next to the dumpster seems like a pretty good place. I just wish I had a place of my own. Like a real house and a real family. It just makes me so sad sometimes I don't have anyone in my life at all. I mean, I'm, I'm so lonely. <laughs> and also hungry. I have to go back into the dumpster and get something else to eat. Mm, an old cheeseburger. That looks pretty good. Okay, there's just a little mold on the bread. I can deal with it. Uh, is that girl eating from the dumpster? Ew, disgusting. Hey, what are you doing up there in that dumpster? Oh, um, nothing. Uh, I, I could share it with you if you want. Just don't tell on me, okay? Share it with me? Ew, I'm not going to eat that old cheeseburger from the dumpster. Why are you? Um, well, um, I'm, I'm homeless. What? Seriously? Did I stutter? Yeah, I'm, I'm homeless. And I'm very hungry. See, that's my tent where I live, and this is the cheeseburger I'm having for dinner. Oh, wow. I'm here. I'll give you a little bit of money and a sandwich, okay? Uh, here, here's some takeout. And I put $20 in there for you, too. Seriously? That's so nice of you. Yes, yeah, seriously. What happened? Anyway, they made you homeless. Well, I was an orphan, and I never got adopted. Really? I was an orphan, too, but I got adopted by a rich family. I didn't. I... I never got adopted, and then I turned 18 and I had to leave. Oh my gosh, that's terrible! Well, I hope things get better for you. Here you go. Oh, wow! Thank you! You're welcome. Good luck! Thanks! Bye! Wow! She said she was just gonna give me a little bit of money, but this is enough money for me to buy, like, a house! Holy guacamole! I mean, it won't be a really expensive house, but at least it'll be better than a tent. Wow, a house of my own. Home sweet home. It might just be a camper, but I don't care. It's it's nicer than I've ever had. Wow, we. It even has a TV. That Daisy person is the nicest person in the entire world. Well, I better get these groceries inside. Oh, I gotta be careful crossing the wall. Ah! Be careful! You almost ran into me. Oh, but I'm so sorry. My vision isn't like it used to be. Wait a minute. Are you that girl that was eating from the dumpster? Are you that girl that 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 gave me that money so I could buy a little house? Yes, I am. My name's Stacy. My name's Molly. I just got back from the food pantry. You want to come inside for a hot dog or something? Oh, I, I'd love to. Let's go. Come on in. M -m my house is a, it isn't much, but um, it's mine. I know what you mean. I, I had a lot of money, but I downsized. My hips won't do the steals anymore. Yeah, I know what you mean. I like having a house all on one level. Well, it's, it's, it's very nice. I, I see what you did with the money was a good idea. Yeah, I never really had much in life. But I didn't mind. The one thing I didn't have, though, was family. And, well, I've always been sad about that. Oh, really? You never did find a family? No, never. Wait, I never had a sister. Would you like to be mine? Seriously? Wow! Oh, don't get me too excited. I'll jump up and down and I'll definitely break a hip. 
Oh yeah, don't do that. Let's sit down and talk about it. Now, tell me more about yourself, Molly. Um, well, I I was rejected by every family who who um came to see me. Wow, that sounds terrible. Yeah, well, I was kind of a rebel back then. I've learned a lot since then. Well, I would love to have you as my sister. Seriously? You really would? I think you'd be a great sister. I think you'd be a great sister too, and I finally have a family of my own. Well, I'm just one sister, but at least I'm better than nothing. It's totally better than nothing. Hey, do you want to come over later for s'mores? Oh, I love s'mores. I'd love to. Wow, having a family is amazing. Would you mind if I brought my children and my grandchildren with me? You have children and grandchildren? Yes, that means now you're going to be an aunt and a great aunt. Oh, wow, it sounds like I have a huge family. You sure do. You're not alone anymore, Molly. You're not alone anymore. Oh, now I can die happy. <laughs> Molly? Did, 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 did you just die? I mean, I know you said you were going to die happy, but did, did, did you just die happy? No, bad hip gave out on me. Molly, should I do 911? Not for a bad hip. Get off me, Daisy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we're already fighting like sisters. Yeah, it'll be fine in a minute. It just seizes up on me. See? All better. Well, I'm glad we can spend our final years as sisters. Me too, Daisy. Me too. pajamas and by the way it's noon why are you still in your pajamas daisy can't you see i'm busy mitch just died on survivor molly that show isn't even real it's so real in my heart it's real Ugh. i gotta eat some more doritos it'll make me feel better molly you're getting crumbs all over the couch Ugh, you're the laziest sister on the planet what are you talking about I, i'm not lazy I, i'm just choosing this life what is that you have some college applications. Daisy, you're not going to college next year. I like to be overly prepared, and I'm thinking either Harvard or Yale. Yale or Harvard. I'm just thinking, I'm not gonna make it through the rest of my life now that Mitch is dead. Molly, you really start, you need to stop thinking about your future. Um, I am. I'm sitting on the couch watching Survivor eating Doritos. Sounds like an amazing future. Molly, I'm telling you, if you don't get it together, you're going to be homeless, living in a box behind Brookhaven Dino. Well, that's not a very nice thing to say. I speak the truth, Molly. Well, how about this? I use that fancy smancy time machine that you created in your secret lab, and I go to the future and see what it's like. You wouldn't dare. Oh, try me. But first... I need to have enough energy to get to the future, which means I gotta eat this entire bag of Doritos. Mm, that's delicious. Oh, brother. I can't even begin to imagine what your future's gonna look like. Molly, are you sure this is a good idea? Sure, I'm sure it is. Sure, 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 and also sure. Wow, you annoying. Hopefully you're less annoying in the future. I hope I'm more annoying. Annoying, 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 annoying. You couldn't even bother to change out of your pajamas. Why? I want to be comfy in the future. Ew, Molly! I got a little too comfortable. <laughs> Molly, step into the time machine, please. Okay. Well, see you in the future. <laughs> Molly? Oh my gosh! It worked! She vanished! What's this place? And why is it in my future? Oh my gosh, I have no food to feed any of my children. I hope Luke stopped at the grocery store like I asked him to. Honey, sweetie, I'm home. And I got a new little baby for you. Another little baby? Holy guacamole, that's a lot of babies. 
I named this one Jerry. Oh, hi, Jerry. Honey, we don't really have any more money for kids. Well, I couldn't just leave him there at the adoption center by himself, could I? I guess not. Did you stop at the grocery store like I asked? We're out of milk and eggs and bread. How will I make French toast for dinner? It's your favorite. Oh, honey, I I had to get some new wheels for my race car. I, I, I couldn't get any of that stuff. But I have to feed the children. Oh, yeah. Well, um, yeah, we could, we could go foraging in the forest for some stuff. And wild berries and crab apples and... Ew, you know what crab apples does to me. Oh, honey, that was a good one. <laughs> wow, it stink terrible, though. Did you pick up the toothpaste like I asked? Um, no, I'm sorry, honey. I couldn't afford it. The wheels were so expensive. But, honey, I only have... Um, wait, let me count my teeth again. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six... I only have seven teeth left, okay? And one of them's giving me a toothache. Like, I need to start brushing my teeth. I need toothpaste before I lose all of them. Mommy, I'm hungry. Oh, Susie, I'm sorry, but your daddy didn't pick up any food. Maybe we could chew on his race car wheels. Well, I'm sorry, honey, but when I win that big race, you know what's going to happen. We're going to have all the money in the world. We don't even have a couch to sit on. Luke, why did I marry you? That was the worst day of my life. I made a horrible decision. Well, I've been working down in the Quickie Mart. I don't see you having a job. Hi, Mommy. Oh, hi, Mandy. Oh, wait, what was your name again? You never gave me a name. You said you'll get around to it, but you had too many other kids. Oh, well, um, well, you look like this girl I went to school with. Your name is Sarah. Yeah, that's it. Well, honey, why can't you get a job? Well, look at all these kids. Who's going to watch all of them? Oh, yeah, and there's also 10 more at school right now. They'll be getting home soon want something to eat. We better go look for those crab apples. Maybe you can make a pie. I told you, I don't know how to make a pie. I didn't pay attention at home ec class. Maybe you should have. Maybe you should have gone to college. There's a lot of these kids we need to feed. Ah! This life's terrible! I'm running away! Oh, I'm sorry, but the kids are going to follow you. Mommy, where are you going? We need to have a mommy. Ah! My future is so terrifying! <laughs> it's time to bring Molly back to the present time. If she's in the future too long, she might affect what's happening now. And we can't have that happen. It would tear apart time and space. Molly, you're back. Whoa, uh, that was weird. Time travel kind of makes me feel like I'm going to throw up or fart. <laughs> Ew, Molly. Daisy, my future was as dismal as you thought. Really? Tell me all about it. I would like to take some notes on this. No time, Daisy. I have to change what my future is going to be. Or, or I'm going to be doomed! Molly? Are you vacuuming the floor? Where's my daughter? What have you done with her? You must be an alien that's taken over her body. No, Mom. It's really me. I, I, I just I made a mess with all the Doritos I ate earlier, and I, I wanted to clean them all up. Molly, are you feeling okay, sweetie? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Next, I'm going to do my homework. What? Molly, turn off that vacuum right now and talk to me. Mom, I don't want my future to be as dismal as I thought. I, I saw it. Wait, you saw your future? What are you talking about? Never mind, Mom, but but I, I got to study because I got to go to college. I, I, I don't want to have 7,000 kids in the future and not know how I'm going to make them French toast. Molly, I'm worried about you. Maybe you should go lay down. Do you have a fever? No, I'm serious. I, I, I want to be successful in life. And be a good mom and and not marry a race car driver who only cares about buying new tires for his race car. Who talks a lot like he's um from Texas. Hey, there's nothing wrong with Texas. We're from Texas. I love Texas. Ah, uh, yeah, you do have a point there. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm glad you're turning over this new leaf, Molly, and um, keep up the good work. But are you sure you're okay? I'm okay, Mom. I just, I just, whoa, is Survivor on? Mitch, is that you? Mitch, you survived! Okay, um, yeah, I don't, I don't care about any of that stuff. Definitely have to watch this. Bring it on, Mitch, bring it on! But Molly, I thought you were turning over a new leaf. 
if it means that I miss out on watching Mitch survive this terrible fate, then I guess I'll just have to be a loser in the future. <laughs>
done. There's only one last jump. Come on. I don't think we're ever going to get out of Mr. Bob's museum. Uh, no, Molly, we need to find a ladder somewhere. Uh, I found the ladder right here. That was so easy. Oh, what happened? I fell below the game. Um, that was not a fair, uh, death right there. I'm just saying, uh, that one doesn't count because, like, I died in the weirdest way ever. But you still died, Molly. Um, yeah, but, okay, now there's no ladder. What? What am I going to do now? Oh, 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 I can't get past it. Oh, wait. The ladder disappeared. <laughs> weird glitch in the game. <laughs> so weird. So crazy weird. Ooh, an air vent. Wait, it says we're supposed to go up. Do we need to turn it on? Oh, wait, I think that's what this button does. Start elevator. Press E. Whee! Okay, this game is getting a little bit more fun now. Uh, Daisy, which way are we supposed to go? Duh, Molly, the giant red arrows. Oh, is there somebody chasing me? No one's chasing me. Would I like to buy a freeze ray? Um, I could have used that when Mr. Bob was chasing me, but I'm pretty cool right now. Except for I'm running so slow. Why is this going? Wait a minute, is this going in circles? What? Oh, wait, no. Okay, it's like a maze. But it's the easiest maze ever. You still died in this Abbey, Molly. <laughs> you died in the easiest Abbey ever. Um, yeah, but it wasn't my fault. I grabbed the ladder and it threw me out of the game. Oh, but you still died. That's the point, Molly. Okay, but, but it wasn't my fault. No fair. Boing, 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 wee. Is this a conveyor belt? No. It might be, Molly, when you push that button. Um, okay, let's try it. Activate button. No, it's still broken. I don't know then. Maybe you have to turn on all the buttons. I don't really know. Oh my god, that time I died for real. I feel like such a noob. Zane, do you want to skip the stage? No, I don't need to skip the stage. And I don't need a hoverboard! Why are you asking me so many questions? <laughs> Alright, at least that one's saved. Molly, you might want to try this thing called a double jump. Yeah, you might want to take your own advice. <laughs> Uh, it's definitely saying now I should skip the stage. <laughs> you stink at this game. Do you want to skip the stage? No. No, I don't. All right, let's see if Daisy get, is going to make it this time. Oh, she did. Okay, now I feel like totally ignoramus. <gasps> yes! All right, that time I made it too. Was that like a trick or something? You have to die three times and then you can make it over it? Could be, Miley. I feel like that's happened before. You and me both. <laughs> One minute, 37 seconds later. Oh, big jump. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. Just kidding. Um, Molly, now we have to go push more buttons. What? How many buttons does this game developer want us to push? I don't know what to even do right now. What to say? Except for Daisy, that's rude! <laughs> Huh, um, Molly? I can't help it. You're acting it like when Gracie goes totally insane. Cheesy macaroni. There's a lot of buttons to push here. Boing. 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 Hooray! We made it through it! <laughs> um, Molly. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna build some stages here, except for DC already is building them, so that's cool.
made it. Oh, I think this ladder's not missing. That's a good thing. It means we can just get on out of here, Daisy. I think this is one of those games that just never ends, Molly. <gasps> Holy moly, I hope not. Someone's at, uh, above us, though, in the game, and they're at stage 18. And we're at stage 15, so we know we have at least three more stages to go. Whoa, 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 whoa. That made me dizzy. <laughs> Dizzy, did you really have a cupcake or were you just like full of it? Um, I did have a cupcake, but I just ate the last bite. What? You, 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 you didn't share it with uh -oh. me? Okay. This is not cool, Daisy. Well, Molly, you snooze, you lose. Boing, boing. I wasn't snoozing. I was playing this crazy Roblox obby. Uh, now I'm going to have to go to the store, buy some Duncan Hines, and make myself some cupcakes. I feel like I talk about food, cupcakes, pizza, whatever, in every single video I do for Roblox. <laughs> you do, Molly, because you obsess with your stomach. <laughs> well, I have to say, she's probably right about that. All right, guys, I just died again. It was so lame. It's because my brain was focusing on the cupcakes. Can't help it. It's just so delicious. Um, uh oh. A laser wall. Oh, we ever get past this? I don't know, Molly, but I think we need to go down there and click that level. Uh, yeah, that's pretty obvious that we need to do that. Either that or it's gonna unleash a giant boss. Um, uh, okay, well, I'm gonna take my chances. But what other choice do we have, Molly? We definitely need to get through that wall if we want to escape. Trust me, I don't want to come back to this museum ever again. I kind of just, wait, where am I going? Um, okay, I do not want to step on that because he's gonna talk to me, isn't he? He's gonna talk, Molly. Ooh. Nice work! Now we need to jump down on that dropper! Um, okay, 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 fine. We'll jump down on the dropper, fine. But are we actually gonna get out of here now? I think we are, Molly. I think we are. Whoa! Oh my god, look at this laser maze they got going on down here. Holy macaroni. Wait, no, 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 I did really good, actually. Okay, this game is kind of easy. I only died a few times, so I'm pretty happy about that. Wait, is there no one to talk to me here? But where's my little friend? I miss him! <laughs> Molly, you've been complaining about him the entire time. Yeah, I have. Wait, are we angels or something? Like, we're glowing. What's going on here? I don't know, Molly. We might be. Um, I want to be a unicorn if I get my choice. So I'm just saying right now. Hello, I don't want to grab any coil. You only have to click on that one time in the entirety of the game. Seriously. You don't need to ask me a thousand times if I want a gravity coil. The answer is still the same. They think that maybe after you stink at the game for so long, you'll pick yes. <laughs> well, they do have a point there. All right. Is there going to be something up here that kills me? All right, no. Sometimes you climb a ladder and there's something at the top that's like, boing, totally kills you. Oh, no. Not this guy again. Molly, did you hear that? A mad duck. Hear what? I totally just like zoned out for a minute. You didn't even listen to what he said, did you? Uh, no. Was I supposed to? Yes, he said there's like a duck or something. A duck? What? No, this is a museum. Why is there a duck in here? I don't know. Maybe he misspoke or something. Oh my goodness. Where's this duck? I don't see a duck. Duck, duck, goose. <laughs> oh, you're so funny, Molly. Oh, uh, hopefully he's not down here because if he is, uh, I'm going to get eaten by him. All right, now I'm going to go over here, I guess, and turn on this one. Boing, boing, boing. Guys, I don't know if you like this obby or not, but like I said, they can't all be winners. You know what I'm saying, people? Sometimes, um, yeah, uh, the game is silly. I don't know what to say. Uh, Daisy, it looks like the boss is about to happen. Do you think this is where the giant duck is going to be? Um, I... Ah, uh, yes! Rubber ducky, why you psycho? <laughs> um, the duck is not even moving right now. Molly, what is this all about? I don't know, the duck's not moving for me. How about you? Oh my god, I think he shoots like concrete at you. Ah! Oh my god, this duck is evil. Go away, Mr. Ducky. We gotta push all these buttons before he kills us. Go, Molly, go! 
I'm trying, but ah, he killed me! Oh, that sort of delayed your action too. Do I have to start over from the beginning? I, like, I don't even need the gun, seriously. Oh no, I don't have to start over from the beginning. That's good news. Whoa, the game just got like super glitchy. Apparently, the duck is um in control of my internet connection as well. What? That's one crazy duck. <laughs> Now he's about to become Duck Duck Goose. What do you mean by that, Molly? Um, I, I don't know. Oh, I've got a gravity coil. I didn't even buy it. Boing, boing. <laughs> Wait, did I explode the duck? Oh boy, he came up here. Crazy little duck. Crazy little duck. All right, guys, I'm trying to gravity coil my way over there because this duck just got crazy town. <laughs> boing. All right, did the duck go away? Where's the duck? Oh my god! I don't know where the duck is, but I just made it to the end of the game. And I got two gravity coils. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Put one on each foot, I guess. Yes! Okay, let's just be honest. This is your very first hobby that you ever made, right? Cause, um, uh, well, uh... Molly! I'm just saying, I was a little bit noob, you know? Just, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, well, it was still fun. Yeah. And now it stopped raining, so we can actually go outside. Or we could play Bloxburg. Yeah, I think we should do both. We should go outside and play Bloxburg. All right, where is my award that said I made uh -oh. it through this game? That's what I want to know. Ooh, paint yourself. Paint yourself. Blue. Blue's my favorite color. Oh, I look like I'm frozen. Look at me. All right, Daisy. This game was, um, well, something. Look at me, Molly. I'm an angel. Yeah. <laughs> right. I am, Molly! Totally. And you're a demon. Like, no, I'm not. If I was a demon, I would probably be this color. <laughs> oh, brother. You mean, oh, sister. <laughs>
What happened to your heart? It used to be so kind and caring. Yeah, but not towards bullies. Molly, that doesn't sound like you. I wish I could go inside your heart and see, see what's wrong in there. Wait a minute. Maybe my new potion at the science lab could let me go into your heart. What? What are you talking about? No way! Molly, we have to know why your heart is so closed off. Fine. I guess we could find out. But I'm not buying her that prom dress. I'm not doing it. Okay, according to my calculations, this is going to work perfectly. Now, I'm going to need you to hold completely still. I think this is a terrible idea. Ay, of course you would. You've hardened your heart to the whole world. No, just to bullies and people who annoy me. And, well, um, anybody who gives me detention. Exactly my point, Molly. Now I have to take the potion and shrink down. Ooh, delicious. Is that the potion? No, it's a shamrock shake from McDonald's. But boy, is it delicious. Daisy, quit monkeying around. If you're going to do this, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Gluck, gluck, gluck. Ugh, I should have made this taste more like the shamrock shake. Is it working? You still look like you're the same size. It'll work any minute now. I think this is experimental. It didn't work, Daisy. Hold on, be patient for a change. Oh, wow, I'm getting smaller. Whoa, this feels weird. Tell me about it! Hi, little doggy. Oh, do you not have anyone to love you? You're homeless? Oh my gosh, well, here's a delicious cheeseburger I just got from Starbrooks. Maybe you'd like to have some. Aw, don't worry. I'll help you find the perfect home. Oh, look at Molly. She's helping that poor homeless dog to find a new family. And she's sharing her Starbucks cheeseburger with it. She must really feel like she's in a giving spirit today. I think I should name you, um, Chocolate Milk. <laughs> You're so adorable. Come on, Chocolate Milk. Let's go. Well, here's one time that Molly was definitely kind and her heart was wide open. Now I've just got to find others and to prove that she actually is kind-hearted. Hopefully I don't find anything evil in her heart. Ugh, that was the longest attention I've ever had. Oh, man. Oh, it's like 10 miles to my house. I don't want to walk that far. Oh, hey, Luke. What are you doing here so late at the school? Oh, I had basketball practice. And now I was going to ride my bike home. But I have a flat tire. And it's a 10-mile walk to my house. Oh, don't worry. I've got my little car here. I could totally give you a ride. Aww. You would? Seriously? Yeah, why not? Come on. Hop in. Oh, my gosh. You're a lifesaver, Molly. Do you need money for gas? Nah, I've got enough gas for the both of us. Oh, Molly. Sorry. <laughs> I had a bean burrito for lunch today. Now, your house is this way, right? It sure is, Molly. You're a great person. Here's another time that Molly's heart was full of kindness when she gave Luke a ride home from school. Ah, oh, Molly, where did you lose your beautiful heart at? I better start taking some notes on this. Well, Ethel, if you can't pay for your bill, then you're going to have to come in the back and wash dishes. Oh, I'm so sorry, Chef. I, I didn't realize that I, I didn't quite have enough, and I was so hungry. You know I am on a fixed income. Well, I'm sorry, but that's the restaurant rule. You have to do dishes if you can't pay the bill. But my arthritis is so bad. I don't know how I'll pay. What? He's going to make this old lady do the dishes? Nonsense! Hi, Ethel. Uh, my name is Molly, and... You remind me so much of my grandmother. I was wondering if it would be all right if I just paid for your bill entirely because you just seem like such a nice lady. <laughs> like I said, you remind me of my grandma and I love my grandma. Oh dear, you would do that for me? Absolutely. Um, here, chef, here you go. Um, here's all the money for her bill and mine too. Well, that's very nice of you, dear. Thank you so much. And, um, make sure she gets some pie to take home, too. Any kind she wants. 
Oh dear, you are the nicest girl in all of Brookhaven. Wow, Molly actually gave away some of her money to pay for Ethel's um, food? Holy guacamole, I've seen all that I need to see. Molly's heart is actually good. Whoa! Exiting! Daisy, whoa, that feels so strange. Ugh, get out of my heart. So, what'd you find? That I'm rude and cruel and mean, right? Um, on the contrary, Molly. I found out you're the most kind-hearted person in Brookhaven. Wait, what? <laughs> Don't make me laugh! <laughs> no, seriously, Molly. All you have to do is remember that you're so nice. First, I watched you rescue a homeless dog. Then I watched you give Luke a ride home so we didn't have to walk ten miles. And then I watched you pay for an old lady's lunch at Brookhaven. Dino, you're definitely not a bad person. You just have to remember that you're very giving. But, but Sarah, she, she's a bully. Yes, she's sometimes a bully. But just because she's mean sometimes doesn't mean you have to be. You can be whoever you want to be. You need to like yourself when you look in the mirror every day. Hey, I never thought about it that way. Yeah, your actions are totally separate than Sarah's actions. Sarah can do whatever she wants, but at the end of the day, you have a clear conscience because you did what was right. Wow, I guess you're right. Besides, I like being nice. It makes me feel good. I guess we can pool our money together and buy Sarah that prom dress. Very good decision, Molly. I'm actually really proud to say that you're my sister. Really? That's a first. Yeah, you're really nice, actually. Except for that time that you decided to put slime in my pillowcase. <laughs> that was the best prank ever. <laughs> I should have won the best prank award. <laughs> longer is this wait gonna be excuse me my wife she's she's in a lot of pain and 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 i need to know how much longer the wait's gonna be oh sorry sir we have a lot of people ahead of you someone came in and had a heart attack and i know but my wife she's she's pregnant and uh how far along is she um she's seven months oh wow she still has two months to go though please she's in pain she needs help okay let me see what i can do sir Hi, miss. I'm Nurse Judy. Can you please help me? My stomach hurts so bad. Okay, well, let's get you into exam room one. It just opened up, and uh, we'll take a look. Now, your husband says you're about seven months pregnant. Is that correct? Yeah, seven months. My sweet little baby. We've already picked out her name. Yeah, but I'm a little worried. I mean, my wife shouldn't be in this much pain, should she? We've had two other children, and, and she didn't have this much pain with the other two. Well, it could indicate something wrong. Are you a doctor or a nurse? I'm just a nurse, but we're short-staffed today, so I'll be the one examining your wife. Okay. I, I hope everything's going to be okay. Let me just get some gloves. All right. I'm going to fill your stomach. This shouldn't hurt. Okay, let's see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's wrong? Is there something wrong? Well, it seems that you're in labor. Say what? She's got two months to go with her pregnancy, though. I know, but this is just something that happens sometimes. We need to move her into the um, regular hospital and out of the emergency room immediately. Okay, well, thanks for getting her seen. I mean, she might have had her baby right on the floor if you hadn't got her in this room. Oh, somebody get me a puke bucket. Oh my gosh, are you going to throw up? Here you go. Here's a puke bag in case you need it. Oh boy, this is going to be a long night. I can tell already. Okay, Miss Laura, just jump right into this bed over here. Well, not jump, because then your baby definitely would come out on the floor, probably. <laughs> um, go ahead and just get into this bed right here, and I will take you up into the maternity ward. I'm right behind you, honey. I'm right behind you. Oh, my stomach hurts so bad. I hope my baby's okay. Laura, we're going to take the best care of you ever. Everything's going to be A-OK, -okay, I promise. You can't make that promise, though. You don't really know. Well, 
I've seen a lot of babies born two months early and usually they're just fine. Okay, Laura, we're just gonna take a little bit of an x-ray here and make sure that your baby is doing okay. You mean besides the fact, Nurse Judy, that the baby's coming two months early? Well, babies just decide to come when they want to come. All right, I'm gonna need you to step out of the room while I do this ultrasound, please. Really, why? Because you're super nervous and you're making me nervous and I don't want you to make the patient nervous. I'm just so sad, like, I thought I had two more months and, and the nursery isn't done yet and Laura, everything's gonna be a-okay. Oh, it looks like your baby hasn't turned yet. Well, it looks like you're gonna be in labor a little bit longer. Let's take you to the labor room. Okay, Laura, I'll be back to check on you soon. Um, Dan, I don't think you're allowed to play video games on the computers at the hospital. They use those to, like, check up on patients and stuff. Um, Laura, I think it's fine because you've been in labor already for, like, 12 hours, and I need something to keep me awake. I've already drank, like, 40 cups of coffee. How do you think I feel? I'm the one having the baby. Oh. Everything's gonna be okay, honey. Everything's gonna be okay. Dan? Dan, where'd you go? Dan? Is he seriously sleeping in the baby crib? Ay, ay, ay. Oh, my stomach. Oh, Dan, go get the nurse, quick. Oh, what? Oh, is the baby coming? Okay, I'm on it. I'm on it, honey. Oh, my foot fell asleep. Oh, I was so crammed in there. Oh, my foot fell asleep. Oh. Okay, the patient in room two is doing well. The patient in room four needs her meds. Hurry, my wife, she's having her baby. Nurse Judy, get the doctor. Oh, unfortunately, there's no doctor on duty right now. We're really shorthanded. Wait, what? But my wife, she's having her baby. Don't worry, I'm assisting the doctor every single day, so I'll be able to help you. Help me what? Deliver this baby? Yeah, exactly. Come on, let's go. Oh my gosh. Nurse Judy, where's, where's my doctor? Um, well, your doctor's on vacation in Tahiti, and we're a little short-handed. Wait, what? Dr. Smith isn't here? Um, honey, try not to panic. All right, let's just check you. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm a nurse that works with this doctor all the time, and um, basically, I've helped deliver just thousands of babies, so it's gonna be fine. Oh my, your baby still hasn't turned. Okay, I hate to tell you this, Laura, but you're gonna need to go to the OR. Wait, what? Why? Because you're going to have to have a C-section to have your baby. O-M-G, today just keeps getting worse and worse. Dr. Brittany, I'm so glad you could make it here. Our, our patient, she needs a C-section. Oh, I'd be happy to help. Um, she's really a doctor? Yes, it's Dr. Jansen. She's very, very good at delivering babies. Okay, I'm just glad a doctor was able to be here. I mean, I know you're shorthanded. Yeah, but Dr. Jansen was able to come in on her day off so we can get this baby delivered. All right, Laura should already be asleep, so I'm just gonna give her a shot to make her extra comfortable. Oh, honey, don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. All right, now we're just making sure that she's nice and comfortable, and then we're gonna deliver your daughter. Who's ready to be a parent? <laughs> well, Laura's asleep, so she won't hear anything, but Dan, are you ready? Um. I'm a little nervous about this. I'll be careful. She's a doctor. Of course she's going to be careful. Okay, Nurse Judy, but she's the love of my life right there, and, and she has my baby, and, and, and I want them to be okay. Okay, Dad, try not to freak out. Mm -hmm. Okay, everything's going as expected. All is well. Is there anything I can assist you with, Dr. Jansen? Um, no, I think I've got everything under control. I see the baby, and here she comes. Okay, Nurse Judy, get ready to catch that baby. She looks extra slippery this time. <laughs> Is that my daughter? Well, do you see anyone else delivering a baby in this room? Of course it's your daughter. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I just delivered a baby. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm super, super amazing. If I wasn't a doctor, I would totally be a famous dancer. Uh, Dr. Jansen, don't you think we should weigh the baby? Oh, yeah, we should totally do that. Come on, let's weigh her. Whoa, 
She's barely four pounds. And she's breathing a little funny, Dr. Jansen. Oh, let me take a look. Uh, yeah, she definitely is gonna need a NICU stay. What? A NICU stay? But, but... Yeah, let's take her to NICU right now. I should get something for Laura for when she wakes up and baby Kira and NICU. I just can't believe my baby is only four pounds. I hope she's gonna be okay. I just... I want my baby to be okay. Where, where's my baby? Where's baby Kira? Baby Kira? Where, why did she, why did she, where is she? Honey, honey, calm down. I got you some beautiful flowers and... Where is my baby? She's, she's in the NICU. In the NICU? Why? Well, she was having a little trouble breathing and she was barely four pounds. Oh my gosh, because she was two months early. Oh, poor baby Kira. Oh, I want to go see her. Well, honey, you just did a C-section. That's an operation. I think you should rest. Take me to my baby right now! Okay, honey, okay. I'm so excited to meet our baby sister. I know. She's going to be so adorable. I know it. Hey, wait, there's Mom. Mom? Are you okay, Mom? Uh, girls, try to talk quietly. Your mom's a little upset right now. Wait, where, where's the baby? Why is she in this room and not a regular room? Yeah, what's going on, Mom? Are you okay? Girls, I had to have an operation. An operation? Mom, why? Um, well, you know, your sister came early, and that meant she was only four pounds, and she was having some trouble breathing. Oh, M.G. Mom, are you all right? Is, is baby Kira all right? Um, we're both okay, honey. I'm just gathering up my strength now to go see her in the NICU. Can we go too, Mom? Yes, you girls can go, but you have to make sure you keep wearing your gloves. And wash your hands a lot. We will! We will, Dad! We will! I just want to meet my baby sister. O-M-G! Look at her! She's so adorable! Oh, Great Molly, you already made her cry. It's probably because she knows you're going to be your sister. Oh, I can't believe my baby is a NICU. Don't worry, Mom. She looks like she's doing amazing. I want to hold her. We should probably let Mom hold her first. Mom, do you want to hold her first? Yeah, of course I do. My sweet little baby. Hi, sweet little baby. I'm your mommy. And I'm your big sister. Oh, look at she's sucking on her pacifier. Oh, Molly, I think you're going to be a great big sister. And I think baby Kira is going to be just fine. Hi, baby. Welcome to the family. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm watching this YouTube video about how this one sister pranked her other sister. And she didn't talk to her for 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. I totally want to do that to my sister Daisy. She'd be like, why aren't you talking to me right now? I'd be like, sorry, Daisy, can't talk. Um, Just seriously, I can't talk to you right now. She would not know why. <laughs> it would be super awesome. Ugh, super smelly. Got to take a bath. Ah, so relaxing. Do, 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 do. Now I want to go see what's in the refrigerator. Hi, Bali. Good morning. <laughs> I'm going to start my prank now. Molly, did you hear me? I said good morning. Sheesh, what's wrong with Molly right now? She doesn't even want to talk to me. Molly, good morning. Maybe she listened to her music too loud last night and now she can't hear anything. Huh? Did someone say something? Huh? Thought I heard someone talking. Molly, that was me! I'm going back into my room then, Molly. Bye, if you're going to be rude. <laughs> my plan is working already. 24 hours of ignoring my sister. Oh, yeah. Now I don't have to share my pancakes with her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at these delicious pancakes. Mmm. <gasps> I'm super good at making pancakes. I love making them so much because they taste delicious and I just love them. Ha! Look what the milk says! Mad cow! 
I love when my mom gets this kind. It's hilarious. Oh, yeah! Time for some pancakes. Ooh, pancakes! Molly, could I have some? Yum, 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 yum. Mmm. Molly, could I seriously have some? Molly, where are you going with the pancakes? Molly, come back here. I want some pancakes. Molly! Molly, why are you being so weird right now? Oh my gosh, I think my sister, I think my sister must be not able to hear me. Molly! Molly, can you hear me? Hello? Oh my gosh, I don't even know what's wrong with my sister. <laughs> my plan is working perfectly. My sister doesn't even know what's going on right now. Is she going to follow me? I hope not. I want to go eat these pancakes without her. Burr, it's freezing out here. <gasps> Look at all the snow outside. That must be um, time, time for Santa to come. Seriously. Oh, man. It says I have to place them on a the counter. I can't eat them outside. Molly, what are you doing? Oh, snow, snow. <gasps> it's snow week. It's snow week. Do, 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 do. Jingle bells, jingle bells, it's snowing outside. Daisy, that's not how it goes. Molly, you're talking to me. Oh, man. I didn't want to talk to you. What are you talking about, Molly? Why don't you want to talk to me? Molly, come back here right this instant. Ah, sorry, Daisy, I can't talk to you. What, why not? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, too busy eating my food. Yum, 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 yum. Molly, could I have a pancake? Ah. Uh, sure, whatever. Oh, man, I don't want to fail this prank. I'm, I'm trying to take this challenge of not talking to my sister for 24 hours, but she tricked me. Ugh, maybe if I just hang out in my room, she won't even know I'm in here, and then I can just ignore her for 24 hours. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. The brightly colored unicorn. I love this show. And I'm successfully ignoring my sister. Except for she's in my room. Why is she in my room? Molly, what are you doing? Ooh, the brightly colored unicorn. Can I watch? Molly, seriously, are you still trying to ignore me? That doesn't work, Molly. I'm watching it, Molly. I'm watching it. <laughs> Molly, I know you want to say something to me. I'm standing at your desk. I'm standing at your desk. Daisy, get out of my room! <laughs> Molly, I made you talk. Daisy, I'm gonna get you. You made me. You made me mess up the challenge. I'm so mad at you right now. Molly, seriously, that was a silly challenge to not talk to me. Yeah, right. Get out of my room. And don't come back. Ay, 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 sisters. Why am I dirty again? I'm always so dirty in this in this Bloxburg game. It's so weird. I just took a bath. Jeepers, creepers. Ah, at least my sister's not here. Now I can start the 24 hours of not talking to my sister again. Ah. Peace and quiet. Molly, I see you. What? Oh my gosh, my sister's outside my bedroom window. You're crazy. Molly, stop ignoring me. I've got something amazing to tell you. Come outside. Oh, no way, Daisy. Yes, you have to come out. I have to tell you something right now, Molly. Look out your window. I don't want to talk to my sister because then it's going to ruin the, the prank. I'll, I'll, I'll totally, I'll totally lose the challenge. Molly, it's snowing. Come outside. It's snowing. What? It's snowing? It never snows in Texas. Oh my gosh. She must be lying. She's totally lying. She's pranking me right now. Oh my gosh. It's snowing. This means Santa's going to come soon. This means Santa's going to come. Daisy, where are you? Daisy! Molly, I'm right here! Daisy, it's snowing, it's snowing, it's snowing! 
Daisy, don't you have anything to say? Daisy! Daisy! Oh my gosh, are you ignoring me now? What? You're playing the you're playing the 24 hours without talking to your sister challenge? You're ignoring me, aren't you? Why are you ignoring me? Daisy! Daisy! Ugh, you're so much better at this game than me! Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna take the polar bear challenge. That's where you go swimming in the pool when it's snowing out. Guys, dare me? Guys, double dog dare me? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cold. Ah! <laughs> it's freezing! <laughs> Brr, get me out of here! I have to go inside where it's warm. Uh, okay, Daisy, well, ignore me if you want, but I'm closing the door. Oh, man, she came inside. Come on, Daisy, don't ignore me! Daisy! Daisy! Molly, get out in front of the TV! Ha 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 ha! I got you to talk. Molly, that challenge is much harder than I thought. Pranking your sister to not talk to her and ignore her for 24 hours is really hard. Yeah, even when you're an annoying sister like you are. Molly, I'm not ign I'm annoying. Yeah, you kind of are, Daisy. You kind of are. Take it back, Molly. No way. I can't take it back. It's true. Ooh, Molly. Anyway, Daisy, I'm going out and playing in the snow. It's going to be super awesome. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Daisy, I dare you to jump in the pool. Are you crazy, Molly? It's, it's like 20 degrees out here. It's freezing. I don't think so. Come on, Daisy. I did it. Don't be a chicken. Block, 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 block. Okay, Molly, fine. I think this is crazy, though. Ah, how's that, Molly? Daisy, that's cheating. That's cheating. But I'm in the pool, Molly. Yeah, but you're not touching the water. Actually, Molly, boo! My bum bum's in the cold water. Boo! My bum bum's in the cold water. <laughs> Didn't you realize, Daisy, that a raft has a hole in it? <laughs> Ooh, Molly, I never thought of that. Oopsie. <laughs> oh, Daisy, I love when it snows out. It means Santa Claus is coming soon. I know, Molly. I love it, too. It's amazing. Well, do you think we should take the challenge of ignoring each other for 24 hours? No, Molly. Even though you're a naughty big sister, I still want to talk to you. Oh, that's the nicest thing anybody said to me, Daisy. Come here and give me a big sister hug. Daisy, are you a ghost? I just walked right through you. Oh my gosh, Daisy's a ghost! Just kidding. <laughs> okay, Toyo fans, thanks so much for watching. We kind of failed this 24-hour no-talking-to-each-other challenge, didn't we, Daisy? Yeah, Molly, we totally did because we were trying to annoy each other. I, I made a snowball, Molly! I made a snowball, and now guess what? I want to throw it at you. You better not, Daisy! You better not! Okay, Toyo fans, don't forget to subscribe to the Toyo's channel where we put out awesome videos just like this one every single day. <laughs> Molly, you wake up! And don't forget to hit the notification bell where you can be the one to see when we put out a new video. Daisy, don't you dare throw that snowball at me. <laughs> Molly, I totally am going to throw it at you. No way! Ah! Brrr, freezing! Oh my gosh, I'm totally going to be late for school now. Ugh, this is so bad. Ugh, I'm really hungry. I think the first thing I should do is go into the kitchen and make breakfast because I am starving. Then I'll take a bath afterwards because seriously, I'm too hungry to wait. Okay, no, I don't want hot dogs for breakfast. Ew. Bacon and eggs, that sounds pretty good to me. All right, let's go over and start making them. Turn on the stove, put in the bacon and eggs. Ooh, they smell delicious. I really am like super hungry. <laughs> I'm starving. I knew I should have had a snack before I went to bed last night. Because I haven't eaten since like dinner and I'm yesterday and I'm just so hungry. Oh, hurry up and cook. You smell so delicious. I want to eat you, seriously. A little salt and pepper. 
Ah, perfect. Time to go eat. Hi, Gingerbread Man. Good morning. Okay, apparently I have to be standing up in order to place something on the table. Kind of silly if you ask me. Ah, time to eat! Oh my gosh! Ah! I just want to eat my breakfast and like, Bloxburg is being ridiculous right now. Okay, finally. Yum, 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 yum. Ah, so delicious. I'm still hungry. I need another portion. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm. Bacon! Eggs! Delicious! Okay, I'm seriously full now. Ugh, I can barely walk. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna go in and take a bath and brush my teeth and stuff. Because, you know, you can't have funky teeth when you're going to school. Brush a brush a brush a brush a brush a brush brush a brush a brush a brush a brush a brush a brush Ah, clean minty teeth. Now I'm going to go take a bath. Because you don't want to be stinky for school. I want to turn on. Okay, here we go. Ah, that's better. Whoa, look at what time it is. I better go see if I got my homework done. Uh-oh. I'm not quite sure that I actually did my homework. Uh, I better work on that right now. Let's see. Spelling. Oh, that's easy. C-A-T. How do you spell unicorn? U-N-I-C-O-R-N. Unicorn. Okay, how do you spell... Hey, did I just hear somebody knocking at the door? Ugh. I wonder who that could be. I have to go to school soon. I hope it's not like Bookie Cookie because like we can't play right now. We have to go to school. Ah, oh, it's Sarah. What is she doing here? Um, uh, sorry, nobody's home. Whatever, Molly. I saw you in there. That is so rude. Open the door. Ah, uh, no, you didn't see anybody. It was just a ghost. Just a ghost, Sarah. Nobody's there. <laughs> Molly, seriously, I know you're in there. Open the door right now. I'm not going to stop knocking. Ah, oh, fine. What do you want, Sarah? I want to come into your house. Duh. Um, no, you can't come into my house. Goodbye. Molly, I'm going to tell your mom. Seriously, you're going to be a tattletale? Fine, come on. What do you want? Well, I wanted to tell you that today we're having a party at school. A party? What? No one told me about a party. Well, I'm telling you about it because I'm the head of the party. You and head of a party? I don't think you'd ever be in charge of a party. What are you talking about? I'm uh, nothing. It's just that you're not very fun. Molly, rude. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was a little rude. Sorry. Anyway, do you want to know what you have to do for the party so that you can come? Uh, yeah, okay. What is it? It's an ugly sweater um, Christmas party. What? That sounds like so much fun. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm totally serious. Make sure you show up today at school with your ugly Christmas sweater or you won't be able to come into the party. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks so much, Sarah. Okay, well, you have to get out now because I have to change into my sweater. Okay, Molly. Well, I'll see you at school. Don't be late and wear the ugliest sweater that you can. Okay, well, thanks, Sarah. Wow, Sarah actually wasn't mean for a change. That's strange. Okay, I better go into my closet and find an ugly Christmas sweater. Wait a minute. I don't think I have one. I think I'll have to borrow Daisy's. She won't mind. She's in a dance um, competition right now. Okay, let's see. I know exactly what I want to wear. It's going to be perfect. Oh, hey, man. Um, hi, Molly. Um, what are you wearing? <laughs> Uh, an ugly Christmas sweater for the ugly Christmas sweater party today? Um, Molly, I hate to tell you this, but, um, yeah, you look ridiculous. But Maya, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I did what everyone said to do. Um, okay, Molly, whatever. Uh, I have to get to class. Okay, well, see you later, Maya. Oh, hey there, B. 
Um, Molly, what are you wearing? <laughs> you look so funny. Uh, I'm wearing my ugly Christmas sweater for the ugly Christmas sweater party. Um, Molly, I don't think there's an ugly Christmas sweater party today. What? No, no, that's not true. Sarah told me there was. Um, no, Molly. Um, and I have to go because I have fishing class now. Uh, okay, but I think you're going to be sad that you didn't wear an ugly Christmas sweater. No, definitely not, Molly. Definitely not. Hey, Nicole, where's your ugly Christmas sweater? Um, who are you? Oh, it's you, Molly. <laughs> you look so funny today. Why are you wearing that? Um, because I thought there was an ugly Christmas sweater party. <laughs> who told you that, Molly? Oh, no. Oh, oh man. Oh, I can't believe she tricked me again. I'm going to go hide in the bathroom. At least nobody will find me in here in my silly sweater. Ugh, I feel so ridiculous. Now I'm wearing this silly looking Rudolph sweater with with buck teeth and and it I just the sweater's itchy and it's just a horrible day. Ugh, maybe no one will find me in here. Hello? Is anybody out there? No? Okay, good. That means I can just keep hiding in the bathroom. Oh, I don't know why Sarah is so mean to me. Why does she always be mean to me? Oh, it's so horrible. I mean, now I'm going to be embarrassed because I'm wearing this ugly Christmas sweater all day. Molly, is that you that I hear in there? Oh, no. She's here. She found me. Molly, is that you? Uh, no. It's, it's not me. Um, Molly, I can totally tell that's you. No, no, it's not Molly. It's, um, it's not Molly. Molly, I'm coming in there. No, you're not. Get out. What are you doing? <laughs> Your sweater is so ugly. You look ugly. Hey, that's not nice, Sarah. Well, I'm just telling you that you totally look ugly in that sweater. <laughs> this was the best prank that I ever pulled. Seriously, you told me that there was a Christmas sweater party today for ugly Christmas sweaters, and I wore one, and there's no party, is there? Um, no, that was part of the prank. <laughs> and you totally fell for it. Yeah, because I'm actually a nice person, and you are not. What are you talking about? I'm totally nice. I just said that your sweater was ugly. That's not mean. Uh, yeah, it is, Sarah. Now go away. Are you really going to go out of here wearing that silly sweater in front of everybody at the school? Well, you know what, Sarah? I'd rather be in a silly sweater than, than to have that, that grumpy, mean mean personality that you have because you know what i can change my sweater but you can't change how mean you are well you kind of can but you don't want to so that just makes you totally horrible what are you seriously talking to me the popular girl like that yeah i am now go away sarah i'm just gonna go to class wearing my ugly christmas sweater if somebody laughs it's okay because it's like you know i'll just i'll just own it I'll be like, yeah, I wore an ugly Christmas sweater. Why didn't you wear one? What's wrong with you? You didn't want to wear an ugly Christmas sweater? Where is everybody? I don't even know what class I'm supposed to be in right now. Okay, no. Is everybody in our class? I don't even know. Uh -huh, there isn't a student, but she's sleeping. Hey, can I sit next to you? Oh, this is perfect. They won't even know that I'm... I'm, like, wearing this ugly Christmas sweater because, look. Oh, there you are, Molly. I'm going to paint your ugly Christmas sweater for everybody in the class to see. I'm writing your name first. Molly looks ugly. Sarah, I'm going to tell the teacher, go away. Ugh. Can you believe this girl? Uh, Sarah, I don't think you should be sleeping in our class. That's totally naughty. 
Asap, wake up, wake up, wake up. Uh, okay. Gonna sleep through our class, I guess. Look at your ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> whatever, Sam, whatever. I didn't want to go to art class today anyway. I'll just hang out in the library and read a book. What? All the books are gone! Holy moly! Can't believe everybody checked out all of the books. That's crazy. I have to escape. Whoa, why is the glass broken in here? Oh my gosh, you can't go in that room. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I'm like literally trying to find a class that Sarah doesn't know I'm in. Okay, shh, she's coming. She's coming, shh, don't tell her I'm in here. Molly, where are you? Oh my gosh, run! Okay, maybe I'll go into history class. Nobody will be in there. I can just hide in my ugly sweater all by myself. Molly, where are you? Oh no! Maybe she'll just walk by. Molly? Come on, I want to see your ugly Christmas sweater some more. Molly. Oh my gosh, run! Where is everybody? They must be at recess. <gasps> can I go in here? Maybe I can hide in here. She won't see me back here. Molly, where are you? Molly. Uh, where did she go? I want to tease her some more. can't even find her. <gasps> there you are! Ah! Oh my gosh, why do you keep bothering me? Go away! Is it not enough that I wore this silly sweater? And now you have to just make fun of me all day? Get out of here! Okay, somebody else help me. Who was that, another student? Hi! Hi, um, can you help me? She's totally bullying me right now. Oh my gosh, really, Molly? I'm so sorry to hear that. Sarah, stop being mean. Whatever. I mean, look at her sweater. It looks ridiculous. Here, let's paint it a different color. Get out of here! Oh my gosh, I have to call my mom and go home. She's going to come pick me up. I just know it when I tell her what happened. Oh my gosh. Hope I can run faster than Sarah. Ah, ah, ah. She's super fast. I know, I saw her at gym class last week. Excuse me, um, Principal Keys, I need to talk to you for a minute. Sure, Molly, what is it? What can I help you with? Um, help, something's wrong. What's going on? Um, okay, never mind. You don't want to tell me? No, not really. I just, I don't, I don't know. It's okay, Molly. You could totally tell me what's going on. Okay, um, well, Sarah's bullying me about this Christmas sweater I wore. Oh, I see. Were you trying to wear an ugly Christmas sweater? Yeah, she told me that basically, um, there was a party today, even though there wasn't. Oh, well, I think your sweater's pretty cute. I do, too. I mean, it's supposed to be ugly, but I think it's adorable. But she keeps saying it's uh, uh, totally ugly. No, Molly, that's not true. Don't let haters get to you. Okay, I'll try not to. And in the meantime, I'll have a talk with Sarah and tell her not to bully other students. Speaking of Sarah... Oh, there you are, Molly. Sarah, I think we need to talk. Uh, Principal Keys, I'm kind of busy right now. Sarah, have you been picking on Molly's uh Christmas sweater? Me? No, never. Liar! Sarah, I would like you to stop doing that, please. Um, okay, whatever. Ah, oh, finally! Principal Keys took care of this problem, and now I can wear my reindeer sweater all I want! <laughs> hey Toyo fans, thanks so much for watching our role play today in Bloxburg and in Roblox High. Don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel for awesome videos like this one every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Uh, I hope there's a huge pot of coffee this morning. Good morning, Molly! Daisy, you are too happy in the morning. Take down your happiness level until I've had my coffee. Wow, grumpy much? Daisy! Don't talk to me until I've had my ugh, coffee. So tired still. Mmm, that's delicious. I need another cup. Still asleep. And bing, I'm awake for the day. <laughs> Just like that. Coffee has magical powers, you know. Magical powers. 
Daisy, what on earth are you doing? Why are you standing in all the corners? I'm making a checklist, Molly, of all the different outlets, light switches, and things like that. Okay, my sister has lost her mind. What, did they put crazy in your coffee today? No, Molly, I have to do these repairs and things. I have to make everything baby-proof. Baby-proof? Wait a minute, why? Are you adopting a baby? <laughs> At my age? Absolutely not. I have a lot of goals, you know, and being a famous scientist is one of them before I have kids. Uh, so why are you doing this? Because, Molly, I've started a babysitting service. Holy guacamole, are you serious? That sounds like tons of work. Yeah, but you get $100 for watching a kid for a few hours while its parents have date night. A hundred bucks? Are you serious right now? That's tons of money. Yeah, Molly, and if you're willing to help me split the, the load of all the work of taking care of a kid, I'll give you 50 bucks. What? You'll give me half? Yeah, if you do half the work. Half the diapers. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't do diapers. Then you don't make 50 bucks. All right, fine. I'll do diapers. Then it's agreed upon. Oh, look! It looks like somebody's already calling me to babysit. Hello, Daisy's babysitting service. Hello, my name is Morticia Adams, and I'm looking for a babysitter. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is Daisy. How can I help you? My husband Gomez and I would like to have a date night through the cemetery. A date night through the cemetery? Um, okay. Uh, will I charge $100 per date night? Uh, I guess whatever floats your boat as far as the cemetery goes. Great. I'll bring my sweet little Wednesday by at 6 p.m. sharp. But don't feed her scorpion soup. She'll be having that for lunch. Goodbye. Scorpion soup? <laughs> she must be pranking me. Well, our first babysitting job, Molly. This is going to be amazing. Oh, Wednesday, you're only a year old, and you're already learning how to drive the family hearse. I'm so proud of you. Now remember, be on your worst behavior. <laughs> um, okay, Mom, I'll try my best. Look, it's my first babysitting job. Hi, come on in. Hi, I'm Morticia. Hi, I'm Daisy. I'm so sorry, darling, but you're going to have to stay with her. What? No way, Mom. I'm not staying here. Wednesday, just remember who you are and don't let this cheery babysitter bring you down. What would you say? I said if you have any problems, make sure you don't call me. Gomez, I'm coming, honey. I can't wait for our walk in the cemetery. Hi, Wednesday. I'm Daisy. Yeah, yeah. I don't even want to be here, but I have to be because I still need a babysitter. Oh, well, I have lots of games we can play. Everything has been safety proofed. What? That sounds so boring. Oh, my gosh. Do you still um poop your pants? Do you need like a diaper change? No, I've been potty trained since six months old. Whoa, that's amazing. You must be super smart, Wednesday. Hey, the cool babysitter is here. What do you mean the cool babysitter? The one that gives you Doritos and stuff. Whatever. I'd rather eat scorpions. Huh? What? Did she just say scorpions? Yeah, but it's some sort of prank. Her mom and her think it's hilarious. No, seriously. Scorpions are my favorite thing to eat. Well, try these Doritos instead. You're going to love them. Mm, these are pretty good. You are the cooler babysitter. Hey, this is Daisy's babysitting service. Molly's just naughtier than me, that's all. Yeah, exactly. And we Adams, we like to be naughty. <laughs> well, then you'll love this activity. Boing, 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 boing. Molly was supposed to be the mature one. Stop that. Oh my gosh, hanging out at your house is fun. What'd you say your name was? Molly, and you can basically call me the coolest babysitter ever. Let's ditch that Daisy babysitter and get out of here. My mom will give you the hundred bucks all by yourself. Uh, sorry Daisy, but I'm stealing your client. Molly, you better not! Molly! Let's go down to town. I'm sure there's something fun to do down there. Don't you want to drive? 
drive. You're one years old. How are you going to drive? My mom lets me drive her hers. Wow, that's pretty amazing. I know, right? How come you talk so sweet sometimes and other times you talk like a demon? Well, <laughs> I am part demon. Whoa, Wednesday. Um, can I have the angel part of you back? Oh, no. There's no angel part of me. There's only demon. And then there's this part of me that I use just to trick people to think that I'm a sweet little human child. Whoa. <laughs> Wednesday, um, you're kind of weird, but I like you. Let's go eat ice cream. Ooh, ice cream sounds delicious. This is the sweetest ice cream in Brookhaven. Whoa, delicious. Oh, man, she's got the angel voice on again. Wait a minute. Is she trying to trick me? Nah, she wouldn't do that. Where is everybody? They're supposed to be working, and there's nobody back there. Okay, fine. I'll just scoop my own ice cream then. I want a scoop of mint chocolate chip. I want a scoop of bubble gum. Pretty much I want a scoop of everything. Mm. Okay, Wednesday, where are... Wednesday? Where are you? Is she in the bathroom? Wednesday? Wednesday? Oh my gosh. Uh, I lost my my kid that I'm babysitting. I should have known when she was talking like that angel that she was up to no good. That's how she was talking to Daisy. Oh no. Daisy! 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 Molly, where, where's Wednesday? Um, so, um, I went and got some ice cream and... Molly, stop eating the ice cream and tell me where Wednesday is. Stop sticking the ice cream in my face, Molly. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I lost Wednesday. What? Why are you still eating ice cream then? Um, I eat when I get nervous. Molly, where is she? She's my responsibility. I don't know, but let's finish this ice cream and then we can go find her. Molly, put down the ice cream. Fine, okay. I thought you'd understand I eat when I'm nervous. Not a chance, Molly. Come on, let's go find her. Well, be careful when she talks like a sweet little angel and not a demon because it means she's trying to trick you. What? She can talk in two different voices? Yeah, one sounds like this. Hi, I'm Wednesday. That one is her, like, depressed demon voice. And then when she talks like, hi, I'm Wednesday. That's the one where she's trying to convince you she's all good and, and happy and stuff. And then she does something crazy. Don't worry, Molly. We'll find Wednesday Adams if it's the last thing we do. Wednesday, where are you? Something tells me she doesn't actually want to be found. She's kind of naughty. Something tells me that she already got arrested. Arrested? Wait, no, no, wait. There she is. Come back here. What do you want? We're your babysitters. What are you doing? Hey, don't climb that ladder. You naughty little kid. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if this was worth the $100. Are she getting in the helicopter? Aw, uh, Daisy, we might have a problem. Uh, I've never flown a helicopter before. You're one years old. You don't know how to fly a helicopter. Come on out of there. I'll give you some ice cream, please, please. Uh-oh, Um, she fell down through and crashed it already. Uh, that's probably not good, Wednesday. It's okay. I'll just spawn another helicopter, and then I'll fly it around. You will not. You're going to have a timeout. Get back here, you little brat. Molly, we don't use those words with our clients. Hey, you're a brat. And I think that you need a timeout. Mega bad. Mega bad, baby. You scared Daisy and I half to death. I thought you were going to be good. Good? You were encouraging her to jump on the couch. Okay, maybe I'm not the best influence, but Wednesday, timeout chair. Now. What? I don't need the timeout chair. Don't use your angel voice with me, Wednesday. Time out chair. Now. Fine. This is the lamest babysitting ever. Well, I guess you have to learn your lesson. No more running away from your babysitters. Well, parents are going to be here any minute, Molly. I don't know if they'll like that we gave her a time out. She deserved it. Naughty, naughty baby. Hello, I'm back. What are you doing? Where's my daughter? I'm exhausted. Your daughter is exhausting. She's very naughty. She tried to run away, so my sister Molly gave her a timeout. What? She got a timeout? Yeah, Mom, I'm so sorry. I won't ever let this happen again. I cannot believe you got caught. If you're going to be naughty, then you should see it all the way through and not get caught and put in timeout. Wait, what? You actually wanted her to run away and do crazy stuff? Yeah. It's how we Adams do things. You are a bonkers! Don't call me again to babysit. 
Some people just aren't your customers. Really? Because I was going to give you a thousand dollars. What? Okay, well, you're kind of my customer, I guess. So, will you watch my daughter every Saturday? I can make it rain. Whoa, the Adams are rich. Yeah, Wednesday can come stay anytime. But my rules are my rules. Fine, it'll be good practice for her to try to be a criminal, won't it, Wednesday? Do I have to come back here, Mom? Oh, don't try the angel voice with Morticia. She knows better. <laughs> Where do you think she learned it from? Molly, let's watch Rags to Witches. Ooh, this show is awesome. Can't wait. Hello? Oh, hi, dear. It's your mother. Oh, hi, Mom. Uh, what's going on? Well, dear, tomorrow's Christmas, and I was really hoping I didn't have to be alone. I could cook a big Christmas dinner if you want. Christmas? Um, uh, Mom, it's not even Thanksgiving tomorrow. <laughs> You're a little head on your timeline there. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? Oh, dear me. I have my dates mixed up again. Oh, I really do hope you could come for dinner anyway, even if it's not Christmas. I'm lonely and I miss my family. Oh, geez, Mom. Of course we'll come. Uh, we could leave tonight, spend the night, and then we could spend the day tomorrow playing board games and going for walks and, and, and talking. Does that sound fun? Your granddaughters would love to see you. Oh, yes, dear. That'd be fabulous. Okay, well, we'll leave in about 15 minutes as soon as we can pack our bags. Bye, Mom. Bye, dear. But, Dad, it's a new episode of Rags to Riches. We're going to miss it. Molly, Grandma's more important. Oh, Dad. Well, your grandma's kind of senile. I mean, she thought tomorrow was Christmas, and it's not even Thanksgiving yet. Don't you think we should go check in on her? Well, I guess you're right. And I haven't seen Grandma in a while. I do kind of miss her. Exactly. Now, go get your coats and your bags. Pack them up. We're going to see Grandma. Okay. Wait, what? Where are we going? We're going to spend the weekend with your mother-in-law. Aren't you excited? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can't wait. Oh, man. I'm all ready. Last one to the car is a rotten egg. Whoa. It's like a blizzard outside. Uh, Mom, Dad, you better pack an extra coat. And, um, have you been outside recently? Holy guacamole, it's a blizzard out here. How are we going to make it to Grandma's house now? I don't know, but you can't let her down. We have to still go. Oh, <laughs> I have four-wheel drive and good tires on the car. I'm sure we'll be fine. Go get a coat on, Molly. Okay. Oh, my whole weekend is going to be at my mother-in-law's. Don't worry. Grandma's pretty nice, don't you think, Mom? Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I can't wait to eat her burned turkey. That's better. Now it won't be cold. Come on, Molly. Let's get going. We've gotta go over the river and through the woods to Grandmother's house we go. The car knows the way to carry us all to her house in the snow. Uh, Dad, I'm not sure if that's how that goes. Don't worry, Daisy. Dad's just not a singer. Come on, honey. We don't want to be late. Uh, are you sure about this? I mean, it's a little cold out here and, and, and the weather is, well, horrible. Don't worry, Mom. We've all got our seatbelts. And Dad said this car is four wheel drive. We'll be fine. Yeah, this car is, whoa, I'm sliding already. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I don't know what your definition of fun is, but the entire town is deserted. It's a blizzard out here. My mom really needs us to check in on her, honey. She said she's lonely. Oh, okay, well, we should try to get there then. Go really slow. These roads are terrible. I can't see anything. It's, it's almost a whiteout here. I think you took the wrong turn, honey. I think we're back in town. Nah, this doesn't look like town. Whoa. Whoa! We ran into the pool! Ah! Oh my gosh! Everybody try to open your door quickly! We don't want to drown! Oh my gosh, nobody else is out of the car. I'm out, Dad! I'm out! Wait, we're all out. We're all okay. 
Hey, wait a minute. Where's Molly? Molly! I'll go back in for her. Molly? Molly, say something. Uh, well, what happened? Molly, are you okay? Um, uh, I feel kind of, whoa, I'm feeling kind of weird. Do I look all right to you guys? Oh my gosh, Molly turned into a Happy Meal. What? But, 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 but how can that be? I mean, we got in a wreck and now she's a Happy Meal? Ooh, she looks delicious. I'm going to eat them. Hey, no, don't eat me. I, 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 I can't believe I turned into a Happy Meal. Is this what happens when you almost drown? You just, you just morph into something else? Come back here. I like Happy Meals. I want to eat you. Ah! My sister's going to eat me! I got to turn back out of a Happy Meal. How did this happen? Maybe if I jump back in the pool, it'll fix it. Okay, there's the car. I, I just have to swim down. Ugh. Does anybody know how a Happy Meal swims? Ugh. Ugh, I can't see anything. Ugh! Ugh! I don't want to be a Happy Meal anymore! Well, her vital signs are good. I just don't understand why she's not waking up. No, no, I, I don't, no, I, I, no! Molly, wake up, wake up. You took a massive bonk on your head in the accident, but we need you to open your eyes, Molly. Open your eyes! What happened to me? <gasps> no! I don't wanna be a Happy Meal! I don't wanna be a Happy Meal! Um, honey, apparently your Happy Meal is really upsetting our daughter. Sorry. That accident made me really hungry, and we've been waiting a long time for her to wake up. I'm just starving. You better get rid of it before she freaks out and, and goes back into a coma. Okay, Molly, I need you to calm down. No one is a happy meal, honey. No one's a happy meal. I, I was. I was a happy meal. What is she talking about? I don't know, but I don't want a happy meal as a daughter. I want Molly. This is just normal. Sometimes our brains get a little scrambled when we get a bonk on the head. She definitely has a concussion. So, um, she's not a Happy Meal? Uh, no, of course she's not. She's still your daughter. Oh, good. What happened? Well, um, we were driving to Grandma's house. And, um, there was a really bad storm. Yeah, I remember all that. And then I accidentally drove us into the Brookhaven pool and you almost drowned. And apparently you think you're a Happy Meal now. Oh, my gosh, where's Daisy? Is Daisy okay? Daisy's fine. She's just resting and drinking some hot cocoa to warm herself up. You're the one we're worried about, Molly. Actually, I feel pretty good. Whoa, whoa. Sit, sit down, Molly, sit down. It's normal to feel a little dizzy and sick to your stomach when you get a bonk on the head. Is it normal to think you're a chicken nugget? Um, well, there's a first for everything. I knew it. I knew it. I'm strange because I think I'm a chicken nugget. That will pass, Molly, and everything will be fine. Uh, what we need you to do right now is try to go to sleep and get some rest. Okay, I'll try. Whoa, Daisy, what are you doing here? I I'm supposed to be sleeping. Mm, well, I just came to see you, Molly. It was very important. Oh, oh. Um, sorry, I was just choking on this giant bite. What are you eating? You, of course. Mmm, you're the most delicious Happy Meal I ever did eat. Mmm, and all thanks to that accident. Huh? What? No! I don't want to be a Happy Meal! Somebody get me out of here! I can't be a Happy Meal! No! No! Okay, where's the exit? Oh, there it is. Oh, my gosh. I have to get out of here. Huh? No one's allowed to eat me! Even if I am a Happy Meal! Do you hear that? No one can eat Molly! Ah! Wow, a new house! I say we explore it. Oh, I love new houses. They're so full of cool things like snacks in the kitchen. Is that all you think about, Molly? Um, yeah. Molly, I heard this is the Megan story. You know what that is, right? What? No. Oh, I'm too busy looking for cupcakes. Molly, Megan is a crazy, creepy robot. What are you talking about? Don't be crazy. Hey, guys, I'm a fan. I cannot believe that we're going to be in this Roblox house together. Oh, me either. <laughs> it's cool to see a fan. Come on, let's go check out some other places. They are here. This will be an awesome surprise for you all. What? What is it? What? What? I love surprises. What is it? Hey, Gamma. Megan.
Omega is ready for alpha testing. Awesome! I hope this all goes well. What kind of alpha testing? Who's Megan? Rest assured, she won't start going cyborg, Gamma. <laughs> okay, we're definitely getting some sort of robot. Wait a minute, is this the robot that Daisy was talking about that's totally crazy? Well then, <laughs> let's go. Um, what is that? Wow, hi Megan. Hello, who are you? I'm Katie. Calibrating, calibrating, pair, pair. Let's draw something. She's not evil at all, Daisy. Look at her, she seems so nice. Okay, what's she drawing? I'm looking to see what she's drawing. Oh, it looks like a pretty picture or something. Uh, yeah, if you a psycho. Megan, um, there's nothing on the paper. Maybe you need to recalibrate again. Oops, sorry. Whoa, she drew a picture of her. It's beautiful. It looks just like me. Wow, Katie, that's amazing that she could draw a picture just like you. Hey, Megan, will you send to our um be sent to our house leader? Um, wait, she has to be given an e-heart, and then she'll be able to feel emotions. Okay, everybody, let's go back to the house. Alpha training is over. Wow, Megan seems really cool. I'm a fan, hi! Whoa, so many fans. This is like a Star Squad house right now. Molly, I'm telling you, this Mega Megan girl is, is evil. Oh, Daisy, pish posh. Don't be such a, a nincompoop. Did you just call me a nincompoop? Hey guys, look, I think Megan must be here. Oh, there's a box out there. Okay, yeah, that's definitely our Megan robot. She's so cool. I want her to draw my picture. Make me a snack. Like, preferably if she could bake me some cupcakes, that would be perfect. Hello, everyone. Oh, she popped out of the box all on her own. See, Molly, creepy. Not creepy. I was programmed to help you emotionally and physically. I know everything that has happened in the past, and I know 99% of human knowledge. It's insane, right? Totally. I don't like you, Megan. Come on in, Megan. It's great you're here. Katie's fine with her. Why can't you just be cool, Daisy? This is nothing cool about her. <sighs> okay, I'll go along with it. Hi, Megan. I'm Daisy. Um, I just want to know, um, can you dance? Of course I can. Watch this. Well, her dancing is pretty, well, basic, but, you know, she can sort of dance. Oh, it arrived. We named her Megan. It stands for Model 3 Generative... Um, what was the last word? I can't even remember. I am not an it. I am a she. Of course, I was thinking, do you guys want to... I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, but do you guys want to play at the park with Megan? Um, yeah, I think she's amazing. Let's do it. I don't know, Molly. I still have a bad feeling about this. Come on, Daisy. She seems super cool. Uh, who, who's, whose screen name is Candy Poopy? <laughs> Shout out to Candy Poopy. Is that when you eat way too much candy and uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, this park is amazing. Megan's gonna love it here. Megan, look, there's a climbing wall. Oh, she's going right up for it. Yeah, there's a climbing wall. Oh, how come I can't do it? Because you're not a robot, Molly. Well, I did it, so maybe I am part robot. Look, Megan. Why doesn't Megan have a mouth, though? That part is a little creepy. Like, what's she talking out of? Her armpit? Kitty, I thought I told you not to come here anymore. Go away, Brandon. Oh, great. A bully at the park. Just what we need. Who's ready for dinner? I got pizza for everyone in the dining room. Oh, where's the dining room? I'm starting. Starving. I can't even talk right. I'm so hungry. Why am I sitting on the couch? Pizza's not on the couch. Pizza's right here. I want to eat all the pizza. Put it in my tummy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, that's some good pizza right there. Mm. Buddy, don't eat it all. Leave some for everyone else. Oh, it got dark out fast. Okay, time for bed. We have a lot planned tomorrow. Megan will go on her charger. Okay, where's Megan's charger? That, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Later that night. Come here, Brandon. You can't hide. <laughs> Nighty night, Brandon. Ugh, perfect way to start the day with a piece of pizza in my hand. Ali, if you have been holding that since last night at the dinner table, I may have slept with it in my hand. <laughs> Perfect breakfast, though. Mm, delicious. Breakfast downstairs, everyone. Pancakes. Ooh, pancakes. Molly, you just had breakfast. No, I had first breakfast. <laughs> now I need second breakfast. Ooh, pancakes. My favorite. I thought pizza was your favorite. Okay, pancakes are my second favorite. I heard something outside last night. Hmm, that's odd. I wonder what it could have been. Everyone, look outside. Ah, is that jelly? Why would they waste grape jelly like that? We could... Or even raspberry jelly, because it's red. I mean, we could have eaten that on our pancakes. Okay, guys, I think that might actually be blood. Blood! Ah! 
Don't worry, I have a secret underground base. It'll keep us safe from whoever is killing everyone. Oh, okay, well, at least I brought my pancakes with me, because mm, how can you live without delicious food down here in this bunker? What? There's a bunch of robots down here? This is huge. Take whatever you need to protect yourself. Hmm. Well, pancakes are a start. Look at all this science equipment down here. It's crazy. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna take a first aid kit. Can I take one of these robots? <laughs> hey, where'd you get that knife? I needed it, Molly. Um, it, it's important to survive this. <laughs> so, you have come to play? Let's play. Wait, where is she? I don't even see her. Okay, where is this crazy Megan? She's like invisible. Oh my God, there she is. She's crawling like some sort of dog. Spider, and she's chasing me, of course. And you know what, guys? I do not have... Oh, wait, I have a knife. Okay, this is good news. Okay, all right, I've had enough of you. Get out of here, lady! Crazy robot thing! Oh, boy. Yep, I need something to heal myself. All right, guys, I'm healing myself right now. Okay, I healed myself. Did I just die, or did I win? Um, I don't know what just happened, but a lot of other people... I... Wait, did... did I win, or did I die daisy no i think we but we beat him wait did we get a good ending or a ba bad ending I, I don't know marty my thoughts on this are there's no good or bad ending what but the robot was bad well she was just i don't know malfunctioning not really bad just malfunctioning she's not human she can't be good or bad whoa that just blew my mind we didn't, wait now i'm disconnected oh my gosh what's going on here i'm back that crazy robot might still be alive because it was messing with my internet connection oh no megan lives megan lives um i really hope not what i was trying to say before she disconnected my internet was that there's no good or bad ending to this game because a robot can't be good or bad they're just a machine whoa mind blown all right guys we'll see you in our next video this one was kind of crazy bye good morning girls good morning are you awake good morning Good morning. Wait a minute. Brookie Cookie was sleeping in your crib, Daisy. Well, well, where is she? Brookie? Brookie? I I don't know where she went. Oh my gosh. We have to find her. She's she's gone. Oh my goodness. Where could she be? Oh, she's not in the bunk beds, which makes sense because she's so little. I, I don't think she could climb up there. I'm sure she's somewhere, Mom. What's for breakfast? I want a bottle. You have to wait, Molly. I have to find Brookie Cookie. Whoa! Ow! I fell down the stairs. Oh, are you okay? Come here. It's okay. Come on. I'll help you down the stairs. I did it by the with my me. Oh, that's right. I forgot Daisy. Okay. I gotta go back and get Daisy. You stay here, Molly. Okay. La la la. I want a bottle. Daddy, dee, dee, dee. Wee! Jumping on the couch. Wee! <laughs> Wee! So much fun. So much fun. Wee! Ow! 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 Okay, try again. Molly, you're not supposed to be jumping on the couch. Get down from there right this instant. Wee! It's fun! No, you're gonna fall and get a bonk on your head. Remember last time. Ah, oh, it's okay. Let's go camping. Yeah, da -da -da -ba -ba. camping. No, we're not going camping. We have to find Brookie Cookie. Hi, <laughs> in here, Mom, in here. <laughs> Brookie Cookie sleeping in the dog bed. Ah, oh, da -da 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 -ba -ba -ba. good morning. Good morning, Brookie. Oh, she's so cute, isn't she? Sleeping in the dog bed. What? Brookie Cookie? Oh my gosh, how'd you end up in the dog bed? Well, Daisy was hogging the crib, so I came down here. Da -da 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 -da. Whee! I'm gonna get in the dog bath. Molly, don't get in the... Ugh, okay, whatever. Does this mean I still have to give you a regular bath if you took a bath in the dog bath? Nope, I'm all clean. <laughs> now what's for breakfast? Yeah, I'm starving. Da -da 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 -da. 
Where's Daisy now? Daisy? I play huge. Sheesh, open your eyes. I can't. I'm still tired. Ooh, toast. That looks good. Maybe I can make a breakfast sandwich. Let's see what I've got. Oh, yeah. Mm. How about some nice fruit for breakfast? No. I'm eating an egg and tomato sandwich. Oh, brother Miley, that really sounds disgusting. It's really good. You should try it. No thanks, I think I'll just have something normal. Egg and tomatoes and ew. It's very good. Uh, I think I'll try it. I don't know, but I'm hungry. <laughs> we don't have to cry about it. What are you, a baby? Yeah, I am a baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. Morning routines with three babies. What was I thinking? Don't mind, Mom. You love us all. Of course I love you all, but seriously, three babies. Molly, what are you doing? I'm riding on your shoulders. Giddy up, horsey! Molly, we're not playing horse right now. We have to make sure everyone's had their breakfast. I said, will you change my diaper? Ew! No one wants to change your stinky diaper! Molly, I'm a baby. You have to change my diaper. No, I don't have to change it. Yeah, but mom does. Okay, girls. Okay. Um, why don't you guys line up and I'll change each of your diapers. No, I'm a big girl now. I'll use the potty. Yeah, wait, Molly. That's what you said yesterday before you poopy on the floor. I did not. Take that back. Rude. Closing the door. Whoa. That potty looks really big. I don't... I don't know. I'm, I, I might get flushed. I think this might be a bad idea. Molly, are you okay in there? Um, yeah. Oh, I need a shower. Hitting in the tub, the tub, the tub. Ah, much better. Molly, I'm so glad that you think you're a big girl now, but you should wait until I can be in there to give you a bath. Uh-huh, sure. Did you do what you she taking? A bath by yourself. Um, yep, and I'm totally clean. Wow, Molly, you really are getting to be a big girl. You did it all by yourself? Yep. Well, there's still some soap in your hair. Okay, fine, I'll go wash it out. <laughs> do you need some help, Molly? No, I can do it! I'm a big girl now! Oh, you're such a big girl, you still talk in baby talk. Okay, well, I can't help it, okay? I'm still sort of a baby, but I can do a lot of things on my own. Okay, well, would you like to go to preschool? Um, no. Molly, preschool's gonna be fun. Come on. I don't want to go to preschool. I don't want to do it. I'm not going. Molly, we all have to go to preschool. It's good for us. I don't want to go. I'm gonna sit here and watch TV. Well, too bad. <laughs> I'm hungry again. I'm hungry. Daisy, you just had breakfast. What are you talking about? You're hungry. Yeah, Piggy. What, what are you eating? I'm eating a s'more. What? How come you got a s'more for breakfast? I didn't get a s'more for breakfast. <laughs> oh, my goodness, girls. Come on. It's time for school. Fine, but I'm still mad I didn't get a s'more. And I pooped my pants. Oh, I need a vacation. Okay, here we are, right at preschool. I don't feel so good. Me either. Me either. Oh, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Oh, my gosh. All of my babies are sick. Watch out. Everybody in town, watch out. Emergency. Emergency. Oh, I don't feel so good. Everybody watch out. Don't hit me with your car. Oh, my gosh. I'm take my babies to the hospital. You poor things. Hello, what can I do for you today? Wait, you can't go in there. Yes, this is an emergency! 911! Hello, what can I do for you? Oh my gosh! Three sick babies! Holy guacamole! Please make them better! I go first! I don't feel good! Oh, it's nice to see you, Molly! Would you like me to heal your whole family? Yes, please! Oh, thank you so much, Dr. Hart! Okay, girls, are you ready to go to preschool? Wait a minute. I was sick. I don't have to go to school. <laughs> no, you still have to go to preschool. What? No, I should get a sick day. <laughs> oh, 
Marty, quit crying about it. I can't help it, I'm a baby! I cry for no reason! <laughs> oh, brother, how'd I get stuck with her as a sister? Hey, you're mean! Okay, girls, here's your preschool! Wow, it's like pandemonium in here. There's eggs and people and... I just want to sit down in my seat. Go ahead, Molly, have a seat. I can't fit, I'm too tiny! Wouldn't that mean you were too fat if you couldn't fit? I don't know, that's why I'm in school! Wow, I feel so much smarter already! I did it all by that, bye bye. Don't feel smart again. Well, Daisy, uh, keep trying. School's almost over, then we could go to the park. Yeah, the park! Woohoo! Like a very long recess, that would be great. Yes, I finished school! And that completes our morning routine. Where will mom get you? I don't know. We kind of wore her out this morning. She might be on vacation. <laughs> yeah, right. Like moms ever get vacations. <laughs>
<laughs> you wouldn't make it one day on your own. Who's going to make you cupcakes? I'll go to Starbucks and buy them. I have allowance saved up. I can do it. You know what I think of this list? <laughs> Goodbye. <gasps> you just threw the clipboard, Molly. Yep. Time to go pack my stuff. I'm moving out. I don't need this. I don't need someone bossing me around. Ha 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 ha. This is going to be the best life ever. Molly, think this through. I mean, honestly, you're not even wearing real clothes. Who needs real clothes? I see people at Walmart wearing their pajama bottoms all the time. They don't need real clothes. But, 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 okay, well, she has a bit of a point there. I'm never wearing real clothes again. I'm wearing my pajamas for life. Ha, 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 ha. This is going to be the best life I've ever had. Hey, Brookie. Hey, Molly, what are you doing? I'm going to live alone. What? I'll miss you, Molly. What are you doing outside? Getting some fresh air. I just did all of my chores. Chore s'mores! That's exactly what I'm talking about. Did you just say s'mores? Yeah, you know I love food. Had to just put a little bit of a food joke in there. <laughs> so, uh, you want to come visit me in my new apartment? You have an apartment? No, but I'm going to. I have $50 saved up in my allowance. Uh, Molly, apartments are like $1,000 a month. Jiminy Cricket! Well, I'll just find a cheap one. <laughs> I'm sure there's one in downtown. Oh, look, there's a realtor. She's going to give me an awesome penthouse apartment. Hi, I'm Molly. Oh, hi. You're much younger than I thought. Must be you're a famous YouTuber or something. No big deal. Um, but what's up with the pajamas? That's not how we are in the real estate world. Well, it's how we are in the YouTube world. I make YouTube videos in my pajamas all the time. Okay, fine, whatever. Well, let's go see the penthouse apartment. Now, you do have your deposit, correct? You know I do. Ooh, is there an elevator? This is a lot of stairs. Um, well, yes, but it's not working right now. Um, well, then you should take some money off my rent. That's a lot of money. What do you mean it's a lot of money? I haven't even told you how much it is yet. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's true. Come on, let's go in. Uh, let me just unlock it. So here it is, the penthouse apartment. Oh, wow, this place is amazing. Um, why are you carrying a suitcase everywhere with you? Is that where you keep your checks and money? Uh, because you're going to need it to be able to pay for this place. It's $10,000 a month. $10,000 a month? Lady, are you crazy? Um, no, that's what this place costs. Want to look around? Holy macaroni, this place is amazing. Where am I going to get $10,000 a month? Uh, you also need a deposit um, of $12,000 to move in. How about $50? I have $50. Will that be enough? Huh? What? N no, of course not. This is the penthouse. Um, okay. Well, how about this? How about I give you a shout out on my YouTube channel? We have millions of subscribers. It would be so good for your real estate business. Okay, well, I guess we could do that for the down deposit. But, um, you still need to come up with $10,000 in rent. Okay, um, uh, uh, um, I'll be right back. Where are you going? I've got to use the bathroom. Uh, you're not supposed to use the bathroom at the rental until you rent it. Oh, 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 this is terrible. <laughs> totally ate a bean burrito today. Are you ever coming out? Whoa, it smells awful. What are you doing? Well, lady, <laughs> I guess you have to give me the apartment now. What? Why? Because everybody knows if you poop in the bathroom, it's yours. Oh, well, you do have a point there. It's yours. Congratulations. But only for a month. After the month, you have to pay $10,000. <laughs> there you go. You guys heard it. It's my apartment because I claimed it. <laughs> now this is the life. Nobody with checklists. No one waking me up early on a Saturday. No one telling me I can't watch TV or eat whatever I want. I'm kind of hungry. Hey, Mom. What's for dinner? Mom. Mom, where are you? Oh, wait a minute. Mom doesn't live here. Oh, my gosh. This means I have to make my own food? No! It's okay. It's okay. There's um, an apple here and a banana that the realtor left. That'll be tasty, right? No! Not tasty at all! Well, dinner was terrible. Ugh. Hey, Daisy! You want to play Roblox? Because dinner was really disappointing. Daisy! Daisy! Oh, wait a minute. I live alone. My annoying sister isn't here. You'd think that would make me happy, but she and I always play Roblox together. I kind of miss her, but don't tell her I said that. Oh, 
Living alone is kind of, well, lonely. There's even bunk beds for more than one person to stay here, but, but wait, where does this go? This is gonna be cool. This is gonna be so cool. Wait a minute, what is up here? It's a pool? Are you serious? Okay, living alone's fine. Gonna go swimming. Gonna go swimming. Yeah, I'm swimming in my pajamas. What about it? Huh? 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 <laughs> I can do whatever I want in my mismatched pajamas. Ah! <sighs> ah! Ah! I got a cramp! Ah! Somebody help! I got a cramp in my stomach! I knew eating that apple was a bad idea! Ah! I'm gonna drown! Help! Oh, Mom! Somebody! Ooh! Molly, could you stop daydreaming, please? There's this huge list you have to get done! Molly, are you even listening? Ah, uh, uh, living alone is terrible! What? Uh, okay, yeah, I can be. Um, you'd probably miss us. You're right, I'd miss you so much, Mom. I love you. Thank you for this big, long list of stuff I don't want to do. On my Saturday when I'd rather sleep in. Um, okay, Molly. Well, just make sure you have it all done before you get back. Yeah, I'll even do it twice. I love you, Mom! <laughs> Daisy, let's ask mom. Molly, she already said no like twice this month. She's not going to say yes if we can get iPhones all of a sudden. Well, maybe if we just wear her down a little bit farther. You gotta just get us a time out, Molly. She's gonna get annoyed. We can ask her really nicely. If she says no on the first time we ask, then we'll just stop, okay? Ah, <sighs> fine. But if she gets mad, this was your idea. All right, fine. It was my idea. Mom, mom. Oh, hey Molly, what's going on? Hey Daisy, what are you up to, Mom? Oh, I'm just washing my hands because I'm going to make some food and, you know, I have to get baby Kira out from her nap, all that fun stuff. Um, Mom, uh, Daisy and I have a question. Um, okay. What is it? Shoot. Um, yeah, Molly, it was all of Molly's idea, so um, she could ask. Daisy, I thought we were in this together. No, you're in this by yourself. <laughs> I'm just here for moral support. Okay, let me guess. You both want iPhones. How'd you know, Mom? You're such a genius. A mind reader. Molly, quit trying to say nice things to me just so I buy you an iPhone. No, Mom, I really think you are amazing. And the most beautiful mom in the entire world. You look so young. Have I ever told you that? Molly, haven't we already gone over this? Told you she was gonna say no. She always says no. Actually... This time, I'm not going to say no. Wait, what? You're not? Nope, I'm going to say maybe. A maybe? I'll take a maybe. We finally got a maybe. Finally got a maybe. Finally got a maybe. Do, 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 do. I'm so happy. So am I. Wait a minute. What makes the maybe turn into a yes, Mom? Yeah, Mom. What makes the maybe turn into a yes? Can I dance on the counter? Molly, get down. Yeah, Molly, before she changes her mind. Well... I know you guys have that big math test coming up, and I was thinking that if you both could pass it, then I'll get you each a new iPhone. Wow. Really? That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. New iPhone, here I come. Oh wait, I'm gonna definitely go study right now and for the rest of the night, so basically I can get a new iPhone. Good luck, Molly. Good luck is right. Mom, do we have to make that why I get the iPhone? I'll even vacuum the floor. Just. I'm not that great at math, which should be an encouragement to you, Molly, to study. And the test is tomorrow, so I'd get going. Yeah, okay. But first, I want to watch some TV because I haven't watched any yet today, and I love watching TV. I won't watch it for that long, just enough time to let my brain relax a little bit. A few hours later. Oh, MG, that was a great episode. That made me think that I need to play that new survival game on Roblox. I haven't played it yet, and I definitely want to try it out. This is going to be awesome! Two hours later. What? Why didn't I win? Oh, I'm terrible at this game. I need more practice. Um, uh, Molly, just a friendly reminder, but it's been three hours since I made you the iPhone offer. Huh? What? Oh, um, yeah, Mom, I just... I had to win this Roblox game. I mean, I am a famous YouTuber and all. That's lovely, Molly. But if you want the iPhone, I suggest that you study for your math test. Or else you're going to fail. And then no new iPhone. I mean, how will you FaceTime Brookie? Um, yeah, Mom. You have a point. I'm actually going to study. Really? Something I said actually got through to you and you're going to study? Oh, 
child parenting win! Don't get too excited, Mom. I'm definitely the problem child still. Well, I'll take this one as a small win. Whoa, 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 what are you doing here, Molly? I'm, um, studying. Molly, it's 9.30 at night. It's a little late for studying, don't you think? Um, no, not at all. I'm just getting started. I'm going to pull an all-nighter and basically do amazing on this test. Um, okay, Molly, if you say so. Try not to be too loud, though. I need my rest. It's a big day tomorrow. I'm going to pass a test and get an iPhone. And so am I, Daisy. Well, if you had studied a bit more and... I don't need to hear that, Daisy. <sighs> One, two. What are you doing? Working out. A fit body goes along with having the healthiest mind. Okay, if you say so. I'll just be over here in the corner studying, studying, and studying some more. Oh, this math is so hard. Molly, you've literally been working on it for five minutes and you're already crying? Yes. Oh, it's so difficult. Molly, wipe your tears and keep your eye on the prize. That iPhone will be yours before you know it. Thanks, Daisy. I needed that motivation. Oh my gosh, it's 3 a.m. I've been up for hours and hours and hours studying. Oh, I have to sleep. Must sleep. <coughs> oh boy, today's the day I get an iPhone. Molly, Molly. Well, she snoozes, she loses. Okay, well, do a little few workout. I sit up just to wake up my brain, have some breakfast, and head out the door. Molly, you gonna wake up? Molly! <coughs> well, don't say I didn't try to help you. <coughs> what, what, what was that? Wake up, Molly. Wake up! Does that say 9 a.m.? <coughs> ah! I'm gonna miss the school bus! Well, good thing I slept in my clothes last night. Where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. Ah, we just ran into the door. Holy guacamole! I'm gonna be late! Well, well, well. Look who decided to get out of bed. Seems to me you've failed the test. No, Mom, I haven't! Just get me to the end of the day! I'll show you! I'll show them all! I'll just run to school. Yeah! Oh, wait, no, the school bus waited for me. Oh, this is such good news! <laughs> it's not so bad after all, I guess. Thank you for waiting for me, school bus driver! Daisy, why are you wearing your lab coat from Halloween? Because, Molly, I'm going to be a famous scientist one day, and this coat just, I think it's lucky. It's a Halloween costume. Molly, shh! You just be grateful that you're not late for math and quit worrying about what I'm wearing for this test. It brings me luck! Oh, wow. Actually, we're earlier than everyone else. I thought we were going to be so late. Good morning. Good morning. All right, we're just going to wait for the rest of the class to get here, and uh, then we can start our test, okay? Okay, Mr. Jared, no problem. I studied so hard last night. Ugh, I hardly got any sleep. She could have started studying three hours before and went to bed on time. Daisy, Ugh, sisters are exhausting. Okay, class, eyes on your own paper. You have exactly 15 minutes to finish this test. Whoa, hush. 15 minutes. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. Oh, I think I'm doing it right, I hope. Molly, quiet, please. Sorry, I kind of talked to myself out loud. No, I've, I've got this down. I'm sure of it. Okay, I'm done. Well, Molly, that was the fastest you've ever completed a test. Good job. So, Molly, how do you think you did on your math test? I don't know. I thought I was doing really good, but now that the test is over, I feel like maybe I made mistakes. Did you study? You probably didn't, right? No, I stayed up really late till like three o'clock in the morning studying. Oh my gosh, Molly. How are you even standing right now? I don't know. I'm just tired and I'm worried. Well, turn that frown upside down because today is pizza day. Wow. My stomach's kind of upset. I don't think I'm gonna eat pizza. What? But you love pizza day. I'm too nervous about this test. Why is this test in particular so worrisome to you, Molly? Because my mom said that if we passed the test, my sister and I could get iPhones. Whoa, are you serious? Wow, that's like an amazing prize for, for doing really well on your test. No wonder you're nervous. Yeah, and even lunch lady Marge can't even change that. Even with her most delicious pizza. Molly, I think I did amazing. I'm gonna get an iPhone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm getting an iPhone, but I'm just a little nervous because 
I don't know. Math is hard for me. Molly, are you sure that you don't want a piece of pizza? No, I can't eat anything right now. My stomach's too upset. Too worried I, pa I passed that test. Um, Daisy, what are you doing? I'm writing down all the accessories I'm gonna get with my new iPhone. Ugh, I'm just wondering if I'm gonna get the iPhone. Molly, you studied half the night. I'm sure you did really well on the test. Don't worry. Thanks, Brookie. That's exactly what I needed to hear. Well, lunch is over. Time to find out the test results. I'm excited and nervous, but I did finish the test really quickly, so I think I did pretty good. I hope I have to get at least a 70 on it to pass and get my new iPhone. Well, boys and girls, I'm pretty pleased with the test results, but I have a few of you that failed. So <sighs> I hope you can study harder next time. Molly, here's your test. Great job, Daisy. A 92. I'm getting an iPhone! Molly, how'd you do? A 68? Two points away from my iPhone? Excuse me, Mr. Jared, I think this must be a mistake. No, Molly, you failed. Fair and square. Oh, I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. I'm about to get an iPhone and I'm gonna like it. Oh, man. Maybe mom will just look over those two points and say, well, it's not that big a deal. Hey, girls. Ugh, the vacuum got clogged again. Ugh. Mom, I'm so excited. You are? Wait, did you get your test results today? Yeah, and I passed, Mom. So I get an iPhone. Do -de -do 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 -do. How about you, Molly? How'd you do? Um, I did okay. Yeah, fine, I guess. But don't worry, I... Uh, I don't need to show you my test. Molly, show me the test, please. She failed! Daisy! Sorry, but it's the truth, Molly. But mom, it's only two points. I got a 68. Molly, the requirement was you passed a 70. But mom! Sorry, Molly. I made the rules. No iPhone. Oh, that's not fair! Daisy gets everything! I worked so hard! That's not fair! Oh! The next melding. This iPhone has so many features. I can't even believe it. It's amazing, Molly. Uh-huh. You should see the photos that this thing takes. Uh-huh. Molly, it is so cool. Uh-huh. Could you be quiet about the iPhone? It's dumb anyway. Who wants that phone? Not me. I don't want an iPhone. I wouldn't want an iPhone if it was the last phone at the AT&T store. You're just jealous. Whatever. I don't, I don't I don't even need that phone. It's dumb and I don't I don't need a phone. Who needs a phone? I could just call my friends on the on the I don't know. I could just walk to their house. Yeah, that's it. Get good exercise. Yeah. And then I don't have to waste my time studying for math tests that I fail anyway. Speaking of, I've got to go to a dance class, but I'm going to leave my phone here and let it charge because I didn't let it charge when I got it and and now there's no charge cuz I was so excited and uh-huh. Whatever. Bye, Daisy! Bye, Molly! I hope you have a better day! Okay, where did she leave that phone? Because I think I'm going to give it a try myself. I worked really hard. I should get have gotten an iPhone in two. Just because I missed passing by two points? That's ridiculous! It's my phone now! <laughs> Ooh, playing this Roblox game looks really fun. Wow! The resolution on this thing is amazing! Molly, what do you do? Hey, is that Daisy's phone? Um, eh, um, eh. Molly, don't you lie to me. Um, I, uh, she thought I said she thought I could borrow it. What? What are you even talking about, Molly? That's, uh, I'm sure she didn't let you borrow it, but I could ask her. Uh, okay, well, I should have got an iPhone. It's not fair. Molly. That is very unnice behavior. You do not take your sister's phone. It doesn't belong to you. Well, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna run away with it. Molly, the longer you act like this, the more you're grounded for. Well, at least I'll be happy if I can play this game before I'm grounded anyway. Molly! She won't find me in here. I'm just gonna hide in here by the toilet, play a little bit of this Roblox game. Selfie of me looking grumpy. <laughs> And it's not because I ate a bean burrito. Molly. Ah, she found me, Mom! Hand over Daisy's iPhone, Molly. Fine.
Ah, I'm surprised you didn't smash the screen. You're being so jealous. Jealous? Why would I be jealous of her? Um, I don't know, because you're acting jealous that she got an iPhone because she passed her test and you didn't? Mom, this is so, well, poopy! Molly! Well, it is. I mean, I want an iPhone, too, and I studied really hard, Mom! Molly, you just need to study more often. You can't just cram right before the test and expect to do good in math. But I wanted an iPhone. I know, and it takes ongoing work to get prizes. Fine. I guess I don't get an iPhone then, do I? No, you don't, Molly. And you also get a week of grounding for stealing daisies. Ugh, my life really stinks right now. Yes, baby Kira, what is it? I, I want to eat some chocolate. No, baby Kira, it's almost dinner time. You're not allowed to have chocolate before dinner. You could have some for dessert, though. I want chocolate now. I can eat it. Uh, I, I don't care what she say. I just don't want my dad to go to bed. Mmm. Weezy cup. Mmm. And Hershey bars. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> la, 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 la. I better get started on dinner. Who left the refrigerator open? Ugh, oh, these girls. Wait a minute. Was there a bunch of chocolate missing in there? <gasps> Baby Kira, come here, please. Uh-huh. One more, more. What is it? Did you eat chocolate when I told you not to? Who, me? Uh-oh, not me. Well, there's chocolate missing from the refrigerator, and you said you wanted some. Oh, but me, no, no, no. It was, it was my. Oh, it was, was it? Molly! Yeah, Mom? What's going on? Molly, you need to go sit in timeout. Mom, I'm way too grown up for timeout. Besides, what did I do? Molly, you ate chocolate before dinner. You know better. What? No, I didn't. I was up in my room. She knocked down a chocolate. I saw her. Baby Kira, you little stinking liar. Molly, that's enough. Go stand in the corner till dinner. But, 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 you yeah, and Ma, go stand in the corner. Baby Kira, ugh, I've been framed. I can't believe this. Mama, mommy, mama, 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 mama. Ah, <sighs> yes, baby Kira, what? I just love you. Oh, I love you too. Mama, mama, mama. What is it now? I play on computer till dinner. No, baby Kira. Remember the last time you drooled on the keyboard and then we had to buy a new one? Nobody could use the computer. I pickle now. Baby Kira, that was three days ago. I want play. No, not without supervision. You, you really, you can go watch TV or cartoons until dinner's done. Yeah. Oh, I need a vacation. I play on the computer because I'm not going to drool or get the computer broken. I, 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 big girl. I play on computer. I can't believe I'm sitting here in timeout. Well, I'm actually standing in timeout, but you know what I mean. Molly, the more you complain, the worse it's going to get. Well, I, I have to go to the bathroom. Can I go? Do you really have to go? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to go upstairs really quick and go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Make it quick, Molly. You're in a punishment for something I didn't even do. What's going on with the computer? <gasps> Roblox? Molly, were you on this computer? What? Me? No, I, I was in the bathroom. Sure you were. <sighs> You're the only one that's obsessed with Roblox. Well, Daisy likes Roblox and baby Kira likes Roblox. Not me! I'm just sitting here watching this chipmunk eat nuts. Oh my gosh, I didn't do it! Now you can stand there for an hour in timeout instead of a half an hour. But mom, I didn't do it! Molly, no excuses. Oh man, maybe I should have told the truth all those other times so she'd actually believe me. Now she thinks I'm guilty. Oh, la 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 la. Ooh, that smells... Wait a minute. Why doesn't my dinner smell good? 
Ew, something smells horrible. Yuck, what is that? Smells like a poo-poo diaper. Baby Kira, baby Kira. Aye, mama, aye. Hi, honey, did you go poo-poo in your diaper? Uh, no, I didn't go poo-poo in my diaper. Well, it sure smells like a stinky diaper in here. It was Molly, she pooped in my diaper. Wait, what? I, I didn't poop in her diaper. Um, baby Kira, that's really not how it works. She did. She pooped in my diaper. I didn't do it. <laughs> that's the funniest thing I ever heard. <laughs> I pooped in your diaper. You're wearing it, baby Kira. <laughs> Babies say the weirdest things sometimes. <laughs> okay, Molly, that's enough laughing. <laughs> told you she was lying about everything. And now she really got caught. <laughs> Baby Kira, have you been telling me naughty lies this entire time? Um, I, uh... Baby Kira, were you the one that ate chocolate? Uh, um, uh... Yes is the answer! Yeah, I ate the chocolate. Baby Kira, you blamed that on Molly? That is so mean. Oh, ah, uh, oopsie. Did you also play on the computer and blame it on your sister? Um, yeah. Baby Kira, and you tried to blame a poopy diaper on your sister too? Um, uh, yeah. I'm sorry to have to say this, but welcome to your first time out. What? Time now. <laughs> I want time out. Oh, baby Kira, I'll show you exactly how to get there. I should know. I've gotten like a million timeouts over the years. All right, baby Kira, follow your sister to timeout. Hey, Molly, I'm really sorry that I didn't believe you. That's okay, Mom. I know I fibbed in the past before, so. You didn't want to believe me this time, but I was telling the truth, and I'm not going to fib anymore. That's really good, Molly. That's really good. Now you can take your sister to time out. Come on, baby Kira. You do the crime, you do the time. <laughs> Don't worry, baby Kira. It goes by fast. Well, not really. It's more like prison. Mom, since you blame for me for something that wasn't my fault, could I have some chocolate? Ugh, oh, Molly. Come on, Mom. Come on. You owe me. You owe me. Fine, Molly. One piece, though. Sure, Mom. One piece. Mm. But who determines how big the piece is? Molly. Okay, fine. I'm just going to eat this, eat this Reese cup. Hey, baby, here. Are you okay? No! I got my first time, Mom. I'm real sad. <laughs> Mom, can I give baby Kara some chocolate? She feels really sad. Molly, no, she's in timeout. That's a punishment. Sorry, you can smell the chocolate if you want. Go away! I don't want you to eat it. Baby Kira, come here, please. I'm well. I got in trouble. Do you know why you got in trouble? Uh huh. Why don't you tell me why? Because I died and played Molly and did stuff I wasn't supposed to, and you said no. That's very right, baby Kira. Uh, I hate giving you girls timeouts or grounding you, but you have to learn that there are consequences when you do something naughty. Now I'd like you to say you're sorry to Molly. Oh, man! Why do you eat that bean burrito? Ah! Baby Kira, privacy! Privacy! Ew, I think I do do in here. Yuck. Baby Kira, oh my gosh, my sister does not know anything about privacy. Mom, baby Kira came into the bathroom. She needs a timeout. What? Oh, Molly, she doesn't understand yet. Well, she needs to learn to. Okay, baby Kira, say what you were going to say. I shall we. Aw. Baby Kira, it's okay. I forgive you. Thank my. You still love me? Baby Kira, I love you always. <laughs>
evil grandkids. Evil? Ew, look at the nose hairs coming out of Grandpa's nose. Grandpa, remind me for next Christmas that you need some nose hair trimmers. Ugh. You kids poisoned those cookies. Now you're gonna pay. Get back here, you little brats. Ah, Grandpa, no, 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 no. We, we didn't poison the cookies, we promise. Yeah, Grandpa, we did it. Don't try to get us. You're going to daycare with the other little baby brats. Daycare? Grandpa, we're way too old for that. Well, get used to it, because it's where you're going to go now. You don't want to babysit us anymore, Grandpa? Seriously, my feelings are kind of hurt. Daycare. <laughs> That'll teach you. Ew, Grandpa farted. Okay, maybe daycare is not so bad. That fart smells really bad. What's going on? Oh my gosh, we're at Twilight Daycare. And he turned us into toddlers. I knew that Grandpa guy was evil. He's not a real Grandpa, Molly. He can't be. <laughs> you thought I was your actual Grandpa? Ha 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 ha. This is just how I tricked you to stay in this daycare. Forever. Um, ew, that girl just threw up on me. <laughs> I want my mommy. <laughs> See you later. Wait, why does he want to, like, keep us here forever? I don't know, Molly. I'm just glad he put his teeth back in. Uh, can you back up? You're full of puke and I don't want any more on me. I just want to get out of here. I'm not a baby anymore! Well, you're still crying like one <laughs> for being so grown up. What? Is her name Karen? What's her name? Because she seems like a total Karen of a caregiver. She's grumpy. I'll go with this lady. You seem nice. Um, you look like an alien, sort of, but... Molly, try to be nice to these people. I'm trying, but I have to go poo-poo! Oh, boy. This isn't good. That guy took over our grandpa's house, made us think he was his, our grandpa, and basically locked us in Twilight Daycare forever. Uh-oh. Gotta go poo-poo. Where's the bathroom? Where's the bathroom? I can't read because I, I reverted back to being a toddler, so now I don't even know where the bathroom is. Wait, I found the toilet. I found the toilet. I'm so happy. Ow, why did it fall down? The toilet's so high up. Why'd they make it high up when you're a baby? And why is this girl following me? She's following me. And she thinks it's funny to barf on me. And I'll just let you know that I don't find that amusing. Oh, but that little baby is super adorable. Cookie fan Brianna, you are cute. Cute little baby. All right, where's my sister? Daisy! <laughs> Daisy! Okay, my sister already found a way out, I guess. And I'm just stuck here. I can't believe this. This is like the worst day of my life. And <sighs> man, I feel kind of tired. No, I can't fall asleep. I have to find a way to escape. Have to find a way to escape. Wait, there's Daisy. What are you doing, Daisy? I'm going to get a drink. I'm so thirsty. And also, you miss story time. Daisy, who cares about story time? We have to get out of here. That evil grandpa, he's he's going to take over the world. What? I don't think so. He's just old. He can't take over the world. He's too old. Daisy, old people are so smart because they've been on this planet for like a thousand years. They know all the tricks of life. And, 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 and I don't know because I'm just a baby. So I can't tell you exactly what they know. But they know a lot, okay? Whoa, Molly. You need to chill out. Ugh, it's nap time. Daisy, you're getting stuck as a toddler. You don't want this. That evil grandpa's cursed us. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Oh, my sister is so dramatic. Come on. I think I know a way. Look at this. Baby escape. <laughs> And that evil grandpa thought he was smarter than me. Come on, Daisy. Let's get out of here. Hey, you two. Um, I don't think you're supposed to be out of daycare. Hey, wait a minute. Weren't you just a baby like a minute ago? This is a weird place, but we gotta get out of here. We gotta get away from that psycho grandpa guy. Uh, Molly, I just be quiet now. What? Why? No, he is psycho. Also, he's ugly. Super ugly. Molly, somebody's behind you. Um, I don't know who, because uh, everybody here, I don't know. And also, I need to brush my teeth. Yuck, they feel kind of gross. Are you calling me ugly? Ah! Oh my gosh, it's Psycho Grandpa. Psycho Grandpa, Psycho Grandpa. Hey, did you put your teeth back in? Now you're only half as ugly. I'm going to trap you in this daycare forever, you little brat. Now back inside. Oh my gosh, Daisy. We're going to be stuck in here forever. We're babies forever! I 
have to go to the bathroom. Um, well, you're potty trained, right? I don't know, Marty. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, wait. I get to brush my teeth. Oh, this is fun. Brush, brush, brush. Brushing my teeth. Wait a minute. I don't know if I can. I don't know how to brush my teeth. Wait, how do I forget how to brush my teeth? Add toothpaste to the toothbrush. Oh, okay. That I have to do first. So how do I do that? I don't know how to add toothpaste. Okay, maybe I gotta put the toothbrush over here and then... I don't know how to do this. It's really annoying. <laughs> Well, you forgot how to brush your teeth? Um, uh, well, I got turned into a toddler. What What am I supposed to do? I can't make this go! Oh, okay, I don't know. Can, can you help me brush my teeth? Okay, now I'm also hungry. I'm hungry and my teeth are green. This is not good. Not good at all. Who took the cookies from the cookie jar? Well, I, I did, and I'm going to eat them. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Take that, annoying grandpa. Mm. That's the first thing that's made me happy in about an hour. <laughs> Ooh, it says prankster above my name. Well, that I am. That I am. You know what else? I'm going to try to leave again. I totally am, and you're not going to be able to do anything about it, Grandpa. Oh, he's standing right out there. Seriously? You're just camping out out here? There's no camping in Roblox. What? You're a prankster? Did you eat my chocolate chip cookies? You are the worst kid ever. Oh, yeah? Well, guess what? I also have bad breath. <sighs> oh, you need to use some denture clean. I don't wear dentures. I have all my real teeth. And guess what, dude? I'm running away. Hey, get back here. Oh, that stinks, though. Maybe I should let you go and just keep your sister. Get away from my sister. Ooh, wow. this looks fun. Daisy, look at this. They have big slides and stuff. Okay, I want to go up here. Oh, this is going to be fun. Whee! Ow! Ow! Okay, that kind of hurt. <laughs> My plan is working. She forgets that she's not a toddler. <laughs> um, okay. I am really loving this playground. Uh, except for I can't move because I fell down the slide. Oopsie. Ooh, this looks fun. Whee! Hey, want to play with me? Hi, Molly. Yeah, I'll play with you. I'm hungry. I love food. Wait a minute. How did we get here? I don't know. Who cares? We're babies. We're babies forever. I feel like we were going and doing something, though. What was it? Oh, no. I live at Twilight Daycare now. Me too. I love it here. Now, where's my bottle? Oh, my gosh, Molly. Can I turn around yet? I'm so excited to see what you and Daisy are surprising me with for my birthday. No, no, no. You can't ruin the surprise yet. But the suspense is killing me. What is it? Well, it's something you've loved since you were a baby. Really? Hmm. Well, I don't think it's my little snuggle wuggle blanket. Wait a minute. You still have your snuggle wuggle blanket? Um, well, uh, you do! <laughs> do you still sleep with it and, you're, and suck your thumb? Um, well, Brookie! <laughs> I don't suck my thumb, but I still do sleep, sleep with my snuggle wuggle blanket. Oh, boy. That's sort of adorable, though. Okay, well, we're ready to give you the surprise. Turn around. What? Chuck E. Cheese? This is where you're going to take me for my birthday? Oh, my gosh. This reminds me of when I was a little kid. This is going to be so much fun. Yep. And we're going to have pizza and play silly games. And it's going to be so much fun. Come on, let's go. All right, first of all, let's decide what we want. Salad. Who's having a salad when they come to Chuck E. Cheese? Everybody's eating pizza. Tasty toppings. Pepperoni, sausage, peppers, onions, um, pineapples. What are you guys thinking? I'm thinking extra cheese and pepperoni. Bookie, am I right? Yeah, that sounds delicious. Ooh, look, we get like a special birthday party package. We get soda, chips, and pizza. Awesome! And look, there's Chuck! Hi, Chuck! It's so great to see you! Haven't seen you since I was little. They gave me balloons, Molly, because it's my birthday! Whoa, that's amazing! Let's... Wait, I have to go to the bathroom. Molly, be careful! The bathroom is kind of creepy. Um, why? And also, I can't go in. It's closed. Maybe I can go in here? No! Okay, the bathrooms are closed. So if you have to go to the bathroom, um, you're, you can't go. All right, guys, um, our pizza is ordered, though, so, like, let's play some games and, um, yeah, see what happens. Chuck E. Cheese's <laughs> sketchbook. Hey, I was playing this game, and it's my birthday! Whoa, Brookie's getting angry. Sweet spin. All right, I'm gonna try this one. 
I hope we win like a million tickets. Come on, come on, come on. Wait, is this broken? All right, let's try the ski ball. That's usually fun. Oh my gosh, are all these games broken? Oh, Molly, don't get too upset. It's a thought that counts, right? Right, I think so. Except for nothing's working. Swipe card to play. Oh, maybe I gotta have a card or something. Let me go see if I can find a card. Okay, I've got my um my credit, so now I wanna press start because I wanna play ski ball. Oh wait, I think this goes over here. Why won't this work for me? Molly, just chill out. Everything's gonna be fine. Your ski ball is not working. Just try a different one, okay? All right, finally. Wham! Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't do so good on that one. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, I got 2,000. I got 9,000. Holy guacamole, you're amazing at ski ball. Molly, do you want me to help you? No, I don't need help. I just, I need to win ski ball like once or twice. Oh, that ball is stuck. <sighs> you got 9,000? How am I ever gonna beat that? It's the thought that counts, Molly. We're here for my birthday. Oh, I got 3,000. How many balls do I have left? Oh, I got 5,000. Okay, I'm doing better. I don't feel as lame now. Well, that one was kind of stinky, but look at this person over here. They got 10,000. Wait, what? I looked away for one second and I got 9,000? OMG! Gonna do a little dance. Gonna do a little dance Um, at Chuck E. Cheese. Nice song, Molly. Yeah, I couldn't think of what to say. <laughs> Day at the beach. Oh, wow, that looks fun, Daisy. It's totally fun. Square one, um, bowling. Ooh, what's this? Some sort of like shooting game? Like a carnival game? I love these. Um, I don't know. That's a lot of tickets. Uh, land on the pad to win. Dog pounder. <laughs> these games look so fun. I don't know if I can actually play this one. I, I, some of them you can play, some not. But pull the handle. Yeah. Okay, I'll pull the handle. Come on, big winner! Attention, Chuck E. Cheese fans. We have a birthday girl in house, and our pizza's ready. Meet us in the showroom, Brookie, and you can have an amazing party. I won 50 tickets, and also, Brookie, Daisy, it's time for us to eat our pizza and watch the show. I hope they heard the announcement. I'm sure they did. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Holy moly. This is awesome. <gasps> There's even a birthday cake for Brookie. That is so cool. <laughs> Here you go. Here's your birthday cake. Oh no, it's not my birthday. It's my best friend's. It's your birthday. Don't lie. It's not my birthday. It's her birthday, Brookie. <laughs> You're just being silly. Don't you want birthday cake? I want you to go away because you're super annoying. Molly, don't be rude to the dog. Can't remember what character he is. All right, guys, let's eat some pizza. Mmm. Are you going to sit here the whole time? <laughs> Probably. I love the customers. Um, okay. Well, guys, the show's about to start. Hey, Molly. What are you doing here? Oh, hey, unicorn princess. Nice to see you. Haven't seen you since math class. Oh, well, why are you guys at Chuck E. Cheese celebrating something special? Ho, 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 ho! Of course they are. They're celebrating Molly's birthday. What? No, no, we're not. We're celebrating Brookie's birthday. Oh, this Chuck E. Cheese has gone right downhill. Oh, well, happy birthday, Brookie. Um, I'm so glad that you're able to come to Chuck E. Cheese. Can I hang out with you guys? And my friend, too? Uh, yeah, you guys can both hang out with us. I think all the pizza's gone, though. But you can have some delicious cake from this dog. Okay, everybody, attention! The show's about to start! Hey, does anybody remember that cheeseburger being a part of the animatronic show? Oh, yeah, isn't that, um... Oh, no, I... I don't know if I remember. Oh, wait, yeah, Cheesy McCheeseburger or something. Cheesy McCheeseburger is not one of the characters. Like, you got Chucky, you got the bird thing, you got the weird the purple monster guy that looks out the corner of his eye at you, and you wonder, what is he thinking? There's the dog that plays the guitar and the chef that plays the drums. The Cheesy McCheeseburger is not an original character. It's just weird. Well, the show's about to start. Let's just see what happens. Hi there, I'm Chuck E. Cheese. Did you like your pizza? <laughs> it's the best on the planet. Oh, Chucky, you're the best on the planet. Give me a big smooch. <laughs> I don't think so. You have pepperoni breath. <laughs> well, oh. 
Okay. All right, kiddos, let's get poppin'. I'm Chuck E. Cheese and I'm here to say I'm the coolest mouse anyway. He's Chuck E. Cheese and I really love him. Oh my gosh, isn't he so cool? Molly, look at Chuck E. Um, Cheese. He keeps looking over at that cheeseburger. He doesn't trust him. Yeah, the bird girl keeps looking over there too. Something very strange is going on here. Uh, Molly, don't look now, but that creepy cheeseburger is standing right behind you. What? I, I don't see a creepy cheeseburger. I just see a person dressed as Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, Molly, she's not lying. It's right behind you. Ah! I thought you were animatronic! Are you going to say anything? Molly, I don't think it talks. Okay, well, I'm just going to go over here and sit over here. Molly, it's following you. I think it wants you to die. What? No, this is Chuck E. Cheese. What are you doing here, you imposter? This place is an amazing place for kids. Ah! Oh, my gosh. Yep, it's definitely following me. Um, guys, do you want to get the check and get out of here? Uh, not really. It's Bookie's birthday. Besides, it's only chasing you. Oh, my gosh. Or right, maybe if I stand on the table, it'll just go away. Ah! Molly, is that a knife that the, the cheeseburger has? I don't know. Okay, I have an idea. I have a plan. You guys distract the hamburger. I'll be right back. For some reason, it must know that that I'm a Roblox star. And, 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 and... It's after me because it wants my Roblox star. That, that, that's all I can think of. How do I get out of here? I, I knew I came in here, but... All right, there we go. I'm going to go dress up like, well, Chucky. That ought to help me. Wait a minute, I can't get over there. But here we go. Buy access! 440 Robux! Holy guacamole! Okay, maybe if I just put on this, like, costume over here or something. Oh, I'll pretend I work here. How do I put this on? Oh my gosh, that thing's gonna come and kill me! Perfect! That creepy, creepy, creepy cheeseburger won't even know who I am now. I'll just go over here and take people's orders. <laughs> Perfect! Hi, welcome to Chuck E. Cheese. I'm Molly. What can I get for you? See, my disguise is working perfectly. Oh no, here comes the creepy cheeseburger. They don't even recognize me. <laughs> but it looks like they're looking for me. Why are they after me? Uh oh. Uh-oh, and the dog's after me, too! Abandon ship. Guys, our Chuck E. Cheese time is over! Guys? Guys? Oh, my God. My friends, they're missing! Um, guys? Brookie, are you okay? Molly, that evil, that evil cheeseburger trapped me in this ticket blaster! I can't get out! Brookie, don't worry! I'll try to rescue you! Great idea bringing me here for my birthday, Molly. Um, okay, well, I didn't know about the evil cheeseburger, so that's not really fair. Where's... Oh, God. There they are. No. No. Molly, I thought you were going to get us out of here. All you did was get stuck in here yourself. Well, let's look at it this way. We could collect some of these tickets while we're in here and play lots of free games. Yeah, if, if, if a giant cheeseburger wasn't chasing us. Uh, yeah, good point. Sorry I ruined your birthday, Brookie. That's all right. We'll figure this out somehow. If that cheeseburger ever goes away. Wait a minute. I have an idea. I could take a chomp chomp out of his head. I love cheeseburgers. Molly, I think that might make you a zombie if you try to eat the cheeseburger's brain. Good point. <laughs> cake for dinner. Oh, uh, no, this is just a little snack. <laughs> snack? It, oh, wow, that looks delicious. That smells delicious. Could I have that kind of snack too, Mom? No, you'll spoil your dinner, and we're gonna stop and, like, have a nice dinner before Daisy's da dance competition. Wait, what? Daisy's dance competition? I'm not going to that. That's boring! Uh, I sort of think it is too, but... Dan, of course we have to go. We're Daisy's parents. See, I can't get out of it because I'm Daisy's dad, so I have to go along. So you should have to go along too. No, I don't want to. I want to stay home. Come on, Mom. I have lots of homework to do. All right, Molly, you can stay home, but I do expect you to do a few chores to help out around here. And your homework needs to get done. Yep, totally will. What about dinner, Molly? We didn't make you dinner. 
I'll just go to McDonald's across the street. Ugh, Molly, you really should start eating healthier. Uh-huh, what? whatever you say. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. I love this show. Come on, Daisy, you're going to be late for your dance competition. I'm coming, Mom. I'll be there in a minute. I just have to pack the last of my hair ties. Ugh, my sister's dance competitions are so boring. I'm glad I get to stay home and watch TV. <laughs> Ugh, I'm starving. Time to go get some chicken nuggets. Or maybe I'll get a Big Mac. I'm not really sure. Closed! Jiminy Cricket! How did you close so early? Oh, man, it's not even 7 o'clock yet. Maybe the drive is open. I don't have a car, but I don't care. Ooh, look at all this delicious stuff. Um, Cheeseburger Deluxe, uh, fries, Happy Meals. Hello? Wake up! I'm starving! Why isn't anybody working? Wait a minute. I think I can climb through the window. Oh, ow. Ow, it's dark in here. Uh, where's the light? Uh, do I have a flashlight? Oh, my gosh. They just kicked me out. Um, Listen, I, I need to come in here. I'm starving. There's no food in my house. Well, there is, but I have to make it, and I don't want to do that. Sorry. McDonald's is closed. Cheapers. You can't just break into McDonald's whenever. Whoa, you smell bad. Yeah, that's because I've been working all day. Working at McDonald's is a very hard job, you know. All right, fine. Wait a minute. Did she just open it back up? Yeah, but not for you because you said I smell. Oh, fine. I don't want your McDonald's anyway. I'll just go back to my house and have to cook something, which is really annoying that I have to cook something. But, you know, whatever. I can't believe I couldn't get chicken nuggets. This is so annoying. All right, what do we got here? Baby food? Well... Um, that's baby Kira's, but that could be a really easy thing to eat. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, mom has chicken nuggets here? Um, yes, please! Frozen chicken nuggets are, like, totally delicious. All right, how do I turn on the oven? Um, uh, eh, use any one of these, an oven. <laughs> an oven would be helpful. Okay, there we go. This oven is so fancy. My mom just got this new oven. I don't even know how to use it half the time. All right, maybe I should go over here and like make like a cappuccino or something. Mm, do -do -do -do. Oh wait, this is an ice cream maker. You guys can tell how much I actually spend time in this kitchen. Like pretty much never. My mom does all the cooking or sometimes Daisy does. Come on, seriously. Chicken nuggets, I'm starving. Get done already. All right, over here I could make some like fruity juice or like drink or something. If I had the ingredients, that is. Hmm, where's all the plates in here anyway? Finally! Ow! 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 They're super hot! Super hot! Oh, but they smell delicious. All right, time to watch my favorite show and eat some delicious, ch delicious chicken nuggets. I can't even talk. I'm so hungry. Mom doesn't normally let me eat all these sauces on the couch, but since she's not here, <laughs> I can do Anything I want. Mmm. These are delicious. Mmm. Holy guacamole. Who would think that these would be just as good as a McDonald's? And I actually made them. It's amazing. Mmm. I'm going to eat the whole thing myself. Now I'm not going to save any for my sister. <laughs> well, I guess I should take care of this dirty plate. I mean, Mom would probably be mad if I didn't. Hey, what's that? A note? Dear Molly... Do your homework and do the dishes. I hate to turn you in for a new daughter. Turn me in for a new daughter? Like what? Like I'm a library book that she borrowed or something? You can't just trade me in, Mom. <sighs> well, whatever. Because I'm not doing my homework or doing the dishes right now. I'm just going to sit here on the couch and chill. Oh my gosh, it's 10 o'clock at night. Where's Mom and Dad? Where's Daisy? They're never this late. Oh well. They probably just got stuck in traffic. Dad, what happened to the car? This hunk of junk is always breaking down on me. We need a new car. I don't know what you're talking about. As long as I've got my pumpkin spice latte, everything is right with the world. Mom, we're going to be stuck out here with the duck. There's bears. Well, <laughs> maybe they like pumpkin spice lattes. Honey, um, it's almost midnight and no one's coming from the car repair shop. I think they're closed. Like, I think we might actually have to spend the night inside the car. What? 
It's freezing Well, I guess we'll just make the best of it. Pumpkin spice latte for everybody. I have a whole jug of it in the car. Oh no. Well, like your mom said, I guess we'll make the best of it. We'll just call in the morning and uh, the repair shop will be right out, I'm sure. Only one problem, Dan. Um, my phone is dead because I used up all my battery to take videos of Daisy's dance competition. Is your phone charged? Uh, well, uh, I accidentally left mine at home. But you always bring yours, so I didn't think it was a big deal. Are you two kidding me? You guys are supposed to be the clown-ups! Ah, yay, yay! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm starting to panic. I'm starting to panic. It's 1.30 in the morning and my parents aren't home. Oh my gosh, do you, do you think that, that they knew I didn't do my homework or my chores again? So they abandoned me in Blocksburg? No, I had a feeling this might happen. Oh, what am I going to do? I can't live in this house all by myself. Who's going to make me my food or, 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 or drive me to school? Wait, I could try calling my mom's cell phone or my dad's cell phone. Someone's got to have their cell phone. I can't believe my parents don't give me a cell phone. Seriously, I have to use this prehistoric dinosaur of a telephone. <sighs> okay, here we go. It just keeps ringing. Why aren't mom and dad picking up? OMG, I think they might have abandoned me. Ugh, no wonder I smell awful. That can't be why though, seriously. Why don't they want to come home to me? Don't they love me anymore? I, I'm all alone. <laughs> My entire family abandoned me. <laughs> well, I guess I should go to bed and, and try to figure this out in the morning. I mean, I'm gonna have to go, like, find new parents and stuff. <laughs> Mom? Dad? Where are you? Oh, wait, that's right. They, they don't live here anymore. They abandoned me. <laughs> Molly? Molly, are you home? Are you okay? Mom? Dad? Am I just hearing things or are they really back? Guys! Where you been? I, I thought you left me forever! Oh, don't even get get us started. I, I can't believe the night we had. I thought that pumpkin spice latte was going to fix everything. Well, it didn't fix the fact that she stinks. Oh, you smell so bad, Mom. What? You smell bad, too! Whoa, 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 you guys are really grumpy. Where you been? Oh, we had to spe spend the night in the car because the car broke down and, and, and it was awful. The repairman came those this morning and gave us a ride home. First thing tomorrow, we're gonna go buy a brand new car. What about this morning? Why don't we buy one this morning? This morning, I'm taking a bath and a nap. Whoa, well, I'm so glad to have you home. I literally thought you were leaving me forever. Molly, no matter how bad you are, and even if you don't do your homework, I'm still not going to abandon you. You're my daughter. I love you more than anything. What about me? Well, of course, I love you more than anything, too. Do you love her more? No, she loves you more. I love you both equally. Ah, oh, I'm exhausted. I'm going to bed. Me too. Me three. What am I going to do all day? I don't know, Molly. Go to McDonald's, watch TV. I don't care. Woohoo! <laughs> Sounds like my kind of day. Nothing like five cheeseburgers to get your day started right. Mm, these are going to be so delicious. Mm. I love McDonald's. <laughs> on the soccer team if it's the last thing I do. I just have to practice a lot and then I'll get really good and I'll be able to make it when I try out for the soccer team. They'll make me, um, maybe they'll make me soccer team captain. O-M-G. Uh-oh. I dropped my, my, my soccer ball in, in Sarah's fountain. Oh, whatever. Are you serious? You are so terrible at soccer. I mean, you put it in my fountain. What were you even thinking? Um, sorry about that, Sarah. 
I didn't mean to. I was just practicing and, and well, I'm, I'm trying to get better so I can make it out of the soccer team. You will never be good enough to be on the soccer team. You're such a loser. Don't even bother practicing. Why would you say that, Sarah? I I'm working really hard. Because it's the truth. Ugh. Once a loser, always a loser. Oh, <laughs> that was really mean of you to say. <laughs> Molly, are you okay? What's going on? I'm fine. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Molly, what's wrong? Are you okay? You never call me. You always text. I'm not okay. I, 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 Molly, calm down. Tell me. You can tell me anything. I know. That's why I called you because you're my best friend. But I was playing soccer and, and Sarah was bullying me about being terrible. Oh, Molly, I'm so sorry she was saying that to you. That's, that's really not nice. Um, Molly, I'm so sorry, but I have to go do some homework now. But can we talk tomorrow? Yeah. I'm sorry, Molly. I'm sorry you're hurting right now. But don't forget, we're BFFs. I know. Thanks for listening, Brookie. Bye. Brookie! Hey, good morning! Oh, what's Sarah doing? Hey, Brookie. Nice to see you. Good morning. Sarah, why are you talking to my best friend? I didn't know it was illegal to talk to people at school. Well, well, but she's my best friend! Um, Molly, it's okay. Everything's fine. Don't freak out. Not everything is fine! I... What? Are you feeling kind of jealous? <laughs> Maybe she wants to talk to me too, Molly. You don't own Brookie. Whatever! Oh, this is such the worst day of my life ever! Molly, what's going on? Are you okay? No, I'm having another bad day and it just started. Oh, Molly, I'm sorry you're having such a rough time. But we have to get ready for this quiz we're having in math class. I can't even think about the quiz. All I can think about is the fact that... My best friend is becoming friends with Sarah, who's a giant bully! Aww. Okay, class, um, everybody come on in, come on. We have a quiz today. Molly, did you study? Yeah, sort of. Aww, could this day get any worse? Probably. I mean, you also look terrible in that orange-yellow sweater or whatever it is. Oh my gosh, now she's picking on my fashion sense, too? Wow. This test is so much harder than I thought it would be. This test is a piece of cake. Oh, no wonder she thinks it's easy. She's so much smarter than me. I'm such a loser. Molly, don't say that. I just feel terrible about myself today. Sarah's really making me feel down. Okay, everybody, please hand in your test. Uh, the, uh... Test? I thought it was a quiz! Sorry, I meant quiz. The, the, uh, the class is over, so, uh, yeah, I just need to go get a cup of coffee. It's Monday and my brain's not awake yet. Okay, no problem, Mr. Jared. Phew, I'm glad that math test is over, quiz, whatever, whatever it was! It was horrible and I don't ever want to take it ever again. <laughs> Time to get out my books from English class. What's this? It's a letter. I wonder who it could be from. Dear Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean? My BFF is Sarah? At least she's honest? Oh my gosh. Brookie... Brookie doesn't want to be my friend anymore! <laughs> I don't know what I ever did wrong, but I don't think that I'm mean or a liar. Molly, are you in here? You missed all of English class. Molly, are you with you? Just go away, Daisy! Molly, I know I'm only your sister, but... If you need me to be, I could be a friend, too. Come on out, Molly. Talk to me. Oh, I, I'm having the worst life ever. Oh, there, there, Molly. I'll give you a hug and then make you feel a lot better. It doesn't make me feel... Okay, it made me feel a little bit better, but... But I can't figure out why Brookie doesn't like me anymore. What? Brookie doesn't like you anymore. This is news to me. What's going on, Molly? I saw her hanging out with Sarah this morning. She was probably just talking to her to be nice. Yeah, but then I got this letter in the, in my locker. What? Let me see that. It says, Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean, and I want to be best friends with Sarah because at least she's honest. Holy guacamole! This must sort of be some sort of huge misunderstanding. It must be, Molly. You know Pookie loves you. You're her best friend, and you've been that way since preschool, since you were toddlers. Well, this letter says it all. Our friendship, it's over. Well, Molly, at least we're having pizza for lunch. 
Well, yeah, I guess that is a plus. You, you can't, you can't not have a pizza for lunch. Well, but it's still making me really upset. Come on, Molly. The pizza will at least make you smile a little. You gotta be hungry. Yeah, I am pretty hungry. Okay, let's go to lunch. Pizza makes everything better, right? <gasps> oh my God. Pookie and Sarah are sitting next to each other. That letter must be true. Oh, look, it's a loser, Brookie. Ugh, don't let her sit next to us. Well, um, uh, oh, <laughs> everyone hates me, including my best friend. <laughs> Just hide behind this dumpster where nobody can find me. That's all anybody thinks I'm worth, trash. <laughs> We've been friends since we were toddlers, and now she doesn't even like me anymore. <laughs> Who's texting me? Oh, it's Brookie. I'm... I'm not even gonna look at it. I mean, why should I? She's, she's not even my friend anymore. I mean, she's made it clear that she doesn't want to be my friend. So why just keep sending me texts to be mean to me or something? I don't need to look at those. I, I don't need to look at them. We're not friends anymore. 20 minutes later. Ha! Ah, what are you guys doing here? Well, we are walking home from school. You missed the rest of the day. Yeah, Molly, what were you thinking? Skipping school? Ugh, you're obviously not a good student. Well, um, that was never in question, was it? I mean, what's in question here is if I was a good friend and I don't think I was a bad one. I mean, I, I never have lied to you and... and I don't think I was mean to you, and if I have been, I, I... We don't want to uh -huh. hear it. Ugh, what's that smell? Ew, you smell like a dumpster. No wonder you're next to it, because <laughs> you smell like garbage. Molly, I'm sorry, but Sarah just seems like a better friend. I mean, at least she's honest. Yeah, but she's a bully! You want to be a bully? Well, I mean, you just don't know her like I do, okay? So, um, we're breaking up as friends. What? You don't want to be my friend anymore? Sorry, Molly, but no, I don't. I just want to be Sarah's friend now, and she's going to be my, my BFF, right, Sarah? Yeah, whatever. We're going to be BFFs. It's going to be awesome. I mean, she brings me coffee in the morning from Starbucks, so she's pretty cool. Listen to the yourself, Brookie. She's not a real friend. She's a bully. Molly, you're not going to change my mind about this. I want to be Sarah's friend. Well, I guess all of those years of us being BFFs mean nothing to you. You're right, Molly. They don't mean anything to me anymore. Okay. Goodbye! <laughs> My life as I know it is over. It's just over. I mean, I don't even have a BFF anymore. Who am I even? Whoa, Molly, is your day still going really, really bad? Totally. Sarah and Brookie found me by the dumpster. What were you doing by the dumpster? Ew, it kind of smells bad. Don't remind me. They already did. What's going on, Molly? She decided she doesn't want to be my BFF anymore. What? So the letter was true? Yeah, every word. She's going to be Sarah's BFF. Oh, Molly. Do you need a hug? Yes, I need a hug. <laughs> except for, except for Brookhaven. We're like ghosts. We can't actually hug each other. <laughs> well, we can just hug like this, Molly. Here you go. There's a good hug for you. Oh, a Brookhaven hug. It'll have to do. <laughs> Molly, I'm always here for you, even though we don't get along. Sometimes I'm your sister and I love you. And I'll be your BFF until you find a new one. But what about Brookie? I thought she was my everything, my BFF. Well, Molly, I'm sorry you've had such a bad day. I hope things get better for you. Me too. Me too. series ever because now it's over and i don't want it to be over i want more episodes and 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 uh, well, how will i know if wednesday is okay well we have to wait till next season but don't worry molly there's this amazing new episode of brook high who cares about brook high i want to watch wednesday 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 
Well, maybe we could talk about the seaweeds, and that will make it so you don't miss it so much. Yeah. Okay. I loved Enid. I think her and Wednesday are more alike than anyone realizes. What? What are you talking about? They're like total opposites. Molly, they remind me of me and you a lot, actually. Well, we're nothing alike. Well, we're sort of alike in some ways. No, we're not. We're nothing alike. Um, but I am kind of like a Wednesday. Well, I feel like I'm like Enid. Well, I'm just saying that we're nothing alike. I think we're a lot more alike than you think we are. And I dare you to do a morning routine tomorrow with me where I'm Enid and you're Wednesday. And I'll show you how much alike we are. And I'll show you how much we're not alike. Well, Molly, are you going to take the dare? Yeah, absolutely. Wednesday, is she going crazy? Huh, what? Wednesday, it's me, Enid. Molly, wake up. You're supposed to be Wednesday this morning, remember? Huh, what? I thought you were just kidding about that. <laughs> Molly, come on. You took the deal. Do you want to lose? Huh, what? No. Huh. Just give me five minutes, okay? You won't be Wednesday in five minutes. You could never. Oh, yeah? Watch me. Well, oh, I have five minutes to be Wednesday, so that means four of those I can go back to sleep. Okay, I've got to be Wednesday. Got to wake up. Got to be Wednesday. Ha ha ha! Look at me. I am so ready for this Wednesday morning routine. Oh, Wednesday! It's time to get ready for school! Enid, where are you? Your chipper self is annoying me right now. You're too happy in the morning. I'm just down making a delicious breakfast with rainbow sprinkles. Rainbow sprinkles? Seriously? Ugh, her cheer is starting to get on my nerves. I may have to kill you today. Whoa, why are you so short? Why are you so tall? Whoa, what's that thing on your head? Uh, duh. This is my little friend named Thing. He's a severed hand. Be careful, her drip blood on you. Um, oh, um, gee, that's disgusting. I can't believe you're my actual roommate. I just drank a ton of coffee, so I hope my werewolf doesn't come out. What do you have for breakfast? The souls of my enemies. <laughs> you're being serious right now? Yeah, totally. And right now, you're my enemy. Okay, well, let's get going to school. Um, Whatever you have for breakfast, I hope it's a good one. <laughs> I'm just going to go in and collect my books and stuff. I don't need books. I remember everything. I have like a photographic memory of everything that's ever happened to me in my entire life. I've got to brush my teeth because, you know, I like to have the most shiniest and sharpest teeth. Sharp teeth? What, what are you talking about, Wednesday? Oh, uh, I just I just sharpen my teeth up with some, uh, with some rock toothpaste in the morning. What? What are you talking about? No, seriously, I do. Because if I ever have to bite somebody in a fight, I want to make sure that my teeth are like a vampire's. You know, vampires go to a school, right? Uh-huh. Molly, are you still pretending you're Wednesday? Who's Molly? What do you think, I have split personalities or something? <laughs> la 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 la. Ah! What do you have an axe for Wednesday? In case we run into that monster in the woods on the way to school. I plan on taking the school bus. The school bus? Are you serious? I would rather die! Oh, okay, well, we don't have to take the school bus if you don't want to, but everybody's so friendly, you'd really like the other werewolves. I barely like the one in front of me. Wow, my roommate is kind of rude. Yeah, don't you think she's nothing like you at all? No, I'm sure we have some similarities, and I'm going to find them. I'll be down in a few minutes. I have to do my month, my morning journal. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Oh, I definitely need a latte. Today... I found out I have the most annoying roommate ever. Her name is Eden. Enid. Enid? Edith? I don't know. I think it's Enid. But 
She is definitely a demon. She's so friendly and nice and, ugh, I swear she poops rainbows. Now I have to go to school, so I'll talk to you later, journal. I know, thing. I don't like going to public education either. It's just a prison for our brains. A prison! Uh, Molly, why do you have a giant umbrella? It's not even raining. Because I don't want the evil sun to touch my skin. It might burn me! Molly, getting some sunshine every day is good for you. Look how cheery it makes me! Yep, definitely need the umbrella then. Wednesday, this is not the way to school! I told you, I have to hunt down that monster. I don't recall you saying that. Well, I have to, Enid. The safety of Nevermore and all of our town is, is, is at risk. This is not our responsibility. We should tell the teachers at Nevermore. Blah, 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 blah. What are you, chicken? Absolutely. I haven't even turned into my werewolf form yet. Well, no time like the present. Come on, I think I found its cave. I'm not a very good swimmer. You'll be fine. Come on. What's that? <laughs> um, uh, Wednesday, I, I agree with you, Molly. You win. They're nothing alike. I'm going to school. Enid, don't you dare run away. I'm, I'm going to need you. Enid! What a chicken. Okay, Hyde. It's you and me. Take that, Hyde. And that. And that. Oh. Whoa, I actually took down the hide. That was amazing. All right, I better get to that prison they call school. Wednesday, are you okay? Yes, Enid, I'm fine. And uh, is that blood on your wax? What was that? Um, well, it's blood of the hide. Oh my gosh, according to this, they've marked us as tiny. Oh! Don't worry, we're just a little late for school. The principal won't care, right? She cares, Molly. She always cares. Wednesday Adams, Wednesday Adams, and her roommate Enid, please report to my office immediately. Oh, great. Now I'm going to get in trouble. Well, at least now we have that in common. Ugh! Wednesday, you're infuriating! <laughs> you said you wanted something in common with me, and now you have it. Well, well, well. Look who decided to show up to school. Why are you late? Uh, Bally, I wouldn't tell her the truth. Well, I was busy killing the hide, see? With my axe here. <gasps> what are you talking about? That is very dangerous. You both shall have detention for a month. What? I can't have detention for a month. I have to go to werewolf camp every night. My mom said so. Well, you'll have to be suspended from werewolf camp for the month. Ugh! Wednesday! You're so frustrating! So, you still want to be my roommate? I can't believe this. And guess what? We didn't even do this morning routine right. What? What are you talking about? Thing? Snap your fingers! If we're going to do a morning routine, then we have to do it in our room at Nevermore. Ah, look at my beautiful side of the room. And then look at Enid's. Ugh, she's so annoying. How about this one, baby Kira? Look at it. It's got Whoa. cute little pandas. You like this one? I love it, but not as much as I love Mr. Monkey. Yeah, Mr. Monkey is super adorable. <laughs> Ooh, I'm super hungry. Me too. I wonder when dinner's gonna be ready. Mom, mom. What are we having for dinner? Oh, you're gonna be so happy, Molly. We're having one of your favorites, tacos. Seriously, tacos? Oh, this day just got amazing. Um, I'm gonna go back and watch TV until it's ready, okay, Mom? Sure, Molly, no problem. Thanks, Mom. I love the little monkey. Let's go see Mom and what she's doing. She's making dinner, baby Kira. Yeah, but well, I miss my mommy. I want to see her. Mama, I thirsty. I have a bottle of milk. I get, get, get your body, yeah. Of course you can, sweetie, but just don't drink too much of it. I don't want you to spoil your dinner. We're having tacos. I love tacos. It's so good. I get, get your body. Mm. Oh, I just remembered I have to switch over the laundry. Be right back, sweetie. 
Apple will bear milk in the taco, make it taste better. <laughs> I will be in this taco. I will be in this one too. I put milk in all the tacos. <laughs> Are you serious? The baby panda lost its mom? <laughs> this was the worst show ever. I changed my mind. Well, Molly, good thing we're eating tacos for dinner. That'll cheer you up. I don't think anything can cheer me up after that show. Oh, that was so sad. <laughs> I a bit dramatic. I'm not dramatic. Okay, maybe a little baby, Kira, but that, that was so sad. Girls, time for dinner. Yeah. Mm. I don't know what you did to the tacos this time, but mm, they're better than ever. <laughs> what, baby Kira? Nothing. I didn't do anything different, Molly. You must just be extra hungry. <laughs> Can I have another one? Sure, Molly. Mm. You really do like the tacos. Mm -hmm. mm. Delicious. Ten minutes later. Ugh, my stomach feels kind of ouchy. Oh, Molly, are you okay? Did you eat too much? No. Uh, it's okay. She just has to fart because she ate too many tacos. This happens. Huh, what? No, I don't. <clears throat> okay, yeah, maybe I do a little. Uh, no, no. Gotta run to the bathroom. Uh, Molly, are you gonna be okay? I hope so. Uh, uh -huh. ah, what was wrong with those tacos? Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Uh. <sighs> Okay, a little bit better. Wait a minute. Where's the toilet paper? Seriously? Did I just go to the bathroom and there's no toilet paper? There's gotta be some somewhere here, right? No? No? Uh-oh. This is so embarrassing! I need toilet paper! Who used up all the toilet paper? Mom, we're out of toilet paper! Oh no! Okay, Molly, well, there's probably some in the upstairs bathroom, but there's some baby wipes in there. What? I'm not a baby, Mom. I don't need to use baby wipes. Molly, it's fine. Just use the baby wipes. Ugh. Ooh, Molly, are you okay? I don't know. What'd you put in those tacos anyway? I didn't put anything different in. I had to put some milk in. Wait, what? You put milk in the tacos? Uh -huh, I put it from my baby bottle. But, 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 but. Oh, baby Kira. Molly's allergic to dairy. She's lactose intolerant. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Here it comes again. Okay, I'm gonna use the upstairs bathroom because there's no toilet paper down here. Oh, gotta run, 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 gotta run, run, gotta run, 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 gotta run to the bathroom. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, I made it. OMG. Oh, can't believe she put milk in my taco. Okay, better. All right, where's the toilet paper? Seriously? There's no toilet paper anywhere in this house! Mom! Molly, is everything okay in there? No, there's no toilet paper anywhere in this house! Oh, good thing I put a little bit of um, baby wipes under the sink. <laughs> in case I had to change baby Kira's diaper. Well, Mom, do I look like I'm one years old? I mean, come on, where's the toilet paper? Uh, sounds like we need to go grocery shopping. Ugh, you think? Gee, Molly, how's your stomach feeling? It feels like a volcano erupted in my stomach. Or like someone poisoned me with milk. Oh, geez, I'm sorry about that. She's just a baby, Molly. She didn't know any better. Holy guacamole. Well, good thing that the grocery store has a bathroom. <laughs> yeah, and maybe they actually have toilet paper. Ugh, oh, how embarrassing. Well, Molly, it could be worse. You could eat another taco. <laughs> uh-huh. Very funny, Daisy. Very funny. You should be so grateful you're not lactose intolerant. <clears throat> Ooh, Molly, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <clears throat> really? It doesn't sound like you're fine. Are you sure? She's got enough gas that we don't have to stop in the gas station for any. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, crack jokes at my expense. Sure. <clears throat> uh, Molly, maybe you should wait in the car. No! I'm making sure that we have all the supplies needed at the house from now on. Molly, don't you think you're a little bit too old to be riding in the car? Hey, you're the one that put me in here. No, I didn't. Yes, yes, Mom. Yes, you did. 
Oh, well, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Get out of the cart. Seriously, I can't push it. You're too heavy. Fine, I'm gonna go over to the Dorito section. Are you sure your stomach feels good enough for that? <sighs> no, I just wanna hide out over here. Okay, now let's see, we gotta get the essentials. Molly, what on earth are you doing? I'm getting the giant mega roll of toilet paper. We are never running out again. <laughs> you look ridiculous. Maybe you should wear that costume for Halloween. Oh, very funny. Pick on the lactose intolerant girl. <laughs> but you're literally wearing the toilet paper. How many rolls is that, a hundred? <laughs> hey, well, you know what? We're never going to run out again. Oh, I just got to move this over to the cart. Mom, mom. What? Molly, what are you doing? That's a lot of toilet paper. I'm not even sure we have room in the cart for it. We have room. We have room, see? <laughs> Oh, man. We don't have room for milk or eggs or chips or um, anything else. <laughs> we just have room for toilet paper. <laughs> hey, I don't ever want you guys to be in the situation I was just in. It's not fun, people. It's not fun. Oh, Molly, I'm sorry you're having such a bad night. I know taco night is normally so, so fun for you. Okay, we can pick up a pizza for tomorrow night. We need some more fruit. I need some more milk. I put it all in my taco. <laughs> oh my. You put all of your milk on Molly's taco. Oh, you naughty little baby. Yeah, very funny that you put all your milk in my taco. Remember, baby Kira, Molly can't have milk, okay? So don't do that again. Oh my gosh, she should be grounded for life. Wow, Molly, hush. She's just a little baby. I mean, look at her cute little innocent face. Yeah. So innocent. Besides that, behind that pacifier, she's probably making evil little faces. Oh boy, Molly, you really have gone insane. Molly, how's your stomach feeling, honey? Oh, uh, well, it feels like I have to run to the bathroom again. Uh, good thing we bought all that toilet paper. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I feel like the bathroom and I are becoming BFFs. Wait. W -w -w Wait. Where's all the toilet paper? We bought like a hundred rolls and there's none up here? Uh, Mom! Mom! Wait, what, what, what are you doing? I love Halloween. I'm the mummy. Did you wrap yourself in toilet paper, baby Kara? Uh-huh, a hundred rolls of it. <laughs> That's what it took to make this Halloween costume. Are you serious right now? You used all the toilet paper to make a Halloween costume? It's it's not even Halloween! I love it, Daddy. Isn't it cute? Ah! Molly, I want to watch Baby Shark. No, Baby Kara, we're not watching Baby Shark. We have seen Baby Shark do, 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 or whatever, like a thousand million bazillion times. Molly, you need to pay attention in math class. That's not even a number. Well, I'm just saying, we've seen Baby Shark way too many times. I want to watch it. I want to watch it. Okay, here. You want to watch it? I'll show you what Baby Shark looks like. Baby Shark, do, 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 do. Baby Shark, do, 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 do. I don't want to hear the song no, 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 no more. Baby shark do 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 do. Baby shark do 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 do. It's driving me crazy. I think I'll fall on the floor. I cannot watch it one more time. Ah, you guys are annoying me so much. Why can't you two just get along? Because baby shark is annoying and girls, are you fighting again? Oh well, <laughs> I won't be here for it. I have some exciting news. You do what? I won the sweepstakes on YouTube, and I get to go to Hawaii for a whole week. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be amazing. We're going to Hawaii? Whoa, Mom, this is so cool. No, Molly, correction. I'm going to Hawaii. You're gonna have a babysitter. What? Mom, you, you, you're not gonna take us to Hawaii? Sorry, it was a, a one-person ticket. So I decided I needed a little vacation from my life. I need a vacation from my life. Have you been around baby Kira lately? She just wants to listen to baby shark. Have you been around Daisy? Well, Daisy's just annoying because she's Daisy. Hey, I'm sitting right here, you know. 
Molly, you're not a walk in the park. You could be the most festive waiting sister on the entire planet. Mom, see what I have to put up with? Take me to Hawaii. Please, Mom, please. Sorry, Molly, begging won't work. <laughs> Is Grandma at least going to stay with us? No, you have a new babysitter. She's so nice. You're going to love her. Uh, Mom, I don't like this. Molly, think about it. Having a babysitter means you could probably get away with anything you want. Okay, girls, I've got to go get packing. See you in a few minutes. When I'm leaving, of course. Okay, bye, Mom. Tell me more about what you were saying, Daisy. Molly, she won't know that we have to do chores and all that, so we can take a little mini vacation from our responsibilities here back at home. <laughs> I like this idea a lot. I can wear like baby shark now. No, the answer is still no, 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 and no! Oh, look, the new babysitter's here. Great, you can let her in. What do I look like, your personal waddle? Hello, is anyone going to let me in? Yes, yes, my sister's too lazy to do it, so I guess I will. Goodbye, Nin. Oh, hi, you must be Molly. How'd you know? Um, I can just sort of tell. I'm great with kids. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, I'm Molly, this is Daisy, and this is my baby sister, Baby Kira. That's what we call her, Baby Kira, because she's a baby, and she's mm, sort of adorable. But she wants to watch Baby Shark. Can I have watch Baby Shark? Um, well, my name is Brittany, and, um, nope, we're not going to watch Baby Shark right now. Uh, actually, it's time to do your night routine. Nah, we don't ever have to do our night routine this early. Molly, yes, we... Daisy, remember what we talked about? Oh, yeah, no, we don't do our night routine this early. Well, I'm sorry, but we're going to follow my rules, since I'm going to be here. Um, no, we're going to follow our rules, because we're in charge here. You can even ask our mom. Oh, wait, no, you can't. She's on a plane to Hawaii. I think you girls should probably listen to everything that I say. Um, okay. What do you want us to do? Um, brush your teeth, put on your pajamas, all that stuff. I'm going to go into the kitchen and make sure you girls have a healthy snack before you go to sleep. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. And also a whole lot of blah. Maddie, aren't you afraid she's going to ground us? We're already grounded for the week. Grounded here without going to Hawaii. Yeah, but she could make it so we can't go ride our bikes or get on line or do anything. No, she can't. She doesn't even know the password, so she can't turn off the internet. <laughs> Having this babysitter is going to be great. I'm not going to do anything I don't want to. Most especially watch Baby Shark. Hi, that's what I want to do. Okay, Baby Kira, I guess we can watch it. But only this once. Hey, baby Kira. Mm. You want some of these delicious Doritos? I love Doritos. I eat Doritos. Okay, here, you can have some. Yum, yum, yum. These Doritos are so good. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm, I love them. I just want to live in Dorito land. Yeah, that would be amazing. <gasps> are you girls eating Doritos? And why aren't you in your pajamas? Um, because we didn't want to? Listen, it's about bedtime, and I'm telling you, you're going to want to be in bed by 8.30. No, I don't want to be in bed. You just want to force me to be. No, trust me. You're going to want to be in bed by 8.30. Um, uh, okay. Now, chop, chop, upstairs, pajamas, brush your teeth. I guess you've already had a snack, but it wasn't a good one, and I hope you don't get out of bed to get something else in the night because you didn't eat good and now you're hungry. Whoa, whoa, chill out. I wake up at midnight sometimes, come down and get a snack. Well, you won't be doing that tonight. You will get into bed at 8.30 and you will not get back out. What? What if I have to go pee pee or poo poo? I don't care. You'll have to hold it till the morning. Whatever you do, do not get out of your bed for any reason after 8.30. I never had such a strict babysitter about bedtime. Trust me, just do as I say. Fine, fine. Come on, baby Kira. Baby Jack, do 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 do. Baby Jack, do do do. My guy want Coco Coco Mountain. Uh, Coco Melon. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Dizzy, you're such a goody two shoes. You're already in bed. Yeah. Uh, 
If I don't go to bed on time, I get super grumpy. Girls, are you ready for bed? You have four minutes. Oh, this babysitter's crazy about bedtime. All right, fine. I don't even have time to brush my teeth. My sister snores so loud. That's it. I'm going to go downstairs and get a snack. Ah, she woke me up and now my stomach's hungry. have been dreaming. <laughs> that was a crazy dream. Oh, but now my stomach's kind of hungry. And it looks like Daisy's was too. The babysitter don't, said don't ever get out of bed, but pfft, she's just trying to control me and keep me in bed. She obviously doesn't know me very well. <laughs> I'm going for a snack. Whoa, it's dark down here. Oh, I better turn on the light. La 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 la. I don't know why this babysitter was so crazy about us not getting out of bed. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ooh, it's in the refrigerator. I'm starving. Ice cream. Ooh, lots of treats. Ooh, that waffle actually looks really good. Mm. Yep, totally is. What was that? Must have been my stomach. <laughs> Whoa! I might need to go to the doctor tomorrow. He's making some seriously weird noises. Okay, that wasn't my stomach. It was a... Wait, what's that over there? It's a... It's a... Is that a daddy long legs? We have so many of those in the summer. I told you! Don't get out of bed! God, what is that? It's probably nothing. It's just my imagination. Ah! <laughs> oh my God, no, it's not. I think it's better to be in the dark. I don't want to see what was going on over there. Ah! Oh my God, oh my God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Wait a minute. Where's Daisy? Where is Daisy? She came down here before me, I, I think, and, 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 and now she's gone. That evil a spider monster probably spun her up in it, her web and, and she's gone forever. Daisy? Daisy? What did you do? Oh my God, she's right there. She was right there. Ah. <laughs> your sister's gone forever. I told you not to get out of your bed. But you did. And now you will pay the consequence. I don't think so. Baby Kara, lock your door. Oh my God. We may have lost Daisy, but we're not going to lose baby Kara. Baby Kara? Baby Kara? Okay. Wrong room. Whoops. Baby Kara! I like him, baby. Daisy! Daisy's gone! A giant spider! Okay. I just got to lock the door. Lock the door. Turn off the light. She won't know we're in here. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Okay, baby Kara. We have to think of a way to escape the house. I like baby Shark. Baby Kara! Are you even listening to me right now? There's a creepy monster in our house. And it named Baby Shark. Do, 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 do. There's obviously no getting through to my little sister. All right, um, j just get on my back, Baby Kara. She's not looking! Let's go! What are we doing? I'm tired. Just, Baby Kara, we gotta go to the police station and get help. to 2 a.m. tonight? That's awesome. Dan, I'm home. Are you ready for our date night? <laughs> this cat show is my favorite. I know, right, Dad? It's awesome. Look at you two couch potatoes. Aren't you guys going to get up and do anything tonight? Um, I was just thinking we could have date night here, like chilling on the couch, watching this favorite cat show of mine. Absolutely not. We're going out to Club Brooks. Oh, man, great! I'm home alone! Wait a minute, what happened to Daisy? 
Honey, I told you this morning, Daisy had a camp out with all of her friends. Well, why didn't Molly go? I don't like camping. I don't know. It's just like, I think about like all those bugs in the tent and... Seriously? You don't like camping? Actually, uh, not really that much. And also I was thinking, ah, being home alone while you guys have date night sounds pretty awesome to me. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, Molly, but, um, you have a babysitter. <laughs> Wait, what? A babysitter? I, I, I wasn't expecting a babysitter. I kind of would have went camping if I had known I was going to have a babysitter. Besides, I don't even need one. I'm old enough now. Sorry, Molly, but we just have to have someone come and hang out with you just to be sure you don't get into any mischief. Me? Get into mischief? <laughs> very funny. Yeah, very funny, Molly. You getting into mischief. Who would have thought? Like, I think about it every single day. Okay, maybe I get into a little mischief, but it, it's not that much, right? Um, slam the like button if you're watching this video and you think Molly gets into mischief. Uh-oh. Everybody's slamming the like button. Um, guys, you're supposed to be on my side. Yeah, no, they know you're a mischief maker. Okay, Molly, well, you have a great night. Mom and I are going to live it up at Club Brooks. Okay, Molly, um, call me on my cell if you need anything, okay? Ugh, fine. That's all right. I'll, I'll just watch my show and ignore this babysitter. That's what I'll do. <laughs> Look at that cat. It's like, well. <laughs> Super funny. Hello? Is anyone home? Huh? What? No, no one's home. Go to the next house. I don't need a babysitter. Ugh. You little brat. You're not watching any TV on my watch. Did you just call me a little brat? That's right, brat. You're not watching any TV. But, but... But it's Friday night. I always watch cool shows on TV on Friday night and just chill out. I don't think so. Get off the couch. What? This isn't your house. You can't boss me around. Actually, I'm the babysitter, so I totally can. Now get up. Wow. Rude. Here, why don't you do some cleaning? No, you're the babysitter. If, if anyone does cleaning, it's you. My parents pay you money, you know. I don't care. Here's the broom. Oh, man, I don't, I don't want to. I don't care what you want. You're not in charge. I am. Now be quiet while I watch TV. And get out of the way. I can't see anything. Oh, my gosh. This this babysitter is just... It's just... Mean! Oh, oh, I wish my mom and dad were here. I would tell on her. It's okay. I'll just go have a snack. Like she won't know. She probably won't even want to feed me something real for dinner. What could I have? What are you doing? Don't drink that. That's mine. What? No, it's not. My mom bought it for me and my sister. Well, when I'm here, everything is mine. Now give it to me. Um, no. <laughs> yes, give it to me now. Or I'm going to ground you for the rest of the night. Okay, fine. I already drank off of it. I don't care. I just want it all. Glug, 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 glug. Why are you going to feed me dinner? Because I'm hungry. What do I look like? You're maid? Make yourself something to eat. Or better yet, don't eat anything at all. Um, okay. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm not that hungry. Holy guacamole. This babysitter's so evil. Huh. She doesn't know about our secret elevator. I'll just go upstairs and hide in my room. Huh. What a crazy lady she is. Where are you? Oh my gosh, guys. I've got to hide. But first I have to eat this donut really fast. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, where should I hide? Where should I hide? I know. I'll just hide right here by the bed. She'll never find me there. <laughs> if you don't tell me where you are right now, I'm going to call the police. Hello? Yeah, call the police. Then I'll tell them you're the rudest babysitter ever. What? I just heard you. Are you over here? I know it. What are you doing? I fell off the bed. Ah! I don't care, and I don't believe you. Seriously? You don't care if I fell off the bed? But I'm laying on the floor, and like, ah! I don't really, seriously. Now, get up, please. Oh, man! Why are you crying? Because I just... I never met somebody so mean before! <laughs> if you don't stop crying, I'm going to make you do more chores, and I'm also going to ground you. You're the, you're the most evilest babysitter ever! 
Yeah, I've been told that before. <laughs> I take pride in being the most evil babysitter on the planet. <laughs> well, you're really good at it! <laughs> Stop crying. I'll give you 30 seconds. Okay. I have 30 more seconds to cry. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I changed my mind. Stop it right now. Okay. Maybe if I have some candy or something, I'll feel better. Ooh, Doritos. That'll make it better. <laughs> Stop eating that. You're not supposed to eat that. Why? Why? I, I want to eat it. Stop eating it. Give me that. It looks delicious and I want to eat it. Oh my gosh. You're taking all my snacks. You really are rude. <laughs> Ew. What was that? Um, there is a mouse that lives under the bed. That was not. You farted. Okay, I have to use the bathroom. You need to ask me permission before you do anything. Um. <laughs> can I use the bathroom? Oh, just go. <laughs> I was just faking it. <laughs> but now I have some privacy so I can call my mom and tell her how evil this babysitter is and that she can come home any minute. Come on, mom. Pick up. Pick up the phone! Oh, she's probably having a great time dancing at Club Brooks. Mom, pick up the phone! Okay, I'm gonna redial her. Hello? Mom! I, I need to talk to you! I have an emergency! What? what? What is it, Molly? Mom, this babysitter is evil! Molly, don't be dramatic. I'm sure she's fine. I'm sorry you have to have a babysitter. You won't have to have one forever. No, Mom, seriously. Please come home. Seriously, Molly? Is everything okay? No, I need you to come home. Okay, we'll be right home, Molly. Where are you? Hey, what are you doing on your cell phone? Um, nothing. I was just seeing if I had any homework. I, I called my friend to see. No calling friends. No calling anyone. Now, come on. I have more chores for you to do. Okay. Yeah, I'll do all the chores. You will? That's a better attitude. Where are you going? You have to go this way. Duh. Boy, I'm pretty silly. Even though this is your house, you don't even know where you're going. Now, get the broom out and get working. Okay. I'm, I'm working. Good. <laughs> See, your Friday night totally stinks, doesn't it? Um, yeah? <laughs> Molly? What's going on here? Hey, are you making her do chores and being rude and evil to her? Yeah, Mom, she is. <laughs> well, if you don't like my method of babysitting, you don't have to hire me again, but you still owe me 200 bucks. 200 bucks? You must be Looney Tunes! I wouldn't pay a babysitter $200 for an hour. <laughs> Especially not a bad babysitter. I'm not a bad babysitter. I'm just strict. Okay, what did you feed my daughter for dinner? She didn't feed me anything. Is this true? Uh, yeah. I mean, she doesn't need to eat, does she? Uh, yeah, she does. What What else did you have her do? Chores. And then she had, told me I'd ask permission to go to the bathroom. You're a horrible babysitter. I'm giving you a one-star review on, on Google. Sarah is a bad, evil babysitter. What do you think of that? Whatever. It's not like I like this job anyway. I'm going to get a job at the car wash. Car wash? Man, I feel sorry for those cars. Here's your broom back. Uh, you can keep it. <laughs> I don't clean houses. Get out of our house, evil babysitter, right now! Whatever. My $200. Yeah, right. You're not getting 200 bucks from me. Cheapers, Molly. I'm sorry that baby was sitter was so evil. It's okay. I, I'm just glad you guys could come home. Come on, Molly. Let's watch your favorite cat show all together. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are home. Seriously. What an evil babysitter. Yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> now, finally, I get to watch my favorite show. Wait a minute. It's not on. Ah! Go home because you had so much fun? 
Oh, sweet girl. I'm so glad you like your new preschool. Well, like, I can't come in today. Uh, no, it's... I, I, I can't work tonight. Because I have my twins. That's why I'm here picking them up from preschool. Uh, no, I don't want to lose my job. Okay, all right. I'll come in. If I can find a babysitter. Oh, hi. You must be a new mom, too. Yeah, I'm Lorelai. Oh, well, I'm Laura. Our names are almost the same. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a really bad day because my boss wants me to work a shift because one of the other employees got sick and I don't have anyone to watch my twins. Well, I'm sure we could have a play date with my daughter and you could come pick him up at my house later. Does that work? Oh my gosh, you do that for me? Yeah, that would work great. I don't think so, Mom. Nope, nope, nope. What do you mean, baby Kira? You love playdates. No, 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 no. I think a bad idea. No. No, I'll buy you. Baby Kira, what's got into you? I'm sorry, Lorelai. She probably just needs a diaper change or maybe a bottle. No, I don't need anything. I, I don't want to have a playdate with the twin. Baby Kira, don't be rude. Besides, I already told Lorelai, so just try to have fun, okay? All right, Lorelai, I'll text you my address and you can pick up the twins after you're done with your work shift. Thanks again so much, Laura. You really saved my life on this one, or at least my job. No problem. I'm the right thing that my those twins are evil. What? They're evil? <laughs> They're just babies like you. Don't be ridiculous. Here, baby Kira, take your passy and try to be very sweet to the twins. See? Isn't everything all better now? I don't think so. Okay, Megan and Tegan, you guys can sit in the third row. Don't forget to buckle your seatbelts. I want to sit next to her because she smells bad. I don't smell bad. I smell like, um, uh, like my bath bubbles. Oh, yeah, she does smell really bad. Baby Kira smells like a piggy. <laughs> They're not funny. Quit teasing me, Megan and Tegan. Mommy! What, Baby Kira? What's going on back there? They're being made to be all ready. Oh, my goodness. You little kids are something else. Just try to get along, okay, everyone? We're going to go to a super fun diner for dinner. Then we'll go to the park. Oh boy, we're going to book it and dine on you, little papa. Meg and Tika, you're going to love it. I'm so glad I got this mom bus. Turns out I really need it. <laughs> la, 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 la. Ew, her singing's bad. I know, Tika, her singing's really bad. Hey, don't talk about my mommy that way. Okay, girls, each of you can get something from the menu for dinner, and then you can each have a dessert. Oh, boy, I love dessert, Mommy. Thank you. You're welcome, baby Kira. Megan, Tegan, what would you like from the menu? Mama, mama, mama. Wait a minute, baby Kira. I just asked Megan and Tegan what they're having. Okay, I'll wait then. I'm going to have an ice cream, and I'm going to have some pie. No, girls, you have to eat something for dinner first. Baby Kara, what are you going to have for dinner? Maybe the girls will have the same thing. I'm going to have uh, a chipotle and... Um, and how about a vegetable? You want to pick a vegetable? A fruit salad? Yeah, you can have a cheeseburger and a fruit salad. Those are great choices. Okay, Megan and Tegan, what are you going to have? I'm going to have, like I said, an ice cream. I I can have pie. I told you they were evil. You did this to me, though, Mom. Baby Kira, go sit in your chair, please. They aren't evil. They're just being a little naughty. Whoa, that's the biggest cheap booger I ever saw in my whole life. Oh, wow. And the fruit salad looks good, too. I don't know why I had your robot. She's so annoying. She still talks like a baby, Megan. I know, Tegan, she does. No, what's this? eating this. Well, I ordered it for you since all you wanted to order was dessert. I got you some tacos and I got you some chicken and salad. Doesn't that look really good? No, I don't want to eat that. It looks gross. You're a bad babysitter. I told you they were evil, Mom. 
I told you. Baby Kara, sit down and eat your dinner. It's not nice to call Megan and Tegan evil. I think they are, though, Mom. I think they are. I'm not eating anything unless I have my apple pie. Um, okay, well, um, I guess you aren't eating anything then because you can't eat apple pie for dinner and you're going to get very hungry. Oh, thank you. You're rude. You're rude, lady. I want to go home. Now my mom can see how evil they really are. One hour later. Okay, girls, you only have about 30 minutes. It's starting to get dark, and then we're going to go back so your mom can pick you up. I'll get a swing on that swing. Oh, there's one for all of us. Whee! No, I want to swing on that swing. Get off of there. Don't push me. Ah, Megan! Ah, Megan, you pushed me. I'm good, you. Well, you should have gotten off the swing. Oh my god, baby Kira, are you okay? Are you okay? I, I can't move my foot. I think I broke it. Oh my gosh. Megan and Tegan, you guys are being extremely naughty. And now you pushed her off the swing and, and, and she's probably really hurt. Oh my gosh. You guys really are evil. <laughs> We are wondering if you are ever going to figure it out, lady. Okay, I need to call your mom. And then I need to take baby Kira to the hospital. Mom, it really hurts. I need to leave you you. Well, scratch that. I think I'll have to take these girls to the hospital and call their mom from there. She's not picking up. Megan, Tegan, don't let me see you doing anything else naughty today. For reals. You girls are going to make me crazy. Now, come on, baby Kira. Let's get you to the hospital and get that leg looked at. Megan, Tegan, keep up, please. We're coming. Jeepers. You're so bossy. <laughs> My leg really hurts. <laughs> oh, baby Kira, I'm so, so sorry, honey. I love you. Um, Megan, why don't you go and get baby Kira some water? Here, here's some money. You can get it out of the vending machine. It's just around the corner. Do you think you can do that? Yeah, sure. i do it. <laughs> Tegan, I dare you to get in that x-ray machine. No, Megan, I dare you to get in it. <laughs> I can't wait to see what all your bones look like. I bet you won't even have a brain. Oh, whatever, Megan. I will have a brain. <laughs> Look at you. You said I dream machine, and I'm a big doctor that says, um, hmm, nope, you have no brain. What? Yes, I do have a brain. Nope, see, you don't. I don't see a brain in there. Whatever. I definitely have one. Look at all these adorable little babies being so quiet, Megan. I know what you mean, Tegan. <laughs> Let's go some trouble. Let's have a rock concert. La 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 la. What are you girls doing? I sent you for a bottle of water, and you're wrecking the entire hospital. Ah! Go get the bottle of water right now. We got your water, and maybe now you can grow a new leg. Oh my gosh. You two really are the most evil identical twins ever. I need to call your mom and have her come pick you up right away. It just keeps ringing. Oh, wait, I think it's going to voicemail. Hi, you've reached Lorelei. I'm currently in Cancun and I'll be back next week. Can't believe I found someone to watch the kids. I needed this break so bad. Leave a message after the beep, but I probably won't check it till next week. Lorelei, you come get these evil twins right now! <laughs> Welcome to my channel. If 
if you're not one of my subscribers yet, please hit the subscribe button. Today, guys, I'm going to have so much fun playing Twilight Daycare wow. because there's a new princess update. And you guys know me, I'm such a princess. I'm going to be playing the princess story. And there's even a deluxe princess castle. Um, I don't know if I can be a toddler. Um, and, and well, where's my hair? Okay, I did, first of all, I need to have some hair. And then I can go do the princess story. But uh, let's go back to my avatar because um, I'm missing hair. Let's see, something that looks just like me and my hair. Okay, that's better. Now we can go read the princess story in the library. I'm so excited. It's going to be so adorable. I just know it. Ooh, I'm taking out a book, guys. Once upon a time, there was a princess picking magical strawberries to help her mom. Hmm, there should be enough strawberries, I believe. But out of nowhere, a scary-looking dragon jumped out of the bushes. Ah! I'm the hungry dragon, and if the name doesn't make it obvious enough, I'm hungry! Don't even think about it! There for my mom, the queen! Come on! Just give me one. No. And you shall not pass to the other side. Oh, no. What am I going to do now? Okay, I have an idea. Hey, Hungry Dragon, did you know that if you look at the sky for 10 seconds, it becomes pink? Wait, really? I got to try that. One, two, three, four. Whoop, that's my cue. Have fun. Nine, ten. Wow, it did become pink. How's that even possible? Finally, the princess arrived at the castle. Bob, I brought you some magical strawberries to cure your cold. Oh, yes. I'm afraid you brought me way too many, though. I'm not going to be able to eat all of these. I can help. Wait, what? You followed me all the way here? Yeah, what can I say? You're not you when you're hungry. All right, I guess I'll give you some magical strawberries for your waffle. Yay! And they all lived happily ever after the end whoa that was an adorable story i loved it okay now it's time to go see if i can get one of these amazing castles but first i kind of want to have a snack and i haven't been in here in a while guys look at this there's a lot of stuff in here now oh it's a toy bottle okay well i guess i'm not gonna be drinking that <sighs> okay, I got a little distracted because it's time to swim and I wanted to see this new pool that we have. Holy guacamole! I can't swim! I'm in the water! Somebody help! Oh! Okay, well, I'll just I'll just swim over to this floaty and sit on it. Hopefully someone will come rescue me like a teacher. At any point, is anyone gonna come? No? Okay. Okay, I'll just spend the night out here in this pool instead of in my princess castle. Somebody come rescue me! I'm a princess, you know! I deserve to be rescued! One eternity later. Finally! Ah, and I was rescued by a unicorn. My day couldn't get any better. Now, unicorn, I'd like to go to my princess castle, okay? And also, I need a bath. And also, <laughs> I have the hiccups because I'm starving! My, it looks like, well, you need a bath. Look how dirty you are. That's right, servant. What? I'm not your servant. I'm your caretaker. And I'm a unicorn. I don't know what that is, a caretaker, but um, I'm a princess. Well, <laughs> I don't know if you're a princess. I am a princess, believe me. I believe that you're a unicorn. Well, everyone can see I'm a unicorn. I have a horn. <laughs> I need to go party. I need to go party. Okay, okay. I do need to go to my princess Psst. castle. <laughs> a princess castle? Are you really a princess? Yes, unicorn. And you can live there with me if you want to. Ooh, that sounds pretty amazing. And since I just came to planet Earth from Unicorn Land, I don't have somewhere to 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 sleep yet. So I guess I could live with you at your castle. Oh, that would be amazing! Okay, Unicorn, let's go. Whoa, this place is amazing! I know, right? I love this place. Oh, it's so happy. La 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 la. Look, I even have my own doll's room. Not now. We're gonna go into the bounce 
bounce house. I've never been to a bounce house. And as a unicorn, I always wanted to. Whee! <laughs> this is fun, right? Oh, it seems like you're tired. No, I don't want to go to my room. Well, I think you should. You're probably just so sleepy. Come on, let's take a night-night. I want to go night-night. You and me, unicorn. La, la, la. La, la, la. Are you feeling much better now? Hmm, Princess Daisy? I'm feeling a lot better, but I need diaper change. No problem. I'll definitely give you a diaper change. <laughs> Is that better? You're the most magical unicorn ever. And now you need something to drink. Glug, 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 glug. Would you like some more? No! I'm a princess and I'm grumpy! What? Don't, don't, don't spit your milk out at me. Naughty baby. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you. Sometimes I'm grumpy though. Sometimes I get really grumpy and I don't know why. It's just because you're a human baby. But don't worry, unicorn babies are like that too. La, 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 la. Listen to my unicorn song. I like your unicorn song. It's really pretty. Hmm, you're not stopping to cry yet. Hmm, I don't know why you're still crying. I don't know what to do. Human babies are sometimes very confusing. Do you want to go down the slide? That'll be fun. This is the slide. Okay, we. Can I have some food now? I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. Give me something to eat, lady. Well, um, I think we can go down the slide one more time. Do I look like I'm... Ah! Why are you throwing me down the slide? Oh, rude unicorn. Okay, now I have to run away because it's unicorn. Oh, boy, there she is. Oh, my gosh. There's no escaping you. I can't get up there. Damn it. I want to have something to eat. Okay, okay. I just thought we'd get a little exercise before we had a snack. You just had a bottle, but I'm still hungry. Don't take me down the slide. Oh my gosh, she doesn't know that I need something to eat apparently. Food, 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 food. Damn it, I need food. Okay, this, I'm starting to think this unicorn might be evil. I want something to eat. See, I'm standing in front of the food. Can I have it, please? I'm crying, I need food. But unicorns just want to have fun. Come on, let's go in the ball pit now. Or we could make a picture. What do you want to do? I want to eat food, you crazy unicorn. Okay, I guess it could be time for a snack, right? No, um, um, yeah. Yes, finally. She's going to feed me. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I thought this unicorn was going to stop me forever. <laughs> ah, give me more, please. Open your mouth for the airplane. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations to you. You're a battle unicorn mom and you feed your baby. Holy guacamole. Okay, what should we do now? I don't know. This is, um, this has been really fun, unicorn. Why are you trying to put me down? She's leaving me in my crib. I'm not even talking. Hey, lady. Okay, the unicorn has abandoned me. I don't know why. I'm going to sneak out of my crib, though. I'm going to sneak out when she least expects it. Floor is lava room. You know I want to play that. Click here to erupt the volcano. <laughs> what up? I'm going to get out of here before the lava gets me. Did she just leave me here? Where did that unicorn go? Oh my gosh, lady. You're not supposed to leave me home alone. I need medicine. I'm sick. She locked me in here. Oh my gosh. Help, I'm stuck in this crazy unicorn's house. I think I could get through here. Can I crawl, maybe? <gasps> I got out, guys. I got out. Okay, that unicorn was sort of cool as a mom. And also maybe a little evil. <gasps> Look! I thought that was my castle, but it wasn't actually my castle. It was her house. I'm going home to my castle. And the unicorn can't live there. Hello! It's Princess Daisy. Please let me in. Hello? Uh, mom? Is that you? Mom? Okay, just let me ring the bell. This isn't your house. Oh my gosh, everybody thinks I belong to their unicorn now. Mom, it's me. Who are you? 
And why are you here all alone? Bob, it's me, Daisy, your daughter. Hmm, I don't think I know any Daisy. I'd better make, take you to the adoption center. Bob, I'm Princess Daisy. That evil unicorn has put a spell on you. What? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I'm, I don't know anyone named Princess Daisy. I'm your daughter. I don't have a daughter. Why are we roller skating? You don't roller skate, Mom. What are you talking about? I roller skate all the time. I love roller skating. Okay, something crazy is going on. That evil unicorn has put a spell on my mom. Where are we going, lady? Here, I'm giving you some medicine. Well, even though you don't remember that you're my mom, at least you took care of me. You say that I'm your mom, but why do you think that? Because you are. I don't remember being your mom. That's because that evil unicorn put a spell on you. I thought she was nice, but turns out she's an evil one. Oh, poor baby. Ew, what's that smell? <coughs> Ew, you smell like a stinky doo-doo. And your teeth are dirty. That's because the unicorn didn't brush them. Could you brush them for me? Of course I'll brush your teeth. But now we need to, well, take you to the adoption center. I don't want to go to the adoption center. You're my mommy. I'm sorry, sweetie. I think you must have gotten a concussion. I'm not your mommy. You are my mommy. You have to believe me. Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Where are we? Well, I'm about to take you to get you some new clothes and make you look presentable for your new family. But, but you are my family. Now hold still while I pick out something adorable for you to wear. Mom, snap out of it! There. What, you, you giving me different hail? But, what about my blonde, my, my, why did I say blonde? Because now I am blonde. I don't want to be a blonde. I want to be red-headed pigtails. I look adorable that way. I'm just not happy. This unicorn has ruined my life. Silly unicorn. I I should have never talked to that unicorn. <laughs> oh my. Well, this outfit's pretty cute. My mom has changed. She wants to make me into somebody that I'm not. I want you to look just like me, sweetie. So that way you'll get adopted. Well, since I look just like you, why don't you adopt me? Well, <laughs> you, um, I don't know. You are my mom already! Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Well, I guess there might be some truth in this. But if you were my daughter, you'd have blonde hair. No, I have red hair like dad! And like grandma? Um, okay, well... I can't believe it! This evil unicorn put a spell on everyone! I have to break it if it's the last thing I do! Sorry about this, Mom, but I'm running away. I don't think she even noticed. I guess I don't mean that much to her yet. But I will when she remembers who I am. Okay, now where's the exit door? Here it is. I've got to run before she gets me. Hey, little girl, you can't just run away. I have to learn how to break the, the curse that the, the evil unicorn put on my family. It says in my spell book that if I pick this special white flower, then I smell it. The spell should be broken. I hope that worked. I really do. Mom? Mom, I'm home! Who's this? Wait, who? Who are you? This is my baby. And wait, you're that adopted baby. No, I'm your real daughter, Daisy! Daisy? Is that you? The special flower is working. The unicorn spell is where we go. Oh my gosh, Daisy! Oh my gosh, are you okay? And why do you have blonde hair? Because, Mom, you were tricked by an evil unicorn. Well, let's get you cleaned up and get your hair back to normal. I'm so sorry that unicorn put a spell on me. It's okay, Mom, but we have to be careful from now on. Evil unicorns exist, and, and we can't let them ruin our family. It's okay, Daisy. You can dry your tears now, honey. Everything is going to be okay. I hope so, Mom. I really hope so. Ah! I'm gonna be late for school! And I actually did my homework, so I want credit for it, you know?
<laughs> Where's my math book? Where's my math book? Oh, I can't find my math book! Okay, um, maybe I left it in the chair. No, where was I studying last night? Think, Molly, think. Oh, wait, I had to go to the bathroom. Maybe it's in the toilet. Math book! Are you down there? <laughs> Just kidding. Although sometimes I'd like to um, flush all of my school books down the toilet. No, it's not on the desk. Wait, what's that on the table? I think it's my math book! Yep, it, sh it sure is. I'm just gonna pick it up, put it in my backpack, and away I go. Molly, hurry up! The bus is here! Coming! Good morning, everyone! It's good to see you here. Especially you, Molly. You're actually on time. <laughs> yeah, and I did my homework. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh! What'd you do with Molly? Who are you? <laughs> Guys, today, mathlete tryouts are happening. I know all you mathletes would be amazing at that. Yeah, uh, more work and homework. Uh, I don't know about that. Hey, Molly. <laughs> it's good to see you. Uh, uh, I sat next to you. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, I see you sat next to me. S sitting in that chair is, is nice. Oh, really? Why? Um, uh... Uh, is it because I, I'm sitting next to you? No, 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 that's not why. <laughs> it's because you're sitting under the heat duct, and so you stay nice and toasty. Oh, <laughs> I see. Okay, class, please take out your math books. We're going to go over lesson number three. Math book, math book, math book. Wait, here it is. O-M-G. I accidentally brought my diary. Talks all about my crush in it. Okay, I'll just put it back in my backpack and tell the teacher I forgot my math book. Did Molly just say that she brought her diary to school? <laughs> I bet there's some awesome secrets in there she doesn't want anyone to know. And that's exactly why I have to read it. <laughs> when her back's turned, I'll steal it right from her backpack. Mrs. Stevens, I forgot my math book. I'm sorry, I... I brought the wrong book with me, but I did my homework. It's okay, Molly. Do I have to have detention? No, you don't have to have detention. Really? I finally managed to not get detention. I'm super proud of myself right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Molly has a crush on Luke? <laughs> this is perfect. Dear Luke, meet me in the auditorium after school. Love, Molly. <laughs> Dear Molly, meet me in the auditorium after school. Love, Luke. Perfect. <laughs> I'm going to prank her so good. <laughs> hey, Molly, you could share math books with me if you want. Really? Wow. Uh, thanks, Luke. No problem. Okay, class, you guys can head off to English. I don't want you to be late. Yeah, that would be a tragedy. <laughs> Are you even paying attention? Hello? <sighs> Is she sleeping? Huh? What? Huh? Wake up! Huh? What? What I miss? Pretty much all of English class. Here, Luke wanted me to give you this letter. Really? Yeah, he said it's pretty urgent. Okay, thanks. No problem. Don't say I never did anything for you. Wow, a letter from Luke? I wonder what it says. Dear Molly, please meet me in the auditorium after school. Love, Luke. O-M-G. I think he's going to ask me to the school dance. Best day of my life. Okay, everyone. Class is dismissed. Wow, it's the end of the day. <laughs> Guess I need to meet Luke in the auditorium. Oh, my God, there's Luke. I'm kind of nervous. He makes me feel, like, really shy because I really have a crush on him. Hey, Molly. Oh, hi, Luke. Hey, um, so, uh, you wanted to meet me here? Wait, what? No, you wanted to meet me here. Uh, no, Molly. Um, I got your letter. <laughs> I didn't write you a letter. You wrote me a letter. No, you wrote me a letter. Sarah gave it to me. Attention, Molly and Luke. What is going on? This is Sarah, and I want you to know that <laughs> I read your diary, Molly. Ah! What? <laughs> That's right. I'm going to read you guys a little bit of what Molly said. 
No, Lil, cover your ears! You don't want to hear this! What? Why? And why'd you write me that letter and now you're saying you didn't? I didn't write you the letter! I'm guessing that Sarah wrote you a letter from me. And then she wrote me a letter from you. Why would she do that? Oh, I can only take a guess. Okay, here you go. Dear Diary, Luke is so cute. Huh? You wrote this, Molly? No, I, I don't know what she's talking about. This is really Molly, Diary. It's not Daisy or baby Kira. I really like Luke. He's cute. He's adorable. He's smart. He is like an amazing football player. Love, Molly. Oh my gosh! I'm humiliated! <laughs> By the way, losers, I have locked you into the school for 24 hours. <laughs> have fun! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm mortified! I'm so embarrassed! I can't believe she stole my diary and read it out loud! Hey, Molly! Ah! What are you doing here? This is the girl's bathroom! Well, no one else is around, and, 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 and you ran away before I could even say anything! Wow, the girl's bathroom is much bigger than the boys. O-M-G! Get out of here! Um, wait, I just want to tell you something. I... I like you too. Wait, what? You do? Yup, I do. I think you're cute, and amazing, and smart, and funny, even if you don't do your homework. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, and I'm kind of glad that I'm stuck in the school with you for 24 hours. We can have, like, a first date. This is a date? Yup, if you want it to be, that is. I totally do. Aww. Maybe we should go to the cafeteria and, well, eat pizza. I love that idea! <laughs> Let's eat all the pizza so that they don't have any for lunch tomorrow and they'll be like, Where's all the pizza? And we can secretly laugh inside because we'll know the answer and they won't. Wow, complex, Luke. Okay, let's do it. I always thought you were kind of simple, but no. Seems you have a whole plot line going here. Ooh, this pizza's delicious. Mm, it totally is. Molly, I hope that we can be the best of friends. Me too, Luke. Mmm, this is really good. So, um, what do you want to do now? Uh, eat more pizza. <laughs> Duh. Molly, I never knew somebody that liked pizza as much as you. Well, we're going to eat it all so all the students wonder where it goes tomorrow. You better get eating, Luke. Um, yeah, I'm full already. <laughs> I can totally eat more pizza than you. <laughs> hey, want to go to the gym and play some basketball? Sounds like a great idea, except for I just ate all that pizza. I'll probably throw up. Nah, it'll be fun. Come on. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. I forgot where the gym was for a minute. <laughs> now that pizza went to my brain. Okay. Let's see if I'm better at basketball than Luke. Um, you probably are. I'm really good at football, though. I'm not really great at football. Whoa, good shot, Luke. I'm having so much fun right now. Me too. Um, Luke, um, we didn't think about something. What's that, Molly? Where are we gonna sleep? Um, well... Ugh. Well, I don't feel so good. Why? Oh no. You ate too much pizza and then you jumped around playing basketball. Uh-oh. I don't want to throw up on our first date. That would ruin everything, wouldn't it? Um, you better run to the boys' bathroom. <laughs> I'll set up a sleeping area. Good idea, Molly. We definitely have to sleep here till the morning. Wait a minute. No students allowed. <gasps> Perfect! Yes! In the janitor's room, there's a bunk bed. I'll let Luke choose if he wants top bunk or bottom bunk. Are you feeling better, Luke? A little. I don't know why I ate all that pizza. <laughs> <laughs> um, Luke, I was wondering, um, are you having fun on our date? I'm having a great time on our date. Yep. Well, I want to show you something. Uh, I'm not looking forward to sleeping on the bleachers. No, no, no. Look what I found in the janitor's room. Bunk beds! Do you want the top bunk or the bottom bunk, Luke? I'll take the bottom. Okay. Ugh, ugh, ugh. This ladder is kind of broken. I can't climb up the ladder. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Here, Molly, I'll take the top bunk. Are you sure, Luke? Well, if I can climb up the ladder, sure. Well, Molly, this was a great first date. 
I agree. But you know we're probably going to get detention tomorrow for being locked inside the school. But it wasn't our fault. We'll just tell them Sarah did it. Yeah, if they believe me. I'm always getting detention. Plus, we ate all the pizza for school tomorrow. Yeah, we might get detention about that. But at least we'll be in detention together. And, uh, Molly? Yeah, Luke? Would you like to go to the school dance with me on Friday? Um, uh, uh... It's okay if you don't want to. I would love to! Great. This 24 hours stuck in the school with you has been the best 24 hours of my life. Ditto, Luke. Ditto. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy! We're little babies again! I know, Molly, aren't we adorable? Oh, look, we only have one tooth. <laughs> I think it comes from drinking a bottle. <laughs> Molly, I heard that we have a new nanny today. A new nanny? I hope she's nice. She's not nice. She made me cry. Whee! Oh, my gosh. She sounds really mean. Are you, are you guys sure we have the same nanny? Yeah, we do have the same nanny as you, and she is really mean. Oh, no, Molly. I don't want to have a new nanny. Well, it looks like we're being babysat at the space station. Okay, this is just weird. Molly, where are you? Uh, Daisy? I'm feeling a little funny. <laughs> Molly? Are you the crazy nanny? Um, no, not at all. <laughs> well, that didn't sound very promising. I will kill them all! <laughs> Where is everybody? Come on! Uh oh, there's Daisy! <laughs> oh. <laughs> all of you must die! Oh my gosh, Marley, you're crazy! I can't help it. I was made into the nanny. <laughs> 37 babies left to go. Hmm, where could they be? Hmm, where are all these babies? They're very tricksy. You guys are going to have a permanent timeout. <laughs> Here, baby, 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 baby. Here, baby, baby, baby. Okay, I can't go through there. Which means they have to be somewhere around here. They're hiding. Please don't get me. Please don't get me. Please don't get me. OMG, I hear a baby. I hear one. Ah, oh, there's so many doors everywhere. How do I know where I'm going? <gasps> there's Daisy. <laughs> Molly, please, I'm your sister. Not anymore. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where'd everybody go? Hey, did you guys escape? Well, Molly, if you snooze, you lose. Okay, where did they go? They had to have gone in one of these rooms. La 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 la, I'm gonna get all these babies. Don't sing while you're evil, Molly. It's just weird. Um, if you think I look evil, slam that like button. How could you not think she looks evil? She looks very psychotic right now. Hmm. Oh, babies, where are you? They're never going to escape. Not ever. <laughs> Ooh, I should put out a trap. Okay, I put down a trap. Hopefully one of these babies crawl on it. But I did see a baby go in here, so I'm after them. Everybody, this is making me very mad. Molly, you don't have to do this, please. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, my gosh, I can't find anybody. Maybe you're a terrible bully being a nanny. But, I mean, you are terrible because you're a crazy murderer, but, you know. Okay, I am getting really mad. Ten seconds till all the vents are closed. <laughs> that sounds like a great plan to me. Oh, babies, where are you? Oh, look, this is where they escape. Good, they can. Okay, um, if anybody sees a baby, let me know because I don't see any anywhere. 
They're very good at being um, mischievous. Are they hiding in the air ducts or something? Hmm, I'm too big to fit in there. Are you in there? No, I don't see anybody in there. Oh, a bottle. I'm kind of thirsty. Here, baby babies. Here, baby babies. Oh my gosh, I just saw one. <laughs> what? Daisy's escaped? No! <laughs> see you later, Stinkle. How did she escape? Daisy, I'm gonna get you. Oh my gosh, they're all escaping. <laughs> what? Did I just lose? You're the worst evil nanny ever. Well, truth is, I don't really like being an evil nanny. I did get two babies, though. Yeah, Molly, you're evil for it, too. Molly, payback is awful. Wait, what? Why am I in this hospital? Because, Molly, that's where I put you. <laughs> Daisy, is, is that you? <laughs> no, I'm the nanny. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh. Wait, who needs coffee to wake up? The doctor? Hey, we need your help! Okay, I need to find him some coffee. And, oh my god, there's Daisy! Bah! Daisy, don't you dare come near me! Daisy, don't you do it! What are you doing? Come here, little baby! Don't you want to hang out with the nanny? <laughs> Not particularly crazy. Oh my god, she's nuts. She's gone crazy! Now you know how I feel, Molly. When you were the nanny... Oh my gosh. Ah, there she is! Ah, ah, ah. Oh my god. Ah, ah, ah. This is scarier than I thought. <laughs> Wait, where does this go? I don't know, but I feel sort of safe in the tunnels. Hey, can I look in these drawers? Where's some coffee? The guy needs coffee to wake up! Wait, did the tunnel close? Oh my god, I think the tunnel just closed. Wait, no, there it is. It's really dark, so I couldn't see anything. Is the coast clear? Ah, no! Ah, ah! <laughs> Daisy, you psycho! Molly! Ah! Okay, I'm just staying in the tunnel forever. <laughs> I'm never coming out of the tunnel ever. Okay, which way do you guys see her? Do you see her? Ah! Uh. <laughs> I outsmarted her. <laughs> ah, no, I didn't! Ah! Molly, where are you? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Where's all the other babies? Did she kill them all? Okay, I'm just gonna pretend I'm a patient. Okay, she's, she doesn't know where I am. This is a good thing. Ah! She's coming through the wall curtain thing! Ah! Okay, back into the vent, back into the vent. <laughs> oh my gosh. She can't get you in here, so, you know, if you have to hide from the nanny, you can be like a little mouse. 100 seconds left until all the vents get closed. Ah! There she is again. She just got to wait outside this vent. That's so rude. Okay, I'm hiding. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Okay, look. I can scream, guys. Ah! <laughs> I don't know what good that does. OMG. Maybe a close. Oh, my God. Daisy, please spare my life. I'm your sister. Don't you dare scream near me again! What? Why? Because it paralyzes me. Really? Oh wow, well, it's good to know. Thanks! Oh my gosh, where's all the other babies? They're hiding in vents, I bet. Oh my gosh, let me out, let me out, let me out! Wait, there's the babies! I see babies over there, they're hiding. Okay, I'm hiding here too, that seems like a good spot. Nope! Hey, Molly, you told me, you told the nanny where I was! Oh, sorry, ooh, there's a key. Ooh, there's a key. Where's this go? Ah! Daisy! Ah! Oh, man, are you kidding me, Daisy? <laughs> See you later, Molly. Okay, that was insane. All right, I'm going to watch Daisy get everyone else because she's just mean like that. Look at her. Ah! She's getting all the babies! I think Daisy's a way better nanny than me. She's psycho! What's she doing now? Oh, she's rattling her baby bottle so that um everybody comes to her. <laughs> I'm the best nanny ever. Or the worst one since you like killed everybody. I did. I really did. <laughs> Molly, neither one of us is the nanny this time. Oh, thank goodness. I was a little tired of being evil. 
Come on, Daisy, let's go this way. Marty, I don't, I don't know if you know the way. I mean, you were a terrible nanny. Yeah, but I'm a pretty good baby. Wee! Wee! Uh-huh, see? Molly, just try to find the keys as fast as you can. I'm trying. I gotta stay away from that creepy nanny, though. Sector D. Wow, this place is huge. Whoa. Okay, that just goes back out into the hallway. Good to know. Alright, I'm gonna go into this room at the end. See if I can, um... Oh, look, I found some uranium. I don't know what that's gonna do, but... I'm about to find out. Marty, you've never really been good in science class. Uh, maybe you shouldn't find out. I'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? You can blow us all up! Oh yeah, well there's that. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Oh my gosh! Okay, it's not the nanny. It's just a bush, but that's the nanny! Wah! Okay, I lost already. Oopsie. <laughs> well, I'm still in the game, um, and... I'm doing okay. I, I mean, the nanny hasn't gotten me yet. Well, that's probably a good thing, Daisy. I mean, when the nanny gets you, it's terrifying. Not even gonna lie. Molly, I put the uranium in. Well, I'm glad that my, um, my, my mission to get the ura uranium did something. Look what I did, Molly. Now I can get the key card almost. Great job, Daisy. Keep going. I could get it to level three. OMG, Daisy is doing amazing. Wait, there's a creepy nanny. Be careful, Daisy! I see you, Molly, I see you! You've got a key card to your right, you missed it! Oh my gosh, um, Daisy, this is bad. The nanny's about to get you. Nope, I went into the, I went into the vent. She can't get me. Be careful, she's probably waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I knew it! She's evil. She got me good. I know, Molly, you're gonna be in a permanent timeout. Daisy, be careful. I'm gonna, like, just gonna look around for you. Get that key card, Daisy! She's right behind you, Daisy! She's right behind you! Thanks for the update, Molly. It's good to have you on my back. Guarding my back, I mean. Whoa, I just see a main key card. Daisy, I see the thing for the main key card. I know, I see it too, Molly! Yes! OMG! Okay, there's a vent there if you need to escape. Alright, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, like, try to see if I can see her. I don't, yeah, I don't see her anywhere, Daisy. I'm like a second set of eyes for my sister right now. She's got the main key card, though. Now she just needs a crowbar. You got this, Daisy! Guys, if you believe in Daisy, slam that like button. I think she can do it. She's gotta find the crowbar, and I don't know where she should look for it. Um, no, Daisy, I don't think it's in there. I wish I could just be like a ghost and like go around without getting killed and find everything to help my sister right now. Even though I'm annoying sometimes. That's what you say anyway. I don't think I'm annoying at all. Yeah, you're an annoying sister. Trust me. Molly! But I don't want the nanny to get you, of course. Okay, nope. Wait, wait, wait. Was that a crowbar? No, okay, no. No, no. Molly, you're confusing me. I only have like less than two minutes. OMG! Be careful, Daisy. The vents are gonna close. Well, there's a blue key. Oh my god, Daisy! She's behind you! Molly! Oh my gosh! Daisy, you almost won! Yeah, but then I did it and she got me. Did you see me crying? Totally. Cry, baby. Molly! The nanny got me! <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time. Bye! from my baby sister, baby Kira, from her daycare. And she said that there's a substitute teacher today and her substitute teacher is crazy. And she called me to pick her up. So guys, I'm gonna go find my baby sister and see what's going on. Oh my gosh, is that the substitute? OMG, she looks like evil or something. All right, let me open the gate and see if I can find baby Kira. Why is my face on the board? That's creepy. Get back here, kids! You can't ever leave! <laughs> Whoa, evil substitute. Baby Kira, is, is that you? <laughs> Baby Kira, it's okay. It's your big sister, Molly. I don't 
birthday, you mice. You're crazy. I'm so happy to see you. Why are you so tall? Oh, no. I think I had a growth spurt. Why can't I have a growth spurt? My little baby sister is as tall as I am, and she's a toddler. Maybe that's just the daycare. Oh, no, but we have to escape to see crazy. Oh, she looks kind of crazy. Come on. Follow me. I know exactly how to get out of here. Well, I think. Now, don't be afraid. This is an obby that she's created, so you can never leave this daycare. But we're going to get out of here, baby Kara. I got your eyes. I can be good at obbies. I like Daisy. What? You're like Daisy? No, you're like me. I'm, I'm good at obbies, too. I I have here, Molly. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I want my mommy. <laughs> Ow, you kind of hit me, baby Kara. I know you didn't mean to, but be careful when you're punching open those vents. Sorry, I just miss mom. Don't worry, you'll see mom soon enough. Trust me. If it's the last thing I do, we're going to get away from this crazy lady. What are you doing, baby Kara? I can hide because what happens if she comes back? Oh, yeah, she's coming. Oh, my gosh, we're going to die. I'm going to die. Ah! What an evil monster! All right, let's just go over here and see if we can escape really fast. Molly, you have to push your button in order to escape, and she's gonna get you. No, she won't get me. No, she Ooh. won't. Ah! Molly's face is creepy. I didn't even push the button. She's she's on the phone. Who are you calling? She called pizza delivery. What? She's calling pizza delivery? Oh, ha, ha, you didn't get me, crazy lady. Wait, how do I get out of here? Ooh. Ah! Okay, um, so I push the button, and but I have no idea where it goes. Ah, where am I? Right there I am. It says push that button. What, does it open this door, maybe? That is so tricksy. I can't figure it out. What are all these things on the wall? What is going on? I don't know how to get out of here. Come on, Molly. We got to escape. I know we got to escape. I just don't know how. You see that door and that door. Where's the other door? Where's the other door? Where's the door? Oh, wait, that door finally opened. Must be I didn't press the button enough or something. That was weird. Baby Kira, there you are. Build your way up. Okay, let me reset the blocks. Do you really need my help getting out of here, Baby Kira? You're you're way ahead of me. I need your moral support. My moral support. <laughs> my toddler little baby sister just said moral support. That's funny. It's stuck there, though. I don't need this last one, do I? Eh. No, I'm gonna just carry this forever. You can't go through there, put, put the block down. Oh my gosh, there's so much building we have to do. Okay, now we have to go up here. I'm gonna take this block and go up into the vent because she's locked all the doors. This crazy psycho! Mommy, you block the bad. I know my blocks are bad, I know. It doesn't really matter though, baby Kara, as long as we can get out of here. Can we get ice cream? Of course we can get ice cream. I'd love to get ice cream. Wait, do you have any allowance? No, I do real. You have allowance. Oh, yeah. Um, I might have some allowance. I'll have to check. But right now, oh, my gosh. I dropped that block. OMG. Oh, my blocks fell over. Um, okay. So that didn't work exactly as I thought it was going to. How about, like, right here? Do you guys think that'll work? I hope so. Yes, it worked. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, baby Karen, don't be afraid! We're just in an air duct. Everything's gonna be fine. I killed the dog. Oh, don't worry. It's not dark down here. <laughs> it looked like I was, like, head-punching that thing. That was crazy. All right, obviously you can't go through the door here unless you find a key or you gotta turn a vent or something. I don't know. What's this thing do? Well, you can't you can't do anything there. Hmm. Oh, we gotta jump up here, baby Kara. Come on! You're smaller than me. Yeah, well, Daisy doesn't seem to think so. She thinks I'm an ignoramus. There's so many valves. What do they all do? I guess they're just for show because they're not on or anything. All right, I think we have to go up here, baby Kira, and then climb up these these pipes or something. Don't really know. You're not helping, Molly. I'm trying to help. Okay, maybe baby Kira can figure it out because I can't. Okay, I know we gotta go here. I this way, Molly. Up this way. She said ice cream. Now it's distracting me. Okay, I got it, baby Kira. I got it, Molly. Yeah, okay. You figured it out before me. You're so smart. You're like a baby genius. Oh, be careful. This is electrified. This lady really is psycho. All right, where now are we gonna go? Because we gotta keep going around. Okay, we gotta turn these off, apparently. <laughs> baby Kara kicks them. Oh, wait. No, that didn't turn those off. Be careful. If you die, you gotta do it all over again. Um, da -da -da -dum -dum -dum. I don't know where I'm going. I think we'll go this way, open the door. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. I think it did open the door. Did we go in this door yet? I don't think we did. It's a blue door. No, guys, look, we haven't gone in this one yet. Ew. 
Oh my gosh, I think it's the janitor, and he looks just as evil as a- Ah, baby girl, why are you pushing me into the sewer water? I scared. Okay, yeah, but you don't need to drown us both in the sewer water, yuck. All right, this guy looks like her brother or something, Ben the janitor. Ben the janitor looks evil. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go right now. Oh, I've got to take him down. That's what I got to do. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can he get up here? No. Ew, he's letting out farts or something. <laughs> I'm just standing up here getting him. Oh, he's crying. Oh, and then he exploded. Come on, baby Kira, you got this. I know. I okay. Okay. Can't believe how gigantic baby Kira is in this game right now. Oh, it's the classroom. It looks like we didn't need like these different letters or whatever. Oh, look, baby Kira. This is how you're going to learn your uh, ABCs really quick if you want to escape. <laughs> I think we have to put him up here on the board. See? B, B as in ball. B as in ball. Very good. And then this one's A. Where do you see an A? Over there. That's right, over here. Okay, so now we're gonna stick up the letter A. Boink. Okay, we gotta find letter C. Did you find it? I found it, right? You did find it. There's letter C. Okay, now let's take letter C over to the C pin board. And boink. There we go, it opened the door. Awesome. Something tells me that that lady's gonna be after us soon enough. We better get up here on these pipes so that she can't catch us. Oh yeah, there's an air duct up here. Come on, baby Kira. I can't, I can't wait for me, I'm gonna be alone. Don't worry, I'm not gonna leave you alone, not ever. You're my baby sister, I'm gonna look out for you. Okay, I kicked that one. <laughs> you punched that one. Something looks and smells gross. She farts a lot. She farts a lot and there she is. Oh my gosh, I've got to push another button. I don't know how I'm going to do this without her catching me. Come on, baby Kira, let's go. Um, okay, okay, there's an arrow. Apparently, we have to go up through here. Baby Kira, did you make it? You rude little... Ah, well, I oughta... There's baby Kira. Okay, she's behind her. Ha ha ha! My move! Sorry, I didn't mean to almost get you. We do we trap her in there? Oh, that's kind of funny. All right, now what are we going to do? Go through this door or something? Oh, no, she's back. Back again. <laughs> yes, she's back. Oh, man. What did we do wrong? I'm confused. I'm the pipe, Molly. Oh, yeah. Let's get on the pipe. But then where do we go? Because she can get us. Good thing my baby sister knows what we're doing. Oh, another vent. So we just tricked her into following us there. And now we're going to go up into this vent. See you later. <laughs> my, I'm still afraid of the dark. I know you're still afraid of the dark. It's okay. All right, let's go. I mean, there's a lot of, like, going into air ducts in this game. Speaking of air ducts, look at this, Abby. Boing, boing, whoa, boing, boing, whee! Don't skip any of the blocks or you'll fall to your death. That's basically how these go. Holy guacamole, holy guacamole, holy guacamole, flying in the air. Oh my god, I died. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Let's try that again. Try not to die. Oh my gosh, I keep dying. Okay, maybe I'll go over onto this one and then... Ah! I died anyway. You stinky at Abby's. Well, I'm not stinky at Abby's. What you smell is your own diaper. Yeah, that's it. I potty trained now. Yeah, you're sort of potty trained. Sort of potty trained. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! No! But my mind's gonna catch up to us. I'm sorry, I'm trying. Whoa, I think you have to jump at right the right time, and I apparently don't know what the right time is. Because I stink at this game. I stink at this game. I'm just going to hurry. Oh, hurrying worked. Okay, cool. Next time I'll remember, just hurry. Maybe Kara is like jumping on top of me. All right, I see a button we have to push. This Abby loves its buttons. Pushing all the buttons. Why is it like that, buttons? I don't know. It's how I say buttons. Buttons. You said bye. Oh, <laughs> very mature, baby Kara. Okay, I think we jumped down here. Whee! Baby Kira is already doing better than me. And she's a preschooler. Oh, it's like a big jump. How are we gonna make it up there? Believe in yourself. I didn't I didn't believe hard enough. <laughs> One, two. Buckle my shoe. Okay, you're watching too much uh YouTube Coco Melon. Hiya! Okay, let's go, baby Kira. I believe like this is the exit. I think, maybe, I hope. I come in my I come in. Um, what's this say? Use metal planks to go across. Oh, okay. No problemo. Watch this. I bet Daisy taught you this. Ah! <laughs> Don't walk off the edge. That's the wrong thing to do. 
Ay, ay, ay. Maybe I should have called Daisy to rescue me. What? No! You shouldn't call Daisy to rescue you. I'm your best sister ever. You think you're getting out of here. Well, we're getting out of here so far, aren't we? Oh my gosh, everybody's a critic. You okay, baby Kira? You got it? A super heavy bye, okay. Okay, good. We need a cupcake and an ice cream after all this work. No, I thought... Oh no. I lost my plank. I lost my plank! Uh-uh, you in trouble now. Ah, <sighs> this is where Daisy's plan doesn't work so good. Okay, let's do, let's try to build this again because obviously I stunk the first time around. You have to be lined up exactly right or... Uh-oh! Down you go! Wait, I think I'm supposed to put it over here. What more, Marty? You can do it! Okay, this is where I messed up before. Phew, I did it! Congratulations to me! And then I died. <laughs> Uh-oh. Every two I've come up back right here. Yeah, Alice, I came back right here. Walk across right here, baby Kara. You're gonna die. Okay. Oh, this is a speed run. Oh, man. Warning. 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 This is a speed run. And I die every time. Because I can't turn in time. Like, how am I supposed to be able to see where I'm going? Wee. That time I did. Congratulations. You only died again. O-M-G. This is harder than it looks, peoples. Did I make it? Oh, good. That's good news. Okay, use the fans to go up, up, up. Okay, I bet these are gonna have lasers in it. Just a guess. No, no lasers this time. Oh, that's good news. Wait, I forgot about baby Kira. Are you okay? Okay, there she is. <laughs> Sorry, baby Kira. You forgot about me, but I'm your sister. Ow, don't punch me over it. Holy guacamole. I didn't mean to. I was trying to punch the fan. Uh-oh. That's a giant milk. I told you I want one. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Glug, 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 glug. Bah! Ew, my, that gross. Ooh, speed run. Yes! Oh my gosh, I'm still speed running. We're out of here, baby Kara. That milk gave me so much energy. Whoa. Oh no! Ah, now I've got to drink the milk all over again, but I don't mind because it's delicious. I forgot what it was like to drink from a bottle. Mm, look at this close up. Glug, 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 glug. Ah, that's good stuff. Whoa! All right, guys, let's try to do better this time. And by us, I mean me. <laughs> Why are you laughing over laughing? I'm not laughing over nothing. I'm laughing over myself because I am a comedian and super funny, I think. Oh my gosh, I almost died there again. Yes! Ew, my God, do a diaper. What? No, I don't. I have to do a dinky too. Ooh, the exit. Baby Kira, I did it. I rescued you from this evil daycare. Okay, but where is she going to be? I don't know. She's nowhere. Oh, boy. Yes, she is. Why is she here? And why don't I have a way to protect us? Robo Betty 9000. Okay, Robo Betty. Time for you to go down. My, she can shoot back at you. Be careful. Holy guacamole. That is evil. Ah, she's right after us. Oh, man. When she sends out those, like, giant waves of scary. Yeah, that's just scary. Oh, my gosh. Ah! I'm trying not to, like, get touched by them, but I can't see where she's going. What she doing for her head? Ah, she's throwing things at me. Okay, she's getting really mad now. Ah, oh, she killed me. All right, I'm going to stay back here and see if I can get her from here. Okay, she might just corner me. She's an evil one. Baby Kira, did you escape? I am almost escaping, yeah. Okay, Baby Kira, I don't think you needed me to rescue you. Whoa, I tried to jump. I didn't. Whoops. You evil monster. Ah! Okay, I didn't jump again that time. I am stinking and killing this lady. Take down the robot! Ha-ha! I beat her that time, though. Okay, now's the time to start aiming at her and firing. Oh my gosh, is she ever going to explode or what? This lady is psycho. I'm trying to get away from her, but I can't. She just keeps going and going and going and going and going. Oh, guys, I've almost taken her down. Almost, guys, almost. Run! <laughs> Evil Betty. Oh, it killed me at the last minute. No fear. Okay, guys, this is going to be the time I do it, I think. I hope. Okay, she's trying to hit me with that thing. And then she tries to hit you with this thing. And then you've got to hurry up and hit her with your thing. It's just, it's just like, it's evil. She's evil. Stay away from robot, Betty. Okay, I'm just, I'm hitting her right now. I'm like, whatever, we're not playing no more. You're going down, lady. You're going down, down, down. Look at her, she spins around too. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of getting nervous right now. Where's she going? Is she jump outside or something? 
That was weird. Here comes that giant wave! Guys, I'm gonna take her down on this round right here. Yes, I took her down! Oh, I rescued my baby sister. Well, she sort of rescued herself. Come on, into the monster truck! I just got the winner's badge. I'm so excited about that right now. Here goes baby Kira. Oh, we're getting out of here. We're gonna go get an ice cream. I rescued her from that evil daycare lady. No more substitutes, that's all I have to say. OMG, we made it, we made it. Breaking news, Molly has successfully escaped Betty's nursery. Yes, this is awesome. Thanks, Molly. You're the best big sister ever. Aw, love you, baby Kira. I love you and all the Star Squad fans. Me too. Star Squad fans are amazing. All right, guys, we'll see you in our next video. Say bye, baby Kira. Bye, baby Kira. No, I meant say bye to the fans. Bye, bye to the fans. Yeah, exactly. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, what's up? Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. Yeah, Dizzy, I was trying to tell them we're playing a new game. I know, but I also wanted to tell them to su subscribe. <laughs> Today we're playing a brand new babysitter game. New story and new monster. Wait, what? There's a monster? Daisy, there's always a monster in these story games. Come on. Get with the program here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was just trying to pretend like, you know, what? A monster? No way. Not in a Roblox story game. Yeah, never in a Roblox story game. So come on, guys. Let's check out this new um, babysitter story. Hi, kids. I'm Riley, your new babysitter. Ah, Riley, I'm a poo -poo in my diaper. Mario Potty Train, good grief. Your parents went on vacation for a few days, so I'll be taking care of you guys. Oh my gosh, why is that little girl hitting me with a bat? <laughs> We're the naughtiest kids you could ever babysit. I set up a scavenger hunt so you guys can explore the house and stuff. Doesn't that sound fun? Like more fun than hitting me with a baseball bat? Find the lollipops hidden throughout the house, okay? All right, fine. I'll go find some lollipops. Oh, I found a lollipop. Lady, can I eat these when I find them? Lady, don't eat them. You have to share with everybody. I'm not sharing. Pfft, sharing? Who does that? Obviously, you're still a baby if you don't know how to shell, Molly. All right, I found so many lollipops, guys. Oh, I think I'm going to find the last one. I did. Did anybody else even look? Great job, everyone. You found them all. You mean me. I found them all. Hey, I found one, too. This house is awesome. Hey, who's this guy? He's um her boyfriend, I think. What's in here? Do you have any snacks? I'm hungry. <gasps> cookies! I just found the cookies. I just found the cookies. What do you guys want to eat? Oh, we weren't already supposed to eat? Because <laughs> I just ate some cookies. Okay, pizza for sure. I love pizza. Pizza's my favorite. Pizza's my favorite. Look at all these presents. Did you guys not have Christmas yet? Because, um... I can take all these toys off your hands if you wanted. Okay, guys, so everyone voted, and it looks like pizza won the vote. Yes, we're having pizza. Molly, stop singing. It's driving me crazy. Be quiet, you baby. Oh, she's being mean to me, Riley. All right, guys, here, eat your pizza and try to behave. That'll be easier said than done when it comes to Molly. Mmm. This pizza was delicious. Thanks. Can we play now, Riley? Uh, Molly, I don't think that's a boyfriend. I think that's just like a teacher's helper or something. Oh, I don't know. I think that's the guy who created the game, but... Sure, head into the play playroom and we can get started. What games are we going to play, huh? Ooh, there's slides. That looks like so much fun. So this game is called The Floor is Lava. Don't touch the ground and let's see who can win. Ready, guys? No, there's nothing to get on top of. What are we going to avoid the lava from? Go. I'm going to stand on this piece of carpet over here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, make room for me. <laughs> I don't want to die. Oh, my gosh. The floor actually turned to lava? I can't believe that that's not an insurance issue. Oh, boy, Molly. Oh, what are the kids dying? Seriously? Ooh. This is not good. Wait, I just died. That's because you weren't paying attention, Molly. Uh, guys, I have no Robux. Hold on. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to get some Robux, but I'm all good now. Molly, look, the only other player that survived is Wednesday Adams. Wait, what? Yep, Molly, it's true, Wednesday Adams. Holy guacamole, her name is right there. I don't know if it's the official Wednesday, but, you know, I can't believe we're playing this Roblox game with Wednesday. That's so amazing. Wednesday, get over here. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Maddie, she's an expert when it comes to lava. Whoa, she almost wasn't an expert right there. 
She caught her shoes on fire even. Woohoo! I'm doing good this time because I don't want to spend any more Robux. OMG! Look at all the lava! Oh wait, is the lava going to be higher this time? I think so, Miley. That's why they gave us blocks like this. Whoa! This is a way for them to get some um, extra money, I think, or something. Because you have to spend Robux when you die. Very tricksy of them. All right, I don't want to play Floor is Lava anymore. Daisy, hurry, 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 Daisy! Come on, Wednesday! Oh my gosh, we made it. Ha <laughs> ha, Riley! You can't get rid of us that quickly. Miley, it's not over yet. Oh my gosh. This Floor of Lava game is getting kind of serious, don't you think, Riley? Oh, you kids are just fine. Great job, though. Holy guacamole. I don't want to play that again, Riley. That was scary. I think it was awesome. What are you talking about, Time? You didn't even play the game. Can we play again? What? No. Wait, is your name Frantic Whale or is your name Wednesday? She's thinking about becoming Wednesday Adams. Come on, guys. It's getting late. I don't think we should play that game again. But if you go to sleep now, we can play again tomorrow. Yeah, Wednesday, you would want to play The Floor is Lava. <laughs> Us sort of normal people, well, we would not want to play Floor is Lava because we don't want to die. Head to the bedroom. Okay. I'm going to sleep on the purple bed because I love that color so much. I can't get on the top bunk though. That's where I always sleep. I can't sleep on the bottom bunk. It's too weird. This is where Daisy sleeps. Good night. Uh, good night. He looks like he's going to the beach or something. Now I kind of want to have a dream about the beach. Shh. <laughs> Hey, did anyone hear that? Why did you wake me up? I was sleeping so good, Daisy. Sylvia, I heard a weird noise. Oh, no. Here comes the part of the story where the monster tries to kill us all. Maybe it was just Riley. Um, I hope. It's the evil snowman. Ah, an evil snowman. Holy moly. Ah! Why is he chasing me? Because, uh, Molly, he's evil. Maybe you could take out your bat. No, I'm just going to keep running and hopefully he doesn't catch me. Run, run as fast as you can. The snowman man can't get me. He's after you, Daisy. He's got something against my sister. Hey, get away from my sister. You're starting to really annoy me there, snowman man. Oh, man, I totally knocked him over the head. <laughs> I should get some hot water. Yeah, that's what I should do. I should get some hot water and, and melt you. What do you think about that? Crazy, creepy snowman guy. All right, it says just survive the evil snowman. Wow, he is evil. He looks like Elsa on a really bad day. <laughs> oh, boy, Molly. Save your jokes for another time. We're trying to escape this no guy, not give him bad jokes so we can throw tomatoes at us. Throw tomatoes at us? Yeah, never mind, Molly. Holy guacamole. My health is at half percent. If somebody's going down, it's going to be you, Mr. Snowman. Ah, you're making me mad right now. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, where'd he go? Oh my god, I'm about to die. I better eat some pizza. That'll make it better. What was all that noise? I told you guys to go to bed. Aw, uh, yeah, you didn't men mention the haunted snowman guy. Thank goodness you're here. We saw a monster. We really did. He's not even lying. Yeah, an evil snowman. It was attacking us. What? An evil snowman? Oh, please. Get back to bed now or else we won't play tomorrow. All right, fine. Don't believe us, but when I die, my mom's gonna be really mad. Well, that was mean, wasn't it? Yeah, this Riley babysitter, she's not the best babysitter in the world. Whatever, guys. Let's just go to bed. Or else Riley won't let us play. All right, kids. Come on down for breakfast. Come on. All right, fine. You know I love breakfast, but is that evil snowman gonna be there? Molly, I doubt it. You know they only come out at night. What would you guys like to eat today? How about breakfast pizza? Molly, you love pizza. Uh, well, we only have four options, and a squid sandwich is not my favorite idea. Yeah, a squid sandwich for breakfast? Ew. Ew, that sounds gross. I know, right, Wednesday? Oh, yeah, breakfast pizza! Woohoo! My favorite. I like when it has, like, um, eggs on it, bacon, garlic. I wonder if she made it like Mom does. I don't know. Let's try it. Mmm. It's pretty good. Um, I'm lactose intolerant. I can't eat this. Oh, man, Wednesday, you're going to be very hungry if you can't eat breakfast. Come on, guys, let's play hide and seek. Go into the playroom so we can start. Is this one of those games that if we don't hide right and you find us, we die or whatever? Because um, the floor is lava was kind of creepy. What? I got five coins? Awesome! Don't know what I could use those for, but you know, whatever. I'll seek first. 
So you guys go hide. Um, okay. Already tested this out earlier, guys. If I can just... Belly, let's go hide upstairs. We don't have to hide in this room. No, I'm gonna hide here. I think. I, I don't know. I, I was able to climb up here before. I can't seem to climb up this thing. Wait, wait, wait. Molly, come on. You're gonna get caught. Never. Oh, come on. I could climb up here before. I know it. Molly, just come on. Whoa, look. A key. Wait, I'm, I missed out on a secret key? Yes, get up here, Molly. This, this must unlock the basement door. OMG. Where's, what do we do if we go to the basement? Get killed by the monster. That's what. I think we should unlock the door. What? No, Tom. That's a bad idea. Tom. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Tom. Whatever. Who's got the key? Wednesday, do you have it? No, Tom has it. All right, Tom. Unlock the door. I think this is a bad idea, though. We should hide down here. The babysitter will never think to look for us down here. Oh, look. There's a Santa hat. But I can't put it on. I wish I could, though. Whoa, Molly. This looks like a great place to hide. I don't know. It's kind of giving me the creeps. And why is there this huge, like safe here i don't think we're supposed to be down here i want to know what's behind this huge door of course you do troublemaker let's check it out guys come on we're probably gonna need a stick of dynamite to open this thing how are we gonna open it oh we opened it molly uh this looks kind of sketchy this kind of looks like a secret lair oh um gee is that the evil snowman what's he doing here i don't know wednesday but holy guacamole he Ooh. looks evil wait Wednesday? Did you just spontaneously combust? Ah! Is is that the evil snowman? Wait, is she talking after she's dead? Is she a ghost? Uh, Molly, she died and she's still talking. That's so like Wednesday. I think we're in the monster's secret lair. We need to go tell Riley. Uh, Tom, I just want to let you know that Riley is the monster. Wait, what? No, she's not. She might be. What the? What the? What the? There's a lot of skulls down here. This is not good. I told you we shouldn't come down into the basement. I know. We, I had no clue we were going to fall through a trap door, though. Well, Tom, you should listen to me more often. I'm always right, you know. Yeah, always right, I bet. Let's see if this tunnel has an exit. Let's move before we end up like them. Yeah, I don't want to end up like them. We'll follow you, Tom. Not that you've been the best, but... Oh, no! <laughs> I can't even talk. I'm so scared. Oh, my gosh! Don't give up on me now, warriors. Charge! Okay. Well, I'm about to die. There goes more of my Roblox. Uh, yep. I told you guys. I was definitely gonna die. 45 Robux! Holy guacamoles! See, I told you guys we're warriors. Well, Daisy, you are. Now, let's keep moving. Hey, I'm a warrior. I had lots of Robux, so that makes me a warrior, right? What are you doing, Daisy? Eating my pizza, Molly. I'm starving. Fighting monsters is a lot of work. Looks like these planks are covering the, the, the way out. Wow, he is so smart, isn't he? Ah, uh, yeah, okay, Molly. Let's try to break them off. All right, trusty bat. Here goes nothing. Hey, look, it worked. That was probably more my unicorn sword. Looks like the only way out is over there. Well, Molly, let's get moving. Oh, no, an Abby. There goes 45 more of my Robux. We have to cross the moving stones first. Be careful, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try, but no promises. Moving stones. Okay, I don't really see where they're moving. Oh, uh, yes, they are, Molly. Oh, so far, so good. I don't wanna die, not today. Yes! <laughs> you didn't get my Robux this time, Tom. Molly, where's Wednesday? I told you she died. That was just her ghost talking to us. Oh, that's so sad. I'm glad you two made it. Now let's keep moving. No, but what about Wednesday? We can't leave our ghost down here. Uh, Molly, you can't really move a ghost anywhere else. So I guess she's stuck underground forever. Whoa, where are we? It looks like we're in some kind of facility. Is that Riley? Yeah, who is that up there? I told you she was going to be evil. I knew it. Kids, is that you? I've been looking everywhere for you guys. Uh-huh, I bet you have, Riley. Thank goodness we found you. We saw the store in the basement, and 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 we found the monster's lair. Hold up. How'd you get down here, Riley? Yeah, Riley, good question. So you guys saw everything, huh? Uh, yeah, we pretty much knew that you were the one that was to blame the entire time. This was my secret lair, and you guys weren't. 
supposed to see that. Uh-oh, Marley, I hope you have a lot of Robux left. Now I have to get rid of you guys. <laughs> Sorry about this, kids. What? You're not going to just get rid of us like that. No, 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 no. What's that gas filling up? Oh, sorry, I uh, farted. No, 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 that's actual gas. We have to get to the vent, guys. It's your only hope. How am I gonna get way up there? Come on, hurry. Um, Daisy, I, I don't know how we're gonna get up there. Wait, what's this? Looks like a little, uh, I don't know what that is. But we have to fight for Tom. Tom, come on. You know you need us to fight for you. <coughs> Just promise me <coughs> that, that, that you'll keep fighting. Um, yeah, but really what I want to do is go get a donut. I'm starving. Wait, maybe can I go back down here? Oh my gosh, we can't even leave. Molly, hurry! Hurry, Molly, you're gonna die! Oh my god, Molly, you just died. Ooh. No, I didn't, no, I didn't. Oh, I just died! Molly, you spent all your money this week on Robux. Oh, um, gee, where are we, Daisy? Looks like some sort of control panel. Maybe if we click a few buttons, it'll open the door. All right, let's go see if we can, you start on that side, I'll start on this side. Uh, Molly! I accidentally pushed the self-destruct countdown. What? Oh my god, hurry! We have to get out of here! Wait, which way do we go? Um, I guess this way. Um, Daisy? Things are looking a little bit bad for us right now. <laughs> this is your last chance to obey. Hey, listen, drooly green mouth ooze. You'll pay for what you did to Tom. Uh, Molly, I think she's part zombie. Look at that gross drool. Well, you defeat me if you want to be free. No problem, evil. Uh, yeah, she's running right at me, Daisy. I'm kind of afraid right now. Ah, she's shooting like, like lava or something. Um, yeah, Daisy, jump up on that before you die. What is that? Looks like she went to the bathroom. Ew. I'm about to take out your kneecaps. Boom, 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 boom. All right, guys, I'm smacking her with all I got. Here she comes back with the lava. And, um, holy guacamole, Daisy. Jump up! Jump up! Molly, I see it. I see it. All right, wait for it. Wait for it. And get her! Come on, Molly. You take out that leg. I'll take out this one. I feel so sad for Wednesday and for Tom. Molly, run! Whoa, Daisy's good at defeating bosses. Look at her. Riley, you're getting one star. Your babysitting service stinks. Smackle, smackle. Okay, now I'm right in the front. Time to take this evil babysitter down. Why are you drooling, Riley? What's wrong with you? I think she might be rabid. <laughs> OMG, she looks angry. She's gonna be about a lot angrier when we take her down. Oh, we've got one more round, Molly. Try not to die. I'm on. No promises. Molly, come on. It's time to take her down. We can do Ooh. this. Goodbye, Riley. <laughs> Wait, how come she looks totally normal? Oh. All right, guys, you defeated me. I'm sorry for what I did to all of you. Too bad you're going to the police and you're going to live in jail forever. We all trusted you and you tried to kill us, you evil monster babysitter. I know, guys, and I'm sorry. But please, don't leave me here to die. Well, I'm going to bring Riley, but then I'm going to give her right over to the police. Yeah, I agree. We can't be responsible for her dying here, but she no longer in jail. You do the crime, you do the time. Fine, I guess you can come with us, Riley, but don't don't try any uh, monkey business. We're turning you into the police. Where, where are we now? Oh, no. Oh, no. We shouldn't have trusted her. Did you really think I would let you kids out of here alive? <laughs> Ah, oh, you trusted me again. You're fools. No, we trusted you again. Please don't do this. <laughs> I'm not going to live my life in jail. Say goodbye to the world. <laughs> Molly, no. So I think it's probably safe to say that um, we, well, we earned 100 coins, but um, I think we got the bad ending. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Molly, we definitely got the bad ending. <laughs> well, that was really fun. Oh, wait a minute. Now I've got this, like, thing following me around that looks like a, a, a flu bug or something. Yeah, me too, Molly. Maybe because we got the bad ending. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching today. We hope you liked this video, and we'll see you in our next one. Bye! <laughs>
Ugh, this smells so bad. Oh, good thing the dumpster's right. Wait, what? what's that? I'm so glad that we have something to eat, right, Tommy? Yeah, Ella, uh, even if it's only a couple days old, it's still good, right? Hey, guys, well, what are you doing? Um, we're eating some pizza that the diner made a couple days ago. Ew, gross! I threw that out like three days ago. Why are you eating that? That's disgusting. Um, because we're homeless and, and we're hungry. Wait, wh what? Yeah, we don't have a mom and a dad, so we have to survive on our own. And, and we're hungry. You, you've been bringing out all that good food from the diner every night, so we sit here and eat it. Ew, this food is rotten and gross! It's not really rotten, it's just that you can't serve it anymore. But it, it's not really that bad. I mean, this pizza's three days old, but it still tastes pretty good. Even if it's kind of hard to chew on. OMG! Okay, let me throw this in the dumpster. Alright, now I can talk to you guys without smelling that stinkiness. I don't think it smells that bad. Yes, it does. Okay, what are your names? I'm Tommy. And I'm Ella. Well, I'm Molly, and I live in a nice big mansion up on Brookhaven Lane. And I was wondering, maybe you guys would like to come stay with me and my sister and my family until we find a family to adopt you. Really? Like, we could stay at your house and stuff? I don't know. Remember how it worked out last time, Tommy? Ella, shh. Don't talk about that. Talk about what? Nothing. Just don't worry about it. Okay, we'll, we'd love to come home with you. Yeah, we'd love to. Okay, well, follow me and I'll show you the way. Oh, what's that smell? It smells like a stinky dumpster. Marty didn't take the trash out. Whoa, who are you guys? Ugh, no offense or anything, but you're kind of stinky. Daisy, don't be rude to our new guests. Who are these little kids? I'm Ella. And I'm Tommy. Um, you're... Your sister said we could stay here for a while, because, um... They're homeless, and I found them eating in the dumpster! What? Are you kidding me? That's terrible! Oh, you're totally welcome to stay here, Ella and Tommy. My name is Daisy, and I'm the most awesome sister in the world, aren't I, Molly? Uh, well, uh... Molly, say I'm awesome! I don't know, we don't want to get in the middle of your fight or anything. There's no fight, because Molly is going to say I'm awesome! Uh, you're Molly, quit mumbling it under your breath. Uh, Molly! Okay, you're awesome! Alright, now we have to focus on Ella and Tommy. We have to find them a home. But first, we need to give them a bath. P.U. Come on, twins! Yeah, come on! Both of you, well, you can take turns. First, Ella, come in. You can take a shower and you can, um... Put on some new clothes. I will go see if I can find something from my closet that I used to, like, have when I was a kid. Don't forget to wash your hair, okay? I don't think I've washed my hair in, like, a year. Oh, ew. Well, there's shampoo in there and also conditioner. Make sure you use both, okay, Ella? Okay, Molly. Thanks for your help. No problem. Now I should call the adoption center and see if there's any eligible parents that want to adopt these twins. Hello, Brookhaven Adoption Center. How can I help you? Hi, uh, my name is Molly. I live at Brookhaven Lane. And I found two twins eating out of the dumpster. What? Are you serious? Where are they? Well, they're at my house right now. And they can stay here until you find them parents, okay? Just let me know if you have any available parents that would be good for them. Okay, well, thank you so much for letting us know. All right, no problem. Bye. Um, this outfit is super cool, but it should be cooler. Wait, what? Ella, why does your face look like that? No reason. It just does, okay? All right, Tommy. Time for you to go to take a shower. Don't forget to wash your hair, okay? I'll think about it. Whoa, attitude all of a sudden. Marty, can I see you over here for a minute? Sure, what's up? I'm sort of getting a bad feeling about Tommy and Ella. What? Why would you say that? They're just little kids. Why are you, why are you looking at them like that? I don't trust them, that's why. What are you... They're just little kids, and they need, they need a place to live. But my gut is telling me something is very strange about them. Oh, nonsense, Daisy. Come on, let's watch some TV. Fine, Molly, but I'm telling you, you never listen. Oh, it's the cute puppy show. I love this show. I love this show. It's so adorable. That show's lame. I don't want to watch that. Ella, that's rude. We were watching that. That is very naughty. Do you need a timeout? I don't need a timeout, but I do have a poo-poo loading. Ew, 
did she just say she had poo poo loading? That's gross. You still wear diapers? Aren't you potty trained? Yeah, but I just wanted to tell you that. <laughs> Ew, gross. Okay, you're gonna. That's not nice. You have to sit in time out. Come over here. Come over here. I'm gonna turn off the computer because you don't need to be watching that. Leave the computer off. Molly, she turned our show. Oh my god, breaking news. There looks like there's a fire in Brookhaven. Wait a minute, where's Tommy? Tommy! T Tommy, where are you? T Tommy, did you light a fire? <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Tommy, no! You do not play with magic. What are you wearing? This is just who I really am when I'm not poor and eating out of dumpsters. Um, okay. Where did you get that outfit? Um, I ordered it from Amazon. With what? Your mom's credit card. Tommy! Oh my gosh, my mom's gonna be so mad! Ella! <gasps> Ella, what are you doing? I'm stealing all the money in your bank account, duh. You and your sister are so, like, dumb. You don't even know. What? Daisy, I think you were right about Ella and Tommy. What do you mean, Molly? Why? Because they seem like really bad kids. They do, Molly? Why? I think they're okay. I might have changed my mind. Really? Because Ella's over there trying to take all the money out of our bank account, and Tommy's trying to light fires. <gasps> Molly, there's one explanation for this, and one explanation only. What is it? They must be demons. <laughs> demons! <laughs> Are you serious right now? <laughs> my stomach hurts. There's no such thing as demons. Molly, yes, there is. I'm telling the truth. You never believe me. <laughs> no, stop. You're making my stomach hurt. <laughs> Molly, I really think they're demons. Why do you think they were living out in the street? Everyone else was like, no way. No demons living in my house. Whoa. Maybe you're right, Daisy. Um, where did Tommy go? Tommy! Ooh, that ice cream looks good. Mm. And so doesn't this coffee. Tommy, you don't you don't get to eat ice cream and coffee for dinner? That's what I want to eat, though, so I'm gonna. You can't tell me otherwise. Wait, where did Tommy go? Is it... He disappeared! Oh, my God! He really is a demon! He disappeared into thin air! Holy guacamole. <laughs> ah! Ah! He's trying to run me over with the lawnmower! Daisy, help! Oh, boy, Marty, why'd you bring these kids home? Ha, 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 Ow, you ran me into that! Stop it! <laughs> We're in charge now, losers. What? No, you're not. Yes, we are. We're demons. Watch this. <laughs> ah! What did you do? Ye you used some magic and now, 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 my house is gone. Ha, 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 ha. Now you know how it feels. Yeah, now you know how it feels. B -b 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 where's my sister Daisy? Where's Daisy? She got evaporated too. <laughs> you little demons are grounded! I don't think so. You're the one that's grounded. See? Told you you'd be grounded. I didn't think you actually meant you were gonna like make her lay on the ground. <laughs> I thought it was a funny joke, Tommy. <laughs> Why did I bring these demon twins home? Daisy, put on your bathing suit. Come on, we can go in the hot tub. Ooh, that sounds fun, Molly. I'm putting it on right now. Do you have to sing about it, though? Yeah, because look how adorable I look. It's like this 1950s vintage look. Whatever, Daisy. Who cares about your bathing suit? Get in the hot tub. Ooh, the water is too hot. Too hot! Molly, you're being so dramatic. I go hot tub. I go too. No, baby Kira, you're too little. Stay out there. This is for the big kids. Ah, <sighs> that feels awesome. I go in the hot tub. I go, I go. Ah, uh, you have to ask mom because you're not allowed in here without a grown up, and we're not grown ups yet. What's going on out here? I go hot tub with my Daisy. Sorry, I'm making lunch right now, baby Kara, so you can't, because I can't watch you. Why do I go in with the big girls? I don't understand why. Well, because you're not a big girl, honey, so you can't go in right now. But maybe later we'll go in, okay? I go get a big girl. Um, baby Kara, newsflash, you're not a big girl. Ha! <laughs> ah, 
Ah, it starts to like make you sweat after a while because this hot tub is so hot. That's what it's supposed to be, Monty. A hot tub. Ay, ay, ay. Do you even pay attention in school? Ugh, being in the hot tub made me super hungry. Hmm, I wonder what kind of snacks we have. No, no. Ooh, pizza. What else do we have? Waffles. Ooh, sounds delicious. Hmm, that all looks good. Yeah, if you want a snack, you're going to have to ask Mom. I'm busy right now eating my snack. Food. I like that too, but I got to Mama. Okay, I'm not sure that was English, baby Kira. Mm, so good. Too short. Can't wait. Hungry. I can't like get bottle. I climb up. I get snack. I, I love snack. Oh, fell out. I, I climb up here. I win, sir. I win, sir. I get snack too. <gasps> What's going on? Baby, baby Kira, what are you doing with that ladder? You're going to get hurt. Oh, if you need a snack, you have to ask. My Daisy don't ask. I know they don't ask because they're big girls and you're not. All right, get down from that ladder and I'll get you a snack. Ay, ay, ay. Keeping a toddler alive is the hardest job ever. Marty, what you doing? What you doing? OMG. Look at this new Roblox game. It looks so fun. Ooh, look, there's roller coasters in it. I definitely want to play too. Shove over, Marley. I want a turn. When I die, you can have a turn. But until then, nope. Well, that shouldn't take too long. That's it, Daisy. You are so rude about my Roblox playing. I'm totally going to get you for that. No, you're not, Molly, because you are so slow. Daisy, get back here. Ooh, I want to do fun things on computer because I'm big girl. Ooh, shopping. Ooh, bank. I could get into bank, get money, and go shopping. Baby Kira, where are you? Baby Kira, you're not allowed on the computer without supervision. I'm big girl. I can't. No, you can't. Oh, my gosh. Ah, get off the computer, please. I can't do anything. <laughs> okay, that's it. You need a nap. But my Daisy don't have to take a nap. That's because they're big girls. You're not a big girl. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, into bed, please. You definitely need a nap. Fine. I hate my life. Oh my gosh, you hate your life and you're only two? Oh, you have a long way to go, baby Kira. I'll see you in a couple of hours. I don't see you ever. Because, because I'm running away forever. Baby Kira, it's been two and a half hours, you sleepyhead. Baby Kira? Where's baby Kira? Is that window broken? Oh my God, baby Kira ran away. Molly, Daisy, I need your help. Mom, if you need my help doing more chores, I'm off duty. Oh, I'm so tired. Just need to watch this adorable puppy and relax and maybe eat an extra piece of pizza. Mmm, pizza. Molly, help, help, help. What, what are you freaking out about, Mom? What's wrong? Baby Kira, she, 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 she ran away. What? She, she ran away? Yes. I, I don't know what to do, but I'm going to call 911 and you and your sister should go look for her. Okay, I'll get right on that as soon as I finish my pizza. Molly, no! Okay, I'll take my pizza to go. Baby Kira, baby Kira, where are you? I'm flooding away for my phone. I don't need this. I don't need to get up. I'm a big girl! Baby Kira! Baby Kira, where are you? Baby Kira! Well, maybe she got a hotel room. Wait a minute, how would she do that? She, she doesn't have any money. <gasps> maybe she stole mom's credit card. I should go in and ask the person behind the desk. Hello? Is anybody here? Apparently, they're sleeping in one of the rooms because they're tired. <laughs> I'll just log in myself and see if she's checked in. Baby Kira. Okay, she didn't check into the motel. Hmm. She's sitting in the diner? <sighs> Good thing I ate that pizza, because I'm doing a lot of running around. No, she's not in the diner. Baby Kira, where are you? I miss you so much. Wait a minute, if I was Baby Kira, where would I go? The ice cream shop. 
Although I think they're closed right now because it's already like 7.30 at night. No, no baby Kira, but they left the doors open. So I think I need a mint chocolate chip ice cream. Mm. Huh, why is my phone ringing? Hello? <laughs> Molly, are you at the ice cream shop right now? Um, uh, uh. How did you know that, Mom? Because I just had an idea that you'd have to stop for a snack. Your sister is more important than mint chocolate chip, right? Uh, yeah, sure, Mom, totally. I've been looking around for her, though, and I don't see her. Keep looking, Molly. I'm so worried. Yeah, me too. But I'm sure everything's gonna be okay. I hope so. I really hope so. <laughs> Baby Kira? What? What are you... What are you doing? You put up a tent? Ew, what's that smell? I sandwich I got from the dumpster. Ew, don't eat dumpster sandwiches. What's going on? Baby Kira? Oh my god, we found her. Baby Kira, you have to come home. I'm never gonna come back home. I don't mind you. I stay here. Why? We're your family. Don't you love us? You don't love me. Baby Kira, that's not true. We love you more than anything. Why would you say that? Yeah, Baby Kira, why would you say that? Because you guys are big girls said die die oh you're not a big girl no you're not but you know what daisy and i were little girls like you once you were yeah we were huh daisy yeah we were toddlers and we pooped our pants and all sorts of stuff well <laughs> we didn't have to tell her that detail you did you wore diapers and you were big girls of course we weren't big girls <laughs> you don't just come out this way i mean you have to grow pretty soon You'll grow up, too. Really? Dad, can you be good stuff? Of course you can, Baby Kira. It's only a matter of time before you grow up. Yeah, Baby Kira. And then you'll be able to do all the big kid stuff just like us. Whoa, Freddy. How long? Um, just a few more years. Then you'll be a big girl. But you should enjoy being a toddler right now because it's pretty amazing to be a baby. You get lots of snuggles from mom, you get bottles, you get someone to change your diaper. Oh. Molly! Seems like I need someone to change my diaper. <laughs> Ew, dinky. <laughs> so will you come home with us? Yeah, I miss you guys. Oh, we missed you too, baby Kira. No more running away. Yeah, no more running away. I big girl someday. That's right, someday you're gonna be a big girl. See you guys later. Make sure you guys are listening to Molly. I don't know why you get to be in charge. You're the most immature of us all. Daisy, be quiet. I'm in charge and I'm telling you, shh. Girls, be nice to each other. Your mom and I don't get a date night very often and I don't want to get a call on my phone that you guys aren't getting along. We'll get along, Dad. Bye. I I cannot believe what Brittany just said to Sadie. I know, right? Brookhaven High is getting crazy. I got a vagina. I a Okay, well, we have to go and get her a diaper at some point. Yeah, in a minute. I want to watch this show. I got poo poo soon. I got poo poo. How about you go poo pee in the potty? You know, like a big kid. No, I wear diaper forever. Oh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> well, I'm going to eat some popcorn. Mmm, this is delicious. I, I, I had popcorn and I uh, had snack too. Okay, you can have some too. Here you go. I had that popcorn. Mmm, so good. <laughs> oh, you hurt my tummy. OMG, having a baby sister is a lot of work. What was that? I didn't hear anything, Molly. Okay, I'm turning down the TV because I definitely heard something in the back door. There it is again! Whoa, well, I heard it that time too. It sounded really creepy. I wish mom and dad were home. I brave, I check what it is. No, baby Kara, we're... Baby Kara, no! We're all gonna go together. I wanna go. I think it sounds super creepy, Molly. Let baby Kira. And that's why I was left in charge. Because you're gonna send our little sister to see if there's somebody outside? Creepy! She's too little for that. Come on, we're gonna all go together. Fine, but I hope it's not like a boogaloo or something. They're going to rob all the money from our safe, and then we can't go on our trip to Florida. It's going to be fine, Daisy. It's probably just the wind. 
See, I told you guys, nobody there. Oh boy, that was a little creepy. Whoa, the lights just went out. They're flickering. Oh my gosh, it's definitely somebody breaking in. No, Daisy, it's Daisy. It's not somebody breaking in. I think it's just the power is going to go out because it's really windy. Probably the trees are scratching against the house, making a really creepy sound. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm still going back upstairs. Yeah, I think we should, but I think everything's going to be fine. No one's breaking into the house or anything like that. Okay, well, let's just watch a movie. Or we can watch the rest of Brookhaven High. I heard the Brookhaven High! Yeah, let's watch the rest of Brookhaven High. This episode is crazy! Uh, Baby Kara, did you eat all the popcorn? Yeah, I did. Ew, Baby Kara! Told you I had to go poo-poo. Uh, well, let me know when you do, and we'll change your diaper. Yeah, baby Kira. Or you could go in the party, chill. No party! Okay, no party. There's that sound again. I know, Riley. I heard it too. But like you said, there's a storm that's going to happen outside, so the wind is really high. So it's probably just trees scratching against the house. Sounds like it's getting closer. Hmm, is it at, at the front door? I don't... Wait a minute. What? What? Don't prank me right now. Ah! She's not pranking! Everybody run to the panic room! Yeah, panic room! Good idea! <sighs> did you see that monster out there? I sure did, Molly. That was insane! Wait a minute. Where's Baby Kira? Oh my god, she didn't make it into the panic room! What? Baby Kira? Baby Kira? I had to buy it. I had to buy it. Oh, Baby Kira! I'm so glad to see you! I was so worried that the monster got you. Thank goodness Dad's a cop, so he is a bit paranoid about someone breaking into the house. Yeah, good thing he was. That monster would have gotten us if we hadn't had this t um, bunker to stay in. Yeah, <sighs> this panic room is definitely worth it. <sighs> well, I don't know if there's any snacks in here, but there's a bathroom and beds. What? No snacks? Don't worry, I have uh, Reese's in my pocket. Mm. Molly, seal! Everybody might be hungry. Or better yet, save it in case we're in here for a long time. Well, eventually our parents will come home. They'll see the monster and... And get kidnapped by the monster! We have to call somebody! Um, that's just the thing. I forgot my cell phone on the couch. Oh, brother! And mom left you in charge! What was she thinking? I did a papa, yeah, I did a papa, I did a fire. What? Baby Kira, use your words. I'm not afraid because the monster can get us in here. Molly, do you hear that weird sound again? I do. What, what do you think it could be? I got a little boy in your monster. What? Ah! He's trying to break into the panic room! Okay, let's just go over here, guys. Let's go over here. Uh, Molly, we could use a taser gun on him. No, I'm not going to open the door. That would be silly. We're, we're safe in here, right? Oh, no, but I, I think so. Monster, what do you want from us? Uh, something tells me he doesn't speak English. Um, do you speak any language besides monster? Nope. Okay, well, I guess we're stuck in here. What if mom and dad don't come home for a really long time and the monster figures out how to get into our panic room? I don't think that can happen. This was built by the professionals, overseen by our dad, a police officer. He knows how to make a, pa a panic room safe. I just want mom and I have no way to tell her we're in here. Okay, Daisy, it's going to be fine. Dad's a cop. When he sees the monster, he'll know exactly what to do. I hope so, Molly. This is freaking me out. I like Mantos. Mantos nice. No! Monster is not nice, baby Kira. Monster's me! I like Mantos nice. Okay, where is the monster? Is he still there? Oh my god, he's still... Baby Kira, do not open the door! <sighs> well, I locked it so she can't. Good thing, Molly, because she thinks monsters are nice. That's it! We're never getting out of here! We're gonna be stuck in the panic room forever! But eventually, Mom and Dad will come home from their date, right? Uh, I hope so. Why are you running in circles? Because I'm bored and I want to get out of here. I'm Michael. I'm Michael. We 
we be friends? Baby Kira, I told you already. The monster can't come in here. No, I go out to monster. What? But I locked the door! Oh, baby Kira, you scared me. Baby Kira, what? Baby Kira! Don't go down the escape hatch! Oh my god, Daisy, we have a problem. Huh. Baby Kira just went down the escape hatch! What? Are you serious? That's a one-way exit! This means that that she's gonna be out there with the monster! Oh my gosh, this is so bad! No! Monster, you stay away from my baby sister! Hi, monster! I come see you! Bye! Hi, monster! <laughs> ah! Baby Kira, run! Oh my gosh, babies are adorable, but not that smart when they're little. <laughs> they are constantly trying to get into harm's way. <laughs> Baby Kira! Okay, I don't want to have to do this, but I'm gonna have to. Calling in the big dogs. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm freaking out! <laughs> Daisy, I need your help! Okay, she's gonna be useless. I gotta unlock this door. I gotta unlock it. Why can't I unlock the door? Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna tease you, monster! Free monster fun! Get piggy back right! Wait, what? Ha ha ha! Ha I babysit! Wait, what? You you just wanted to babysit? I like kids. They're nice. Wait, you look creepy though! Hold still, I still gotta tease you! Duh! Don't tease my friend! Monster nice! Monster not doing anything wrong! Okay, I'm totally confused right now. Why do you make all those weird sounds? Because he's a monster, we can't help it. I put my hands out to arrest. I'm not going to arrest you, baby Kira. But I may arrest this monster just because he's real creepy. What's going on out here? Why is baby Kira hanging out with the monster? Well, if you had paid attention, uh, instead of having your little moment of scaredy catness. Is that even a word, scaredy catness? No, it's not a word. Um, you would know that baby Kira has befriended the monster. Uh, this seems bad, Molly. Really bad. I like Monto, Monto Night. Whee! I'm not me. I just love me. Don't judge book by its cover. Oh. Well, um, uh, I'll have to ask Mom and Dad if you can babysit. I'll be right back. I've got to get my cell phone. Well, it never fails, Molly. We always get a call on our date night. What is it? Ah, uh, this time it's really important. Um, uh, Molly, there's more popcorn in the pantry. No, uh, it's really important, Dad. The diapers are in baby Kira's, uh, her in her nursery. Honey, come on, let's go play this game next. Are you guys at the arcade without us? Uh, no, uh, uh, yeah. What? You went to Dave and Buster's without us? That's so not fair. Marty, tell him what's going on. Okay, um, there was a monster at the door, and he... Seemed really mean, so we went into the um, panic room. Baby Kira escaped, you know. I'm sorry, I did my best, but she's kind of a troublemaker. What? What are you talking about, a monster? We're going to come home immediately. Oh, but I wanted to play this game. Laura, the kids are in trouble. No, no, not necessarily. Um, baby Kira got out and found out that the monster is actually really nice. He'd like to know if he could babysit us. Well, I mean, we could stay, stay at David Buster's if he's trustworthy, that is. Yeah, that's true, and I didn't play this new Star Wars game yet. Ooh, it looks so fun. Dad! Um, I don't know. A monster babysitting you seems like a bad idea. You're still in charge, Molly, and we'll be home in about 15 minutes. Okay. Sorry, my parents said no. What? Why does everyone judge me? Don't worry, Mato. You can come for dinner. Yeah, you can still come for dinner. My parents just have to be there to meet you first because, well, you're a monster and we have to make sure you're not a mean monster, but a nice monster. Okay, when's dinner? Tomorrow, four o'clock. Yeah, we'll make pizza. Wait, do monsters eat pizza? Of course. Delicious. <laughs> See you then. Why is this math homework so hard? Well, Molly, maybe it's so hard because you're busy kind of watching Brooke High instead of paying attention. Yeah, Molly, you can't watch TV and study at the same time. Um, yes I can. It's called multitasking. Yeah, and you're going to do two things terribly. Ay, ay, ay. Just pay attention, Molly. Seriously, turn off the TV. Oh, this homework really is so hard. I have to admit, it 
is pretty challenging, Daisy. Why you guys say it's so hard? It's not so hard being a big kid. What? Yes, it is. What do you know about it? You're just a baby. But I think being a big kid is super easy. Yep, yep, yep. Well, baby Kira, we think being, being a baby is pretty easy. Yeah, what's so hard about being a baby? Uh, let's see. Learning how to eat. Learning how to not drool, learning how to crawl, learning how to walk, learning how to poo-poo on the party is very challenging. <laughs> All of that stuff is baby stuff. That's not even difficult. Try doing this math homework. You just forget what it's like to be a baby. It's harder than it looks. I dare you and I'm forgiven to be babies for 24 hours. Then maybe you'll remember. 24 hours? Easy peasy. It's going to be the easiest 24 hours of my life. I take the dare. Yeah, I think I'll take the dare too. It's been a long time since I've been a baby. Well, not that long. You were just crying over your spilled makeup yesterday. That was pretty babyish. Molly, stop teasing me. It's annoying, okay? <laughs> ah, I'm just being a good sister and driving you crazy. I think that it's time for you all... To be babies! <laughs> no, Mari, not that real. You're a newborn. You have to be about a year older. Oh, my bad. Is this better? Yeah, you are a little baby like me. And now you have to live your life for the next 24 hours in my world. Good luck! Hmm, I'm kind of hungry. Let me go see what's in the refrigerator. You're not about to eat anything out of the fridge the way your mom said. Okay, Daisy. Okay, Brookie. Come on. We have to go to the diner. I'm hungry. <laughs> also, you're a big crybaby. Take that back. You're going to get a timeout. No way. You can't give me a timeout. You're not my mommy. Is it just me or is this table like really tall? I can't even see over the top of it. How am I going to eat my food? Well, Molly, that's because we're a lot smaller because we're babies. So we can't see over the table anymore. Well, they should make baby tables at the diner. It's just rude that they don't have baby tables. They do, Molly. It's called a high chill. Duh. Whatever, Daisy. You're so rude. You think you're so smart. Oh, well, you're just a baby like the rest of us. What? Why is a baby waiting on us? Because, Molly, remember, everybody in Brookhaven is a baby for 24 hours. Holy guacamole. Well, I guess she's our waitress. Hi, I'll be taking your order today. Sorry, I'm still working on my speech and everything, but what can I get for you? I'll have a Happy Meal. Sorry, this isn't McDonald's, duh. But I wanted a Happy Meal. <coughs> Molly, stop being such a baby. She can't help it. She actually is a baby. Um, we could get you a kid's meal, though, if you want or something. Yeah, I guess a kid's meal will be good. Yeah, I'll have a kid's meal, too. Three kid's meals, please. Hey, wait, aren't you going to write down what we want? No, I'll have right. I'm just a baby. <laughs> I got to remember it. Well, we did only order three kid's meals. Yeah, but we still need drinks. I want... Hey, wait, I'm not done ordering. Molly, don't be rude. Couldn't it get us kicked out? Okay, well, I wanted something to drink. I'm thirsty and I'm hungry. Being a baby is making me kind of cranky. Oh, no, she pooped her pants, didn't you, Molly? No, but Daisy, I can't even see your face. Here, stand up. You're so short. Don't tease me, okay? I'm not. I just, I can't even talk to you because you're so short. Okay, I'm going to just, I'm standing on the table. Coming over there to sit next to you guys. No, you can't sit here. You're too big. What? No, I want to sit with you guys. What's taking our food so long? Hey, what are you doing up there? Oh, sorry. I forgot to put in your order because I got busy watching Coco Melon. You ever see this Halloween special? Hey, it's not even Halloween. Oh, my gosh. This baby waitress is annoying. Where are all the grown-ups? There weren't any, Molly. We're all babies. Oh, my stomach's really starting to growl. I'm going to start getting hangry. Ugh. Here you go. Order's up. What? A bottle? Wait, why are we... Ugh, fine. I 
guess I'll just drink this bottle. Sorry, the cook is a baby and he doesn't know how to make the kids meals. It's all right. I'm a baby, so I like baby bottles. Blech. Ew, Marty, gross. Yeah, Molly, see, excuse me. Nah, I'm a baby. I don't have to. That bottle was good, but I'm still hungry. Well, we could go to the grocery store and we could get um some food there. Oh, that's exactly what a parent would do. All right, let's go. We can get some. We can get some. Um, we can get some candy. We can get some popcorn. That doesn't sound very healthy, Molly. Of course it doesn't. We're babies. We want to eat anything we want. And a cheeseburger. And Molly, the grocery store doesn't have a made cheeseburger. Okay, well they might. They might. I want to get in the car, Molly. Me too. I want to ride in the car too. Na 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 na. Um, apparently we can't ride in the car because, hey, I wanted to ride in the car. Oh, you're too fat. I can't push you. I am fat. I'm just tiny baby and you are too. And that's why you can't push me because you're not strong enough. Okay, fine. Whatever. Just get out of the cart so I can put Doritos in there. Okay, I'll put Doritos in the car. Okay, is it, it's not letting me put Doritos in the car. All right, I'll just, I'll put them in my hands. That, that'll, that'll work. Okay, I got some Doritos. You guys get, you guys get some soda and Daisy, you, you get, um, you get a candy bar. Boy, she's a boss, baby, if I ever saw one. Come on, guys, I'm hungry. I want to check out. Wait, there's, there's no cashier. Yeah, there is a cashier. I'm just down here. What? A baby cashier? And it's a boy! What? It's a boy? <laughs> it's a boy! Um, you you have to have money to buy that. Money? Is that how our parents get all this cool stuff? Glug, 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 glug. I don't know. I'm just drinking this Coca-Cola. I didn't know I had to pay for it. Oh, my gosh. You're going to call the police. You're going to end up in jail. Okay, here you go. Here's your Doritos back. It's okay. We'll go get some money. We just got to go to the bank. All right, let's go to the bank, guys. Guys, come on. Daisy, don't steal the candy bar. What are you doing? I'll pay for it when we get back. No, leave it here. We're going to get arrested. And then we'll be in baby jail. I've heard horrible stories about baby jail. They don't even come in to change our diaper. Um, guys, what are we waiting for? We're not allowed to cross the street without a grown-up to hold our hands. Yeah, everybody knows that. That is so wrong when you're a baby to cross the street without your parents. You could get hit by a car. I don't see a car anywhere, guys. Well, we still can't cross the street without a grown-up. Then we're just going to be standing here forever. I nominate Molly to be the grown-up. Okay, Molly, you look both ways. No cars. Okay, we can go. Excuse me, cash machine. I would like to get some cash. Uh, Molly, I don't think that's how it works. I think you have to have, like, this card thing. Card thing? Well, I don't have one of those. I thought it was just, like, it could just, like, hear what we wanted and give us money. Molly, did you ever really pay attention when Mom came to the ATM? Well, not really, but where are we going to get one of these cards? We're not, Molly. Just face it. We're terrible as babies. Oh, baby Kira was right. Being a baby is harder than I thought. And squishier. What do you mean, squishy, Molly? What do you mean by that? Yeah, Molly, did you step in some slime or bubble gum on the way over here? No! I made a doo-doo in my diaper and it's super squishy! Ew, gross, Molly! Is that what that smell is? It smells like cow poo! Ew, Molly! Somebody changed my diaper! Not me, I'm out of here! Me too, gross! Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, I thought you were my best friend. Well, you're my sister. You're going to help me, right? Absolutely not. Goodbye, squishy butt. <laughs> mm, Daisy, there's only one thing I love more than pizza. Molly, why are you eating again? Get that away from the keyboard. You're going to get pizza crumbs on the keyboard. And you know that I won't be able to type anymore. And I have a lot of homework to do. Mm. No can do, Daisy. Mm. Molly, get that pizza off of the keyboard. Oh, great. You drip some cheese on it. Well, like I said, Daisy, there's only thing, one thing I like more than pizza. What, Molly? Cupcakes. Ay, ay, ay. 
Hey, Molly, um, did you hear the news about today? What? What news? We've got a new babysitter coming. <laughs> what? A new babysitter? Are you serious? Yeah. Mom says she's pretty nice. Uh, she was working at the grocery store, and then she decided to be a babysitter instead. Ugh, I don't need a babysitter. I'm not little anymore. Hello? Is anyone home? Oh, there's the new babysitter now, Molly. Let her in. Okay, before I let you in, are you a stranger? Well, sort of, but I was hired to babysit you, so let me in, you little brat. Whoa, I don't think so. You're rude. You have to stay out there so you can be nice. Molly, let the new babysitter in. Nope, she's rude. Gotta stay outside. I have a key. I'm just gonna come in on my own, and then you're gonna sit in timeout. Ow, you hit me with a door. Go sit on that stool and sit in timeout. By the way, I'm Brittany. Um, yeah, hi, Brittany. My sister is so rude, and I'm sorry about that, but I'm a good kid. I'm not sitting. I am standing. I am jumping. Oh, I can tell you're going to be a handful. Ugh, fine, whatever. Don't sit in timeout, but don't irritate me, okay? Um, okay. Daisy, this babysitter seems rude. Let's get out of here. You mean, like, run away from my babysitter? What are you, nuts? Absolutely not. Oh, I don't want to be stuck with her. Now, everybody be quiet. There's a new episode of Brooke High on, and I really want to watch it. Ooh, I love this show. I could watch it with you. I didn't give you an invite, brat. Hey, don't talk to my sister that way. It's rude. Did I say that I was nice? My mom said that you seemed nice. Well, that was her mistake. Daisy, can I please see you in the kitchen? Ow, I ran into that. <laughs> Molly, <laughs> you're always running into things. You're so clumsy. What do you want, Molly? Mm, I want to eat the snack before I talk to you. Molly, why are you always eating snacks? Always. Oh, my gosh. Just tell me what you want for me, please. I will. As soon as I get done eating this banana and that apple. Molly! Okay, fine. But can I finish my pizza? No, Molly! Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Deep breath, Daisy. Deep breath. Now, what do you want? You little brats better not be, like, coming up with a plan to be more annoying than you already are. This Brittany babysitter is rude. I don't like her. I know, Marty. She is rude. I have to agree with you for once in my life. Daisy, why do you think she got so rude? I don't know. Maybe we should ask her. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, she'll ever tell us. Well, I'm going to ask her because maybe once she gets it off her chest, she'll feel better. She won't be so rude and mean anymore. Oh, Daisy, wait. I think this is a bad idea. Daisy. Okay. What do you want? Well, I'd like a snack. Oh, you don't need a snack. You've had 50 snacks. Brittany, we have a question for you. It's a serious one. Okay, what? I'm listening, but only because I'm being paid to listen. Um, my sister and I noticed you're grumpy and miserable and sort of a Karen. Okay, like a lot of Karen. I'm not a Karen. My name is Brittany. No, that's what they call people that are like you. Grumpy and miserable Karens. Oh, yeah, whatever. What do you want? We were wondering what happened to you that, that made you so grumpy and, and were miserable. Yeah. Can you tell us the story of your life, please? You want to know about me? Really? Yeah. Tell us. Tell us all about you. Okay. Well, it all started when? Well, I better go check on Mrs. Smith and see how she's doing after her new baby was born. Well, hello, little Ella. Hi. My mommy got me this because she had a new baby. She didn't want me to think she forgot about me. Oh, that's nice, Ella. Well, Mrs. Smith, how are you doing? Well, I'd be a lot better if this baby wasn't so gross. Gross? What do you mean? Is she feeling sick? No, she's just not as cute as my little Ella. Wait, what? Yeah, she's just ugly. I don't like her. I want to have a different baby. But but this is your baby, Brittany. I, don't, I know, but I just... Why can't you be more like Ella? Ella was so cute. I know. Uh, I was the perfect baby. I really was. I bet, Ella. Um, but your mom needs to learn to love both of her children equally. What? What are you talking about? Of course I do. I just wish she was as cute as Ella. Daddy, do you think you could brush my hair? It's it's kind of messy and I have to go to school soon. Ugh, your hair is so annoying. Why can't it be more like your big sister Ella's? Her hair is not annoying. I hardly ever have to brush it. I'm sorry, I was born with this hair and I can't help it. Dad! Dad! Um, the latest iPhone just came out and I was wondering, can I have it? 
Of course you can. You're my favorite, Ella. Oh, you're so cute. Dad, she gets a new iPhone. Can I have it too? No, no way. You're too little. But, but, okay, okay but you won't even brush my hair? Ugh, fine. See how perfect your sister's hair is? Why can't your hair be like that? I don't know. Um, I... Thanks, Dad. I can't wait to get the new iPhone. Bye! Ugh, oh, get over here and I'll brush your hair, I guess. Whoa, no wonder you're so grumpy and miserable. It seems like you were the hated child. Oh my gosh, Brittany, that's terrible. Whatever, I've learned to live with it. But anyway... Oh, it sounds like you used to be really sweet. Just because your parents and sister weren't very nice to you doesn't mean that everybody on the planet will be mean. Yeah, we're not all mean and evil. Whatever. I choose to be the way I am, and you'll just have to deal with it because I'm your babysitter. Look, I've seen into your past, and I can see into your future. If you don't change your ways, Brittany, this is how it's gonna go. Well, it looks like I need to give patient in 1A some very bad news. <sighs> this is the worst part about my job. Hello, Brittany. How are you feeling? I'm feeling like I, I, I'm dying. What's wrong with me? Well, that's because you are. What? What are you talking about? You have a rare disease, and it's caused from being grumpy too much. What? That's not even a real thing. Yes, stress can do this for you. Your heart is just giving out, and you've caught this very rare disease in it. There's a rare disease in my heart? Yes. This happens when your heart is just, well, made of stone. It's called Stone's disease. What? Are you sure it's not Crohn's? I could live with that. Um, no. It's not Crohn's disease. It's Stone's disease. Ugh! I can't believe I'm dying! This is so annoying! I know. I'm sorry to give this bad news. Is there anyone that I could call for you? No! I don't have any friends! What are you talking about? Oh, well... Would you like me to sit with you until you die so you're not alone? No! I'll just die by myself. I don't care. Okay, Brittany. Well, it was, um, okay knowing you, I guess. Okay. Bye. Uh, uh. Seriously? The only person that came to my funeral was a, a zombie? Ah! So, you see, Brittany, if you don't change your evil ways, well... You're going to die alone, and a zombie's going to get you. Oh, I'm going to change. I'm going to be nice. But this is too much to handle. I can't think of it. I can't think of my future this way. I need some air. I need some air. Whoa, a babysitter's freaking out by that future. Well, better to freak out now than to, you know, die all alone. <sighs> Finally, some fresh air. I never thought that I could die alone, and a zombie would try to attack me. Oh, oh I can't believe it. Uh, what just happened to our babysitter? Molly, I think her life is over because she got ran over by that city bus. What? Brittany, no! You just changed your evil ways. Oh my gosh, she just was right out in the middle of the road. OMG! Molly, I'm so sorry that I was mean to you. Uh, I was the worst babysitter ever. No, Brittany, you, were, you weren't a bad babysitter. Okay, in the beginning, you were a horrible one. Hey, she's dying. Don't say that to her. But now I, I hope that I've made up for it. Oh. Brittany, don't die. D Brittany? Okay, she died. Whoops, that stinks. Really? Are you not sadder? Well, I'm sad for her because she never got to change her evil ways. But I guess she intended to. Yeah, Marty, at least you and I will be at a funeral now. Well, it's better than a zombie. <laughs> yeah, true, Molly. Very true. Baby, baby, Kira, move over. You're hogging the couch. How could she hog the couch, Molly? She's only like a tiny little thing. She's like 30 pounds. And you're like a giant monster. Daisy, are you trying to say I'm fat? Rude! Now I'm just saying you're much bigger than baby Kira, so she couldn't be hogging the couch. Why don't you mind your own beeswax? Nobody says that anymore, Molly. What are you, three years old? You're annoying, Daisy. Ditto, Molly. You're annoying, too. Girls, can you just stop fighting for, like, five minutes? No, Mom. Sorry, can't. 
It's a part of being sisters. I know, I know. Your Aunt Dora and I used to fight all the time. <laughs> yeah, I bet. That's probably because Aunt Dora drove you crazy. She really did, Molly. She totally did. Um, girls, so I have to tell you something. Ah, oh, we're going to Disney! This is going to be the best day ever! Uh, no. Sorry, Molly. It's actually that I have to go back to work tonight. Oh, well, whatever, Mom. Did you leave us something delicious to eat? Like pizza? Um, yeah, you can, um, get a pizza maybe some other night, but not tonight. What? That's, that, that's so disappointing! Right, Molly? I thought she was going to say we could have a pizza. Then she's like, nah, maybe some other time. Well, what I want to tell you girls is, is that I hired a new babysitter. A new babysitter? Is she crazy right now? I'm way too old for a babysitter. Molly, I'm going to be out super late. I have so much to do with the office. And I know you can stay here alone during the day, but I just don't think it's a good idea for you to be here alone at night. And besides that, who's going to take care of baby Kira? I change your diapers. I'm not going to change your diapers. She's on her own there. <laughs> well, I would, Mom, so it's cool. We don't need a babysitter. I've already called Brittany, and I think you guys are going to really like her. She'll be here in about 15, 20 minutes, but I need to get to work now. Mom, you cannot give us a babysitter. We're way too old for this. We, we look ridiculous. It's humiliating. Molly, you need a babysitter to stay here at late at night. And you're going to need help with baby Kira. Well, I don't need a babysitter. Get a babysitter for baby... Mom! Sorry, Molly. I have to get ready for work. Ugh, can you believe this? Molly, it's not so bad. Maybe this Britney person will be really nice. And maybe she'll be psycho. Mom's not going to hire a psycho babysitter. Why are you drooling, Molly? That's gross. My drool can get baby like me. I'm not a baby like you. Well, Molly, correction, you need a babysitter, so I think you are a baby. I don't want to talk to either of you. I'm going into the kitchen and I'm going to get a snack. I'm going to be grumpy if I want to. Ew, Reese cups. That'll make me feel better. Mm, these are good, but I still feel grumpy. Oh, look, the new babysitter's here. She could be nice, Molly. Just be cool, okay? <gasps> she has pigtails just like me. I love her already. Oh, my sister is so easily won over. Hi, I'm Brittany. I'll be your babysitter tonight. Oh, whatever. Ooh, this one's a little grumpy. Is it because you're hungry? She's probably not hungry because she just ate Reese cups. I'm hungry, okay? All right, well, uh, it's nice to meet you guys. What's your name? My name's Daisy. My name's Bob. Molly, tell me your weird name. Okay, fine. My name's Bob Molly. Molly! I'm assuming your name is Molly. Am I correct? Yeah, you're correct. Okay, and who's the little baby over there? That's baby Kiwa. Aw, aren't you the cutest? Oh, she's pretending to read. She's not pretending. She can already read some words. Whoa, super baby. Okay, well, I'm going to go into the kitchen and make you guys a delicious and nutritious dinner. I'm all into working out and stuff. Oh, great. You know what I'm into? Being a slug on the couch. <laughs> Molly, why are you being so rude to Brittany? What did she ever do to you? She exists. I think you're about mean. I'm not mean. I'm just irritated I have to have a babysitter. Okay, girls, come and get it. Time for dinner. Wow, <laughs> we're probably going to have seaweed for dinner. Well, where is it, Brittany? Ooh, that was kind of mean. Do you want to say you're sorry, Molly? No, not really. Molly! It's in the oven, staying nice and warm for you guys, so you can get it out yourself, since you guys are big girls. Yeah, so big we don't need a babysitter, but here we are, still having one. So, Molly, um, do you want me to serve you, or are you going to get it? Yeah, give me some! I already said that! Uh, could you please say please? No, I don't say please. Um, well, then maybe you should get it for yourself. I'm fine with getting my own. Thank you so much, Brittany. It looks delicious. Oh, what is this? Thanksgiving dinner? Molly, you love Thanksgiving dinner. What's wrong with you? Just don't like this babysitter, okay? Hmm. This is, um... It's super good, Brittany! Thank you! It's fine, I guess. I mean, it's alright. Wow, you're so crumpy. What's her deal, Daisy? 
She just doesn't want to have a babysitter. Be quiet, Daisy! I'm going to eat this food and I'm going to go, I don't know, chill out in the other room. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> By chill out, I mean jump up and down on the couch. Whee! Molly, are you jumping up and down on the couch? Molly? No, not me. I'm actually jumping up and down on top of the back of the couch. <laughs> Molly, you know that's against the rules. Your mom left me a list, and it said no jumping on the couch. So please stop. No way. You're not the boss of me. You're not the boss of me. Okay, Molly, this is terrible behavior. Why don't you go do your chore, please? What's that? Sit on the couch? No, the laundry, Molly. Your mom said you have to do the laundry, and you're stressed to do the dishes? Fine, whatever. I'll show her the laundry. Molly's gonna put food in the washing machine! Baby Kira, rude! <laughs> this ought to make a real mess for the babysitter to clean up. Molly, just behave yourself already! <laughs> oh, night, night, Molly. Molly, did you put Thanksgiving dinner in the washing machine? No, it was Baby Kira. Oh, thank you, Molly. Thank you, Molly. Oh, that's it, Molly. You're you're in timeout. Go to your room. What? You can't give me timeout. Yes, she can, Molly. She's in charge. Oh, this is this is this is terrible. I don't. Oh, you know what? I hate you, Molly. Oh, that was so rude. Well, it's true. I don't need a babysitter. I don't need one. You know what? I don't even need to be in this house. I'm gonna open this window. And I'm gonna sneak out and run away. Molly, Molly, your timeout's over. Molly, where where'd she go? <gasps> Is the window open? Oh my God, Molly, Molly ran away. I have to try to find her. All I have to do is climb over this wall and to my freedom. <laughs> what, Brittany? I know all the tricks, Molly. I've been a babysitter a very long time. What, I, I didn't want you to catch me. I know you didn't, but that's why I'm a good babysitter. Because I can keep you safe. And also, Molly, if you'd give me a chance, we could be friends. Friends? No, we can't. You're the babysitter that I don't want. Well, I know that, Molly, but your mom was just looking out for you to make sure you were safe. And, of course, baby Kara's still little, so she's really the one that needs the babysitter, not you. You and I could just be friends, and I could be baby Kira's babysitter. What? Really? Yeah, if you'd let me into your heart. Wow, I I never thought about it like that. Well, you're just not as old and wise as I am. I mean, <laughs> I'm 17 now, so I pretty much know everything about life. Whoa, I can't wait till I'm 17. That means I'll know everything too. Yeah, it's pretty much a rite of passage. Once you turn 17, the whole world opens up to you. Wow, well... I mean, you seem pretty nice and everything, but you're not my babysitter. No, <laughs> definitely not, but you still have to listen to what I say. Okay, fine, but only because you're wiser than me and you're 17. All right, but you're baby Kara's babysitter. That's right, Molly, I'm just your friend. Wait a minute, wait, I have another question, wait. Okay, what is it? Can you be Daisy's babysitter? Of course, she's totally immature. <laughs> Brittany, I think we're going to get along as friends just fine. Okay, <laughs> hopefully I can babysit, I mean, be your friend again soon, because I really like hanging out with you, Molly. I like hanging out with you too, Brittany. What's that smell? Ooh, it smells awful. I go poop where my diaper. Oh, not it. I'm not the babysitter. Okay, baby Kira, come on, let's go. <sighs> Turns out I made a new friend today. She's not my babysitter! Don't you forget it. In this Brookhaven mini-movie, we see what life is like for a school nurse. Today seems like a normal day, but when a virus goes around the school, the nurse has to treat the students before it gets any worse. Then one of the students breaks her ankle too. It's a crazy day for our school nurse, and she's just one of the heroes that help people get better every day. Guys, don't forget to watch to the end of this video to find out what the nurse does after school. And slam that like button and comment below 
We read all of your comments, guys. No, no, I can't. I can't, I can't take the test. I'm, I'm not ready. I, I, I didn't study about pink unicorns. No, no. Shh. Molly, Molly, are you, Molly, are you still sleeping? Huh, what? Pink unicorns. Molly, you, you're having a weird dream about pink unicorns. Seriously, wake up. It's time for school. I don't want to have to spray you with the fire extinguisher again. No, no, I can't wake up. Too tired. Too sick. Oh, Molly! Get out of this bed right now! Ow! Daisy, quit jumping on me! That hurts! Daisy, I really don't feel good. Molly, I don't believe you. Are you seriously going to crawl out of bed? Holy guacamole! The bus is going to be here any minute. We're going to be late for school. Daisy, I told you already. I don't feel good. Ugh. Molly, you never feel good when it means you have to go to school. Quit faking it and get ready. Who who do you think you are anyway? My mom? No, but mom's not here right now. She had to go to work early, so she said, I'm in charge. So get ready for school. Ugh, I really don't feel good. And it's not just because we have a test in math class today. My stomach feels all funny and my head hurts. Well, I guess I better go into the bathroom and get ready or Daisy will grab me for life. Uh oh, wait. I went into the wrong room. That's how sick I am. I don't even know where I am right now. Oh, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. Blech. Oh, I really don't feel good. <laughs> Ew, Molly, I heard that. Try not to eat so many beans. Well, I guess I better brush my teeth. I don't want to have stinky breath. Okay, let's see. Where is my toothbrush? Where, where? Okay, there it is. Molly, come on! The school bus is here! Huh, well, I got to brush my teeth a little bit. Guess I don't even have time for breakfast. Oh, well. My stomach hurts anyway. Molly, did you seriously just jump over the railing again? Mom told you not to do that. Look, I know you think you're in charge this morning, but I'm not in the mood, Daisy. Don't be rude to me, Molly. I don't care. I, I'm not in the mood! I'm not in the mood! Molly, where's your backpack? Oh, yeah, I forgot my backpack. All right, let me grab it. Got it! Molly, that's not your backpack! I know, my backpack's in the washer. All I have is a suitcase, and it feels so heavy! Molly, get on the school bus! We don't want to be late! Daisy, you're always so worried we're going to be late. We're not going to be late, I promise! Yeah, because I annoy you all the time and tell you, come on, let's go. Molly, why are you driving a school bus? What is going on? Molly, you cannot drive a school bus. Well, the school bus driver quit last week, so it's my job to drive us to school. Oh, my God, we're all going to die. Daisy, seriously, quit being so dramatic. Molly, Molly, that's not a road. Oh, my God, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. My sister is so dramatic, I swear. Molly, quit driving on the sidewalk. Oh, boy. This isn't going to be good. You're going to crash into the school. Well, I got us here on time, though. Oh, brother, look at this. It's, it's, the bus is in the, okay, just back the bus up. Okay, fine. I thought my park job was just fine. Molly, you parked inside the school. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's just get school over with. Ugh, I'm really not feeling too good. My stomach hurts. Ugh. Oh, hey, Molly. Good morning. Whoa, Molly. You look like a zombie. I'm not really a zombie. I don't crave brains or anything. But my stomach is really upset. Oh, Molly. You look like maybe you have a flu bug or something. Uh, you're my best friend and I love you and stuff. But could you sit over there? Because I don't want it. Yeah, okay, fine. I wonder where the teacher is. She should be here any minute. There's the teacher. Man, she's late. She should get detention. I heard that, Molly. Good morning. Traffic was terrible, and the school bus driver was driving insane. Um, I don't know who the school bus driver is. Me either, but they should get fired. I agree. I totally agree. Hey, I got us here on time, didn't I? 
Okay, Molly, since you're so talkative today, why don't you come up to the board and solve this problem? Oh, man, do I have to? Yes, Molly, please. Okay, fine. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know the answer to this. I also don't feel so good. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't feel so good. Molly? Molly, are you okay? Molly, say something. She's just faking it because she doesn't want to have to do the problem on the board. Molly, should I do CPR? No. No, I'm awake. I'm awake. Oh, my gosh. Molly, what's wrong? I think I might have the flu or something. Oh, it feels so good. Okay, Molly. Well, let me help you up. Come on. There you go. Okay, why don't you head right to the school nurse? Okay. She's faking it. Um, Daisy, ah, uh, she's actually green. She feels so sick. She's definitely not faking it. She probably just painted herself that way with makeup. Daisy, do you want to find out by me coughing on you? No, don't cough on me. You have some sort of weird disease. See, I guess I'm not faking it anymore. Am I, Daisy? Ugh, off to the school nurse. Uh, uh, nurse Susie. Oh, Molly, what brings you into the nurse's office today? Nurse Susie, I, I, do, I don't f f feel very good. I passed out in my math class. Oh my gosh, Molly. Okay, come right in and lay down on the magic cot. Okay. Why is it called magic? Well, because when you lay on it, sometimes you feel better and you can go back to class. Would you like to try that? Yeah, oh, oh, okay, I'll lay here for a few minutes. Okay, I'll be back to check on you. Bye. Ugh, I still don't feel good. Ugh. Molly, how are you feeling? The magic cot didn't work. The magic cot didn't work. Oh, my goodness, Molly. Hmm, this sandwich is delicious. Oh, that's going to make me throw up. Get out of here with that sandwich. Ooh, you're a little grumpy. Okay, I'm going to take you into the x-ray room and just take a quick look at your lungs, okay? Fine. Uh... Okay, Molly, hop right into the x-ray machine. This won't hurt a bit. Okay. Uh, I think maybe um, I'm dying! You're not dying, Molly. Trust me. Oh, my. It looks as if your lungs are congested. I think you definitely have the flu. We're going to have to call your mom and you're going to go home. Now, tell me why exactly you came into school today. You could pass this disease to lots of other... Well, it's not a disease, but you could pass this virus to a lot of other people. Um, because my sister said I was faking it. And my mom left her in charge. She had to go to work early. Well, viruses are not anything to take lightly. You definitely have a fever and congestion in your lungs. You need to be home in bed resting. Now, what's your mom's phone number? It's one, two, seven, three, six, five, four. All right, I'll ring her right now. Hello? Hi, this is the school nurse, Nurse Susie. Oh no, which one of them are in trouble now? No, no, it's the school nurse. How many months does Molly have detention for? No, no, no. <laughs> um, Molly is actually sick. What? She is? Is she okay? She appears to have some lung congestion and a fever. It's just a typical virus, but I need you to come pick her up. Absolutely. Tell Molly I'll be right there. Okay, thanks so much. Molly, your mom says she'll be right here. Come on, you can go lay back down on the magic cot until she gets here. Are you going to make me go back to class? Absolutely not, Molly. You're probably contagious. And you need to be home in your own comfortable bed. Even the magic cot can't work this time. Now just close your eyes and rest till your mom gets here. Thank you. Uh, I don't feel so good. Nurse Susie. <coughs> oh my, Daisy. Are you okay? Wow, you look just like your sister. I'm not a zombie, I swear. I just feel so sick. I look terrible. Oh, she infected me with her disease. Actually, correction. She infected you with a virus. 
Ah, come on, I'll give you an x-ray and see if you have the same lung congestion. If you do, I'll send you home and you can rest. Oh, that would be good. Please call my mom right away. <coughs> this won't hurt a bit, Daisy. Okay, if you say so. Oh, but my stomach hurts. Just as I suspected. Lung congestion, just like Molly. Okay, and you have a fever. I'm going to call your mom. Hello? Hi, um, I'm so sorry to do this again, but it's Nurse Susie. Oh no, did Molly forget her backpack? I just got her into bed. No, no, no. Molly didn't forget anything, but you're going to have to come back down to the school. Wait, what? D did you forget to tell me she has attention? No, it's Daisy. She has the same virus as Molly. Oh no, Daisy! Okay, well, tell Daisy I'll be there in like five minutes to pick her up. Will do, thank you. Daisy, your mom says she's coming soon. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> I want to go home so bad. I don't feel good. Oh, Daisy, it's all right. Your mom said she'll be here in like five minutes. So everything's going to be all right, okay? I feel bad because I told my sister she was faking it. And I made her come to school because my mom left me in charge. Oh, Daisy. Well, in your defense, Molly does fake being sick sometimes and gets detention. I know, but now that I've caught this virus, I know exactly how she feels. It's horrible! Oh, Daisy, everything will be fine, I promise. You'll be over this virus in no time. Now, come on. You can lay on the magic cot until your mom gets here. What's so magic about it? It doesn't make me feel better. Why does everybody call it the magic cot? Don't worry, Brookie. Now that you're at the school nurse, everything will be fine because they have a magic cot here. I don't know about that magic cot, Brittany. I don't think it really works. Especially not if you hurt your leg like I did. Everything's going to be fine, Brookie. Trust me. Although I'm not really sure how you did that crazy thing at the playground. I, I know. It just it hurts so bad. The school nurse will help you, I promise. I just keep thinking about my accident. It was horrible. Hey, Brittany, want to see me backflip? I've been working on this in gymnastics. Um, Brookie, I don't think that's a really good idea. That's a really high ladder. And and I don't, I don't, I don't know. What? I can't hear you. Watch this. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Brookie? Brookie, are you okay? No, my leg! I think it's broken! Oh my gosh! It just keeps playing over and over in my mind, like in slow motion. Oh, Brookie, I'm so sorry you got hurt. It's, it's, it's horrible. It is horrible. Hey, girls, what brings you? Whoa! What happened to you, Brookie? Um, she fell on the playground. Well, actually, she was doing a backflip off the tallest slide ladder that we have in the playground. What? Why were you doing that? Oh, I'm getting so tired. I've seen so many students today. Well, you better wake up because Brookie here needs your help, Nurse Susie. Okay, Brookie, come on into the x-ray room and we'll take a look at what's going on inside your leg. Oh, okay, I'm really nervous. Don't be nervous, Brookie. An x-ray doesn't hurt. One time I fell and hurt my arm and I had to have an x-ray. It didn't hurt at all. Okay, I'll wait out here for you. Just as I suspected, you definitely have a broken ankle. I'm going to have to call your mom and she'll have to take you to the hospital. Oh, no. This is the worst news ever! And just hang tight, Brookie. I'm going to call your mom now. Hello? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, mom's on her way, Brookie. Okay. Yeah, Brookie got hurt at school today. I'm so sorry to tell you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. I think she's broken her ankle. Yes, you'll have to take her to the hospital. I'll call ahead for you. Okay, see you in 15 minutes. Goodbye. Your mom's on her way, Brookie, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm just scared. Everything's going to be all right, I promise. Oh, this was the longest day in the history of days. 
Ugh, I can't wait to go home. Ugh. Oh, that was such a long day, but my favorite show is on Survivor! OMG, I love this show so much. I wonder what's going to happen to Matt. And, and did Judy survive? is bullying Brookie. Now Brookie just wants to hide and not be seen. But Molly and Daisy tell Brookie it's always been her dream to try out for theater. And she can't let her hater keep her from her dream. But will Sarah ruin Brookie's tryout? Or will she finally confront her hater? Watch to the end of this video to find out. And guys, don't forget to like this video and comment below. La, 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 la. I'm so excited because it's school time. Molly, you don't look like you're ready at all. Daisy, why are you singing so happy? Because it's time for school. Come on, let's go. Sorry, Camp, watching this funny dog video. <laughs> Actually, they're twin dogs. Aren't they adorable? Molly, you're going to be late for school again. Sorry, Daisy, I can't. I'm still eating breakfast. Ew, Molly, that's totally unhealthy. Why are you eating that frosted donut? Um, I don't know. Let me think about it. Because it's delicious! Whoa, grumpy. Well, when I have to go to school, it makes me kind of grumpy. I think I'll just stay here. Did you forget that Bookie's getting a ride with us today? She'll be here any minute. Now you want to make your friend late for school? Ugh, <sighs> okay, I guess not. Turn off the TV and eat an apple, Molly Jeepers. I'll turn off the TV, but I'm not eating an apple. This donut's too delicious. Mmm, yummy. Oh, Brookie's here already! Hey, Brookie, come on in! Ow, you kind of opened the door in my face, Molly. Sorry. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, now you're just hitting yourself at the door. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I'm having a kind of a crazy morning. Good morning, Brookie! It's time for school! Um, does anyone know why Daisy's singing? She thinks that our life is a musical. I live in a musical... And I'm going to school. Enough, Daisy. Seriously, you're making me crazy, 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 crazy. Yeah, I have to admit, our life is not a musical, Daisy. Okay, suit yourself, Grumpus. But I'm super excited about school. Um, I was thinking instead of going to school today, we could go to the beach. What? That's a great idea. Uh, Pookie, I don't know about this. Okay, I need my bathing suit and my sunglasses. Perfect. Oh, wow, Molly, I love your bathing suit. Whoa, Molly, that's actually pretty awesome. And look at your glasses. <laughs> They're so cute. Yeah, this is going to be so much fun to go to the beach. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Before we get too carried away here, we have school. And we're still students, you know. We have to go to school. It's the law. Well, today... <coughs> I'm feeling very sick. Can't go. Can't go. Oh, need day trip. Need day trip. Molly, quit thinking that you're sick. We're going to school. Daisy, stop doing CPR. Ah, Daisy, no. I'm going to pretend I'm sick. I'm going to pretend. She's definitely faking it. But, you know, I do think we need a beach day. Uh-huh. Me too. We should eat donuts while we're there. Molly, get up right now. Wow. Am I the only responsible one here? Ugh. Do we have to go to school? I vote no. I vote yes. Now, seriously, Molly, get up. Here's nothing more than a party pooper. What? What did you say, Molly? Oh, sorry. I was still eating my donut. You are a party pooper. Molly, go get dressed for school. You know we have to go. Ugh. Okay, guys. I guess... I guess we can go to school. Fine. All right, let's go. Uh, Molly, Daisy already went out to get the car, but are you sure we can't go to the beach instead? No, she's probably right. We don't want detention for missing school. Yeah, I guess you're right. What? Daisy, what are you doing? My car's in the shop, peeps. We gotta take Dad's monster truck. Oh, boy, how embarrassing. Okay. Rookie, I think you might have to sit on the roof. There's not another seat for you. Oh, man. Okay. I can't get in the car. Daisy, unlock the door. I'm trying to, Molly. This isn't my car, remember? This is so embarrassing. Look at this vehicle. I think it's kind of cool, actually. Um, guys, okay. Uh, okay, I'm finally in. Perfect. Let's go to school. It's gonna be super amazing. Daisy, again. Don't sing about school. We're here. Come on, everybody. 
it's halfway school! Oh, boy. Come on, Brookie. Um, yeah, I'll be there in a minute. Okay! Oh, wait, I forgot to sign in. La, 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 la. Ah, uh, gotta go to my locker and get all of my books out. I always want me to carry like a thousand books. And I have to cram some studying in. You didn't study for your test last night? Oh, wait, this is Molly we're talking about. Of course you didn't. Uh, I hope nobody sees me. I don't want anyone to see me. So, uh, did you study for your test? Pfft, silly question, Molly. Of course I did. Uh, well, I guess I'm the only one that didn't. Uh, I've got to get some practice in before cheerleading tonight. Oh, no, it's Sarah. Be aggressive. B-E aggressive. B-E-A-G-G-R-E-S-S-I-V-E. -S -S -E. Oh, yeah, I'm the best. Oh, I have to try to sneak out of here before Sarah sees me. Okay, um, maybe while her back's turned, I can, I can do this. All right, okay, I just gotta be really, really quiet. Oh, I am the best there ever was. <laughs> no one is as good at cheer captain as me. <laughs> almost there, almost there. Oh, phew, I made it. Why do I need to know all this stuff anyway? Seriously. Ugh, oh, this seems like a lot of stuff to cram into my brain. Hey, what? Was that Brookie just sneaking by? Oh my gosh, she wants to play hide and seek. Perfect. All right, where am I gonna hide? Daisy, we're playing hide and seek, you're it. Molly, wait, what? What's going on? Brookie's hiding from everybody. <laughs> hide and seek time. <laughs> She'll never find me here. Molly, where are you? We, we gotta talk about something, Molly. <laughs> Uh, she's terrible at hide and seek, and I'm amazing at it. It's definitely gonna be her that's it again, or maybe Brookie. Molly! Molly, where are you? Molly, seriously, come out here. Molly, I see you. No, you don't. I'm not Molly. Molly! I win! Come out here! Not till you catch me! <laughs> Molly! Oh my gosh, my sister's so immature right now. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 I'm running around in circles. Oh, wow, I'm outside the school now. <laughs> I better go back in. Molly, what? get back here, Molly. Oh, I've got you trapped now. Uh, Daisy, did you do your homework? I know you're not the teacher when I caught you. <sighs> Fine, I guess I'm it. No, Molly, you don't understand. Bookie's not playing a game right now. Wait, what? We're playing hide and seek. No, Molly. <sighs> Don't you know anything? Uh, apparently not. Can you explain to me what I'm supposed to be knowing? Um, okay, so Bookie is obviously hiding from someone or something. Wait, she is? Like, for real? Yeah, she's upset about something. That's why she didn't want to come to school. She never misses school. Well, you do have a point there. I mean, I'm the one that always gets attention. You and Brookie are great students. Yeah, she didn't want to come to school today. And when she got here, she was hiding. Something's bothering her. We have to find her and figure out what it is. I know where she's hiding. You do? Yeah, it's where she hides if she gets a bad grade on her test. Come on, follow me. She's in the bathroom? Don't tell me she's in the boys' room. Of course not, she gets attention. Okay, let's go in here. I'm sure she's in here. Brookie? 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 Okay, she's not in that one. Molly? Uh, sorry. That's okay, I'm just using the toilet as a seat anyway. Oh, okay, because that would be gross if it was stinky in here. Molly! <laughs> uh, Brookie, can you come out here? We need to talk to you for a minute. Ah, <sighs> yeah, sure. Brookie, what's going on with you today? What? What do you mean? Well, first you want to go to the beach instead of going to school? Weird. Hey, everyone just needs some time off once in a while, okay? I just needed to go to the beach. Yeah, right. You wouldn't miss the test for anything. You like school anyway. Besides, we were having pizza for lunch. Your favorite. Yeah, um, okay, well... Uh, it's okay. You can tell us. We're your best friends. You're hiding in the bathroom for a reason. Well, uh, it all started when... <sighs> I've been practicing so hard for the school musical. I think I actually have what it takes this year. La, 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 la. <laughs> I think my singing is good and my dancing. What? You are gonna try out for the school musical? <laughs> What's so funny, Sarah? <laughs> you wouldn't make it into the school musical if you were the last student, like, in the school. Actually, the last student on earth. What? 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 It's not very nice to say. I've been working on this for months. My my audition's got to be good. Well, <laughs> if that was your audition, I can tell you right now, pff, 
you're not gonna make it on the on the what is it even called? I don't know. I don't know what you losers in the musical call it. We're not losers. We're, we're, we're creative and not like the cheer squad. We're amazing. Sarah, that's really mean. Well. I just speak the truth, okay? But my dream is to be in theater someday, and, 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 and if I don't make it onto this, I don't make this audition and, and, and get the part, then my dreams will never come true. Well, maybe you could get a job like, I don't know, working at the ice cream shop or something. I mean, you'd be pretty good scooping ice cream. <laughs> Seriously, stop crying, it's annoying. And that's why I didn't want to come to school today. Or ever again! Oh my gosh, Brookie! That is a terrible thing that happened to you! Don't listen to anything she says! She's just a rude bully! Who, me? No, Molly! I was. Oh my gosh, Molly. Of course you're not, you're her friend! I was talking about Sarah. <laughs> I didn't think you were saying I was a rude bully. Neither one of you are rude bullies. But Sarah's just so mean to me, and. I'm not even gonna go to tryouts. I, I, I don't want to be in theater anymore. But Brookie, you love theater. You're amazing. You're an amazing actor and, and singer and dancer and you're gonna be amazing at your tryout. Do you really believe that, Molly? I sure do. So tonight, Brookie, we could sit in the audience and cheer you on. Yeah, uh, isn't tryouts today? Yeah, but... I don't know, guys. I just feel like you're saying that because you're my friend. No, we're saying that because you're amazing. Well, um, and we probably wouldn't be mean to you if you weren't. See? Now, how do I know if I'm really good or if I'm really bad? Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm confused. Uh, I'm saying you're my friend, so you're trying to be nice. You wouldn't tell me if I was bad at it. No, but we'd just be like, Brookie, maybe not this year or something. I don't know. We'd be nice about it. Yeah, we'd be nice about it. Um, okay. Well, I guess I can do the tryout then. Hooray! Okay, let's go. Wait, we have to try out right now? Yep. La 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 la. Brookie's gonna try out. Oh, whoa. I think Sarah's trying out. I thought theater was for losers. Whatever. I'm gonna be the best at this school play ever. Watch my try out and wish you were as good as me. That was the most amazing tryout ever. Thank you, Sarah. Okay, um, next. What? You don't tell me right now? No, Sarah. The sign-up's on the board. You can see it at the end of the day. Next for tryouts is Brookie. Go, Brookie! Go, Brookie! Go, Brookie! You can do this, Brookie! We think you're amazing! <laughs> Those are my best friends. Okay, Brookie. Let's see what you got. La 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 la, I'm coming backstage with you because I've never been back here before. Oh, great. It's you losers. You think your friend is ever going to make it? Um, yeah, I do. Oh, don't worry about it, Molly. Let's just go. Brookie, you have to stand up to this hater. I don't want to, Molly. She's just rude. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. What are you two losers whispering about? Hey, quit being rude to me. Oh, good job, Brookie. If you don't stop being rude to me... I, I, I'm gonna tell the principal. Yeah, right. <laughs> Whatever. What do you think the principal's gonna do? Um, ground you? Oh, Molly, no. That's a parent that could ground you. She get detention because, well, <laughs> this is school. Well, whatever. I think you're the biggest loser ever and you're never gonna make it. Stop saying that about my friend. Yeah, stop talking to me like that, Sarah. I don't have to listen to anything you losers say. Her audition was terrible, just like she's terrible at everything. Brookie, are are you okay? No, Mr. Principal, Sarah's being so mean to me. I asked her to stop bullying me, but she won't. Whatever. Not whatever, Sarah. You have detention for two weeks. What? But my cheerleading competition. Sorry, but you can't participate. What? Oh. G. What? No! I should be able to participate! Maybe you shouldn't bully people anymore, Sarah. You've been bullying me all week. I didn't even want to come to school anymore. What? Sarah, this is unacceptable. Three weeks of detention. What? Oh my gosh! This is terrible! 
Oh. Well, maybe next time you won't bully. Whoa, did, did she just jump over our heads? That was like magic. I saw that too. I think she was just so upset. She just like, she's out of here. Well, girls, I hope you have a much better day. Thanks, Mr. Principal. You're really nice. Thanks for sticking up for me when someone's bullying me. See, Brookie, you stood up for yourself. Now let's go to the cafeteria and eat all the pizza. <laughs> okay, Molly. Well, aren't you glad you came to school today? It is pizza day. Yeah. Having a friend like you and Daisy makes it so much easier to come to school. I couldn't agree more. You're my bestest friend ever. Now let's go get some pizza. <laughs> Roll over, you're snoring so loud. Huh, what? Uh, sorry. Laura, seriously, why are you snoring so loud? Ugh, I never met a girl who could snore as loud as you can. Uh, sorry, Ugh, my stomach is just really hurting. Oh, you probably have to fart. Just go back to sleep. Oh, I think I have to go to the bathroom. Ugh, I don't feel so good. Oh, I hope you're going to be okay. Thanks, Dan. Ugh. Ugh, I'm definitely going to throw up. Ugh. Ugh, gross. I hate throwing up. Ugh. Ugh. I don't feel so good. Laura, are you okay in there? Are you throwing up? Ugh. Oh, she definitely got the stomach bug. Gross. Laura, it's okay. I'll bring you the Pepto-Bismol. Poor thing. Aw. I'll be right there. I mixed it with some ice cream so it tastes better because Pepto-Bismol tastes awful. Laura, can I come in? Okay, you didn't answer. Here I come. <laughs> Laura? Oh my gosh, what happened? Laura? Are you alive? Okay, yeah, she's alive. She's moaning. Oh my gosh, she fainted. Okay, I'm calling 911. 911, what's your emergency? My wife, she was puking a lot, and I went to make her an ice cream pe Pepto Bismol smoothie, and when I came back, she was laying on the floor. She had passed out. I thought she was dead, but no, she moaned, so she's not dead. Okay, first of all, you should never feed someone ice cream and Pepto Bismol when they don't feel good. Okay, yeah, but who cares about that? Second of all, I have dispatched a ambulance to your house. We know exactly where your cell phone location is. <laughs> it's so crazy, right? Technology. Are you going to be here soon? I'm really worried. Yes, we'll be there soon. Laura, everything's going to be okay, I promise. The paramedics are on their way. Uh, 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 I think she may have thrown up way too many times. I'm not really sure, though, what's going on. I hope she doesn't die. I love her a whole lot. Except for when she snores so bad in bed. Okay, sir. Everything's going to be fine. Hello, paramedic! Oh my gosh! You guys got here so quick! Oh my! Okay, let's see what the trouble is. Ma'am, can you hear me? Ma'am? Oh, I can hear you. My stomach just hurts and then I got really dizzy. Oh, wow, ma'am. Well, I'm going to put you on the stretcher and take you in the ambulance to the hospital, okay? Do you remember your name? Yeah, it's Laura. Okay, Laura. Everything's going to be okay. All right, sir. Uh, you might want to get off the stretcher. Sorry, I'm just really nervous and kind of tired. I'll go out here and wait. Dan, why are you getting on my stretcher? Sorry. <laughs> Oops. All right, Laura. I'm just going to put you on the stretcher now. Everything's going to be okay. You're the nicest paramedic ever. Thank you so much. No problem, honey. Everything's going to be all right. Let's go get you into the ambulance. Would you like to come along, husband? Absolutely. Uh, I'll even go in my pajamas. I don't care. I don't know what happened. I, I was fine. I was sleeping and my husband woke me up and said, you're snoring too loud. And my stomach got upset and I ran into the bathroom to throw up and I fainted. It's okay, ma'am. We're going to take you to the hospital and they'll find out what's going on. We, we didn't pick up my husband. He'll have to meet us there. This is an emergency. Laura, are you still with me? Yeah, I'm just feeling really faint again. Oh, and my stomach really hurts. It's going to be okay, honey. I'm going to take good care of you. Come on. Let's you get, to you get you into a room so a doctor can see you. Hi there, Laura, is it? Yeah, I, I, I don't feel very good. Well, I'm Dr. Nickenbacher, and I will be taking care of you today. 
I just want my husband. Is he here yet? Uh, he should be on his way. I'm right here, honey. Sorry, you guys left without me. I just had to get my slippers. I came as soon as I could. I ran the whole way. You didn't take the car? Well, I mean, I ran to the car, and then I ran from the car to the emergency room door. That's what I bet. <laughs> I'm way too lazy to run all the way to the hospital. You know that. Yeah, I know. Oh, my stomach. Well, the first thing I think we should do with your wife is get an x-ray of her entire body because we have no idea what's going on most especially her brain and her stomach since she fainted and her stomach hurts that sounds like a good plan i'm so worried about her all right i'll send in a stretcher for you and i'll meet you in the x-ray room oh this won't hurt will it no x-rays are painless although they can be a little noisy how long will this take um, well, if I don't hit myself with the door, <laughs> about till right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, wow. Um, that's an interesting find. What? What is it? Am I dying? I'm gonna send in the nurse to bring you back on the stretcher, and we'll have this conversation with your husband. Really? Really? I'm gonna die, aren't I? That's why he needs to be there. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I'll see you back in your room, Laura. What is it? What's happening? Let's wait for your wife to get back. This is the type of news I want to tell you together. Oh my god, she's dying! I knew it! Just calm down, Mr. Smith. Everything's going to be okay. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I reviewed your wife's x-rays, and this is going to come as a bit of a shock to you. I knew it! She's dying! I don't know how I'll ever say goodbye to you, Dan. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Dramatic, she's not dying. She's actually, well... Pregnant. Wait, what? Pregnant? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it! This is a little shocking and crazy. Yeah, and the crazy part is, is you guys are having, um, triplets. Triplets? What? Oh. Mr. Smith? Now you're the one that fainted. Mr. Smith, are you okay? Okay. I just need a minute here on the floor to just catch my breath. Okay. Are you okay, Mrs. Smith? I... I can't believe it. Pregnant with triplets? When... When am I due? When am I going to have my baby? Babies! <laughs> I mean, I still have to have, like, a baby shower and get cribs and... Well, that's just the thing. I've never seen this before in my career as a doctor, but... You're going to give birth any minute. Wait, what? Okay, I'm just going to stay down here on the floor because I can't move. I... Ah. Dan, I need your support. I can't believe it. I'm going to... Ah, my stomach hurts. Ah. Okay, honey. We got this. I mean, right? We do have this, right? You guys totally got it. Let me go put my iPad down. Sounds like I'm going to deliver three little babies. I've never seen this in my career before. This is going to be crazy. All right, let me change into my scrubs. What an amazing day this is going to be. Okay, let's do this. Wait, you you already had one of the babies? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. Oh, you didn't wait for me. Oh, I wanted to deliver the baby. Okay, well, she had one. What do you want me to say? Oh, but here comes another. Here, Dan, hold the first baby. What am I supposed to do with it? Just be nice to her while I deliver baby number two. Okay, Laura, deep breath. Doctor, why are you laying down? Sorry, it's been a long shift. I didn't mean to lay down. Are you sleeping standing up? I don't know if I really am okay with you delivering these babies right now. You're being a little crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me just lay down for a minute. Okay, I'm good. I took a one-minute nap, so I'm fine. All right, let's deliver that second baby. Great job, Laura. She's beautiful. Okay, choose enough. We don't need the third one. She, can, she doesn't have to come. She can stay. Sorry, that's not the way it works, Mr. Smith. You're having three babies. Oh, she's adorable. Hi, sweet little girl. I know. Mine's adorable, too. They're both adorable, and we still have one more! I'm gonna be poor. I'm totally gonna be poor. Three girls? Trips to the malls? Oh my gosh, I'm done for. Hi, Dr. Nickenbacker. What can I do for you? Whoa! You have twins? 
no, identical triplets. Oh my gosh. Okay, take the second baby because Laura's about to have the third. Okay, no problem. All right, Laura, deep breath. Are you seriously laying down again? Sorry, I'm just really tired. This is like a lot of excitement. I am a really good doctor though, I promise. Well then stand up and help me give birth to this baby. Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. All right, you're doing great, Laura. Oh my gosh, honey. You had three babies. Get out of my bed, Dr. Knickerbocker. <sighs> okay, well, my shift's just about over, and these babies look adorable and healthy. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Today has been the craziest day of my entire existence. Tell me about it, but look at our adorable babies. Oh, so sweet. Now all we have to decide is what we're going to name them. Hey guys, if you have names that would be perfect for our triplets, let us know in the comment section below because Laura and I have to come up with three adorable names for our sweet little girls. And we want to know what you guys would name your triplets. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye guys! Oh, it's been such a long day. But look at the beautiful babies I got out of it! <laughs> I'm so happy. Ah, I hope there's a huge pot of coffee this morning. Good morning, Molly. Daisy, you are too happy in the morning. Take down your happiness level until I've had my coffee. Wow, grumpy much? Daisy, don't talk to me until I've had my ah, coffee. So tired still. Mmm, that's delicious. I need another cup. Still asleep. And bing! I'm awake for the day! <laughs> Just like that. Coffee has magical powers, you know. Magical powers! Daisy, what on earth are you doing? Why are you standing in all the corners? I'm making a checklist, Molly, of all the different outlets, light switches, and things like that. Okay, my sister has lost her mind. What, did they put crazy in your coffee today? No, Molly, I have to do these repairs and things. I have to make everything baby-proof. Baby-proof? Wait a minute, why? Are you adopting a baby? <laughs> At my age? Absolutely not. I have a lot of goals, you know, and being a famous scientist is one of them before I have kids. Uh, so why are you doing this? Because, Molly, I've started a babysitting service. Holy guacamole, are you serious? That sounds like tons of work. Yeah, but you get $100 for watching a kid for a few hours while its parents have date night. A hundred bucks? Are you serious right now? That's tons of money. Yeah, Molly, and if you're willing to help me split the, the load of all the work of taking care of a kid, I'll give you 50 bucks. What? You'll give me half? Yeah, if you do half the work. Half the diapers. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't do diapers. Then you don't make 50 bucks. All right, fine. I'll do diapers. Then it's agreed upon. Oh, look. It looks like somebody's already calling me to babysit. Hello, Daisy's babysitting service. Hello, my name is Morticia Adams, and I'm looking for a babysitter. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is Daisy. How can I help you? My husband Gomez and I would like to have a date night through the cemetery. A date night through the cemetery? Um, okay. Uh, will I charge $100 per date night? Uh, I guess whatever floats your boat as far as the cemetery goes. Great. I'll bring my sweet little Wednesday by at 6 p.m. sharp. But don't feed her scorpion soup. She'll be having that for lunch. Goodbye. Scorpion soup? <laughs> she must be pranking me. Well, our first babysitting job, Molly. This is going to be amazing. Oh, Wednesday, you're only a year old and you're already learning how to drive the family hearse. I'm so proud of you. Now remember, be on your worst behavior. <laughs> um, okay, Mom, I'll try my best. Look, it's my first babysitting job. Hi, come on in. 
Hi, I'm Morticia. Hi, I'm Daisy. I'm so sorry, darling, but you're going to have to stay with her. What? No way, Mom. I'm not staying here. Wednesday, just remember who you are and don't let this cheery babysitter bring you down. What would you say? I said, if you have any problems, make sure you don't call me. Gomez, I'm coming, honey. I can't wait for our walk in the cemetery. Hi, Wednesday. I'm Daisy. Yeah, yeah. I don't even want to be here, but I have to be because I still need a babysitter. Oh, well, I have lots of games we can play. Everything has been safety proofed. What? That sounds so boring. Oh my gosh. Do you still um poop your pants? Do you need like a diaper change? No, I've been potty trained since six months old. Whoa, that's amazing. You must be super smart, Wednesday. Hey, the cool babysitter is here. What do you mean the cool babysitter? The one that gives you Doritos and stuff. Whatever, I'd rather eat scorpions. Huh, what? Did she just say scorpions? Yeah, but it's some sort of prank. Her mom and her think it's hilarious. No, seriously, scorpions are my favorite thing to eat. Well, try these Doritos instead. You're going to love them. Mm, these are pretty good. You are the cooler babysitter. Hey, this is Daisy's babysitting service. Molly's just naughtier than me, that's all. Yeah, exactly. And we Adams, we like to be naughty. <laughs> Well, then you'll love this activity. Boing, 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 boing. Molly was supposed to be the mature one. Stop that. Oh, my gosh. Hanging out at your house is fun. What'd you say your name was? Molly. And you can basically call me the coolest babysitter ever. Let's ditch that Daisy babysitter and get out of here. My mom will give you the hundred bucks all by yourself. Uh, sorry, Daisy, but I'm stealing your client. Molly, you better not. Molly. Let's go down to town. I'm sure there's something fun to do down there. Don't you want to drive? Drive? You're one years old. How are you going to drive? My mom lets me drive her hers. Wow, that's pretty amazing. I know, right? How come you talk so sweet sometimes and other times you talk like a demon? Well, <laughs> I am part demon. Whoa, Wednesday. Um, Can I have the angel part of you back? Oh no, there's no angel part of me. There's only demon. And then there's this part of me that I use just to trick people to think that I'm a sweet little human child. Whoa, <laughs> Wednesday, um, you're kind of weird, but I like you. Let's go eat ice cream. Ooh, ice cream sounds delicious. This is the sweetest ice cream in Brookhaven. Whoa, delicious. Oh man, she's got the angel voice on again. Wait a minute. Is she trying to trick me? Nah, she wouldn't do that. Where is everybody? They're supposed to be working and there's nobody back there. Okay, fine. I'll just scoop my own ice cream then. I want a scoop of mint chocolate chip. I want a scoop of bubble gum. Pretty much I want a scoop of everything. Mm. Okay, Wednesday, where are... Wednesday, where are you? Is she in the bathroom? Wednesday? Wednesday? Oh my gosh. Uh, I lost my, my kid that I'm babysitting. I should have known when she was talking like that angel that she was up to no good. That's how she was talking to Daisy. Oh, no. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Molly, wh where's Wednesday? Um, so, um, I went and got some ice cream and... Molly, stop eating the ice cream and tell me where Wednesday is. Stop sticking the ice cream in my face, Molly. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I lost Wednesday. What? Why are you still eating ice cream then? Um, I eat when I get nervous. Molly! Where is she? She's my responsibility. I don't know, but let's finish this ice cream and then we can go find her. Molly, put down the ice cream. Fine, okay. I thought you'd understand I eat when I'm nervous. Not a chance, Molly. Come on, let's go find her. Well, be careful when she talks like a sweet little angel and not a demon because it means she's trying to trick you. What? She can talk in two different voices? Yeah, one sounds like this. Hi, I'm Wednesday. That one is her, like, depressed demon voice. And then when she talks like, hi, I'm Wednesday. That's the one where she's trying to convince you she's all good and, and happy and stuff. And then she does something crazy. Don't worry, Molly. We'll find Wednesday Adams if it's the last thing we do. Wednesday, where are you? Something tells me she doesn't actually want to be found. She's kind of naughty. 
Something tells me that she already got arrested. Arrested? Wait, no, no, wait. There she is! Come back here! What do you want? We're your babysitters! What are you doing? Hey, don't climb that ladder! You naughty little kid! Oh my gosh, I don't know if this was worth the hundred dollars. Are she getting in the helicopter? Aw, uh, Daisy, we might have a problem! <laughs> I've never flown a helicopter before. You're one years old! You don't know how to fly a helicopter! Come on out of there, I'll give you some ice cream, please, please! Uh-oh, um, she fell down through and crashed it already. Uh, that's probably not good, Wednesday. It's okay, I'll just spawn another helicopter, and then I'll fly it around. You will not! You're gonna have a timeout! Get back here, you little brat! Molly, we don't use those words with our clients! Hey, you're a brat! And I think that you need a timeout? Mega bad! Mega bad, baby! You scared Daisy and I half to death! I thought you were gonna be good! Good? You were encouraging her to jump on the couch! Okay, maybe I'm not the best influence, but Wednesday? Timeout chair, now! What? I don't need the timeout chair. Don't use your angel voice with me, Wednesday. Time out chair, now! Fine, this is the lamest babysitting ever. Well, I guess you have to learn your lesson. No more running away from your babysitters. The parents are going to be here any minute, Molly. I don't know if they'll like that we gave her a time out. She deserved it. Naughty, naughty baby. Hello, I'm back. What are you doing? Where's my daughter? I'm exhausted. Your daughter is exhausting. She's very naughty. She tried to run away, so my sister Molly gave her a timeout. What? She got a timeout? Yeah, Mom, I'm so sorry. I won't ever let this happen again. I cannot believe you got caught. If you're going to be naughty, then you should see it all the way through and not get caught and put in timeout. Wait, what? You actually wanted her to run away and do crazy stuff? Yeah. It's how we Adams do things. You all are bonkers! Don't call me again to babysit. Some people just aren't your customers. Really? Because I was going to give you a thousand dollars. What? Okay, well, you're kind of my customer, I guess. So, will you watch my daughter every Saturday? I can make it rain. Whoa, the Adams are rich! Yeah, Wednesday can come stay anytime. But my rules are my rules. Fine. It'll be good practice for her to try to be a criminal, won't it, Wednesday? Do I have to come back here, Mom? Oh, don't try the angel voice with Morticia. She knows better. <laughs> Where do you think she learned it from?